This house is not small, the walls are very high, and the remaining eaves are the traditional Chinese cornices, and there is a sculpture of a small animal on it. It's just that the animal head has disappeared in the flames of war. Just look at the neck below the neck where a copper bell was tied, Wang Lao Mao and the others, soldiers with little cultural background from the northernmost part of China, naturally couldn't tell what kind of animal it was. Yes, animals, they call it an animal, and calling it an animal is polite. They don't call it an animal, it's just to save face for that animal, and very few of them know that the animal is a lion or a unicorn. AP there are animals on the eaves. This family is still facing the street. It doesn't matter whether it is a big family or a shop. Anyway, it is enough. The half-laminated house that has not collapsed looks like it has to be hundreds of square meters, and there are several doors. 1. Thanks to the fact that this house is about to collapse, otherwise the Japanese devils would not use this place as a stronghold for garrisoning troops or things. Old Mao Wang thought to himself, but when he turned his head back to look at the pile of rubble that he ran past just now, he suddenly said, Fuck. By this time the soldiers had separated. Now that they are hiding in the half law house, the sight of the Japanese sentry on the collapsed city wall behind them has been blocked, and the Japanese soldiers coming from the other direction should not enter the house seeing the pebble like appearance. They should be safe for now. But even so, it is impossible for them to keep sentries around, and there must be people on all four sides. Although they don't need to go out of the house, this kind of thing doesn't need to be ordered by old Mao Wang for them veterans. Wang Lao Mao and the others had nearly 30 people, and there were still most of the people who went to the two guards at the same time. But now when they heard that old Mao Wang was suddenly violent, they instinctively grabbed their guns and prepared for battle. No matter what they were now enemies on all sides. It's just that when the soldiers looked at Wang Lao Mao, they saw that Wang Lao Mao didn't look like an enemy, so they were a little relieved. At this time, old Mao Wang was looking at the pile of rubble that they had to pass through when they first entered the house, but old Mao Wang's expression was not right. The soldiers looked along the situation, only then did they realize that two legs of a person were exposed under the pile of rubble. It is impossible for a pile of rubble to bury only two legs, like the tomb made by the ancients. It was a soldier who was knocked down under the pile of rubble. Of course, to be precise, he is now a man. Dead body. Just now they ran in a hurry to prevent the Japanese army from finding out. Naturally, they didn't notice that there was a dead man buried there, but now they saw it. Although it is impossible to see the soldier's face now, the soldiers immediately confirmed that this soldier must be an officer and soldier who died defending the city. The reason is naturally because of the color of the uniform and the pair of cloth shoes. The cloth shoes were very worn out, the toe of one shoe had been kicked away, exposing the big toe where B.A. Tai was buried, the sole of the other shoe was about to fall off, and it was also dirty the solace of the feet and the leggings wrapped around the calves have also been loosened, and there are dark blood stains on them. The faces of the soldiers also turned sour, like old Mao Wang. The sound of the explosion in the distance is still there intermittently. It was ringing, and occasionally there would be a huge explosion. From time to time, the shouts of the Japanese army sounded nearby, and they even heard the plopping footsteps of a group of Japanese soldiers running past dozens of meters away. But at this time, the house in Banla was dead silent, and the soldiers headed by old Mao Wang were all staring at the solace of the feet of the soldier who had died in battle. Who knows which motley army this soldier belongs to? Yes, the mob army, Wang Lao Mao and the others have also heard about it. So far, the battles with the Japanese army in Tai Chuang are all from the mob army. Who knows whether this soldier came here step by step from the distant land of abundance, or whether he came here along the Grand Canal in a wooden boat, or came from the northwest on a horse, but in the end it was only I can bury my bones in a foreign land. Maybe, no, not maybe but should, today should be their tomorrow for the anti-Japanese soldiers. It hurts the rabbit and the fox is sad. At this time, those eloquent words came out of the mind of Chen Hanwen, 
a semi-talented scholar among Wang Lao Mao and the others. But when it came out, he didn't say anything. Chen Hanwen is also a veteran. Although he said that the country is easy to change and his nature is hard to change, he was ridiculed by Wang Lao Mao and the others a lot. He also knew that if he dragged his words again at this time, he would have nothing to do but suffer. And. Therefore, he finally buried his talent in his belly. There's still a gun there. Qian Chuaner suddenly whispered, following Qian Chuaner's pointing, everyone saw the of a rifle protruding from under the pile of rubble. It's just that the top of the gun stock was only exposed, so everyone noticed it. I don't know which group it is from. Old Mao Wang muttered, and he walked forward like a clown in a drama while still squatting. He really wanted to know the identity of this unknown soldier. But just when he walked behind the pile of rubble and was about to make a move, Bai Zhan's voice suddenly came from behind him, Be careful www.mtlnovel.com there's a little devil coming. Bai Zhan's reminder made all of them nervous. They deliberately chose such a dilapidated house that could collapse at any time, but who would have thought that there would still be Japanese soldiers rushing here? What's wrong with this, kill him? Maur Husey asked anxiously. But can you really kill the Japanese soldiers who came here? Even if they really killed the Japanese soldier silently, can they guarantee that other Japanese soldiers will not find out the abnormality? And at this time Bai Zhan spoke again, then she was running and taking off her belt, probably either because she was in a hurry to urinate or because she was holding back shit. Fuck. Old Mao Wang was rude again. Previously, he took advantage of the little time when the Japanese sentry turned around to pee, and he led people to hide here, but it was really successful, Xiao He was defeated, and Xiao He, this time the other Japanese soldier was hungry, no, he didn't choose what to eat. Come break their tracks. How can you say that old Mao Wang is not in a hurry? Chapter 1141, I don't know if someone came. But it is useless to be anxious at this time. There is always an imminent crisis to be resolved. Old Hat Wang is also blinded, that quick wit does not mean that you can come out in a hurry, it would be great if Boy Shang was here at this time. But now I think that little is useless, I am the commander now, and the others are waiting for me to make up my mind. But for a while, old Mao Wang really couldn't think of any other way. While lowering his body, he seemed to hear the sound of the Japanese soldier's big-toed shoes stepping on the ground. There is a solution, none of you move. At this moment, Bai Zhan's voice came from behind. Have a solution? What can I do with this white chicken? A group of soldiers were thinking about it, when they heard a sudden movement behind them, it was a crash, and then there was a plop of debris falling to the ground. Just in this voice, Regardless of Wang Lao Mao and all of them are veterans who have experienced many battles, but one of them trembled involuntarily. It is impossible for them not to tremble, they are afraid that the house will collapse. The reason why they didn't turn around was that the Japanese soldier was already very close. They touched the bayonet and grabbed the gun when they were about to swing the of the gun. If they couldn't think of any other way, they could only kill the Japanese soldier. Killed. As for the fact that they made such a fuss or were not discovered by the Japanese army, they could be dragged until dark, or if they were discovered by the Japanese army, they would start fighting. If you die, you die. Just as they had thought, the unknown warrior buried beneath the rubble was their destination. Their today is their tomorrow, but none of them thought that this tomorrow would come so fast. And another reason why they didn't move, of course, was because Bai Zhan told them not to move. You must know that after entering this house, because the half-laminated house on this side was bombed and collapsed, all they are separated from the outside are the fallen walls, rubble, and some sundries, so they have to lower their bodies, and they can't look out. If they could see the Japanese soldier running here with their pants up, they should be able to see them too, so they all obeyed the orders of Bai Zhan who was behind as an observation post. But even though they couldn't stretch their heads to look, their eyes were fixed on the top of the pile of rubble. They were only three to five meters away from the pile of rubble, and the farthest was no more than ten meters. 
They can guarantee that as long as the Japanese soldier shows up, that guy will never live in this world for more than a second. But they were staring at it, and following the clatter behind, there was a clatter of objects falling to the ground, followed by dust rising. The Taichung battle has not lasted for a day or two. As the buildings continue to be reduced to ruins, dust is everywhere. The crash just behind is obviously that something fell from the roof, and it didn't stir up the dust. Flappy. It's just that at this time, when the enemy is at hand, the soldiers naturally don't care about the floating ash, they just stare at the front. Bai Zhan's reminder didn't sound immediately, and the Japanese soldier didn't show up either, and the floating ash that was kicked into the air slowly fell down again. Those countless particles floating in the air were the so-called dust. Just like life in this age. When the dust settled, Bai Zhan's voice sounded, It's all right, that was scared away. Scared away? Everyone, including old Mao Wang, was stunned for a moment and then looked back. At this moment, they saw that Bai Zhan's face was covered with dust, like a grey man. But Bai Zhan showed his full white teeth with a grin, and he was covering his right shoulder with his left hand. And right under his feet, there were some more red tile sheds, but the most conspicuous one was a fallen log that had been roasted and blackened by the fire. At this time, everyone suddenly realized how the Japanese soldier, whether he was urgent to urinate or had diarrhea, ran away. It must be that Bai Zhan saw the Japanese soldier approaching with his own eyes, but he was quick-witted and pushed to a piece of wood that was not strong enough to support the house. As soon as the log fell down, the roof tiles it supported would naturally fall down. This house was about to collapse, no matter how anxious the Japanese soldier was, he never dared to come in here to relieve himself. As for where to relieve himself or put it in the pocket of his trousers when he was in danger, that was not what Wang Lao Mao and the others cared about. Up. What's wrong with you? Old Mao Wang asked Bai Zhan. I was hit by a falling tile. Bai Zhan rubbed his shoulders and grinned. You did a good job. It looks like a flesh wound. It hit the gun with a single shot. It's all right. Old Mao Wang laughed. This is a typical Northeast slang, but all Northeast people understand it, and the soldiers smiled on their faces. They wouldn't blame Bai Zhan for knocking down a pillar, as long as they didn't get crushed to death, who cares, they are soldiers. There is no surprise but no danger, everyone is in a good mood. But just like the ancient idiom extreme joy begets sorrow, they soon stopped laughing. And the reason was only because Yu Ziuolong crawled to the pile of rubble curiously, and pulled out the rifle that was pressed by the rubble. What kind of people is this? Three-eighth big cover? No, it looks like it and doesn't look like it. Yu Ziuolong, who was lying behind the pile of rubble, muttered to himself. At this time, the expression of old Mao Wang who was also behind the pile of rubble changed again. He reached out and snatched the rifle but he just glanced at it and cursed viciously, Little Japan, Grandma. A.P. Of course the Japanese devils should be scolded, no matter how much they can be scolded, but at this moment, seeing old Mao Wang's righteous indignation is the only thing the soldiers have seen in the days when they were with him. So how could the soldiers not be surprised? What can make our old Uncle Wang so angry? Then the answer was revealed. Ma or Huzi, who came from behind, just glanced at the rifle and blurted out, Liao Shizen. What is Liao Shizen? Yu Ziuolong didn't understand. Yu Ziuolong joined in later, and he is not from the northeast. He doesn't know what Liao Shizen is, but someone will eventually understand. For example, the faces of veterans from the northeast like Chu Bo, Chen Han Wen, and Qian Chuan are immediately changed. Of course they knew what Liao Shizen was. Just because Liao Shizen is a rifle produced by the Northeast Army Arsenal, regardless of whether it is Zhang Dashui or Zhang Shao's Hawaii, it is a rifle produced by the Northeast Army Arsenal itself. Regardless of whether this rifle is easy to use or not, it is a mixture of the characteristics of German rifles and Japanese rifles. Because of this, 
it also absorbs some of the advantages of the Japanese 38 style rifle. The gun is also covered with a dust cover, which is the cover of the 38 type cover. But this is not important anymore, the important thing is, which army will use Liao Shizen, do you even need to ask? Of course they are from the Northeast Army. In other words, the unknown soldier who died should also belong to their Northeast Army. When they saw this unknown soldier just now, they thought that he might be from Sichuan, maybe from Yunnan, or even from the Northwest, but they didn't expect that he would come from the Northeast. Like them, I came from my hometown in Northeast China where the mountains and plains are full of soybeans and sorghum. It's really not their fault, but how could they know that during the Taishuang battle, there was a battalion commander named El Yudaho who brought his own battalion and participated in this battle by mistake? It was a battle that shocked China and the world, and then the whole battalion was wiped out. It is undoubtedly a big event that can leave a page in the history book, coupled with the editor's starting point, standpoint, and preferences, then who knows how many things have been buried in the long river of history, it is no wonder that there are always people who say the little girl who can be dressed up in history. Lao Luo, who wrote about the Three Kingdoms, said that many things in ancient and modern times are all jokes. But that is from the perspective of later generations. If it is far from being so easy from the perspective of the parties involved, how much suffering has a nation with a history of thousands of years endured? You should know what the ancestors have endured in history pain www.mtlnovel.com I still want to have a joke, may I ask, can you still laugh? How much do you feel? Boom! There was another explosion in the distance, and the battle at Taishuang was still going on, and as the battle progressed, Ye Mo pulled up its enclosure. At this time, a soldier named Chen Hanwen chanted in a low voice in a house that had been half destroyed by bombing, Let's go before we reach the weak crown, that year was September 18th. Kill all the Japanese slaves and horses, sit alone on the battlefield and miss home. The majestic China can be humiliated, but the yellow sand will eventually be stained with green blood. When a father and brother look at each other from afar, they don't know that an old friend has come. As far as Chen Hanwen's half-baked level is concerned, poetry writing is the same thing. Chu Tian, who is higher than him, doesn't like it, and neither do the big who are lower than him. But what was surprising this time was that no one hated him anymore because of his unflattering poem. The night was filled with not only the flames of war, but also the sadness and anger of these Northeast soldiers. Chapter 1142, Intolerable and Intolerable As if the enemy and us were tired from fighting, at a certain moment on a certain day, the sound of the explosion in Taishuang finally subsided and nothing happened in the streets and alleys except for the lying dead bodies. However, it is conceivable that the vital forces of both the enemy and the enemy are hiding in the ruins of the houses. The situation is like two tired wild cats in the forest. They bit each other's scales and bruises, but they couldn't deal a fatal blow to each other after all. They panted and calmed down, but their blue eyes were all staring at each other tightly. Who cares which side moves? regardless of whether it is a claw or a bite, then the next battle will break out again. In one house a young Chinese soldier was leaning against a wall smoking a cigarette. It's just that when he smokes, he just takes a shallow puff and spits out the smoke. If he smokes without entering the lungs, he will be spit out immediately, commonly known as passing the hall smoke. So, this soldier was tinkering with cigarettes for the first time. Smoke if you can. Don't smoke if you can't, it's a waste. A veteran sitting next to him stretched out his hand dissatisfied and snatched most of the pack of cigarettes from the soldier's hand. Then maybe I'll die soon, and I haven't smoked yet. The young soldier replied dissatisfiedly, and then opened his mouth to spit out the cigarette. He would not let the smoke come out of his nostrils again. He tried it just now, and it was too choking. At that time, in order to avoid coughing, he hurriedly covered his mouth and nose with his sleeve. It was fine if the sleeve was dirty, but to avoid making a sound, he almost suffocate him to death. Fuck, there are so many things you haven't done, why don't I find you a kill sister now? The veteran joked. 
stop talking nonsense about you. The young soldier blushed immediately when he heard that, I have a daughter-in-law at home, but I just haven't been married. The young soldier's words attracted the attention of the other two soldiers in the same room. The two looked at each other, and one of them whispered to the other, Damn it, you are blinding that arrogant unmarried daughter-in-law for nothing. I don't know who will be the cheapest in the end. He thought he was very humorous, but the companion who listened to him didn't like it and whispered to him, Why are you talking so badly? The soldier who thought he was humorous fell silent. Of course he also understood that it was inappropriate to say such things at this time, so he didn't dare to say it loudly. Besides, everyone is now a brother who lives and dies together. If people are serious at this sensitive time, troubles may arise. If he said it out loud, maybe someone below would answer the conversation. Who is cheaper than the unmarried daughter-in-law? It's okay if the cheap one is picked up by someone from another country, but if it's damned what the hell, right, it's a time of war. If the officer knew that he dared to say this at such a time, he would definitely be the first to rush up with the cluster grenade. At this time, the young soldier was already talking about other things with the veteran. Didn't the company commander say that we have surrounded the Japanese devils now, so why can't we fight them? The young soldier asked the veteran again. What's the use of our army alone? It's good if we can hold on now, what can we do if the other troops outside don't work hard? The veteran was also helpless. Then why don't the troops outside work hard? The young soldier was puzzled. Yeah, why don't the troops outside work hard? The old soldier repeated and said angrily, If you ask me, who should I ask? Seeing that the veteran was a little angry, the young soldier fell silent. It's not because the army outside belongs to the central army. They have to wait for us to fight and lose both before reaching out. A soldier in the corner gave the answer. Then we have to fight here all the time, we won't go up if we don't die. The young soldier really didn't understand. Just say what you say, said the soldier who gave the answer. All of a sudden, the soldiers in the room became angry, and the voices in the room became a little louder, and finally alarmed their company commander in another room. Shut up, and fight your battle well, as if we don't need to use the battlefield when people are working hard now. The company commander reprimanded, so the soldiers all shut up. Today's soldiers are easy to manage if they want to talk about management. Anyway, everything is under the command of the commander. If the officer tells you to fight, then fight, and if the officer tells you to withdraw, then withdraw. It is a death for them to stand firm in this Tai Chuang, that is, if they start to fight back, can they guarantee that they will not die? The so-called change of dynasties, prosperity, the people suffer, death, the people also suffer. As for war, if you win, the soldiers die, and if you lose, the soldiers also die. And what can support the soldiers to risk their lives to fight is only simple patriotic enthusiasm and hatred for the invaders. Soon a messenger came, and their company needed to go into battle again. After the silence, the Tai Chuang battle broke out again. For Tai Chuang, it is like a shortened version of the vicissitudes of life. First, the roof of the originally intact house was torn off by artillery fire, and then the walls were blown down and turned into ruins. During the battle, even the broken walls were blown up and turned into rubble again. However, as far as the place where the battle first took place in the north of Tai Chuang, there is no change in the collapsed city wall and the houses that have been bombed. Of course, it is because the fighting has developed in depth in Tai Chuang and there is no more fighting here. But when bricks and stones were flying in other places, in a dilapidated building where you can see the collapsed north wall of Tai Chuang, Wang Lao Mao was already talking to the soldiers, I know you are all holding back. There is a lot of fire, but we are here to find Shang Boy this time, so we have to see if we can find Shang Boy, shall we? When old Mao Wang said this, his eyes turned to the pair of calves protruding from under the rubble again, and the soldiers naturally looked over, and everyone's expressions were not good, yes, not good. Yes they have been hiding here for three days and three nights and they have been bad all the time, 
not that they have become bad from a certain moment. The face represents the mood, which means that they are not in a good mood. It's really no wonder Wang Lao Mao and the others are in a bad mood for anyone. Every day at dawn, they see the brother who belongs to their northeast army sleeping under the rubble. It would be fine if that brother was completely suppressed by the pile of rubble without leaving any traces, but those calves were exposed. As long as old Mao and the others look forward, it is impossible not to see that brother's legs. In order to find the Japanese soldiers who might come here, they always have to look ahead, so they always see the pair of calves and the sole of one foot whose sole is about to fall off. That brother must have been lying there, as if he was shooting at the invaders at Guanshan, which was guarding the Chinese, or fell on the way of charging at the invaders with a gun. Undoubtedly, even though he had sacrificed, it was also a fighting posture, so even though he had sacrificed, he seemed to remind Wang Lao Mao and the others to fight the enemy all the time. Seeing an image familiarly during the day will be imprinted in their minds, so that when they close their eyes at night, they will think of the solace of the feet facing forward. This impression was so deep that when he fell asleep last night, Hu Zuzi was talking in his sleep. What he said was, Brothers, go, hit the little devil. Fortunately, there were explosions in other places in Tai Chuang, and fortunately, Ma Tian Fang, who was lying next to Hu Zuzi, was still asleep. Ma Tian Fang was so frightened that when he turned over, he used his remaining hand to gag Hu Zuzi's mouth. Up. Didn't the soldiers know that they were looking for Shang Zhen this time, but the brother who died under the rubble made them feel like a stick in their throats, and they always felt that if they didn't do something for that brother, they would be in a panic. Soldiers also have reason, but if it is said that with reason, they can overcome the emotional impulse, are they called soldiers? It is the job of an official to use reason to overcome emotion. So, this thing that actually wanted to do something but knew not to be impulsive fell on the head of the current commander, Old Hat Wang. His grandma has short legs, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com Shang Zhen, you little bastard, where are you? It's really not easy to be an official. How can this be done by people? Wang Lao Mao could only use his own way to persuade the soldiers while scolding Shang Zhen. They have been hiding in this dilapidated house for three days and three nights without leaving home. Although the veterans, even Hu Zuzi, know how to bear it, but old Mao Wang knows that if things go on like this, let alone the soldiers, they will not be able to bear it. I can't help it anymore. But, where is Shang Zhen's little bastard? For the past three days, the sound of gunfire and explosions was concentrated in the northeast corner of Tai Chuang. As for the other directions, they really didn't hear any movement. Could it be that Shang Zhen wasn't in Tai Chuang? How about taking these people tonight and hitting those little devils with the captured grenades, and then run away? Old Mao Wang felt that he had already done his best to find Shang Zhen, if he continued to rely on this, he might have to throw all these boys here. Chapter 1145, Sneak Attack Failed Old Mao Wang is in his fifties. He was a bandit first in the gang and then he became Marshal Zhang following the boss of Zhang De shopkeeper in his gang. He also changed from a small boy in the Northeast Gang the Cub became the platoon leader of the Northeast Army. When a group of bandits flew out of the chicken coop like a pheasant and turned into a golden phoenix, it would be tall, in other words, it would also undergo regular transformation. For example, the Northeast Army actually established a navy that was unique in China at that time, and they also had an air force with hundreds of planes. Of course, the result was that those planes fell into the hands of the Japanese after September 18. For another example, the Northeast Army will also set up a military academy, the Central Army has the Wampoa Military Academy, and the Northeast Army has the Northeast Army School of Martial Arts. Although it is said that the Northeast Army's Martial Arts School trained only junior officers, and they would be a company platoon leader or something, but Wang Lao Mao didn't have that opportunity, because he couldn't know a few words at the time. In the words of later generations, it is called educational qualifications cannot determine your upper limit but determine your lower limit. 
the platoon leader of Wang Laomao was made entirely by virtue of his brains and personality in actual combat. Because of this, even though he is very old as a soldier and has accumulated a lot of combat experience, he has to admit that he still has a mountain beard in his bones, in other words, the bandit gene. What is the gene of Northeast Beard? Although the things that bandits do in all parts of China are roughly the same, and they mostly do things like robbing houses, killing people and extorting goods, kidnapping and extorting money, bandits from all over the country also have the regional characteristics of bandits from all over the world. The characteristic of the Northeast Beard is the bachelor spirit. How cruel! That must have happened, and there really is such a thing as gouging out people's hearts with a knife to make sliced meat soup. How can you bully the people if you are not cruel, and how can you frighten the people? How about perseverance? There must be some. In the severe cold in the northeast that can freeze ghosts until their teeth are frozen, it is not something that can be tolerated by just a random person. How about cunning? That should be there, and the roughness is only a local characteristic. There are wolves in the northeast, but there are also foxes. So don't say that people from the Northeast are not afraid of death. If you say that people from the Northeast are not afraid of death, whether it's Shang Zhen or Wang Lao Mao, why do they sometimes prefer to hide from battle orders instead of fighting positional warfare? It's just that as the saying goes, a man should do something and not do something, since it is an anti-Japanese fighter who has stepped onto the anti-Japanese battlefield, there must always be a time when he meets the Japanese bayonet. Of course, Seeing red with a bayonet is a tall calligraphy written in official history, but for Wang Lao Mao and the others, it is the spirit of a bachelor. This bachelor does not mean that a man is old enough to have no women, but it is a metaphor. A single person has no concern for his wife and children, so he dares to strike regardless of life and death. That is similar to a gambler's mentality. If you win the bet, I will escape from birth and get promoted to an official position to make a fortune. But now Wang Lao Mao and the others faced the situation of losing their bet. They hid in that dilapidated house for three days and three nights, Taich Wang, a small place, not to mention that it had been occupied by the Japanese army. The reason why the Japanese army didn't go to the house where they were hiding was really just because the house was really about to collapse. So Wang Lao Mao and the others were surrounded by Japanese troops. Although they also set up observation posts on all sides during the day, no matter who serves as an observation post, they will expose their eyes, or even cut a hole in the wall as an observation hole. The Japanese found out. And at night, it was dark again, but they could still hear the sounds of Japanese military activities around them, so they just listened to where there was a battle in Taichuang, so as to infer where Shang Zhen might be. It's just that they listened to it for 13 times, but they couldn't hear any gunshots or movements, which seemed to be made by Shang Zhen, such as the cracking sound of the box cannon, so why did they go out? If it is discovered by the Japanese army, the loss outweighs the gain. But this time their original plan was to throw all the captured grenades at the Japanese army, severely harm the Japanese army, and then slip away just because they were close to the collapsed city wall. No matter how good the idea is, it is just an idea. To apply the words of later generations, it is the ideal is very full, and the reality is very skinny. They didn't know where the Japanese army's ammunition depot was, and the battle started like this, but they were used by the Japanese army. Heavy machine guns blocked the way, so what should I do? Look for cover. Chubo shouted. Now it is no longer a question of whether they can bomb the Japanese ammunition depot, but a question of how they can get out. So, where can they find concealment? The road was on their left, and running there was an open space, and they could be smashed into a sieve by the heavy firepower of the Japanese army in minutes. Therefore, they could only run to the right under the cover of the broken wall and ruins. At this time, the gunshots from the Japanese army on the other side of the broken wall, that is, the side close to the city wall, became chaotic, and the bullets greeted the broken wall without exception. This is understandable, who told them to throw the grenade so accurately before, the other side of the broken wall was blown up in white light, 
just how big the momentum was just now, and how fierce the firepower concentrated by the Japanese army this time is. The broken wall had been blown into several pieces by the early artillery fire. After Wang Laomao and the others ran through two fractures, they saw that there were also bombed out houses inside the fracture, but the upper half of some walls were gone, and the lower half the bottom is like the stubble left by the harvested crops. Come in! Qian Chuaner shouted. Why go in there, it's a place of death! Bai Zhan yelled. Maybe you can kill a few Japanese devils by guarding, but if you rush out now, you will be courting death. Qian Chuaner obviously has his own opinion. Everyone thought about it, and Qian Chuaner was right. Flares were still shining brightly on their heads. If they rushed out now, it would be like running naked on the beach. As long as the Japanese troops from all directions surrounded them, they would be living targets for the Japanese troops in the open. Therefore, instead of breaking out, it is really better to hide in the ruins of the house and fight the Japanese army to the death. At least the ruins of the house can be used as a bunker for them. Qian Chuaner is right. Let's all go in. You can count as many devils as you can kill. Old Mao Wang ordered loudly. The situation is pressing, and you can't do whatever you want on the battlefield. Weighing the pros and cons. Entering the ruins is the only choice they can make. Old Mao Wang and the others took advantage of the cover of the ruins to sneak into it. At this moment, they heard a boom, and they looked back at the broken wall where they used to take cover just now. There was a short-range strafing that could not withstand the firepower of the Japanese heavy machine guns. The lower part of the wall was smashed and could no longer bear the weight. The wall crashed down. It's over. This time the car overturned together. Bai Zhan lamented, but at the same time he was secretly cursing Shang Zhen in his heart, where did this go, this time he got everyone killed. It's just that this can only be what he thinks in his heart, of course he won't say it out loud. There are devils everywhere. Guman said at this time. What's the use of talking about anything else? I'm fighting with the little devil. I still have a little girl so I'll die if I beat the devil!" Old Mao Wang suddenly shouted. He yelled like this, but his heart was really bleeding. He felt sorry for his little girl and the child in her stomach. I don't know if the child is a girl or a child. Everyone is ready to fight, and the flare from the Japanese army in the sky has dropped very low www.mtlnovel.com but what's the use of that, this is the rear of the Japanese army in Taichuang before the flare falls, then it was time for the next flare to go up. How could the Japanese army let them flee in the dark? But just as the light was getting lower and lower, these soldiers vaguely heard an explosion among the chaotic gunfire of the Japanese army. Naturally, they ignored the explosion, because the gunshots from the Japanese army were too noisy. But then the flare above their heads burned out and fell down, and the surroundings became dark again, and only the tracer bullets fired by the Japanese light machine guns that indicated the target were so conspicuous in the night. None of Wang Laomao and the others knew why the Japanese flares were not fired again, but they knew that the darkness at this time was their only chance to retreat. After thinking for a while, old Mao Wang shouted in a low voice, quickly retreat to the original place. Chapter 1146, One Group of Horses Eating Grass in fact, old Mao Wang knew that even if they returned to the dilapidated house in this situation, even if the dilapidated house would not collapse, it would no longer be safe there. The reason is very simple, the Japanese army is not stupid, they will definitely search the nearby area after they find out that there is a group of Chinese soldiers like them who have failed to make a surprise attack. Surrounded by Japanese troops, under such circumstances, no matter if they scattered to break through or rushed out, it was impossible to break out. The reason why he wanted his people to return to the starting point of this unsuccessful sneak attack was because this was the first time they returned to Taichuang. Not only him, but all of them didn't know that other than the dilapidated house, is there any other gathering place that everyone knows. Before the flares of the Japanese army were raised, Wang Laomao and the others ran towards the dilapidated house based on their memory. 
to say how arrogant Wang Lao Mao and his group were when they rushed forward, how much they are now when they retreat. How should I put it, it's not a good thing to say that they are in a mess, they are all veterans, and the weapons will never let go, and they will never lose ground. It can only be said that they saw that the enemy was powerful and their original plan could not be realized at all, but they retreated resolutely and heroically based on the principle of as long as the green hills are there, there is no fear of no firewood burning. If you say decisive, then you can retreat without delay. Speaking of bravery, it is not so easy to go back to the original place. Although I don't know why the Japanese flares did not fight again, but in the darkness around them, who knows how many Japanese troops are enveloping them, saying that they have nothing to do with them. It is absolutely impossible for the Japanese army not to fight. A group of soldiers were running forward in the darkness, but Qian Chuaner had already greeted in a low voice, I picked up a brick or something, and I have to create some confusion for the little devil on the other side. They are all veterans, and Wang Lao Mao and his group have not fought night battles once or twice. As soon as Qian Chuaner reminded everyone, he bent down to pick up broken bricks and tiles on the ground. It was night now, and the tracer bullets fired by the Japanese light machine guns were still there, but after all, it was still dark all around. But the problem here is that Tai Chuang has already gone through a big war or is going through a big war. The bricks and rubble are not within reach, but as long as you run two steps, you will always kick or step on the broken bricks and rubble. So even in the dark, the bricks and rotten tiles can't be picked up or touched. With Qian Chuaner's reminder, the minds of the soldiers who were already in danger became flexible. It's best to disperse and break through, and don't gather together. Chu Bobian also suggested. Okay. Let's do it like this. The password is the one we originally set. Old Mao Wang immediately determined. Both are veterans, and the two proposers only talked about how to do it, but they didn't mention why they did it at all. One reason is that the situation is urgent now, and that is not because there is relatively more time to study the battle plan before the war. Another reason is that everyone will understand why they act like two proposers. Qian Chuaner suggested touching bricks because it was night. How can we distinguish between ourselves and the enemy in the dark? Listen to the sound of course. So throwing bricks and tiles in the dark night made the Japanese army respond. It would be better if the Japanese devils screamed after being smashed, and then threw a grenade or something after listening to the sound. Wouldn't that create chaos? As for Chubo's proposal to disperse and break through, it was naturally because of the night battle. They could cause confusion for the Japanese army, but they still couldn't distinguish the enemy from ourselves. The best way to distinguish friend from foe in the dark is to tie a white towel around your arm. Everyone knows the reason, white things are the most conspicuous in the dark. But now, for Wang Lao Mao and his group, let alone a white towel for each person, as long as the group of them can have a snow white towel together, that white towel must be considered a luxury. Gao Yuan, Zhu Hengzia, and the girls did have white towels in their hands, but they couldn't quench their thirst. Among them, Shang Zhen, who fought the most night battles, was still missing. Shang Zhen disappeared, but Shang Zhen's experience in fighting night battles was passed down among these veterans. As long as the night is dark enough and the enemies around you won't accidentally injure your own people, then don't be afraid of chaos. At the same time, Better not shoot. Because when you shoot, you give away your position. You'd better touch a grenade and throw it among the devils, how would they know which direction the grenade came from? So you just slipped away when you were in trouble. And this is why Chubo proposed to disperse the encirclement. Of course, Chubo's use of the term scattered to break through is actually not accurate. To scatter and break through is to run in any direction. What they need is that everyone should scatter and rush to that broken house. Fortunately, they are all veterans, even though what Chu Bo said was inaccurate, everyone understood the true meaning of Chu Bo's words. It sounds complicated, but the process was really short. Now that the big policy has been set, the soldiers immediately dispersed and moved forward. That's pretty good, 
but I didn't say what the devil should do if he hits the flares again. One person muttered dissatisfiedly, but he also moved forward obliquely. It was Bai Zhang. As for Shang Zhen's team, they got together purely because everyone was fighting devils, so their temperaments are naturally different. And in this team, Bai Zhang was a bit out of tune with the rest of them. If you say that he knows a lot from his travels, but he is not as good as Shushan in terms of elegance in conversation, he is not as good as Chen Hanwen in arty style, and he is good at thinking carefully about the habits of the world, but he is just like old Mao Wang. The Northeast beard style is out of place, doesn't he look different? But Bai Zhan is also a person who has a poor mouth and has always been a train runner with a lot of experience, and that mouth is a bit sinister. It's just that his skills are enough to bluff others, but Qian Chuan or Qin Chuan and Ho Wang Shan, who are veterans of the Northeast, are they urinating on him? In terms of shame, the Northeast people who are good at talking and talkative will never get used to him. During the days when Shang Zhen was away, one day the soldiers suddenly stopped calling him Bai Zhan Ji and suddenly called him Hua Hua. Bai Zhan was puzzled why these people suddenly called him Hua Hua, but Hua Hua always sounded better than Bai Zhan Ji, right? He didn't take it seriously. But once Ho Wang Shan got a jug of wine without knowing where, and all the people in their group who could drink drank it. The so-called slip of the tongue after drinking, but Ma or Huza just revealed the reason why everyone called him Hua Hua. That Hua Hua is an abbreviation, but the full name is an extremely vulgar noun in Northeast dialect called Hua Asterisk Yanzi. Fantastic eyes is a derogatory term. It is used to describe a person who sees people and speaks nonsense, speaks nonsense, speaks nonsense, is full of lies, is not truthful, bragging, can brag about the sky, but does not do practical things. As for which character asterisk is, of course it is a very dirty word. For example, there is a very famous anti-Japanese war drama in later generations, in which a soldier was nicknamed Snake Butt. Okay. That's all for the hint. The Northeast culture can also be called the Kanto culture. Its advantages are rough and straightforward, and its disadvantages are vulgar and simple, which can be understood by everyone. You said that when Bai Zhan realized that these people headed by Wang Lao Mao called him Hua Hua, they were calling him Hua Asterisk Yanzi at that time, and he was still laughing like an idiot. Unhappiness arose like this and although Bai Zhan would not part ways with them because of this, a thorn in his heart was still buried in the end. So Bai Zhan absolutely had to act alone this time, he didn't believe it anymore, didn't he just go back to that dilapidated house? I, who is good at escaping and taking things in the dark, can't compare to those bastards. Listening to the movement ahead, Bai Zhan walked forward cautiously, but at this moment an accident happened. He suddenly heard behind him that the heavy machine gun that was still shooting dong 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 suddenly went dumb. Almost at the same time, he heard the sound of crack, clap, clap, clap from behind him www.mtlnovel.com It was Bai Zhan, who was walking forward with his back bent, made a sharp turn and then squatted down. He stood down and looked towards the city wall, but at this moment the firing sound of the box cannon behind him stopped. Immediately afterwards, he saw a flash of white light and a boom at the place where there should be a Japanese firepower point, which should be the explosion of a grenade. Oops! Bai Zhan even forgot to break through. There was the sound of box cannons firing, and grenades or grenades exploded the Japanese army's firepower points. It couldn't be my group, and my group was running back. So, so... It can't be that kid Shang Zhen who is on the other side. All of a sudden, Bai Zhan's mind became alive. Chapter 1147, Three Missing The melee in the dark began. Old Mao Wang and the others dispersed, of course they formed a line and pulled them into a line to go to that hiding place. The beauty of throwing bricks, rubble and stones first is that the enemy and the enemy are already approaching, and they are listening to each other's movements. However, when a voice suddenly sounded not far away, or even some unlucky Japanese soldiers were smashed and made a squeaking sound, 
the Japanese soldiers would be suspicious of where the Chinese soldiers were in the dark, and they would not be able to tell. Enemy As long as they make a sound, grenades will explode and explode from the sky. At this time, it is basically impossible to distinguish the enemy from the enemy unless there is light. The shouts of the Japanese army and the explosion of grenades sounded in the darkness one after another, but who knows the situation of the battle between the enemy and ourselves. Even participants in the blind fight in the dark can only figure out that they are alive. They can't figure it out either. And this is not the best choice for a party with few people or even separated from each other. The flares of the Japanese army still haven't been raised, because there is already chaos there, and the Japanese army there is also forced. But I really don't want to underestimate the courage of the Japanese in combat. Some Japanese military officers understand that the Imperial Japanese Army can't take advantage of such a scuffle. Then the only way is to make a bright light, play a flare, or even turn on a flashlight or light a fire with a lighter. Amidst the loud roars of the Japanese officers, some Japanese soldiers really did that, and this time they turned on a flashlight. They used the flashlight not to mean that they had to find the Chinese soldiers hiding in the dark, but they wanted to reactivate the flares. They didn't know what was going on just now. Just when they were about to fire the second flare, the mortar exploded inexplicably. But the current situation is that they must bring out the light. They believe that as long as they let the flares shine in the sky like a little sun, then the Chinese soldiers will be wiped out and the chaos will definitely come to an end. It was just that the Japanese soldier had just turned on the flashlight, and when other Japanese soldiers found the flares and were about to stuff them into the mortar, none of them noticed that in the darkness beyond the beam of the flashlight, there were two grenades coming out of the mortar. The ruins more than 60 meters away have already flown over. When the ammunition hand of the Japanese army slid the flare down the barrel and fired it, a grenade exploded right on their heads. So in the next moment, the mortar that needed to be held by hand fell down, and the flare also shot out. The moment to witness the magic of the battlefield has arrived. Soldiers from both sides noticed that the flare shot out like a shooting star. If the flare had known it, it would have made such a miraculous trip parallel to the ground. But in the end, it was a coincidence that the flare hit a house that had not been destroyed by the war and exploded. At that moment, wherever there were holes in the house, such as doors and windows, such as the alleyway the hole that was dug out emitted a white light like a beam of flashlight light. This scene made people who saw it so unforgettable, as if a huge fire was hidden in that room, and then that room would be reduced to powder with a bang. At this time, Wang Lao Mao and the others who were advancing towards the rendezvous place didn't understand that there were friendly troops from the rear and they were helping them. Moreover, this person may also be Shang Zhen. It's just that at this time, it is impossible for Wang Lao Mao and the others to go back and look for it anyway. The reason is very simple, it only makes sense for them to survive and find Shang Zhen, if they turn back now, they are not looking for someone, they are looking for death. A military drama in later generations put forward a slogan called Never Abandon, Never Give Up. Well, the slogan cannot be said to be wrong, but at least here in the cruel war doubtful. In the later generations, there was another blockbuster movie in a certain country called Saving Private Soldiers or something. It said that several sons of a certain old lady in a certain country went to the battlefield, and only one survived in the end. Then the president of a certain country issued a presidential decree, saying that no matter what the old lady's last son was brought back from the battlefield to serve his mother. So a rescue operation began and N plus one soldiers died in order to save that soldier. Just look at the shooting effect of the blockbuster. After all, what they did is really good looking. As for the story itself, don't take it seriously. But having said that, sometimes when one's companion is hunted down by the enemy, it is really difficult to decide whether the person hiding in the dark will rescue him or not. An hour later, in the house where it looked like it shouldn't be standing on the outside, Someone really was already discussing such a thing. You said that if we saw Bai Zanji being chased by a little devil, should we save it or not? It was Chen Hanwen who asked. 
Old Mao Wang and the others fought with the Japanese army in the dark, let alone that most of the soldiers really went back to the house in the dark, but some of them didn't come back, there were three people who didn't come back. One, that is Bai Zhan, he Zionke and Fan Chan Chan. After the scuffle, most of the people returned safely, which was a surprise to Mr. Wang. Really, night battles are dangerous, not to mention that they were hit by Japanese bullets, that is, it is normal for them to be killed and injured by a grenade thrown by their own people. Chen Hanwen was very lucky, he was the first to return here. So he waited eagerly in this dilapidated house with a gun, counting the people who returned here one by one, and finally missed the three people mentioned above. Although the of Bai Zanji doesn't attract some marks, but he is also our own, why don't you go out and save him? Maur Husa said. It's not that I'm afraid of death, but if I went out to save him, wouldn't that expose us all? Who knows what Chen Hanwen thinks, but it's understandable for him to come up with this reason. The reason why Chen Hanwen said that was because after an hour or so of melee, the sky had already brightened. If it was not bright that day, how could Chen Hanwen say that if he saw Bai Zhan being chased by the Japanese army? It's useless to talk. Chu Bo interjected. Let me ask you, if you were chased by the Japanese devils, would you run here? He asked Chen Hanwen. I won't run here. Chen Hanwen said firmly. What Chen Hanwen said was very simple. Now this is the hiding place of their group. If they are chased by the Japanese army and sneak into this house, wouldn't it implicate everyone? Then they will definitely be wiped out. So. You all think that if Bai Zanji is still alive, he will definitely run here. Chu Bo asked back. Everyone fell silent. Although Bai Zhan was not liked by others, none of them thought that Bai Zhan dragged his own people into the palace of Hades before he died. After a while, Chiao Xiang, who never said a word, said in a muffled voice, I don't know what happened to He Ziongke and Fan Chan Chan. Chiao Xiong's popularity among them is quite good. The reason here is, of course, that Chiao Xiong is the best shooter and has always been taciturn. The Northeast soldiers adhered to the principle of bullying an honest man is a crime, and no one ever flirted with Chiao Xiong. Oh! Old Mao Wang couldn't help sighing. He habitually took out a cigarette from his pocket, but just as he was about to put it in his mouth, he knew that smoking was absolutely not allowed at this time, so he just can be put under the nose to smell. The sky was already bright, although it was not very bright www.mtlnovel.com but they could already see the Japanese soldiers busy walking through the ruins in front. Of course there are those who rescue the wounded, but there are also those who carry guns to guard and search, but I don't know if the Japanese army will come here. Don't think about anyone. It's useless to think about anyone. It's likely that we will have to fight with the little devil after a while. Old Mao Wang finally said. But before Old Mao Wang finished speaking, they suddenly heard a certain sound coming from behind. It should be the sound of fingers or something hitting the wall, and then there was a sound of the night battle they had planned. Password, Baga. I really can't blame Old Mao Wang and the others for this. In night battles, Sometimes it is inevitable to distinguish between the enemy and ourselves. But if they use Chinese passwords, it will be easy to distinguish between the enemy and the enemy, but as long as they dare to say it, the Japanese devils will greet them with grenades. So I can only use Japanese, so what can they do except think of the Japanese Baga? Chapter 1148, Rendezvous No Joy But Sorrow There was a sound of surprise in the dilapidated house, it was a sound of surprise, although the sound was suppressed very low, but that kind of joy still seemed to be able to shake the dust in the house. The reason is that all the soldiers in the room were extremely surprised and shocked to see the few people who had appeared in front of them. The one squatting in the middle is Shang Zhen, and the one squatting with Shang Zhen is Bai Zhan. But there were still four soldiers behind Shang Zhen, especially the one who was also squatting, but the big man with a physique that could stand up to two of them was enough to shock old Mao Wang and the others. However, Shang Zhen's gaze also swept across the faces of all of them, 
and there was a kind of kindness that only belonged to men in his eyes. On such a huge battlefield, hundreds of thousands of soldiers are killed every day, and they can be reunited. Is it easy? It's not easy. You know how to come back from death, kid. In the end, old Mao Wang spoke first, and then old Mao Wang hit Shang Zhen's shoulder with his fist. Old Mao Wang smashed so hard that Shang Zhen, who was squatting on the ground a little unsteadily, shuddered back. Then he touched the body of the big man who was squatting behind him and stabilized himself. At this time, old Mao Wang and his group had a feeling of being hit by a mountain. Hey! Shang Zhen smiled. When Shang Zhen smiled like this, everyone laughed too, but what Shang Zhen said next made everyone unable to laugh, it's a death, but this time we all won't die together, right? Let's talk later if we have something to say, let's see if we can survive today. When he said the latter sentence, Shang Zhen stood up, bowed and walked forward. Yes, the joy of rendezvous was immediately replaced by the dangerous situation of the enemy. They have experienced countless battlefields, but this time if they are discovered by the Japanese army, it will be a desperate situation, the kind of desperate situation of being wiped out by the regiment. As far as the front of the house was concerned, it was naturally where Wang Lao Mao and the others observed earlier, that is to say, the pile of rubble was still there, and the body of the soldier from the Northeast Army was still buried. But now the exposed part of the body, that is, the part below the calf, has been buried by old Mao Wang and the others. Chu Bo, who followed Shang Zhen, took a special look at Shang Zhen, and frowned when he saw that Shang Zhen arrived at the pile of rubble and began to lie down and crawl forward. It is now mid-April, and the weather is starting to heat up. Although the temperature was not very high, the body of the anti-Japanese soldier had been stored for a long time, and there was a faint smell of corpse. Do veterans like Shang Zhen and the others still need to pay a special visit? The nose only needs to smell it to know what it smells like. A brother from the Northeast Army was killed here, and we buried him. Chu Bo finally reminded Shang Zhen in a low voice. Shang Zhen let out an O, oh, expressionlessly avoided the rubble in front of him, but looked forward from the side. It's just that Chu Bo didn't know that Shang Zhen's heart was by no means as peaceful as it appeared on the surface. As a veteran, Shang Zhen had heard of a Chinese army that was completely destroyed by Japanese firepower due to fortifications while defending the position. In desperation, he piled up the bodies of those brothers who died in battle in front of him as a cover. However, Shang Zhen's experience in positional warfare is limited, and he has no experience in that area. Thinking about the defenders who used his brother's corpse as a cover was helpless, but now as long as possible, he would not climb over the dead soldiers of the Northeast Army. This is also a kind of respect for the brothers in the same trench. On the other hand, Shang Zhen was already sighing in his heart. He was sure that the brother of the Northeast Army who died in battle belonged to the Lu Dehu camp, but he didn't know who it was, whether he had met him or not. No. But Shang Zhen also knew that now was not the time to be sentimental, he observed the situation outside for a while and retreated, while Chu Bo stayed where he was as an observation post. Shang Zhen had just arrived at this house. When it came to war, no matter how powerful the enemy was, he still had to do the preparations. He had to observe the terrain first. Seeing Shang Zhen passing through the remaining rooms in this house, old Mao Wang followed this time. This time, he didn't say that Shang Zhen finally came back from death, instead he murmured in Shang Zhen's ear with great interest, Boy, it's fine, after all, he is an official. Shang Zhen glanced at Wang Lao Mao in confusion, wondering why Wang Lao Mao said that. You see, you have only been away for more than a month, so you have pulled up another team, that big man who looks like a black iron tower, tisk tisk. Old Mao Wang praised sincerely, and he didn't know what he was doing. Praising Shang Zhen was still praising the big man, or both. Old Mao Wang really praised it from the bottom of his heart. Wang Lao Mao has a common problem of some Northeast people, that is, he can't say good things well. 
it's like someone's little kid is growing up healthy and strong. If ordinary people look at it, they will say, oh, this kid is growing up really well. He must be as strong as a calf when he grows up. But there is such a kind of man who sees someone's child growing strong, stretches out his hand and slaps the other's protruding buttocks with a slap, and then slaps the child so that he will cry. Northeast people call such a man Hukniar, and no one knows how to write those two characters. Anyway, it means that adults like children very much and don't know how to express them. And when this kind of personality falls on Wang Lao Mao, others will say when they see Shang Zhen, Oh, boss, you are back. But when it came to old Mao Wang's mouth, it became, you are finally back from death. So in Wang Lao Mao's view, it's easy for me to praise someone well. But at this moment, he saw that Shang Zhen did not show a happy expression after hearing what he said, but the corner of his mouth twitched, and he ignored him at all, and went to another room instead. Oops, this little bastard. His temper has grown after not seeing him for a few days. Old Mao Wang was angry. But he didn't know what kind of psychological activity Shang Zhen was at this time. As soon as Shang Zhen heard Wang Lao Mao say that he had pulled up another team, just this sentence felt like a needle, which really stuck in his heart. Although it is impossible to stab himself to death www.mtlnovel.com but it still makes his heart twitch. What can he say to old Mao Wang? Said to be. I, Shang Zhen, pulled up another team, and there was almost a company at the most. But now, there are only five people left in the nearly one company. Those brothers who have saved themselves have all died in battle. As far as the brother from the Northeast Army you said was buried, maybe he was a brother I knew. So at this juncture, how could Shang Zhen be in a good mood when old Mao Wang talked about this topic? Shang Zhen looked around with a sullen face and turned back to the middle room, but most of the people were still hiding in the middle of the room, helpless. But at this time, Chu Bo, who was watching directly in front of him, said in a low voice, It's not good, the little devil has started searching. Chapter 1149, The House Collapsed Shang Zhen suddenly laughed, and everyone looked at their reappearing boss and logically should be happy. It's just because Shang Zhen has been sullen and unhappy after reuniting with them this time. It's just that Shang Zhen laughed, but the soldiers couldn't. Because, Shang Zhen smiled this time, but it would be better not to laugh, because it was a wry smile. Who would have thought that the people like them had worked so hard to meet up, but ended up in a desperate situation? There are Japanese troops in all directions, and the Japanese army began to search house by house again, and they will be discovered by the Japanese army soon. Then the Japanese army probably didn't need to bombard this dilapidated house with cannons. They just fired a few grenades with a grenade, and the house was completely collapsed. Why don't we rush out? What Maur Husa said undoubtedly represented the thoughts of the vast majority of soldiers. Looking at it now, Staying here is waiting for death, so it's better to rush out and have a fight with the Japanese army. This kind of thinking is undoubtedly in line with the thinking of all the soldiers present, especially the Northeast soldiers. It doesn't matter if it's a trapped beast, or it doesn't matter if you grab a few backs before you die, anyway, since you must die, why don't you die vigorously, and you have to die aggrieved? It's just that Ma or Husa thought so, but Wang Lao Mao didn't see it. Wang Lao Mao glanced at Shang Zhen's unique pensive expression and said to Ma or Huzi, even if Shang Boy doesn't come back, it won't be his turn. It's up to you to decide, shut up. Old Mao Wang certainly didn't want to die. When the surprise attack failed and he ran back in the dark, he thought he was going to die, but he ran back unscathed, as the saying goes, you don't want to die after you die once. Old Mao Wang once made an account for himself an account about the dead. How many brothers I knew died, and how many Japanese devils I have killed since September 18th. He dare not say that he must have killed more Japanese devils than his brothers killed by Japanese devils, but he felt that he must have killed more Japanese devils than ordinary soldiers. Although their group, including Shang Zhen, had been fighting against the Japanese army, 
they had never said such bold words such as expel the Tartars and give us back our country and rivers among themselves. Wang Lao Mao felt that if he was younger, he would still beat devils. But now he really doesn't want to, he still wants to take Zhu Hongzia to find a place to live a leisurely life, to warm up the Kong with his wife and children, since he has killed so many Japanese devils, he is also worthy of those brothers who have already died. So, even though he is now in a desperate situation, he is still lucky and hopes that Shang Zhen's return will bring good luck to people like himself. And then, old Mao Wang beat Ma or Huzi, and Ma or Huzi remained silent. In fact, what Wang Lao Mao said is not wrong. Now that the person in charge has become Shang Zhen again, no matter what orders Shang Zhen gives, they will obey unconditionally. At this time, Shang Zhen spoke, and time did not allow Shang Zhen to think of countermeasures, but perhaps he had already finished thinking. Don't rush out just live a little longer. No one expected Shang Zhen to say such unambitious words. However, Shang Zhen is Shang Zhen. Whether it is Wang Lao Mao and his group of old people, or the four people he brought back later, Li Qingfeng, De Leidu, Wang Ziodan, and Hu Zhuang, Shang Zhen has already confirmed that authority. So, if this order is not ambitious, then it has no ambition, and if you have no ambition, you have to execute it. More than ten minutes later, more than a dozen Japanese soldiers finally appeared in front of the dilapidated house with their guns. A Japanese army sergeant gave the order, and two Japanese soldiers rushed to the house with their guns in front and one in the back. It's just that they only took two steps, and the Japanese soldier in front stopped. This house looked dangerous, as if it would collapse at any moment. The part without the cover that was blown up is nothing more than that, even the part with the cover is drooping and tilted down, at least from the outside, it is all supported by a piece of wood with the thick mouth of a bowl. If the piece of wood was a good piece of wood, it would be fine, but most of the piece of wood had been broken in one place, which should have been pierced by shrapnel. Why didn't the Japanese soldiers rush to this house these days? It was because everyone could see that the house was in dire straits, and anyone who came in was afraid of being photographed falling inside again. Therefore, at this time, the Japanese soldier was also afraid, and as soon as he reached out, he took off a grenade hanging on his belt. His intention was already obvious, that is, he didn't want to go in and be photographed by the house that might collapse immediately, so, throw a grenade in and it's over. It's just that the Japanese military officer behind him spoke again, and of course only the Japanese understood what he said. In his voice, the Japanese soldier in front had already reached out to touch the pin on the grenade, but after hearing what the sergeant said, he didn't move the pin and instead hung the grenade back, and then he you can only move forward with a rifle in your hand. The reason why he did this was naturally trained by the sergeant behind him. Now if it is the usual big Japanese Imperial Army massacring the village, you can kill people, set fire, shoot and throw grenades, you can do whatever you want. But now it is in Tai Chuang, and now there is no sound of fighting in the whole Tai Chuang. Now you suddenly blew a grenade, so the surrounding army of the great Japanese empire will not be able to increase their troops here? So, the Japanese soldiers in the back raised their guns and watched as their two soldiers entered the wall of the house that was only less than knee high and walked around a pile of rubble that was higher than their knees. The Japanese soldiers behind put their rifles on their shoulders, and they also became a little nervous. Just because the side of the house facing them had already collapsed, the two companions entered the house that looked like it would collapse at any moment. God knows if the Chinese soldiers were hiding inside. The scene became more and more quiet. From the perspective of the Japanese army, whether there were Chinese troops in the half-collapsed house was a matter of this moment. But at this moment, there was a mosquito-like humming sound in the distant sky, which was covering up the rustling sound of the two Japanese soldiers stepping on the ruins. In this regard, most of the Japanese soldiers present did not feel anything about it, but the expression of the Japanese sergeant behind him changed. He raised his head to the sky, but regardless of what he found, he heard a click at this juncture. 
When the Japanese army sergeant looked back and looked forward, he saw that the half-laminated house in front of him had collapsed. Then the sergeant vaguely heard one of the two companions in front shouting, and at the same time, the roof of the roof was slapped down www.mtlnovel.com The red tiles on it poured down there was a boom sound, and the smoke and dust rose sharply. That house actually collapsed, and it just collapsed when their Imperial Japanese army entered to search for people. Eager to save people, by this time these Japanese soldiers had forgotten that there might be Chinese troops, so they rushed up. At this time, they ignored one thing, that is, only the two rooms in the front of the half-drawn house have collapsed, but there are still standing rooms in the back. And while these Japanese soldiers were busy helping their companions, only the Japanese sergeant CAO standing at the back did not move. The collapse of the house just now really shocked him, but the house collapsed, and the people were smashed, so they were smashed. This is an unchangeable reality. But the original mosquito-like sound in the sky has become more and more the roar of an airplane. Hearing the roar of the plane, the Japanese sergeant's expression became worried. Chapter 1150, God Never Dies My Counterattack If the dust is light enough, it is like air, and where there is air, there is dust. At the moment when the house collapsed and dust rose, in the adjacent room of the collapsed house, Shang Zhen who was leaning against the wall instinctively closed their eyes, because the dust gushed from the hole they dug out. Came in. But only a moment later, they opened their eyes again and stared closely at the outside which had become translucent even though there was dust everywhere. The present situation was all carried out under Shang Zhen's thinking of refraining from urgency and forbearance. Shang Zhen didn't tell the soldiers why they had to endure and hide instead of rushing out to fight the Japanese army. In fact, he didn't have time to talk to the soldiers either. Just a few minutes before the Japanese army arrived at the half-collapsed house, Shang Zhen instructed the soldiers to do this. They removed the pillars of the two houses outside that were added by the soldiers to support them, including the one that the Japanese soldier saw when he stepped in. Then they made support for the two rooms at the back. There was also a little accident. Shang Zhen originally planned that the house in front of him collapsed, but who would have thought that Hu Chuang, who just came here, was not familiar with the situation in the room, so he accidentally touched a pillar, and the roof collapsed. Just fall to the ground. It turned out that Gu Man, who happened to be right next to Hu Chuang, who was almost tall on both sides, stretched out his hand to support it, and then the big stupid rushed to follow him with force, which saved the bad luck of the room collapsing first. Some soldiers hurriedly supported the place that was about to collapse, but at the same time, most of them used bayonets to poke several observation holes in the wall. It's really just a partition wall, in other words, the partition wall only serves as a partition but does not need to bear weight. Then, Shang Zhen and the others stopped because the Japanese army arrived outside. When the two of them entered the room outside that lacked a wall but had a cover that almost collapsed, Shang Zhen, who was hiding at the door of the inner room, just threw a brick and smashed it at the broken part of the pillar, and the pillar fell when it was broken, the room collapsed. Everything sounds complicated, but it happened too fast, and only one of the two Japanese soldiers had time to yell and then he was slapped under the roof, and his life and death were unknown. It's just that if this can solve their current crisis, it's almost child's play. Now what Shang Zhen and the others are waiting for is the next move of the Japanese army. If the Japanese army not only robbed the house and rescued the two Japanese soldiers but also came in again, then Shang Zhen and the others could only do it. As for how to do it, it involves the issue of how to deploy troops. Now there are more than 30 people including Shang Zhen and the others, and there is only one door as the entrance and exit between this room and the one that fell down. But how could this be difficult for the soldiers? Their method is to use their own bodies to smash down this weak wall, and then start fighting. Shang Zhen, who put his eyes on the hole, has already raised his left arm. Although he was watching the movement of the Japanese army outside, as long as the Japanese army made a slight attack on the two ruined houses that were still standing, Shang Zhen's arm would fall down. 
then we must start fighting. There were not many of them, but they were too crowded in this room. If the Japanese army flew in a grenade, then Shang Zhen and the others would have no chance to fight the Japanese army. The flying dust has already started to fall, and the Japanese soldiers can already be seen picking up the collapsed timber tiles in the hole. At this time, the Japanese soldiers are anxious, and they are saving lives, but the world is peaceful for the vast majority of Chinese soldiers in the house, because they have already put all their attention on those who are bending over. He bowed his head to the busy Japanese army. They didn't think that they could escape the search of the Japanese army in this way, and they didn't understand why Shang Zhen let them endure it. In the end, there were only two standing rooms left in a huge house. Therefore, they are ready to go to war. But at this moment, Shang Zhen, who had been staring at the movement outside, couldn't help but frowned, because he heard the sound of planes roaring louder and louder in the sky. What's the situation? It seems that the plane of the Japanese devils is coming again. Shang Zhen sighed inwardly, then he gathered his attention and continued to observe the Japanese army outside. He also just asked the soldiers to use bayonets to poke a few holes in the wall that was originally a single wall. Even the small hole is not as big as a walnut, so the field of vision is naturally limited, and he can only see such a small bump. But at this moment, he happened to notice that a Japanese soldier raised his head and looked towards him, and then his head stopped moving. How far is the distance between the enemy and us, not even ten meters? Didn't this guy discover the anomaly in his house? After all, they poked a few new holes in the wall, so the sand that was poked out should be new, right? To be honest, at this moment, Shang Zhen was really ready to drop his raised left hand, he couldn't gamble with the lives of his thirty or so brothers. If this really let the Japanese devils use a grenade to put them all in one pot, it would be like the September 18th that humiliated the Northeast Army for eight years, and then had to continue to bear the shameful night. But at this moment, there was a huge explosion sound suddenly. Yes, there was a huge explosion. The explosion sound was so loud. Compared with the explosion sound, it was the explosion sound of the 92-type infantry artillery with a short barrel of the Japanese army. Compared with it, it was like the explosion of a grenade fired by a grenadier. Voice as for the explosion sound from the grenadier, compared with the current explosion sound, the sound of two kicks is exaggerated, it sounds like that little whip. Plane bombing. At this moment, Shang Zhen suddenly came to his senses. Yes, it was a plane bombing, and only the aerial bombs dropped from the plane would make such a big commotion. It's not right. But Shang Zhen immediately realized something was wrong. What's wrong? That explosion was in the wrong place. The explosion sounded from behind Shang Zhen and the others. But whose position is behind now? That is the position of the Japanese army. The Japanese army has already occupied more than half of Tai Chuang. In other words, the planes that flew that day actually blew up the Japanese positions. Could it be that the Little Devil's plane dropped the bomb by mistake? Impossible. Shang Zhen was thinking about it, and then the sound of the explosion became a piece www.mtlnovel.com The rumbling explosion sound came one after another and finally mixed together, it was no longer deafening, Shang Zhen felt at this moment, my ears are already deaf. This is the plane of our Chinese army, and Shang Zhen wakes up again. Does the Chinese army have planes? Of course there is. Shang Zhen knows that even though he has been avoiding positional warfare intentionally or unintentionally, he has never had the chance to see his own air force. Since the plane above Taiwan belongs to China, what does it mean? It shows that our own army started to counterattack when our team was about to be discovered by the Japanese army. Although Shang Zhen couldn't see the sky now, he could tell from the sound of the continuous and rapidly approaching explosions that there could never be one or two planes. This is no longer just a counterattack by the Chinese army, it should be a general offensive by the Chinese army. Oops. This counterattack is too timely, God will not kill me. Shang Zhen almost yelled out. Chapter 1151, 
see also Air Force. In fact, Shang Zhen was still a little worried. What he was worried about was not the dozen or so Japanese soldiers who had come to search the house. The dozen or so Japanese soldiers had already run back, they were fleeing from the plains of the Chinese army. What Shang Zhen is worried about is that this time his partner's plane will blow up the house if it doesn't see it, right? If it happened that a bomb fell on them, they would really have no place to cry. But what he was worried about did not happen after all, the roar of the plane in the sky was still there, but the sound of the explosion was gone, followed by the sound of machine guns firing, the sound of machine guns shooting down at the ground from the sky. What's the matter? What's the matter? Huzuza didn't react, so he pushed forward from behind. Huzuza felt that it was really no fault of his own. Only a few holes were punched in that wall, and there were only so many people who could stand in front and observe the Japanese army, and the rest of them were all hiding behind. The people behind couldn't see what was going on outside, but according to the reaction of the people in front, they also found that the situation had changed, so how could they not be curious? And it wasn't just Huzuza who moved, the people behind all moved, but it was Huzuza who squeezed in the front, and when it was over, he went to grab the later big stupid who was looking out through the hole. Everyone just stay still, don't make a sound. Shang Zhen said without turning his head. As soon as Shang Zhen said a word, the soldiers behind all stopped, but Huzuzi, who had just pushed the big old stupid away, was pushed aside again by the big old stupid with a shake of his arms. Huzuzi was quite strong among Shang Zhen's group, but he didn't expect that the old man would just shake his arms like that and fool himself. Tiger people have their own tiger place, and tiger people will not accept it when they see others are tigers than themselves. Are you squeezing me? Huzuzi was not happy. But before he could say anything else, Shang Zhen in front of him turned his head again and said, Huzuzi, if you talk again, I'll hang you on the beam. Huzuzi raised his eyes habitually, but when he saw that it was Shang Zhen who was speaking, he realized that Shang Zhen was back now, so he closed his mouth. Huzuzi didn't know it, but just as he was colliding with the big stupid, old Mao Wang, who was right in front, murmured in Shang Zhen's ear, This Huan's leather is a bit tight recently. If the leather is tight, it must be loose, so why loose? Of course, it loosened after a fat beating. Of course Shang Zhen understood what Wang Lao Mao meant, but how could he not know what Hu Zuzi looked like? That's why he gave Hu Zuzi a sentence. While speaking, the sound of the plane in the sky became louder and louder, and it was already overhead in an instant. Everything was just Shang Zhen's inference. He glanced at the front and could not see the shadow of the Japanese army, and guessed that they were hiding, so he sneaked out from the door of that room and lay down on the ground to look up. The pile of rubble in front was still there, and two more people lay down in the room. There was a cover in front, and Shang Zhen was not worried about being discovered by the Japanese soldiers who walked away. Huzuza doesn't know what's good and what's wrong, and can't figure out what's important. Shang Zhen is not Hu Zuzi. He looked up to the sky just in time, and it happened that a huge monoplane flew over his head, and the logo painted on the belly and under the wing was exactly the blue sky and white sun of the National Army. Oops. We really have our own plane. Shang Zhen immediately became excited. But then he suddenly wondered, does the Chinese army still have planes? As far as Shang Zhen knew, the Northeast Army had planes but it was a pity that they were given to the Japanese devils after September 18th. It turned out that the Central Army also had planes. And that Chinese Air Force once really made the eyes of the Chinese people shine. The most famous one was the August 14th air battle, which shot down six Japanese aircraft with a record of 6,0. As for those pilots, they are definitely the top students in China nowadays from Tsinghua University, Nankai University, Kilo University, and so on. Just imagine the pitiful literacy rate in the Republic of China today, with a population of 400 million, there are only half a million people who can read and write. If there is a high-level education in the countryside, they are considered high-level intellectuals. 
and how many teenagers or young people of the right age who can read among these half a billion literate people? And how many of these teenagers are lucky enough to be able to study in universities, and can also enter first-class universities such as Tsinghua University, Nankai University, and Kilo University? And how many of these few first-class college students can meet the quality requirements of pilots? Therefore, as far as Shang Zhen knows, the pilots in the August 13th air battle are definitely the elite among the elites in China today. It's just a pity that there is a gap in the industrial level between China and Japan. The Japanese devils can build their own planes, but now China can't even make aviation kerosene, so naturally there will be one less plane. Later generations say that civil aviation aircraft has the lowest probability of accidents among all means of transportation. No matter how you calculate it, it is a matter for civilian use. But one thing is undeniable, as long as the civil aviation airliner falls from the sky, there is no one in a thousand miles that the crew and passengers can survive. And once a fighter bomber flying in the sky is hit, assuming the pilot is not killed, he can still escape by parachuting, but the survival rate is not much higher than that of a civilian airliner. Therefore, the number of pilots of the Chinese Air Force naturally decreases with the loss of fighter planes. There are thousands of Japanese planes, and only a few hundred Chinese planes. One is disappearing and the other is growing. It is doubtful whether the Chinese Air Force still has an Air Force. Even before seeing the Chinese planes today, Shang Zhen thought he was an army there are no more planes. The reason why Shang Zhen knew so well about the Chinese Air Force was of course because of Gao Swift. Gao Yuyin is a college student from a famous school, and Gao Yuhang, Gao Yuyin's elder brother who is a pilot in the Chinese Air Force, has a relationship with him. But Gao Yuhang had already died in battle, and Shang Zhen had seen the newspaper about Gao Yuhang's death in battle. Let alone the loss of elites. The whole nation is suffering www.mtlnovel.com The elites are also Chinese, right? Gradually Shang Zhen also lost news of the Chinese Air Force. But how did the Chinese Air Force appear today? Shang Zhen thought about it while watching, and then he realized that the plane that flew over his head was not one, the one that just flew over was a single-winged one, but this time it was a double-winged one. There are actually two types of aircraft dispatched by the Air Force. Shang Zhen then lay on the ground and looked up at the sky. Then, Shang Zhen counted the planes in the sky, and in the end, Shang Zhen counted nine planes that flew over his head. Moreover, the plane was not flying high, but it was clearly heading for the Japanese position in the south. Shang Zhen seemed to have seen the cheers of the National Army officers and soldiers on the Chinese position. There are countless Guanshan Mountains and countless Guanshan Mountains, but how do you feel that this Guanshan Mountain in Taichuang can be guarded this time? Shang Zhen's heart suddenly became excited, and he suddenly felt a sense of enthusiasm. Chapter 1152, Veterans Let's go out and fight devils too. Hearing the non-stop sound of guns and guns all around, someone suggested in one of the only two rooms that remain standing. The other soldiers sitting on the floor in the room reacted differently to this proposal. The same is that the soldiers were silent, and no one responded to his proposal. The difference is that some of them also showed eager expressions, some just looked at him and knew that he was not the one who made the decisions, but most of them looked at the proposal with an expression similar to that of an idiot. Then he glanced at the expressionless commander sitting by the door. Just because it was Hu Zuzu who proposed to go out to fight the devils, and the commander with the expressionless face was of course Shang Zhen. What do Northeast people mean when they say a man is a tiger? Contains silly meaning. But that's not always the case. Anyway, I just take things for granted. When I think about it, I feel that I am right, and I feel that others should think like me. Kuzuza didn't take it seriously when he saw that no one paid attention to him, he was used to it. However, this time, after all, he thought that Shang Zhen had returned, so he still had to obey the orders for any actions. So he lowered his waist and raised his legs and walked towards Shang Zhen. It was daytime now, and there was a window on one side of the room, 
so if he didn't bow down, what if he was seen by the Japanese soldiers outside, right? As for raising your legs high and landing low, that's because there are more than 20 soldiers sitting in the room, so he can't step on them, right? We are all veterans, especially those old people under Shang Zhen, who are used to him. People looked at him like an idiot just now, but now they ignore him. You can see that everyone is fine, but if Hu Zuza dared to step on the cross-legged knees of any of them, the veterans would definitely gang up and beat them up. Anyway, since Shang Zhen played and disappeared, the group of dragons has no leader, and when he was angry, everyone beat him together, not once or twice. Let's go, let's go out and fight devils. Hu Zuzi, who finally walked to Shang Zhen's side, squatted down and said to Shang Zhen. Before Shang Zhen could speak, old Mao Wang beside him had already sneered and said, I think some people can't tell who is the second child and who is the king. What do you mean? Who's the junior and who's the king? I'm good at pushing row nine and not playing around. Hu Zuzi didn't like old Mao Wang's words. Xiao Erda Wang naturally refers to playing cards. If it is in the Northeast nowadays, there are very few gambling equipment with playing cards, but after traveling all over the country, these veterans naturally know that they have playing cards. However, as Hu Zuzi himself said, he doesn't know how to play poker. He couldn't figure out why those poker cards with pictures showed women with curly hair, but there were beards on the corners of their mouths. Please forgive the ignorance of Chinese people nowadays, there are still many people like Hu Zuzi who think that they have long hair as women. Hu Zuzi couldn't even tell whether the person on the playing card was a man or a woman, let alone read out the hook circle. Wang Lao Mao didn't expect Hu Zuzi to answer him like that, and he had nothing to say for a while. It was Shang Zhen who answered, Why do you want to go out and fight devils? Then didn't you just say that? Our people started to counterattack. Listen, there are fights in all directions, so when we go out, we will fight those idiots inside and outside. Hu Zuzi answered happily. At least in his opinion, his logic is correct, if he can know the word logic. Then you go, crawl out, don't let the little devil know that our people are hiding here. Old Mao Wang suddenly said seriously. Okay. Hu Zuzi was overjoyed. But just as he was about to move, he thought of another question and said, What you said now doesn't count, Shang Zhen, can we go out and fight devils? Don't tell me, he still remembers that Shang Zhen is the commander and the leader. He was also the one who listened to Shang Zhen the most in the team. Shang Zhen bit his lower lip with the two upper dies and remained silent. From the perspective of the veterans who are familiar with Shang Zhen, Shang Zhen can't wait to kill Hu Zuzi right now. But from Hu Zuzi's point of view, Shang Zhen agreed without saying a word, and he really lay down and crawled out from the door in full view of everyone. Seeing Hu Zuzi's appearance, the expressions of the people in the room became strange, how could they not see that old Mao Wang was actually playing tricks on Hu Zuzi? If the chief is like this, there will be others following suit. At this time, someone said in a low voice, Hu Zuzi, you are also a veteran, why are you sticking out so high when you climb forward? It was Qin Chuan. A person's tiger and sincerity are often linked together. When Hu Zuzi heard Qin Chuan say this, he still thought about it, no, even though he hasn't fought a war recently, he hasn't eaten anything good to eat, so why is his so fat and fleshy, why is it sticking up? He subconsciously pressed his down again. Finally, Someone in the room couldn't help but let out a low laugh. One person laughed and the others couldn't hold it anymore, but they had to hold it if they couldn't. They were under the nose of the Japanese army now, so there was a sound of eating. The sound of hanging and eating is called hard work to endure. Those who were smiling were all old people like Shang Zhen, they still had newcomers here, such as Li Qingfeng, Dalaoban, Wang Ziodan, and Hu Chuang but the four of them were already stunned. It turned out that when they were with Shang Zhen, they listened to the veterans of Ma Erbao asking how Shang Zhen's former gang was doing. At that time, Shang Zhen's answer was quite simple, what about the other soldiers and what about them, anyway, 
they were fighting devils. However, Shang Zhen said so, but Li Qingfeng and the others didn't think so. They thought that since Shang Zhen was so powerful, the people under him were naturally heroes. Otherwise, how could they have been fighting since September 18th and are still alive today? Of course, they could only say this behind their backs, and they would never say it in front of Shang Zhen. But no matter what they thought, they never thought that there would be such a tiger man as Hu Zuzi in the Northeast Army. He wouldn't really go to fight devils alone, would he? Wang Xiaodan muttered in a low voice. No, that Huan throwing is still not clear. At this time, Ma Tianfang who heard Wang Xiaodan's question replied in a low voice. Wang Xiaodan let out an O, oh, then glanced at Ma Tianfang timidly. Ma Tianfang now has only one arm. In Wang Xiaodan's view, Ma Tianfang is a veteran of hundreds of battles in the true sense. He never imagined that a soldier who broke an arm would still fight devils on the battlefield. I am so impressed. But at the door at this time, Shang Zhen was already talking to Jian Chuaner again, Chuaner, let's talk about the time we've been apart. By the way, how is the little dustpan's injury? It's much better, I can walk down the ground, but Jian Chuaner hesitated to speak. But what? Shang Zhen asked. But I feel that the little dustpan seems to have something to do with that female nurse surnamed Zhang. Qian Chuaner whispered gossip. Oh. Shang Zhen's eyes lit up and he didn't comment, but he subconsciously glanced at old Hat Wang beside him. Unfortunately, Shang Zhen's little trick was discovered by old Mao Wang. Did you see me talking about that little bastard? Old Mao Wang asked. Hey. Shang Zhen smiled. How can I say that smile, it's not a wicked smile, it's not a fake smile, but no matter how you look at it, it's the kind of smile that has a deep meaning, or a smile with illusions. Shang Zhen smiled like this, Qian Chuaner also thought about something, so he laughed and said in a low voice, it seems that Aunt Wang is late, so she won't be in a hurry. You too. Old Mao Wang's old face blushed a little. If Shang Zhen just glanced at him, he wouldn't understand, but Shang Zhen would understand www.mtlnovel.com This little is saying that the little dustpan calls himself the old man in other words, he was saying, I don't know if I made my little daughter-in-law Zhu Hengzia's belly bigger. It's all like this, how can you say that old face of Mr. Wang can get off the stage? But that being said, at the same time, Wang Lao Mao actually has a little bit of complacency in his heart. How do you guys know that Wang Lao Mao can't grow old trees? However, with Wang Lao Mao's usual style of selling old people, he must scold Shang Zhen and Qian Chuaner, but at this time Hu Zuzi had already crawled back from the door. He also asked, I'm just going to fight the devils myself, why don't you go? What Hu Zuzi said doesn't mean that he must have figured out why but at least he knows that if he really wants to fight the Japanese army and cooperate with the surrounding Chinese troops, it will not be enough for him alone. Chapter 1153, Source of Military Aid Boom, there was an explosion sound. It's not surprising that there are shells exploding on the battlefield, but the problem is that during the explosion, the shelves of the house click and click, and the whole house is flickering. The cries of fuck and oh my god sounded almost simultaneously. Although some soldiers stretched out their hands to cover their heads, some soldiers stretched out their hands to support the pillars beside them, and at this time the dust and dirt on the roof of the house fell. Down into the collar of the soldier's clothes. What are you covering your head for? Hurry up and put down the pillar, or the house will collapse. Someone said, it was old Hat Wong. So more people moved forward and stretched out their hands to support a wooden pillar on the beam of the house. At the same time, someone put down his hand covering his head, that was Wang Xiaodan. In the sound of the explosion that was very close to the house just now, Wang Xiaodan's face turned white all of a sudden, but after the scolding by old Mao Wang, his face turned tight again famous. As the change of his face before and after is so obvious, it is like the most famous face changing in Sichuan opera. This is really no wonder Wang Xiaodan. 
from the perspective of participating in the battle, Wang Xiaodan is also a veteran. But the experience of a veteran like him is undoubtedly incomplete, and this is the first time he has experienced shelling. The shelling just now gave Wang Xiaodan a feeling of destroying the world. In such a fear, it definitely does not mean that if you rationally say that I am not afraid, then you must not be afraid. Don't be afraid, this is a trial shooting. Shang Zhen's voice sounded at the door of the house. After hearing Shang Zhen's words, the veterans felt a little more at ease. Of course they understand what test firing is, that is, the artillerymen first fire a shell to see where the shell hits, and then readjust the shooting elements, so as to hit more shells on the target they want to hit. Among them, Chiao Xianna, the best grenadier among the veterans, has always shot like this. It's just that no one noticed, but Shang Zhen's words made Wang Xiaodan's face turn pale again. In Wang Xiaodan's understanding, the test shooting is to fire one shot first, and then the cannonballs fly over like a flock of sparrows, and then they, together with the last two remaining houses, look like human beings. As if dead, Yang's ashes were lifted to nowhere. Wang Xiaodan began to grit his teeth again, he was thinking that he didn't dare to kill people before, but now that he has killed several Japanese devils, what should he be afraid of, he can't lose his position. After a while, the sound of the cannons really rang out, and it really was the sound of cannons. However, although the sound of the cannon was loud, it did not fall to the place where the soldiers were hiding, but it all exploded in the direction of the collapsed city wall. Qian Chu Honor, give way. Wang Lao Mao squeezed Qian Chu Honor who was stretching his neck to look out, then looked out too, and then he became dumbfounded. In the sound of the cannons, the soldiers who were somewhat flustered before suddenly became excited, and they also crowded towards the door and window. Why are you squeezing? Let the little devil see it again. Old Mao Wang scolded in anger. It's okay, the little devils are hiding from guns, how can they have the time to watch us? Ho Kanchen said with a smile on his face. It's just that Ho Wangshan's words shocked Wang Xiaodan who had just noticed him. Is there such an ugly person in this world? But Wang Xiaodan immediately realized that Ho Wangshan's smile was uglier than crying, obviously he was disfigured in this war. But Ho Kanchen also noticed that Wang Xiaodan was looking at him, so he bared on purpose, so Go Do opened his silver teeth, and Wang Xiaodan trembled again. Hey? Why aren't you afraid? At this moment, Ho Wang Shan noticed that the big man who came back with Shang Zhen this time did not change his expression. And that big man is naturally big and stupid. But the big stupid didn't take a second look at Ho Kanchen and replied skin ears. What are you talking about? Ho Wang Shan didn't understand. Pinks are also skeletons, and skeletons are also pinks, so why worry about it? Before the old man could answer, Li Ching Feng, who was with the old stupid, replied. Oh, the few people Ma Gainer brought back this time are quite interesting. Ho Wang Shan looked curiously at Li Ching Feng who seemed to have the cutest height difference with the big old stupid. It's just that before Ho Kanchen could say anything more, the soldiers had already started talking about it. Yes, they are quite close to the Japanese army now but the problem is that the Japanese army is being shelled, and the sound of the bombing is enough to cover up their voices. The soldiers became excited again, just because this time they could be sure that the shelling this time was aimed at the Japanese army. Just like the previous bombing by planes. This time it was really different, the Chinese army unexpectedly obtained aircraft and cannons from nowhere and launched an attack on the Japanese army. When the gunfire stopped, the soldiers all went back to the house and sat down again, but the discussion still continued, and there was only one topic they talked about, that is, where did our people get it? Airplane cannon. Don't be silly, just listen to what Shang Boy said. Old Mao Wang stopped the soldiers' discussion. Everyone looked at Shang Zhen. You really think I'm omnipotent? Shang Zhen smiled wryly, but even so, he still had some ideas. So he went on to say, first of all, we didn't make the aircraft and cannons ourselves. 
Shang Zhen glanced at his subordinates. Although he was the leader, he clearly saw two words in the eyes of his subordinates' nonsense. It's impossible to rob the Japanese devils, and it's not from Britain, France and Germany. Germany can only sell us short guns. It turns out that Shang Zhen used the method of elimination. He has limited knowledge of world powers, but he has heard of them more or less. The Germans seem to be defeated in World War I. It seems that there is some League of Nations that will not let them sell. Offensive weapons to China. So. Old Mao Wang's eyes brightened upon hearing Shang Zhen's analysis. So at the next moment, these veterans all said loudly, Old Mazi. What old man? Li Ching Feng, who had been listening in, didn't understand www.mtlnovel.com Not only did he not understand, but the old stupid, Wang Ziodan, and Hu Chuang who came back this time didn't understand either. Northern neighbor, the Soviet Union. Someone among the soldiers replied, and it was Shushan, whom Shang Zhen and his group recognized as the most educated. Although it is said that the poor are in the busy city and no one asks, and the rich have distant relatives in the mountains. The soldiers also couldn't understand why the Soviets would help China, but the exclusion method used by Shang Zhen was undoubtedly reasonable. It can only be the Soviet Union that provides China with aircraft and artillery. And in fact it is. Since the September 18th incident, China's northern neighbor began to provide China with various aids. Politics, morality, diplomacy, and even aircraft and artillery. During the entire anti-Japanese war, the Soviet Union provided China with more than 1,200 aircraft. As for the certain country that was called the biggest aid to China by a certain woodman in later generations, it is now selling various strategic materials such as Japanese crude oil to make a fortune. Chapter 1154 Avoid the enemy's vigor and attack his lazy return. The current Japanese devils are like mangy dogs. Still in that room, Shang Zhen's eyes swept over the faces of the soldiers. The soldiers were a little surprised, not knowing why Shang Zhen came up with such a comparison. To deal with a mangy dog, you can use sticks and bricks to peel it, even if you don't have anything in your hands, it will run to the den as soon as you bend down. But everyone knows that you can't go to the door of the kennel and grab it. Once you grab it, it has nowhere to retreat, so why not bite you hard? So what? At this point, Shang Zhen stopped talking, and gave everyone a look that you all understand. Yes, the metaphor of Shang Zhen is too vivid. At first, the soldiers didn't understand why Shang Zhen said that the Japanese devils looked like mangy dogs. How vicious the Japanese devils are, it is understandable to say that the Japanese devils are like vicious wolves and vicious dogs. It was the first time they heard that Shang Zhen compared the Japanese devils to mangy dogs just now. However, having said that, how can we let other people's ambition destroy our prestige? They like Shang Zhen's metaphor. The reason why Shang Zhen said this was because the sound of guns from all sides was getting closer and closer to them. Even with Hu Zuzu's IQ, he could guess that the Japanese devils in Taichuang were surrounded by the Chinese army and were going to die. Need to say? So the sound of guns and guns coming from all directions made everyone's heart itch. In this way, it was not just Hu Zuzu who showed it, even Ma or Huza said earlier, let's go fight devils too. When he said this, he glanced at Shang Zhen and hurriedly added, you won't be hungry if you beat devils. Ma or Huza's reason for beating devils was so good that everyone turned to Shang Zhen, so he had the metaphor of Shang Zhen just now. Shang Zhen also had a headache, why didn't he understand that although his style of play was to save the lives of his people as much as possible, from the outside performance, it was no different from fighting cowardly. It's just that at this time, Shang Zhen is no longer that recruit, but he has long understood that it doesn't matter what he does, he always has to find a reason for what he does. So he purposely looked at Chu Tian again and said, I remember a saying called he began to slap his forehead. The soldiers all looked at him, and Wang Lao Mao also looked at Shang Zhen, but what he thought in his heart was, this little doesn't want to fight, so he has to find an excuse, 
who knows what sentence you said. But at this time Shang Zhen really remembered and said, this sentence is to avoid the enemy and attack Sui Gui with vigor, scholars, am I right? Yes. This time, three people answered at the same time, namely Chu Tian, Chen Han Wen, and Gu Bing. Gu Bing joined Shang Zhen's group after the ancient Manchurian era. We only found out after getting along for a long time. I don't know whether Gu Bing knows more than Chu Tian, but he must be better than Chen Han Wen, a semi-talented scholar. Also became a scholar. Now that Shang Zhen found a reason for his group to endure for the time being, they continued to suffer in that dilapidated house. Although it was said that everyone was meeting together, no one of them actually ate seriously before the meeting, and everyone was dizzy not to mention hungry, but they were also hungry with their chests sticking to their backs. But in the midst of their still suffering, the Taichuang battlefield has become more and more intense. The gunfire stopped, but the gunshots and grenade explosions were getting closer and closer, and they could even see the Japanese army starting to shoot northward on the collapsed city wall to the north. This shows that the Chinese army has really encircled the Japanese troops in Taichuang who had not had time to withdraw. At this distance, let alone a rifle, a box cannon with a wooden box can hit the Japanese army. In this way, everyone felt itchy again. Although intellectually speaking, being a spectator is in their best interest, but the feeling of being a spectator is really uncomfortable. Everyone looked at Shang Zhen again, but Shang Zhen was lying on the door looking north, they couldn't even see Shang Zhen's expression, let alone guess what Shang Zhen was up to. At this moment, Chu Bo muttered, it's four o'clock in the afternoon now. I wonder if the battle can be over before dark. Among Shang Zhen's group, Chu Bo has always been steady, but even though he was just talking about time, it also proved that he was also itchy. Ho Wang Shan, Li Ching Feng, you two will go out with me to investigate the enemy's situation. Shang Zhen suddenly ordered. The chief officer gave an order, and those two people naturally stood up. However, Shang Zhen didn't go through the door, instead he led the two people and jumped out from the side window. At this time, old people such as Wang Lao Mao and the others knew that the pair of cutest little guys brought back by Shang Zhen was called Li Qing Feng. Why did you bring that person? Wang Xiaodan asked in a low voice. Of course he couldn't be referring to Li Qing Feng. Li Qing Feng's skills were not ordinary, and he was most suitable for scouting situations, so the person he was talking about could only refer to Ho Wang Shan. For Wang Xiaodan's question, De Leidu and Hu Chuang naturally didn't know the answer, but Qin Chuan said mysteriously at this time, didn't you see that bastard's face is so gaudy, the boss has a smile on his face. He is convenient. Qin Chuan's words naturally made Wang Xiaodan and the three of them puzzled. Qin Chuan smiled and said, don't you guys think that if you smear some dog blood on that dog day's face, it will be a living corpse? Wang Xiaodan, De Laoban, and Hu Chuang were speechless for a moment. Judging from their current contact with Shang Zhen and the group of old people, it has really broken their imagination. If Hu Zuz's performance made the three of them feel that the old people were a bit stupid, then Qin Chuan's words gave Shang Zhen and the old people the label of mouth damage. You say that those little devils are on the city wall, and they have to be killed for their marksmanship ah, Hu Zuzu said, looking at the figure of the Japanese soldier lying on the wall shooting. Hu Zuzu didn't dare not listen to Shang Zhen, but seeing the Japanese soldiers shooting out, and they were right behind the Japanese soldiers, how could he feel comfortable in his heart? You know what a fart. But he was scolded by old Mao Wang just after he finished speaking. How could Wang Lao Mao not understand what Hu Zuzi was thinking, he had to hold down Hu Zuzi, because he was afraid that after a while he might not be able to help but shoot at the Japanese soldiers on the north wall. As long as you understand. Hu Zuzi retorted when he saw old Mao Wang answering the words. He was really not used to anyone in this group except Shang Zhen. You went out to Gaha like a Shang boy, that is to observe the terrain and prepare to fight. Wang Lao Mao said angrily. He naturally knows the virtues of Hu Zuzi, so he won't argue with Hu Zuzi, 
at least at this juncture www.mtlnovel.com really or not. Hu Zuzi didn't believe old Mao Wang's words. When will our boss stop fighting? Can you say a few words less? Qian Chuaner also hurriedly persuaded him. Hu Zuzi scratched his head. In his memory, Shang Zhen really beat the devils like this. He always said that he would not reach out, but he didn't save it in the end. Hu Zuzi looked back at the window, of course he hoped that Shang Zhen would get back through that window quickly, and then there would be a battle. But just as he turned his head, he heard the gunfire behind him, and when he turned his head again, he saw a few clouds of smoke rising from the collapsed city wall to the north. We don't need to take action, we use mortars, this battle will be won. Chu Bo said excitedly. While talking, they saw smoke and dust rising from the city wall, but this time they couldn't even see the figure of the Japanese army clearly. Chapter 1155, Arrangement Against Common Sense The voice of a Japanese person came from the room. At this time, Li Ching Feng and a group of soldiers happened to arrive at the corner of the house. Ching Feng Li stopped involuntarily. Previously, Shang Zhen took Li Ching Feng and Ho Wang Shan out to scout out the enemy's situation, and then asked Li Ching to lead the people to move their positions. There are ghosts in this house. Li Ching Feng felt a chill run down his spine. He went out with Shang Zhen to investigate the situation before, but he ran not far from this house, and they were not discovered by the Japanese army. Otherwise, people just need to throw a grenade out, so the three of them. Fighting is not like playing chess. If you say you are a peerless master, you can beat anyone with all your strategies. Fighting is more like playing mahjong and pushing pai gao. Luck still plays a big role. Li Ching Feng was thinking about what to do, when he followed Li Ching Feng, he felt someone pat him on the shoulder, and when he turned around, he saw that it was old Mao Wang. Old Mao Wang also heard the movement of the Japanese army in that house, he didn't have Ching Feng Li's hesitation. At this time, Li Ching Feng saw that old Mao Wang only made a few gestures, and then most of the soldiers hid behind the ruins of another house next to him, and the only ones left were old Mao Wang and Chu Bo, a total of four people. As soon as Wang Lao Mao reached out, he took out a grenade from his trouser pocket, and the three of them did the same. Then Li Ching Feng saw these four people tiptoeing to the door and window of the house. The house is relatively big, at least on their side, there is one door and three windows. Old Mao Wang and the others started pulling out the pins of the grenade. When Li Ching Feng saw Old Mao Wang, how could they not guess what these veterans were going to do? His eyes also lit up, but unfortunately, he didn't have a grenade in his hand. Ching Feng Li could only watch. He saw Xu Bo who had already hid by the window holding a grenade that had been pulled out and then he turned his head and winked at him. And then no one shouted, and saw that the four people smashed their grenades at the wall at the same time, and then threw their grenades through the doors and windows. A moment later, the grenade exploded, and the smoke and dust debris from the explosion flew out from the hole in the window. Go! Old Mao Wang waved his hand, and Ching Feng Li jumped in front of the four of them again. He has to lead the way and he came back to lead the way. Okay. Boy, you have a bright future, I like you. Old Mao Wang praised Li Ching Feng sincerely. Experts will know if there is one as soon as they make a move. Although Wang Lao Mao has never seen Li Ching Feng shoot, but Li King Feng's movement is as fast and light as a ray of breeze, how could he not see it? This Li Ching Feng is a good seedling who is a soldier. As for the fact that they threw a few grenades at the Japanese army just on the way, Wang Lao Mao didn't mind. He said in Northeast dialect that Dizzy was disturbed all around, and the little devil was already too busy to take care of himself, so why are they afraid of making a little explosion? Where is the devil? Old Mao Wang asked Shang Zhen when a group of soldiers moved to a small second floor on the side of the street. As for why Shang Zhen brought everyone out, Ching Feng Li relayed Shang Zhen's words when he came back, saying that the dilapidated house would collapse if it was not supported, so could it be used as a battlefield? Listen. 
Shang Zhen said, pointing forward. Now the front that Shang Zhen is pointing at is their west side. They slipped out from near the north city wall, ran all the way to the southwest, and finally hid here. If the squadron hadn't counterattacked, Shang Zhen would definitely not let his own people shift positions like this. Of course, it was because most of La Zhuang was occupied by the Japanese army, and the area around them was considered to be the territory of the Japanese army before. At that time when Shang Zhen and the others had not joined Wang Lao Mao, the enemy situation around Shang Zhen and the others was the same, and the situation around Wang Lao Mao and the others was also the same. But it was different when the team was fully encircled at the beginning. First the plane from the sky. The bombs were thrown and then the cannons fired shells. It wasn't just the squadron that was shocked by this firepower, the Japanese army was also shocked. Therefore, the morale of the squadron doubled and the Japanese army became panicked. As the squadron launched a ground attack from all sides of Tai Chuang, when the Japanese army in Tai Chuang discovered that they were surrounded, they naturally gathered all their forces to organize defense. In this way, Shang Zhen and the others had more room to move around, otherwise, it would never have been like before, old Mao Wang and the others only encountered a group of Japanese soldiers. Of course, Wang Lao Mao felt that the wounded soldiers of the Japanese army should be placed in that house. What happened to the bomber? If it blows up, it will blow up. Old Mao Wang doesn't have any psychological burden. They are worrying about carrying too many grenades on their bodies now. Now that Shang Zhen let Wang Lao Mao listen, Wang Lao Mao also judged it in an instant, the gunshot and explosion just at the corner of the street in front of them was the most intense. If the little devils can't stand it, I guess they will have to retreat from the street in front of us in a while, so let's hit them. Shang Zhen said. Is this why you spied here? Old Mao Wang curled his lips. Old Mao Wang curled his lips, of course it makes sense, then the scouts must catch the shadow of the little devil, what kind of observation is Shang Zhen called? But he didn't even see a ghost. That's not as good as them not to mention the four grenades they threw just now, even if one grenade kills one, it can kill four more. Shang Zhen didn't know that Wang Lao Mao's words were thorny, but he pretended not to listen and began to deploy troops. Chu Bo, you take the powerful grenade and go to the back of the house in front. The rest with long guns will stay with me here, and we will start fighting when little devils come over in a while. I'll take a few good marksmen upstairs to cover fire for you. Shang Zhen's battle plan is really very simple. If he hadn't assigned a task for himself, as far as his battle plan is concerned, those two sentences would be enough to explain it. When the soldiers were about to move, Ching Feng Li suddenly asked, Why didn't you send people across the street? Didn't you say that crossfire kills the most enemies? Ching Feng Li's question made those veterans who were about to move couldn't help but hey. Obviously, Ching Feng Li's question was both reasonable and unexpected. Reasonably, what Li Ching Feng said about ambush and cross shooting is common sense in combat. Unexpectedly, they didn't expect Ching Feng Li to be so good for nothing that he knew how to fight with his brain. Hey, why don't you say it, why didn't I think of it? Hu Zuzi said suddenly after hearing the trick, but everyone ignored his words. The reason why we don't send people to the opposite side is because there will be no good cover in case of a fight, that's enough, let's act. Shang Zhen's answer was still brief, and everyone, including Li Ching Feng, understood it. How could Shang Zhen make such a common sense mistake? As he said, he didn't send people to the opposite side because once the battle happened, the house on the other side of the street would be in ruins. If there is nothing to hide and nothing to retreat, then the loss will be great. As for them, although they are only three or four hundred meters away from the city wall in the northwest of Tai Chuang, the problem is that the terrain behind them is more favorable. There was a residential area behind them. Although the war had already destroyed the residential area, it was not collapsed after all, and there were still some half-destroyed ones. After they go in, they can rely on the terrain to consume the Japanese army. Looking at the current fighting situation between the enemy and us, 
they must have consumed enough energy to win the counterattack of the squadron. And Shang Zhen's metaphor of beating a mangy dog still holds true. He didn't want to abduct a few of his own men into the Tai Chuang battle after seeing the Japanese lose the battle. Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com Let's not talk about El Yudahu's battalion, which was beaten to annihilation, and Su Xinwei's soldiers who have not been with him for a long time. Back to join Wang Lao Mao, but they lost four more people. Wang Lao Mao's Bai Zhan, He Ziyong Ke, and Fan Chan Chan didn't come back when they broke out, and his Wu Ziki was gone too. Shang Zhen couldn't tell why he didn't have it at all, he was also lurking in the dark with those few people before. It's just that Shang Zhen didn't do anything when he saw the strength of the Japanese army, but Wu Ziki ran away from them at night when they heard about Wang Lao Mao and the others. Night is night, you can't shout loudly, isn't it normal to lose someone by accident? A soldier is a soldier, and Shang Zhen calls Wu Ziki a second-hander in his heart, but it does not mean that he does not admit that Wu Ziki is now an anti-Japanese fighter. He doesn't want to cause more casualties to his soldiers, especially at this moment when victory is in sight. Chapter 1156, Ambush in the Ruins Do you know how to use grenades? Maur Husey asked Big Boss while hiding behind a wall. Yeah. The old stupid replied. These are for you. Maur Husey said, and then he flicked up his clothes as if juggling, and then the big fool saw that the circle around Maur Husey's waist was actually full of clothes. Grenade. Damn it. I even got an autumn coat to wear, that's enough to make me sick. Maurhu said while picking the grenade from his belt. And the big old stupid said oh while receiving the grenade. The simple and honest look of the big old man immediately won the favor of Maurhu Z. Have you ever beaten a devil? Are you nervous? Maurhu Z asked while staring at the old fool while pulling out the pin of the grenade. I have. Big old stupid replied honestly and he was honest in the first place. But Big Boss didn't move the next grenade after he pulled the pin out of the first grenade, so he had to wait. Shang Zhen said that the Japanese devils would probably come from this street, but what if they don't? What should I do if the grenade pin is pulled out too much and can't be thrown out? Carry? That's crazy. As long as you hit the grenade fuse while walking, there will be a boom. Maurhusa liked the calmness of the old man more and more, so he said, We all like this kind of ant's way of beating devils. When the little devil is not paying attention, throw a grenade and shoot a burst of sharp guns, and wait for the little devil to react. Let's run. Big Boss said oh habitually, of course he knew in his heart that Shang Zhen led them to beat devils like this most of the time. You look like one of our former brothers. Maurhusa thought of Erhansa when he saw the old stupid. Before the old stupid asked which brother, Chupo, who was on their flank, had already shouted in a low voice, Get ready to fight, the little devil is here. Upon hearing Chupo's order, the soldiers who hid in twos and threes behind the walls, corners of the house, and behind the ruins, although their preparations were different, they swiped all at once. The tall, Stupid man raised his head and exposed the top of his head, glanced at the other side of the street, then retracted, and he started to touch the second grenade. Maurhusi is naturally not as tall as the big and stupid, so he turned his head sideways and glanced out from the wall, and he also saw the Japanese army, and Chupo's words came, prepare all the grenades. Enough, the little devil is a big one. There is a colloquial saying that I said, that is that's not so good. That's right, that's not a big deal, Maurhusa can see that the devils rushing over from the other side of the street are like a big piece of yellow, and as for the back, God knows there are more. But at this time, it is definitely an arrow with no turning back. Chubo and his group who were in charge of dropping the bombs all lowered their heads and pulled out the pins of the grenades one after another. There were too many Japanese troops coming over, they were afraid that it would be too late to pull out the pins of the grenade after the battle started. They are all veterans, and their thinking is actually the same as that of the big stupid. At the beginning, 
they didn't know the enemy's situation and dared not pull out too many grenade pins. At this time, Shang Zhen brought a few soldiers and was already on the top of the small second floor. The four circles on the roof of the small second floor happened to have a parapet, but the parapet can just be used as a shelter for them. Shang Zhenta did not expect that so many Japanese troops would rush out at once. To say that this sudden situation was not quite what he had expected, but at this juncture he would never order a retreat. He had asked Wang Lao Mao before, Wang Lao Mao and the others seized four boxes of grenades from the Japanese army, plus Wang Lao Mao and the others originally brought them themselves, the fragments produced by the explosion of the grenade are always more than the heads of the Japanese devils, right? The Japanese army ran over very quickly, and Tai Chuang was only so big. Besides, the street did not run straight from west to east, and in just a moment, the Japanese army in front had already run past the house where Chu Bo and his gang were lying in ambush, and headed towards Shang Zhen. Coming. If you eat too much, your belly will bloat. At this time, old Mao Wang who was ambushing downstairs couldn't help muttering, the military is dangerous, even though old Mao Wang has experienced many battles, they didn't dare to ambush there have been so many Japanese soldiers. How can this be the retreat of the Japanese army? This is clearly the locust crossing the street. And at this time, before Shang Zhen could shoot to signal the start of the battle, Chu Bo on their right had already shouted fight, and then more than a dozen grenades shot from the corner of the ruined wall where they were hiding. Fly out! Chu Bo couldn't wait for Shang Zhen's order any longer, there were too many Japanese troops, if some Japanese troops missed them and rushed to them for a little bit of entanglement, then the Japanese troops like a swarm of locusts would be able to encircle them. The Japanese army also never thought that there would be Chinese troops ambushing them here. Just imagine, they have already occupied most of Tai Chuang, so how could they have thought that a Chinese army team would infiltrate behind them? So the Japanese army was really not prepared at all. When the quick response Japanese army shouted for an enemy attack, the grenade exploded in the Japanese army. It's just that at the same time as the blast, another grenade flew out. At the same time, gunshots from the soldiers on Shang Zhen's side who were buried behind the road also rang out. Shang Zhen and the others now have more than 30 people, and there are only more than 10 at each end, but Shang Zhen and the others the sound of this gun is not weak. The reason is, how far are they from the Japanese army now, that is more than 50 meters, all of them are veterans, who still uses rifles at this distance. But it used a light-colored box cannon. Although the box cannon is not as penetrating as a rifle, it can shoot very fast. As long as it hits the Japanese army, who cares if it can kill it? Put it down first. As soon as the smoke produced by the first wave of explosions formed, the second wave of grenades penetrated into it again, and then there was another explosion of white light. At the same time, the air wave generated by the explosion swept away the previous smoke, and Shang Zhen and the others saw that at least Chu Bo and his ambush positions had no Japanese soldiers standing on the street. Hit the back! Shang Zhen shouted loudly, and the box cannon on his shoulder rang like popping beans. The reaction speed of the Japanese army was not slow and it was even said to be quite fast. As soon as the Japanese army was attacked in the front, the Japanese army observed the place where the grenade flew out and immediately divided up. What Shang Zhen is fighting now is the Japanese army who divided up and tried to encircle Chu Bo and the others. Shang Zhen knocked down several Japanese soldiers one after another www.mtlnovel.com and then shouted, Retreat! He shrank his head and looked beside him, seeing Hu Chuang half kneeling behind the parapet and holding his rifle standing on that wall to shoot at the Japanese army. As soon as Shang Zhen stretched out his hand, he tugged Hu Chuang. Hu Chuang was aiming intently there, even in his wildest dreams, he never imagined that Shang Zhen would drag him by the side. So he was unprepared and was dragged to sit on the ground by Shang Zhen. At the same time, the shot was fired, so Hu Chuang couldn't help but yelled ah, it was because he was stunned by the of the gun when he moved. For a moment. 
Everyone who has used a rifle knows that the of the rifle must be pressed against the shoulder when shooting with a rifle, because the rifle has recoil at the moment of shooting, and the recoil is not small. Just imagine, if the recoil force of the rifle is small, it proves that the kinetic energy generated by the rifle is not enough, and how can it push a lead shot hundreds of meters away? But the following facts proved that Shang Zhen was so right when he yanked him. As soon as Hu Chuang sat down, the sound of dang and dang came from above his head. It was the Japanese army who shot the bullet into the parapet. Chapter 1157, Needles and Nails The parapet is the wall around the roof of the building, which was built when the building was built. It can prevent the construction workers from falling and play a role similar to a protective fence, as well as waterproof the building or play a decorative role. Generally speaking, the parapet is also knee-high. As far as Shang Zhen and the others who were on the roof just now, although they can serve as a cover to set up guns, they have to expose their upper body when shooting. Shang Zhen himself was able to use a box cannon to hit the Japanese army with a hundred shots, and the Japanese army used a 38 style rifle to hit them behind the parapet with their upper body exposed. This time, their ambush caught the Japanese army off guard, and that's fine. If the Japanese army counterattacked further, they would be killed. Therefore, Chubo only threw three rounds of grenades and then called to run quickly, while Shang Zhen turned around and retreated before the Japanese army raised their guns. Shang Zhen wanted to cover up the truth but he didn't want to cover under the Japanese army's perfect marksmanship. In that case, the person he was covering might escape, but he himself would just throw it here. To say something ugly but true to the people of the Northeast, that is, they are veterans who are more thieves than rabbits, and if there is anything wrong, they will run away immediately. So, Shang Zhen and his group of veterans can definitely add another metaphor to the original two metaphors, called vicious as a wolf, cunning as a fox, and running like a rabbit. Shang Zhen hunched over and sprinted on the roof of the small second floor. At this time, the random bullets from the direction of the Japanese army hit the parapet and flew over Shang Zhen's head. When Shang Zhen ran to the other side of the building, even if the Japanese bullets wanted to hit him, they had no shooting angle. At this time, Shang Zhen jumped down directly as soon as he pressed the parapet. How high is the second floor? Anyone with a little common sense in life knows that it is about 6 meters. Can a person who weighs more than 100 kilograms fall from a height of 6 meters and be injured? Lian Jiazi, of course, the kind of Lian Jiazi who has practiced light kung fu will definitely not be injured. Shang Zhen is not a Lian Jiazi, but he has already observed it since he got to the top of this building. When he jumped down in the air, he landed directly on the rain on the door of the first floor. Who knows whether Shang Zhen's jump was too violent or the Yudeo was loosened by the gunfire. Shang Zhen smashed his body, and the Yudeo also fell down with a click. Nowadays, China's steel production is extremely limited, and the rain tower rarely uses reinforced concrete, so when Shang Zhen smashed the rain tower, it fell from the second floor to the first floor again. Fortunately, the rain rig relieved Shang Zhen of his strength, and after landing, Shang Zhen ran diagonally forward. At this moment, he still didn't forget to glance at Chu Bo and the others. The explosions of the grenades had become sporadic, and Chu Bo and the others were already retreating. As for the few people who took cover with him on the roof, and old Mao Wang downstairs, Shang Zhen didn't care at all, they were all thieves, they didn't want to jump off the building but they could also take the stairs. Shang Zhen's feet were like the wind, and in a short time he ran to a house. The house had already been burned, and Shang Zhen just raised his legs and jumped in. Then he turned around and pointed the box cannon forward again. At this moment, Chu Bo's soldiers who threw bombs were almost at the house where Shang Zhen was hiding. The gazes of Chu Bo and Shang Zhen split apart and then he turned around and directed the soldiers who were running back after him, go around. Go around. The soldiers hurriedly went around the house where Shang Zhen was hiding, and at this time the box cannon in Shang Zhen's hand fired another short burst. 
the Japanese army chased so fast. When Shang Zhen fired his gun, a Japanese army who was chasing after Chu Bo and the others was shot and fell down. And then, Shang Zhen's guns stopped, but they were all short bursts of cracking and cracking. Although some Japanese soldiers were knocked down by Shang Zhen, some Japanese soldiers dodged in time. The reason why Shang Zhen shot short bursts was because his breath was still rushing while running wildly, and the other was to increase the deterrent effect. There were really too many Japanese soldiers on the other side of the street. When Shang Zhen emptied his 20-round magazine, there was already a lot of gunshots on his side, and the soldiers who were also in place also started shooting. And at this moment, behind the house, Maur Husa looked at the big stupid curiously and asked, Are you in Gaha? It turned out that the old stupid had already retreated to a place about 10 meters away from the house. The big stupid didn't answer, but ran forward a few steps, then stopped suddenly, and threw a grenade out of his hand. Maur Husa watched as the grenade flew past the house, which must be more than 3 meters high including the roof ridge, and then disappeared. Is it okay? Maur Husa froze for a moment, turned around and ran towards the corner of the room. It's just that he was a little far away from the corner of the room. When he just ran there, he heard the explosion of a grenade in front of him. At the same time, he heard Chu Tian, who was shooting at the other side with a box cannon in the corner, praise, who is this? This grenade is so accurate. Oh, here's another one. Hearing Shushan's words, Ma'er hurriedly turned his head and looked at the old stupid in disbelief. The house where they are now is more than 50 meters away from the house where they ambushed the Japanese army. The grenade is not as far as the grenade with a handle. The problem itself is not here, but the grenade needs to fly over the 3 meter high house where they are hiding, and then land there accurately. In an aisle in the middle of the house. This requires the bomber to consider both the throwing angle and the throwing distance, so the grenade can only fall there if it draws the expected perfect arc in the air, which is very difficult. As far as Shang Zhen's original gang, no one would have thought that the old stupid would have this ability. Although Maur Husa didn't see whether the grenade thrown by Big Boss killed the Japanese army, but he could imagine that the grenade would undoubtedly blow up not bad. Just this technique and this arm strength can catch up with the Japanese Devil's grenade launchers. Then why hesitate? Be the ammunition hand yourself and quickly supply the ammunition. So Maur Husa hurriedly threw his grenade to the big old stupid, and the big old stupid took it, pulled out his pin and knocked his hat and threw the grenade. But this big fool threw out five grenades one after another before he waved his hand and said, No, I'm bored, I'm hungry. Okay, retreat quickly. Shang Zhen jumped out from the back window of the house and shouted. Shang Zhen was still very contented, it was good to be able to beat the devils like this, but he couldn't fight any more. If the little devils regained their composure, it would not be worth the loss if the little devils regained their composure. Under Shang Zhen's order, his people drilled into the dilapidated residential area that had been battered by the flames of war. But this time Shang Zhen ran at the end, he really needed to stop. At this time, the sound of gunfire and explosions from the west was getting closer. Obviously, the Chinese army was also pursuing the Japanese army very closely and the encirclement was gradually shrinking. As far as the current situation is concerned, if it is replaced by other Chinese troops, they may have to block this wave of Japanese troops. But Shang Zhen will never do this, let alone who is right and who is wrong, or it can only be understood as a different combat style www.mtlnovel.com He and his group are more like a sharp needle, piercing the enemy. It hurt, shed some blood turned around and ran away, saying that they were nailed there like a nail. This is by no means their fighting style. If they stayed here, they would definitely cause more casualties to the Japanese army, but the problem is that their combat style is also a habit. If they have always been this style, then their team is not possible, but definitely no longer exists. Up. Killing the enemy and preserving yourself have always been a double-edged sword. If you want to be perfect, you want everything from watermelon to sesame. 
there is no such good thing in this world. Just when Shang Zhen turned around and was about to leave, there was a brief silence in the gunfire not far away, or the gunfire was a little quieter. But at this time, he heard the sound of box cannons firing directly in front of him, that is, the direction where they ambushed the Japanese army. Shang Zhen who was about to turn around and leave suddenly froze. Chapter 1158, Back to the Carbine That is, five minutes later, Wang Lao Mao and Qian Chuan er were looking forward from behind a ruin, and beside them, there were also Chinese soldiers with guns at different positions behind them. Their gang. A street appeared in the gap between the ruins in front of Wang Lao Mao and the others. And this street is the one where Shang Zhen and the others ambushed the Japanese army, but their ambush location was further west. You little brat, you're running wild by yourself. How can there be our people in this place? Old Mao Wang said angrily. Why is there no one from us? Bai Zanji, He Ziyongzi, and Fan Shovel haven't come back yet. Qin Chuan, who was behind Wang Lao Mao, answered. So old Mao Wang was speechless. Just now Wang Lao Mao led the people to withdraw, but then he was stopped by Qian Chuan er who was chasing up from behind. The reason is that Shang Zhen just said to Qian Chuan er, there seems to be someone from us on the other side of the street and then Shang Zhen went alone. Wang Lao Mao was anxious when he heard that Shang Zhen ran away alone. If it were him who was only a platoon leader, he would really be happy to be the commander of an anti-Japanese squad. But now as he gets older, he feels that he is a little powerless. He really doesn't want to worry about these little anymore. If Shang Zhen ran away again, wouldn't he still have to take care of things if he separated from them again? How could he not be in a hurry? And now he led people to chase Shang Zhen and came here, but they really didn't dare to go up the street in front of them easily. The gunshots and explosions around them were getting closer and closer, and they could even see it from their current position. To the west, the smoke and dust from the grenade explosion were no more than 300 meters away from them. That is to say, the Japanese army is retreating, but the Chinese army is chasing after it. If they rush to the street now, it doesn't mean that they may be attacked by the Japanese army, but they will definitely be attacked by the Japanese army. Where did the little go? Wang Lao Mao finally added a prefix in front of his nickname to Shang Zhen to express his dissatisfaction. But at this moment, Shang Zhen seemed to hear him scolding himself, but he got out of a half-collapsed house next to them. We have to rush over there. There are Japanese devils chasing and killing our people. There are high-ranking officials chasing the little devils. I saw several with command knives. When he said this, Shang Zhen didn't look at Wang Lao Mao at all, he was talking to his soldiers, but when he got in front of Wang Lao Mao and the others, he had already turned around and his eyes were still looking at the direction of the street. And right after Shang Zhen said this, he set up a battle plan, Jiao Xiang, have you seen that house over there? There is a devil's heavy machine gun position there, and you give them two bombs. Maor Huzi and Qin Chuan are in charge of covering the right side, Chu Tian and Chen Hanwen are in charge of protecting the left side, the others rushed across the street. Take Chiao Xiang's bombing as the order of action. After finishing speaking, Shang Zhen carried his box cannon to cover the broken house that he had just drilled out of. He never asked his group of people's opinions from the beginning to the end. He didn't need to ask, he was the commander, he ordered to fight, what did he ask others for? Chu Tian, Chen Hanwen, Maor Huzi, and Qin Chuan, who had been assigned a cover mission, each went to cover with short guns. As for Chiao Xiang, he poked the grenade on the ground, but his right arm had already been stretched out. When he picked it up with his thumb, he started to use the soil method to measure the distance. Leave me a few grenades, I can throw them over. At this time, the old man also volunteered. At this time, although all the soldiers obeyed Shang Zhen's order, they all had the same thoughts in their hearts, that is, let's just say, this big man is very good at throwing grenades, and he is really about to catch up with grenade launchers. As for the reason, 
of course it was visual inspection. The heavy machine gun position of the Japanese army that Shang Zhen was referring to was only 70 or 80 meters away from them. It seems that although this big stupid is hungry, his strength is still much greater than that of ordinary people. Wang Lao Mao stared blankly at Shang Zhen and the soldiers who started to move separately. He was stunned for a moment, but he saw that the two soldiers brought back by Shang Zhengzhen were slow to react, so he cursed angrily, You two if you know how to fight, hurry up and follow, or I will engage in military law. When the two soldiers heard Wang Lao Mao's words, they were so frightened that they followed the other soldiers and ran forward, but the two soldiers were Wang Xiaodan and Hu Zhuang. Although the two are considered veterans, they are not afraid of Shang Zhen because Shang Zhen treats people kindly, but after seeing old Mao Wang's appearance, he realized that the former Northeast people are very fierce, and Shang Zhen is the one among the Northeast people. Special case. Next, the battle started with Jiao Xiang firing the grenade half a minute later, and Wang Lao Mao rushed across the street with the rest of the soldiers like the wind. As for the guards on the two wings, they fired a few short bursts, and then ran across the street. Why did they shoot less? It was because they knocked down the sporadic Japanese troops they saw, so what did they shoot? Don't they have to make a lot of noise to let the Japanese army besiege them? At this time, it was not more than five minutes before Shang Zhen and the others blocked the retreating Japanese army. The Japanese army was retreating along the east-west street, but it was blocked by Shang Zhen and the others before. It cannot be said that the battalion was full of wounded soldiers, but within the range of the grenade explosion, the Japanese army was also knocked down. It stands to reason that the Japanese army will continue to retreat and then break out from Xiobayman, which is the city wall that was destroyed by them. But now the gunshots and explosions in the direction of the Xiobayman were just as intense. Who knows if the Japanese army was in contact with each other or for some other reason. They found that it was also very difficult to break through the encirclement at the other end, so they stopped retreating. As for Shang Zhen, he also considered the difficulty of crossing that street, so the place he chose to cross the street was about 200 meters away from the Japanese army going to everyone. This is Tai Chuang, which is full of residential houses or shops. With the shelter of the ruins of the houses within a distance of 200 meters, and the density of the Japanese army's defense is not enough, they really took advantage of such a loophole. Be careful, you have to fight any time. Shang Zhen didn't expect them to rush across the street so smoothly. But, where is the person who hit the box cannon before? Originally, Shang Zhen also planned to retreat. But when he heard the cannon from the box on the other side of the street www.mtlnovel.com for some reason, this picture appeared in his mind. A Chinese soldier is shooting a box cannon with both hands. Although his hands are already exerting force, the muzzle of the box cannon is still beating at a speed visible to the naked eye, that is, the bullets of the 20 ring box cannon in a few seconds the box is emptied. God knows where all those 20 bullets went in just one burst from beginning to end. Shang Zhen was good at using the box cannon, how could he not know that the box was shooting in succession? And who would squander bullets like that, who else but that Wuziki? Is Wuziki the second? Two, really two. But if the person who fired the box cannon was really him, would Shang Zhen save him? They must be saved, and they are also their own people. And all of this is the reason why Shang Zhen led people to kill the carbine again. Chapter 1159 Meeting. When Shang Zhen and the others walked around two collapsed houses, gunshots rang out in front of them. And what is in front of it is a small second floor of a single family. Perhaps the house here is not facing the street, so the small second floor is only collapsed at a corner, and adjacent to the small second floor are tall bungalows with a collapsed roof but the wall is still standing. At this time, Chubo, who was already rushing to the front right, waved his hands, and the soldiers all hid behind the small second floor with their guns. At the same time, Qin Chuan, who rushed to the front left, glanced at the right, waved his hands and hid behind another corner of the small second floor. How to explain this situation? 
Although the sound of gunfire was right in front, the veterans didn't want to rush out directly, that's all. A wise man is not brave. Veterans like them, or you can say that they are veterans, will never rush out of the passages on both sides of the small second floor before they get an order. No matter what they said when they rushed over just now, they fired a few shots. The stubborn people can hear the difference between the sound of the box cannon and the 38 type rifle, and the Japanese army can also hear it. According to Shang Zhen's observation, it should be the Japanese army chasing and killing them, but when the Japanese army heard the gunshots of the Chinese squadron behind them, would they set up defenses behind them? If they were fortified, they would be in danger of directly hitting the guns if they rushed out from the narrow passages on both sides of the small second floor. The performance of these veterans at this time is definitely not brave, but there is no way Shang Zhen and his group of veterans survived the hail of bullets in this way, this is their fighting logic. At this time, Shang Zhen, who also understood the situation ahead, obviously had no intention of letting the soldiers rush forward, saving one or two or even more. Not only did he understand the soldiers very well, even he himself would never do such a thing. However, people want to be rescued, but there is no delay in coming, so what will Shang Zhen do? The soldiers were also waiting for Shang Zhen's order. And Shang Zhen's choice was to point to the top of the small second floor, Qing Feng Li, follow me up, the others follow my orders. Following Shang Zhen's order, the soldiers noticed that the windows on the small second floor were blocked by wooden boards, or nailed to death, and the gate was also closed tightly with the iron general hanging on it. Obviously, the people here had already evacuated before the Taichung War. Common people, they have to live, not to mention that there are always things that cannot be moved in the house with a second arm, so it is normal for the doors and windows to be nailed to death. But just because this place was not destroyed by the war, it was impossible for the soldiers to pass through the wall and the room. And then, these veterans under Shang Zhen saw Shang Zhen and Li King Feng's unusual way of living together. That's all for Shang Zhen, they know that Shang Zhen can climb or jump high. But Qing Feng Li's performance really blinded them. Then Li Qing Feng jumped directly towards the wall on the second floor of the small building and he actually walked four steps on the wall of the second floor of the small building with the force of the rush, and then stretched out his hand to hook the wall on the second floor of the small building. Flat roof eaves turned up. This little brother can do it. Maur Husey, who was with the old stupid, said in surprise, and then asked the old stupid, can you go up? Just when the old man honestly said can't, that Guman whose head was a little bit more aggressive than the old man said angrily, Have you ever seen a tank on the roof? Can't you? Although the big old man is a little shorter than Guman, he is stronger than Guman. He stands up like a black iron tower, and when he squats down, he looks like a tank. It is not so difficult to get the tank on the roof. To change the analogy, Big Boss is a heavy cavalry, which charges into the battle with arrows, Li Qing Feng is a light cavalry or a ranger, and that is for reconnaissance and speed. While talking, Shang Zhen and Li Qing Feng disappeared on the roof of the small second floor. Only a moment later, Qing Feng Li poked his head out from the roof again and said, Listen to us, as soon as the grenade goes off, everyone will rush out. Qing Feng Li shrank back and disappeared. After a while, he lay in ambush. The soldiers at the corners on both sides of the small second small building heard two almost consecutive grenade explosions coming from the front of the building, and at the same time, the sound of box cannons on the roof also rang out rapidly. Chu Bo and Qin Chuan rushed out from the passages on both sides of the small building with their soldiers. And just when the two of them rushed to the other end of the passage, the box cannons in their hands also rang. Although the box cannons used by both of them were semi-automatic, due to the rapid shooting, the bursts of the two guns also converged quickly. It has become a voice that comes and shoots. The two people were shooting but they dodged to the side. The reason was naturally that the passage was narrow. If they didn't dodge the people behind them, how could they rush out and start firing? And at this time, right in front of the small second floor, 
gunshots were all mixed together. Of course there were rifle shots, but more of them were box cannon shots. Not only did Shang Zhen and the others shoot loudly, but there was also the sound of short bursts of box cannons from the bungalow opposite. For a moment, it seemed that the box cannons became the masters of this battlefield, and this was exactly in line with Shang Zhen a surprise attack that shocked their combat philosophy. In just over two minutes, the gunfire stopped here, but more than 20 Japanese soldiers had already fallen in the open space in front of the small second floor. As Shang Zhen had observed before, there was a saber of the Japanese army in it, but the saber was no longer bright, but fell into the pool of blood of the Japanese invaders, and it was full of blood. And at the exits on both sides of the small second floor, several Japanese soldiers also fell. They were killed by Shang Zhen and Li Qingfeng on the roof with grenades, but when the soldiers rushed out just now, they saw the guards who will pay attention to the exported Japanese troops. Wuziki, come out quickly, you bastard. There was a shout from above the small second floor, it was Shang Zhen's voice. Wuziki? Second-hand goods? When Shang Zhen's veterans were wondering, they saw a man running out with a box cannon as soon as the door of a house opposite was opened, and he happily promised, Here, here what? I killed four devils. This person is of course Wuziki. Wuziki reunited with Shang Zhen again, so he was very happy, but he didn't know that his sentence I killed four devils almost made Shang Zhen on the roof spit out a mouthful of old blood. I gave you four magazines and eighty rounds of ammunition, and you killed four devils? Shang Zhen thought so, but someone listened to Wuziki's yelling and praised him, four is a lot. Those who can beat devils are good brothers. The one who sang praises to Wuziki was Hu Zuzza www.mtlnovel.com who knows what's going on, maybe two people in the world attract each other, Shang Zhen can only think so. There are still people, there are still people, you all come out. Wuziki then yelled happily, and at this time two people really ran out from another room. Just looking at those two soldiers, Shang Zhen, the soldiers were happy because those two were he Zionke and Fan Chan Chai. It's only a chicken. Old Mao Wang, who was leaning against the door on the second floor, said angrily. Which chicken is this chicken? Of course it was the white chicken. It's just that Wang Lao Mao's voice hadn't finished yet, but there was an equally cheerful voice behind him, I'm here. When everyone turned their heads, they saw a face protruding from a window on the second floor, but it was by Jean. Lao Jet. Chapter 1160, No Longer Avoiding War After all, it's on the beam of the house, you can come in here. When Shushan laughed in vain, the soldiers were chewing wheat grains. The wheat grains are dark red, and there are some bran in the middle, so you have to blow them before eating. What do you mean on the beam of the house? Guo Baiyu who had just blew on the grain in his hand, expressed his incomprehension. Huang Pitsi, Huang Pitsi is on the beam. Chen Han Wen, who was also with him, joked, so he got by Jean a rolling calf. Therefore, those who understand what a gentleman on the beam is are happy, while those who don't understand this illusion like Guo Baiyu, Yu Ziuolong and Ma or Huzi are also happy because they don't understand it. Turning corners and swearing at people is the patent of cultural people. The reason why Chu Tian said that Bai Zhan lived on the beam of the house meant that Bai Zhan was a gentleman on the beam, in other words, he was just a thief. It happened like this. During the two days of fighting, by accident, Bai Zhan met He Ziyongke and Fan Chan Chai again, and when the three of them met up, they found that there were also Chinese soldiers fighting with the Japanese army. Wuziki. Although they didn't know each other at first, but now they are the two fronts of the enemy and ourselves. Does it matter whether they know each other or not? Being in the same trenches is more important than anything else. When Shang Zhen and the others ambushed the retreating Japanese troops, they happened to be on the other side of Shang Zhen's undefended street. In fact, they did not know that it was Shang Zhen and the others who were attacking the Japanese army. Bai Zhan, he Ziyongke, 
and Fan Chan Chan originally intended not to participate in the battle. They also judged that the situation of the battle was not good for the Japanese army, and they just wanted to wait for the battle to end. That is. But at that time, Wuziki fired a burst of 20 rings at the Japanese army. It is difficult to say who is right and who is wrong in this kind of matter, but at least from the perspective of anti-Japanese, no one can say that Wuziki is wrong. Then, at this time, Wuziki must not be called a bastard. He is an anti-Japanese fighter who is extremely brave and not afraid of sacrifice. Therefore, anti-Japanese does not need second-hand goods, but brave fighters. As soon as Wuziki shot, they were exposed and were chased by the Japanese army, and then Shang Zhen also brought people to hear the news. It is only when we get here that Bai Zhan should be mentioned. Wuziki, Hizayong Ke, and Fan Chan Chan were chased by the Japanese army to the bungalow area opposite the second floor, but Bai Zhan, who was running at the front, got into the building just as he went around the second floor. The doors and windows on the first floor of this small second floor are all sealed, and there are even boards nailed outside the windows, but there are no boards nailed on the second floor. A person who was born as a thief climbed up to the second floor and got in as fast as he could, at least not as complicated as that thief. Besides, as far as the windows on the second floor of this house are not made of glass, they are only made of paper, so there is no need to go through the door and steal a hole, which is easy for Bai Zhan. And then, when Shang Zhen and the others were fighting the Japanese army outside the small building, Bai Zhan, who was also starving inside the small building, found two sacks of wheat grains in this building. When the battle was over and Bai showed himself to explain the situation, Shang Zhen decided to let his people stick to this small building. There is food here, even though it is raw, it is still food. The grains of wheat are old. I don't know when there was a term for this kind of grain preserved in the past year called aged grain, but for the Chinese soldiers present, at least they were edible. Yes, edible. In scientific terms, it is called carbohydrate, which is organic matter, and eating it can make people generate heat in the body. Because it is aged grain, the wheat grains have already dried out, the kind that sounds dry and dry, and the sound of crashing seems to have a sound of metal colliding. But even so, the soldiers are already hungry, and on the second floor of this small second floor, there are more than a dozen soldiers struggling to fight the grain of wheat with their own teeth, just like a group of hungry people. Rat. During the eating process, Chen Hanwen glanced northwest along the window, where the sound of gunshots and explosions was still there, and there was still smoke from the explosion. Dust rose. It was still the same distance from them, more than 200 meters away, and the fierce battle between China and Japan was in full swing. At the same time, the sounds of gunfire and explosions from other directions were getting closer. If there were no accidents, this Taichung battle would eventually be won by the squadron. Although this is a great victory that has never been seen in China, ordinary soldiers like them who participated in the war did not feel that kind of excitement at this time. As for the reasons, there are two. They are old soldiers, they are not new to war and sometimes even get tired of it. 2. They are hungry. The kind of hunger that is so hungry, the kind of hunger that feels so hungry in the middle of the battle, and the kind of hunger that will feel even hungrier once the battle stops. Is there anything more important than not being hungry? When people are very hungry, if I give you a tofu zishi, you will definitely. Tofu is the first choice. You will think of xi shi when you are full, and you will think of when you are full. What the hell? It would be great if it could be ground into flour and scalded with boiling water. Finally, Maur Husa cursed, and he even let out a burp because he was choked on a grain of wheat. How about stuffing a lot of wheat grains into your mouth? However, now that he has the strength to scold, it proves that the threat of hunger has finally receded. That's it. Zhang Kifa, who was with them, also answered, grind it into powder and fry it in some oil. It's better to add some syrup and scald it in boiling water. It will smell old. When Zhang Kifa said this, everyone almost went crazy. 
The so-called sugar syrup is that the people in the northeast chop up beet lumps and boil them in a large pot for a certain period of time, then take out the beet dregs inside, and the inside becomes a reddish-brown viscous, sweet liquid. The reason why the syrup is reddish-brown is because it is the common people's way of making candy. If the purification is not in place, the syrup is not the soft white sugar sold in the market. Don't be silly when you're full. What the hell, it's thanks to our good teeth. What if the teeth don't work when we get old? Huzuza was still chewing the raw wheat grains. He can eat it naturally. As for those of them who don't know, even if they boil the wheat grains in front of them in a pot, it won't be so tiring. However, how could it be possible with what you saw? The Japanese army must have known that they were hiding in this small second floor. They never attacked. It should be because the Chinese army is counter-attacking aggressively. Fuck. It's too far-fetched to think. Chu Bo answered, Don't worry, you don't have to wait until your teeth are bad, let alone you, we should stop cooing before you have bad teeth. Chu Bo undoubtedly spoke the truth. As for the average life expectancy of the population in the Republic of China nowadays, these little soldiers naturally don't know. But, just think about it, those who are 50 years old are called old men, and they are not far from death, instead of being called a mature man at 50 years old as later generations say. And this still refers to ordinary people, just like soldiers who fought in the war, they might die on the battlefield one day, and live to be 50 years old? Living to the age of 40 is probably an extravagant wish. If that's the case, that old will live to the end of his life. Huzuza cursed angrily. It's just that this time, no one answered the conversation. Which old is that old bastard, of course it refers to old Mao Wang. In the days when Shang Zhen was not around, Huzuza often committed crimes against the tiger, so Wang Lao Mao ordered the soldiers to gather him, and whoever hit him would be hurt. I won't forget it. As for Huzuza saying bad things about old Mao Wang and calling him Lao Wang Ba Duzi, Although other soldiers would not report to old Mao Wang that Huzuza scolded you, they would never accept such remarks. At this time, old Mao Wang, who was on the roof of the second floor, naturally didn't know that Huzuza was scolding him www.mtlnovel.com He was also chewing wheat grains, and at the same time, Shang Zhen, who was also chewing wheat grains, was baffled said, I guess we can win the battle in Tai Chuang this time. The battle over there is very close to us. There is still food here, let alone life. It's done, it's over, the terrain here is still favorable. What Shang Zhen said was exactly why he decided to lead his team to stay here. The battle at the other end was in the northwest direction, and it was only more than 200 meters away from them, but they couldn't see the battle situation due to the shelter of the ruins of the house. So even if the street fighting is difficult, with the squadron surrounded on all sides, it will be a matter of time before the Japanese army loses. Okay, anyway, you're back, you can do whatever you want. At this time, old Mao Wang was enjoying the ease of handing over the command, and he was really tired of worrying. As for whether staying here is dangerous or not, how can it not be dangerous nowadays? Ordinary people are staying at home and the little devil's plane may still be pooping on your head. Lao Zhet Chapter 1161, Old Hat's Dream Boss, drink water. Behind the parapet on the roof, Qian Chuan graciously handed Shang Zhen a ladle full of water. Shang Zhen glanced at Qian Chuan er gratefully, took the ladle and drank it. The old hat Wang snorted to express his dissatisfaction, and his eyes fell on the bucket next to Qian Chuan's feet. Shang Zhen led a few people on the roof, and the water was brought up from downstairs through the exit on the floor, which required climbing a ladder. Old Mao Wang didn't ask where Qian Chuan or got the drinking water in such a short time, but Shang Zhen wasn't the only one who was hungry and thirsty, old Mao Wang was also thirsty. If it was the usual way, if they got food and drink, why don't they respect his old hat first, but this time, as soon as Shang Zhen, the little bastard, came back, the soldiers would naturally start to fight again. 
turned around Shang Zhen. However, old Mao Wang couldn't say anything. In fact, they had fought together for seven or eight years, and they knew each other too well. Because they have encountered similar situations, for example, once, the soldiers got a roast chicken. Then someone deliberately asked loudly, Oops, who should eat this chicken thigh? Qian Chuaner would say, Is there any need to ask? Of course, give Uncle Wang one, Uncle Wang is our chief. Just when Wang Lao Mao was enjoying himself, Qin Chuan would deliberately say, You are wrong to say that, when Shang Zhen was here, he was the same as us in talking about officers and soldiers. Is there something wrong with what you said? Nothing wrong. Absolutely nothing wrong. Because it was indeed like this when Shang Zhen was with them. Of course, the saying that the officers and soldiers are unanimous is only said when they, the veterans, are together, and they will never say it when there are outsiders. As for the reason, officers and soldiers unify is suspected of being red, and only the army led by the Communist Party will have such a slogan. At that time, Qin Chuan dared to criticize Wang Lao Mao so much, but Wang Lao Mao had nothing to do, he had no other tricks except itching his teeth. But having said that, it wasn't that Qin Chuan deliberately picked on old Wang's hat, it was just a joke among the brothers who beat him to death together. Qin Chuan raised an objection to Wang Lao Mao's right to enjoy the chicken legs. At this time, Ma Tian Fang, who had only one arm left, would say, I agree to let old Uncle Wang eat the chicken legs first. Don't tell me why. Old Uncle Wang, Uncle Wang, Uncle Wang is the oldest. Respecting the old means regardless of the official, so the old Uncle Wang should eat chicken thighs. When Ma Tian Fang said this, old Mao Wang couldn't be said to be grateful, but he was also appreciative. At this time, Ma Tian Fang will give Wang Mao a wink that you all know and then he will add icing on the cake, the old Uncle Wang is the biggest in terms of official status, and the old Uncle Wang is the biggest in terms of age, so there is nothing wrong with old Uncle Wang eating chicken thighs. But this is not the most important, the most important. Ma Tian Fang started to look around at the crowd, and that was the start of a trick. We have been together for a long time, and now I guess that Ma Tian Fang is not just flattering Wang Lao Mao. Look at him complimenting Wang Lao Mao on the surface, but who knows what he is holding in his stomach. Fart. Sure enough, Ma Tian Fang pointed at the soldiers and said, the main reason is that Uncle Wang has Aunt Wang, so maybe he will add a baby to our team. Does any of you have a daughter-in-law? You, 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 you don't have any, we still expect Uncle Wang to leave a queen for our team. Only then did the crowd understand that the reason why Ma Tian Fang kept flattering Mr. Wang was the key point in the latter sentence, so they roared with laughter. At that time, for such an effect, what could Wang Lao Mao say besides laughing and scolding Ma Tian Fang for not beating him? And just when he returned to his and Zhu Hengzi's place of residence at night, glanced at the anger and planned to continue Lao Niu knows that the sunset is late, so he doesn't need to raise his whip to raise his feet. Zhu Hongzia gave him the good news of I have it. From then on, old Mao Wang really started to think about quitting, he didn't have the consciousness of why is the Huns not destroyed. There are several reasons why he didn't immediately take his little daughter-in-law to spend the days when the daughter-in-law and children were hot on the Kong. Shang Zhen didn't come back, but he has a bunch of people under him. Second, I haven't found a good place yet and I can't go back to the three eastern provinces. 3. Short of money. Always looking for opportunities to get some money so that I can live in that drafty house with my wife and children. Moreover, old Mao Wang also thought about it, he must find a safe place to wash his hands in the golden basin, preferably a place like the paradise that Shushan and Chen Hanwen mentioned. There are peach blossoms and flowing water there, and what kind of fish come in the flowing water? Mandarin fish? Mandarin fish? Forget it, I don't know what kind of fish it is, so it would be good if I could have some big loach. At that time, I will find another wire to thread the big loach into a string, set it on fire and eat it, and the little cub Zhu Hengzia gave birth to will squat next to her, 
and the greedy Hala will come out. Wang Lao Mao leaned his body against the parapet wall, forgetting the unhappiness that he was no longer the boss when Shang Zhen came back, but he thought about his life like a peach blossom garden for a while and was fascinated. But after thinking about it, his veteran instinct is still there, and his head has not surpassed the parapet. It is impossible for the Japanese devils not far away to see me through the parapet, so why not think about the days of the gods in the future? Wang Lao Mao thought like this until he was awakened from his dream by Shang Zhen. Only then did Wang Lao Mao notice that the people squatting on the roof were looking at him with surprise eyes, and there was one more person among them, that was Chubo. How long have you been thinking about it? Chubo came from the first floor. Realizing this, Old Mao Wang noticed that the afternoon sun slanted on the roof of the building where they are now www.mtlnovel.com It was a bit cloudy when I was eating wheat grains and drinking water. The sun is still hiding behind the clouds. Old Uncle Wang, what's the matter with you? Shang Zhen greeted him again. He must have lost his composure just now, and Old Mao Wang knew it, so he realized that he was on the battlefield where he could die at any time and he couldn't help but blushed and said, Hey, I'm old, I'm old, I'm useless yet, almost fell asleep. No one is a roundworm in someone's stomach, although Shang Zhen also thinks that Wang Lao Mao is a bit strange, but how can he think of the beautiful scenery in Wang Lao Mao's heart? We can't wait here all the time, the little devil will definitely lose this time, and we have to fight him too. If other troops call and say that our Northeast Army is here to eat dry food, then forget it. But you also know that a battalion of our Northeast Army was defeated here earlier, and I feel uncomfortable if we don't fight again when we see that we are about to win. Shang Zhen said. Chapter 1162, The Danger of Decoy Dang and boom, following these two sounds, a large piece of brick suddenly fell down on the parapet wall on the roof of a small second floor. As a result, the drain hole that was originally the size of a tofu block disappeared, and a gap was exposed in the neat parapet, the kind of gap that looked like a tooth. There was a gunshot, it was shooting from the bottom up, although it was only one shot, but the bullet did not hit the parapet wall with a dang sound. The gap that came out flew over. Can anyone see bullets passing through the void? Nobody. So how to prove that the bullet just passed through the gap? Someone to prove it. The old stupid who had always been simple and honest, said oh my god when the gun shot, because he smashed open the water outlet of the parapet wall with a hammer. The hammer was found by the soldiers in this small warehouse on the second floor, but it just came in handy just now but the hammer is not the 18-pound sledgehammer that needs to be rounded with both arms. So the big stupid guy who has always been strong only smashed the drain hole three times. He did this to attract the attention of the Japanese army not far away, so the moment he opened the gap, the Japanese army's guns rang out, and the big old man who was lying behind the parapet and smashing the wall was in front of him. As soon as he retracted his head, he felt the sound of the bullet passing through the gap. Rao is an old fool who practiced meditation, but this was the first time he was so close to death, how could he not scream? However, as soon as he yelled, someone on the other side of the gap in the parapet wall laughed out loud, so the monk is also called Mayai. The person was Bai Zhan. The monk is frightened and doesn't say oh my god, so what should he call it? Yu Ziuolong, who was hiding behind Bai Zhan, asked curiously. Idiot, there is no Buddha in the south. Bai Zhan laughed. Yu Ziuolong didn't know what Bai Zhan meant when he said there is no Buddha in the south, but he also followed him happily. Crack and crack, the Japanese army then fired two more shots, but it felt that the bullet flew through the gap accurately. I'm not a monk. Retorted the old stupid who put down his hammer and grabbed the box cannon. Why aren't you a monk? Bai Zhan wondered. We all asked clearly, you are a monk, and that little man is a Taoist priest. Now that the soldiers are together, especially those who joined later like the old stupid Li Ching Feng, the veterans naturally have to ask clearly. How could that mouth stop? A monk in Buddhism refers to a master who can preach scriptures. 
I am just an ordinary monk. The old man explained honestly. Bai Zhan and Yu Ziuolong never thought that the old stupid would say such a thing, and they really didn't know what to say for a while, so Bai Zhan thought, this old stupid little monk is not reading Buddhist books. Stay away, why are you so pedantic? Don't forget why we came here? Are people from the northeast so poor-mouthed? Someone spoke up for big old stupid, and it was Wang Ziodan who was hiding behind big old stupid. Wang Ziodan said this with courage. He had just joined Shang Zhen's group, and he was terrified when he saw the northeast soldiers dancing, dancing, horses, spears, and howling madly, but Li Qingfeng told him in private, don't be afraid of those veterans, everything Shang Zhen is in charge, besides, if you are soft, they will be hard, if you are hard, they will be soft, if you want not to be angry, you have to be hard. Hmm. Bai Zhan, who was also lying behind the parapet wall, glanced at Wang Ziodan, but he didn't have the domineering expression that Wang Ziodan was really worried about. Instead, he smiled and said, I'm not people from the northeast, you can't tell me. Ah. Wang Ziodan was a little stunned, and only then did he know that Bai Zhan was not from the northeast. Why aren't the people in the northeast army from the northeast? Oh. By the way, I am not from the northeast either. But he didn't know that Bai Zhan was not from the northeast, but he had stayed in Peiping for a long time. People from the northeast are really poor, so it's enough to say that the people in Peiping are poor. Just as Wang Ziodan was thinking about it, Bai Zhan suddenly crawled forward and handed out the box cannon in his hand, and fired several shots outside. According to Shang Zhen's order, they made noise at the parapet on the top of the building, and that was to attract the attention of the Japanese army. Originally, their idea was to blow up the drain hole on the top of the building to make it look like a shooting hole, but who would have thought that the hammer would be a little lighter while the old man was clumsy and stronger? He knocked lightly on the brick at the drain hole but couldn't get it down. The big old stupid used a lot of strength in a hurry, but the result was good, the shooting hole didn't come out but a gap was created. But it doesn't matter, as long as it can attract the attention of the Japanese army and make the Japanese army think that they are going to build shooting holes to condescend and shoot at the Japanese army. Shang Zhen and the others have occupied the small second floor for half an hour, but the Japanese army has not come to attack. Just over 200 meters away, the enemy and us are still fighting fiercely. The sound of explosions is really endless and the sound of gunfire and explosions in the periphery is a little closer to their position. The Chinese army who wants to counterattack the battle circle has been further compressed. The fierce battle ahead, it must be the moment of life and death for these surrounded Japanese troops, so the Japanese army has no time to care about their Chinese team that is like a wedge wedged in their camp. But the fact that the Japanese army did not launch an attack on this small second floor does not mean that the Japanese army will not send troops to guard. When Shang Zhen was formulating the battle plan, how could he not have imagined that if they rashly attacked the Japanese army, their losses would be huge? That's why Shang Zhen came up with such a way. He asked Bai Zanda and the four of them to make noise on the roof to attract the attention of the Japanese army and even said to hook the Japanese army's firepower points, while he led most of the soldiers to launch a targeted attack on the Japanese army. Attack Ever since Shang Zhen and the others fought all the way here from the three eastern provinces, how to preserve themselves has become a deep-rooted instinct of Shang Zhen and the others. When encountering a battle, think about it. As long as there is a slight possibility, you must come up with a relatively safe combat plan. You let them honestly fight a charge against the enemy's artillery fire? That's unless you are forced to do nothing. But in fact, as Shang Zhen and the others usually say, if they get together, if the Japanese devils fly a shell, they will have only arms and legs left, but they will not have the brains that can think about things. Up. Then, he will bring his thirty or so people to charge. I'm afraid that there is only one charge, and it will be the first and last time. At this time, Bai Zhan rushed outside and fired. He just poked the gun out without showing his head and fired a few shots at the front and bottom. 
Who knows how the Japanese devils below will react? Will the little devil still shoot a few times? Their marksmanship is accurate but they can't see us. Yu Ziuolong hid behind the parapet and guessed. Little devil doesn't need to explode. Bai Zhan snorted. The explosives that Bai Zhan mentioned followed the words of Shang Zhen and the Northeast soldiers. In fact, they were talking about the grenades fired by grenade launchers. What Bai Zhan said made the other three people on the roof gasp. Can the kid shoot grenades? Although, if the grenade is not a shell, it is unlikely to blow up a big hole in the roof of the building, but that is enough for the four of them to choke. I think it's better for us to retreat. At this time, Wang Xiaodan whispered suddenly. I'm afraid, there is a wall in front of me. The bullets can't penetrate the bombs and they don't have eyes. Yu Ziuolong disagreed. Yu Ziuolong just said that casually, but Bai Zhan frowned and said, Let's go back, I feel a little bit hung up. When Bai Zhan said this, he rolled towards the center of the roof, and Wang Xiaodan followed suit. Of these two people, one was a thief and the other was a natural coward, so the speed of their retreat would never be lower than that of a veteran. When Yu Ziuolong saw those two people going back to Gilu, he followed suit. As for the old stupid, he was a new recruit compared to others, of course he listened to the veteran. And just when they had just returned three or four meters away, they suddenly heard the sound of dong 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 and dong 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 heavy machine guns firing. Speaking of hearing it is actually just a need for expression, and the situation has already happened when it is heard. The section of the parapet in front of them that they just left suddenly burst open www.mtlnovel.com brick chips shot up and smoke rose, and the floor below them had the sound of bullets hitting it, at the same time, bullets were flying from their heads. By this time, survival was already an instinct, and the four of them rushed to the center of the roof. The bricks from the heavy machine guns splashed everywhere, and the smoke and dust covered their eyes like mist. Fortunately, the Japanese army was at a low position, and they retreated from the parapet. There was not much Japanese heavy machine guns could shoot through. The thick parapet can't penetrate the floor after all. Although the brick dust slapped their faces sharply, but after all, there was no danger of their lives. After a while, the sound of machine gun fire from the Japanese army finally stopped and at this time they had already hid in a safe place, Bai Zhan, and the four of them looked up. When the smoke and dust fell, they were surprised to find that it was thanks to their quick withdrawal that the three or four meter parapet wall had disappeared from their hiding place just now. If it was said that the old fool just smashed a small gap in the parapet wall with a hand hammer, then the Japanese army used heavy machine guns to push down a section of the wall. Chapter 1164 there are number two goods, only fighters. No one is allowed to go out, protect your own life. Keep an eye on the devil's little cannon, don't let them give us such a cold. Bai Zhan, Qian Chuaner, Wang Xiaodan, Li Qingfeng, you all go to the back, show me the way to retreat, let's not let the little devils surround you. Oh, by the way, you two are going too, old man Guman. During the interval between the heavy machine guns firing, Shang Zhen kept giving orders. Why did the two of us go too? Gu Man who happened to be beside Shang Zhen didn't understand. In Gu Man's understanding, the four people named by Shang Zhen just now, Bai Zhan, Qian Chuaner, Wang Xiaodan, and Li Qingfeng, are all small and clever people, and they are perfect for scouting the enemy's situation and guarding the sentry. But with people like myself and the old stupid, that one person can almost catch up with the two of them, so what's the matter? You two run fast, look farther away. This was Shang Zhen's answer. Well, you're the boss, you get what you say. Gu Man could only slander, turned around and ran back. Okay, I know that I will leave a way out for myself, this little has grown up after not seeing him for a while, but at this time, Someone secretly praises Shang Zhen in his heart, that is old Hat Wang. At this time, the encirclement circle of the Chinese army was like a curse on Monkey King's head, but it was tightened again. 
But Shang Zhen understood that this Japanese devil was very stubborn, God knows how many Japanese soldiers were surrounded in this encirclement. Seeing that the Japanese army had no hope of breaking through the siege, if they turned around and charged at their own group, how could their thin arms and legs be able to stand up to the Japanese devils? If you can create movement in the devil's center to make the devil's army unstable, then your goal will be achieved. Just in this Tai Chuang battle, other troops did not say that their own group killed as many Japanese devils as their own. One needs to be content, one needs to accept when one is happy, but don't throw your own group into it again. Keep an eye on everything. If the situation is wrong, let's run quickly. The rabbit bites people when it's anxious. Shang Zhen said while hiding in the corner of a collapsed wall and watching. The little devil is not a rabbit, he is a mad dog. If he is trapped, he might turn around and bite us. He especially agrees with Shang Zhen, who sees the situation is not good and leaves immediately. After finishing speaking, he still didn't forget to look back. They are now facing the northwest direction, so their escape route is in the southeast. Although Shang Zhen has sent out those soldiers who can run fast with their hands and feet to guard, old Mao Wang is still worried. There were sounds of fighting from all directions, but perhaps because the Japanese army invaded Tai Chuang from the north, it was convenient to return from wherever they came from. On the contrary, the gunshots from the southeast were much less. Just before Shang Zhen ordered the attack on the Japanese army, old Mao Wang noticed this. Once the Japanese army came to them like a mad dog, the southeast direction would be their escape route. He knew that Shang Zhen must have considered this point, but Shang Zhen was very thoughtful, so Shang Zhen had always been at ease directing him all these years. He understands, not only he understands, they all understand that what Shang Zhen did is definitely not the best, but if any one of them directs the battle, it is absolutely impossible to command the battle better than Shang Zhen, and this also means enough. To say that veterans like Shang Zhen and the others can really be called veterans, it is the time of the decisive battle in Tai Chuang, and the officers and soldiers of the Chinese army are fighting bravely regardless of life and death. The feeling of walking on the thin ice for fear of kicking yourself in. But having said that, there are exceptions among Shang Zhen and the others, who is it? There was more than one exception, but there were two people, one was Hu Zuzi and the other was Wu Ziki. Dong Dong Dong, Dong Dong Dong, the Japanese Type 92 heavy machine gun captured by Shang Zhen and the others rang again, and at this time he was lying behind the heavy machine gun, holding the handle of the machine gun with both hands and pressing the iron Hu Zuzi was so happy. His mouth was so happy that he grinned almost to the bottom of his ears. Since when did he, Huzuzi, experience such an addiction? The heavy machine gun bullets can be fired at will, and he can go wherever he wants. But the problem is that weapons such as heavy machine guns are used for long-distance shooting, and the theoretical shooting range is over a thousand meters, so no matter how close they are, they must hit targets within four to five hundred meters. The heavy machine gun shooting method is about shooting roughly. To put it bluntly, the bullets are fired densely like raindrops. A person can avoid this raindrop and that raindrop in the rain. Can you escape a piece of raindrop? That is impossible. Although the Japanese made this Type 92 heavy machine gun considering their limited resources in the Japanese archipelago, this heavy machine gun pays more attention to accurate shooting than other heavy machine guns such as Maxim but it is still a heavy machine gun after all. Right now, the terrain in Tai Chuang is simply not suitable for using a heavy machine gun to produce probabilistic shooting or area coverage effects, unless the heavy machine gun is moved to a high point where it can shoot freely. But Shang Zhen used this heavy machine gun at this time to create noise and psychologically deter the Japanese army. How could he move this heavy machine gun to a commanding height to fight? If that's the case, Although this heavy machine gun poses a great threat to the Japanese army, but with the Japanese army's marksmanship and proficiency in playing grenades, the Japanese army can kill this heavy machine gun in minutes. Shang Zhen doesn't want to kill anyone now, so how could he move this heavy machine gun to a conspicuous place? Therefore, at present, all the targets that this heavy machine gun can hit have been hit, 
and no Japanese troops have shot at them. The heavy machine gun controlled by Huzuza looks majestic, but in fact it is just an extra-large firecracker that can be fired repeatedly. Huzuza was enjoying shooting the heavy machine gun now, but when he habitually pressed the weight of the heavy machine gun with two thumbs again, the gun stopped firing. Ammunitionist, add bullets. Huzuza yelled. He still knows the ammunition hand, but at this time his ammunition hand has gone on strike, because who is that ammunition hand? It's Wuziki. I want chicken feathers and ammunition. It's fun to listen to you. Now it's my turn. Wuziki held a spring loaded with bullets in his hand and didn't insert it into the heavy machine gun at all. You have no hair yet, what right do you have to shoot? Huzuzi refused to let go. Who doesn't have full hair? The emperor takes turns to do it. Come to my house today. If you don't let me fight, ha, huh, you can find a gunner yourself. Wuziki didn't him at all. Damn it. Huzuzi wanted to be impatient, but he looked left and right, there were indeed people like them behind the door, window and wall beside him, but no matter how stupid Huzuzi was, he understood that he could control those things move who? Then come here, you can only hit two shuttles. Huzuzi gave way. The Type 92 heavy machine gun feeds the ammunition as a springboard, Maxims feeds the ammunition chain, and the submachine gun feeds the ammunition as a magazine, but Huzuza calls the springboard a shuttle, and the box gun is called a habit. Well, it doesn't matter anyway, everyone understands. No, three shuttle. Wuziki refused. You are so troublesome. Huzuzi reached out to receive the springboard. Well, next it will be Wuziki's turn to shoot the heavy machine gun with a big grin. That's when the heavy machine gun went dong 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 and dong 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 again www.mtlnovel.com Where did you find such a again? Wang Lao Mao, who saw the scene just now, asked Shang Zhen, and he said that the second-hander certainly refers to Wu Ziki. And the one who found a second-hand guy undoubtedly said that Hu Zuzi was also a second-hander. Before Shang Zhen could reply, Qin Chuan who was next to Wang Lao Mao continued, It's good this time. The two got together, and they just happened to be a second or fifth son. Urwuzi is also a Northeast dialect, so it has almost the same meaning as Urhubeji, anyway, it means not being sharp. Qin Chuan and Wang Lao Mao naturally wanted to look at Shang Zhen when they were talking, and they were waiting for Shang Zhen's answer. But Shang Zhen stared at the front, but he didn't answer, and the answer was very calm. Obviously, he had already thought about the topic that Wang Lao Mao and Qin Chuan talked about, but what he said was, there are no fakes here, only fighters here. Chapter 1165, Final Battle It's really good. In a small second floor, Bai Zhan was looking at some presents on the table and smiling happily. Nowadays, of course, the national government also issues currency called legal currency but no one in the Republic of China understands that as long as the bill is made of paper, it is not as valuable as real money, so it has purchasing power no matter what time it is it has to be the ocean. Now Dayang is silver dollar. There are several kinds of silver dollars used in the Republic of China nowadays, and they are also called by different names among the people. For example, Yuan Datu, the old man surnamed Yuan on the silver dollar has a relatively large head, and Sun Ziaotu, which means that the old man surnamed Sun on the ruthless Yuan has a relatively small head. As for who the surname Yuan and the surname Sun refer to, everyone knows who they are. The old Yuan Tu, who was called Yuan Datu, turned history back. Everyone believed in the Democratic Republic, but he restored the monarchy and wanted to be emperor. So Yuan Datu is fine but some people think it is disrespectful to the father of the Republic of China to call the other kind Sun Ziaotu. It depends on how you understand such a thing, and the folks may not be respectful to the people above, even if you are the president. It's like Ji Xilan in the Qing dynasty once called the long live emperor Qianlong the old man, and He Shen also said that he was disrespectful to the emperor, but didn't Ji Xilan explain it satisfactorily? Well, 
apart from Yuan Daidu and Sun Xiaodu, there were also some silver coins issued in the Republic of China. Of course, they were slightly different in design, style, weight, and fineness. But no matter what, a silver dollar is a silver dollar, a hard currency. At this time, Bai Zhan doesn't care which head of those silver dollars is big and which is small. But he took off one of his belts and spread them on the table, and put those silver dollars into the belt one by one. It is a bit strange to say that Bai Zhan took off a belt, who doesn't wear a belt, not to mention that Bai Zhan used to be a thief and now he is a soldier fighting in battle. Who has ever seen a soldier who has no belt and carries the waist of his trousers to fight? This is only because since Bai Zhan was originally a thief, he has two belts. One is the leather belt worn by soldiers when they went to war. Bai Zhan's other belt is made of cloth, which is actually a cloth bag. If there is nothing in it, it can be used as a belt. Yes. At this time, Bai Zhan was in a good mood, and the white flowers not only made his eyes shine, but he was still muttering, Tsk Tsk, who did this needlework, what a skill, it's better than that in the village. The clever woman in the movie is even more clever. It turns out that the cloth bag is divided into many hidden compartments. Since there are hidden compartments, there must be something separated from each other, and the space between the compartments is cloth. A silver dollar is just stuffed in a dark box. The advantage of this is that with the layer of cloth as a buffer, when Bai Zhan is running, the silver dollar will not make the sound of metal collision. The reason why Bai Zhan is complacent here is of course because he sewed the cloth strap himself. But it is specially used for him to hide the dirty. How can a thief not be careless? Bai Zhan quickly stuffed the silver dollars on the table into the grid of the cloth bag one by one, then tied the money bag around his waist, and then quickly went up the indoor stairs he ran, and after a while, he appeared on the roof of this small second floor. This small second floor is also the one that Shang Zhen and the others occupied before. Bai Zhan was one of the many soldiers who were ordered by Shang Zhen to guard the back road, and he was also the first person to enter this small building when Shang Zhen and his group met. A thief has a thief, he not only found grains of wheat in this small second floor, but he also discovered the silver dollar hidden in the dark by the way, and now he finally has the time to put it in his waist. Of course, even the silver dollars in vain may not necessarily be spent by him, but what he wants is the sense of accomplishment of being a thief like himself. On the top of the building, Bai Zhan glanced northwest. The gap in the parapet wall that was flattened by the Japanese army with heavy machine guns was still there, so he ran south instead of going there. When Bai Zhan ran to the south parapet, squatted down and stretched his head to look ahead, he suddenly stood up and shouted, Hey, that big man, what is that hanging on the top of your neck? Binoculars. Someone below answered with his head raised when he heard his shout. The man was very tall and strong, but he was big old clumsy, but big old clumsy had a telescope hanging around his neck, and when he ran, the telescope dangled around his neck. Bai Zhan came to watch out for the future, and Deleaduan was one of them. Bai Zhan was thinking about the silver dollars in the small second floor and refused to run far away, but the old man ran far away, but for some reason he came back with a telescope on his neck. What are you doing with him? Bai Zhan asked. I'll take it to Shang Zhen. The old stupid replied. What's the use of giving it to him? It's too close to the devil, and the ground is too low for him to stay there, take it from me. Bai Zhan yelled. This time the big stupid didn't answer but ran forward again with his head down. Hey, why is this big guy so stupid? Bai Zhan said angrily. He quickly stood up and bent his head to look down, but at this moment he saw that the big old stupid didn't go around the building but ran into it the door is closed. This kid is not bad, he looks better than Hu Zuzi. Bai Zhan then praised him. After a while, Bai Zhan and Big Boss were already squatting at the undamaged parapet in the northwest corner, looking northwest, and Bai Zhan was also holding up the binoculars that Big Boss had seized. If you continue to fight like this, troubles will come if you can't finish the fight before dark. Bai Zhan muttered while adjusting the binoculars. 
But at this moment, he and the old stupid heard a dull explosion from the northwest. Just when Shang Zhen and the others created a situation where the Chinese army was here and were ready to flee at any time, the fighting in the northwest direction naturally never stopped. It is not surprising to say that there was an explosion on the other side, but at this moment Bai Zhan noticed that the place where the smoke and dust from the explosion was not at the position where the Chinese and Japanese confronted each other, it seemed to be on the Japanese side. Could it be that Shang Zhen and the others attacked the little devil again? Bai Zhan thought about it, but then he overturned this idea. Don't look at them fighting the Japanese army on this side www.mtlnovel.com but Bai Zhan can imagine that the northwest direction is the main battlefield of the war between China and Japan. The brutality of the battle there was 100% worse than that of this side, so how many anti-Japanese fighters must have died with the Japanese army holding cluster grenades? As far as that place is concerned, let alone directly fighting the Japanese army, even if they are close, they will definitely be splashed with blood. Therefore, there is absolutely no reason for Shang Zhen to join the war again. So what was that explosion? Bai Zhan was thinking about it, when suddenly he heard gunshots from the northwest direction, and then the figure of the Japanese army flashed in the gaps between the row upon row of houses, and they were rushing in their direction, that is, the southeast direction. Hey! Bai Zhan suddenly smiled. You little devils of Goar I have time to break through. But then he changed his face and stood up and shouted, No. Quickly meet Shang Zhen and the others, the little devil ran to our side to break through. Chapter 1166, Final Battle When the dull explosion sounded, Shang Zhen and the others didn't take it seriously. It's normal to have explosions in war, even if the dull explosion sounded like it was exploding in a house it was also normal. This time it was fighting in the streets. When the Japanese army attacked, they fought house by house and alley. Isn't that the same for the Chinese army's counter-attack? But when they found that there were Japanese soldiers rushing out from the streets ahead, they felt that something was wrong, just because those Japanese soldiers seemed to be crazy, and they rushed here without any concealment at all. As an official, he held a box in one hand and a command knife that shone coldly in the setting sun. As a soldier, they didn't march forward with their waists bowed and their guns crossed for cover as before, but they rushed out straight away. There were even Japanese soldiers who didn't even wear that hat, and had white cloth strips tied around their heads. This little devil is charging. Wang Lao Mao was a little stunned. Regardless of who has the qualifications to be a bandit or a soldier, it was the first time he saw a Japanese devil charging like this. Gaha in a daze, prepare a grenade, each person throws one, and withdraw immediately after throwing. Shang Zhen ordered. The devils are at the end of their battles, and we are just going to fight them head on. Why do we have to withdraw? Chen Hanwen asked at this time, and his bookish anger emerged again. The Japanese pirates are powerful, so avoid them for now understand. Shang Zhen's education level is average, but the idiom dictionary is not for nothing. While speaking, the Japanese army was already approaching, and everyone stopped talking and fiddled with the grenade. At this time, Huzuzi and Wuziki were also touching the grenade. The two of them don't play heavy machine guns anymore. There are still bullets for the heavy machine guns, but no heavy machine gun can stand them. They just hit holes and holes so that there is no room for gaps. After one bullet is fired, the next bullet is inserted. Go up, the second springboard has been hit, and the third springboard is connected again. The Japanese army had an advantage in firepower when using heavy machine guns, so the rate of fire of the heavy machine guns was not very high, and the barrel would not become hot due to excessive shooting. If the shooting frequency is too high, what will happen? The barrel will become hot and red, which will affect the shooting. What kind of shooting method are Huzuzi and Wuziki? They are conservative when they say that they are shooting at full load. They are overloaded. Shooting Although the design of the 92-type heavy machine gun is very weird, and the barrel of the barrel is full of heat dissipation structures like the radiators used by the Northeast, 
but the barrel was quickly turned red by the two of them. What else is this? Even if these two people add up to four, but they also know that if they continue to shoot, they will blow up the chamber or something, so they have no choice but to stop shooting. At this time, the fleeing Japanese army was already approaching. With Shang Zhen's order, those who were ambushing in front threw out their grenades one after another, and some soldiers even fired their guns. If you say that the explosion effect of using a grenade to blow up the Japanese devils is naturally good, but Shang Zhen and the others have almost used the grenade in the previous battle. Although Wang Lao Mao and the others captured a lot of grenades from the Japanese army, they also fought street battles with the Japanese army, but they all used grenades to open the way. The poor became rich, and the grenades were a bit ruthless. Originally, Shang Zhen didn't intend to fight the Japanese army. Seeing that the grenade was about to run out, he naturally ordered to retreat quickly, so for a while, they retreated directly when the Japanese army was blown up and down. It's just that they retreated, and the Japanese army is now breaking through, and it is absolutely impossible not to rush out. Those Japanese soldiers who are still alive saw that the Chinese army stopped throwing grenades, but they threw a wave of grenades and continued to charge. Shang Zhen previously said that the Japanese army ran away like a mad dog biting someone, but how could he allow the Japanese army to escape like this when he saw this crucial moment? Just before the battle, he had a new idea. He ran at the end and started shooting at the Japanese army under the cover of the terrain. Even though Shang Zhen ran at the back of their group, he was still ahead of the Japanese army. The Japanese army is now breaking through, even if it is an occasional hiding, it will eventually come to the surface. As for Shang Zhen and the others, they were not in a hurry to run. They ran ahead and naturally found a hiding place before they could calmly shoot at the Japanese army. What is there in Tai Chuang? Of course, there were many houses before the Tai Chuang War. Tai Chuang was the gateway to Zuzhou, and the Beijing Hangzhou Grand Canal passed through Tai Chuang. The commerce was already extremely developed. And when the Tai Chuang War progressed to this time, many houses were destroyed, that is, there were many ruins. Houses can live in people, but ruins can't live in people, but ruins can hide people. Shang Zhen and the others were not greedy, they used the cross cover, shot down a few who ran at the back turned around and ran under the cover of their companions. Besides, Shang Zhen and the others didn't need to run to the street. They went from one ruin to another, and from this broken wall to the low wall of the house behind. Anyway, they always had shelter. On the contrary, if the Japanese army wanted to escape, they had to appear under the guns of Shang Zhen and the others. After chasing, dozens of Japanese soldiers fell down, and at this time Shang Zhen and the others had already reached the first small second building. This time, without waiting for the people who ran over first to shoot and cover, a grenade flew out from the top of the small second floor. The second floor was already high, and the grenade was thrown from the top of the building, so it drew a long arc in midair, flying over the ruins of two houses before falling down. The delayed explosion time of the Japanese grenade was five or six seconds, and the thrower took two steps to run up after smashing the fuse of the grenade, which wasted some time, but the thrower was stronger than the grenade flying in the air. The distance was longer, so it exploded before landing. This is an airburst bomb made unintentionally. Naturally, the thrower had seen where the Japanese army had gone from a high place, so he directly threw one on the top of the small second floor to measure it out in advance. Thinking of it as a matter of brain power, but being able to do it is a matter of ability. The thrower did not expect that the grenade would explode before it hit the ground. But it was a coincidence that the grenade exploded on the heads of several Japanese soldiers who had just rushed out. So at the moment when the grenade exploded, all the Japanese soldiers fell to the ground. Well fried. At this time, a soldier hiding in a corner of the parapet praised loudly www.mtlnovel.com that person was Bai Zhan. And who is the person who can throw the grenade so far? Of course it's stupid. The big stupid being able to throw the grenade so far really blinded Bai Zhan's eyes. 
When Bai Zhang saw that the old man had blown up and killed several Japanese soldiers, he was naturally relieved. It stands to reason that now he and Big Boss should also retreat. But at this time, Bai Zhang subconsciously glanced into the distance again, and after he took a look, he shouted, Don't retreat, there are not many little devils rushing out, and our people have caught up. Who are our people? That doesn't mean Shang Zhen and the others. Shang Zhen and the others ran ahead of the Japanese army. It looked like they were being chased by the Japanese army. So what Bai Zhang said was that the National Army, which had been besieging the Japanese army, had also caught up. Then why run? Let these Japanese soldiers all confess here. Chapter 1167, Final Battle Are you still running? Old Mao Wang asked Shang Zhen with a grin. The reason why he bared his teeth was because when he entered a dilapidated house with an incomplete roof just now, his knee hit the corner of the wall. Although it might not even count as a flesh injury, the pain in his knee that he didn't dare to bend back made his movements uncoordinated. Why run away? Fuck them. Shang Zhen said decisively, and just when Shang Zhen took out the last grenade on his body, he still forgot to add, if Bai Zhang said don't run away, then there is really no need to run away. Then, old Mao Wang understood what Shang Zhen meant. Bai Zhang was born as a petty thief, a petty thief made his living by stealing, and those who robbed houses were called bandits. Bai Zhang's performance in combat bravery is only average, at least compared with other veterans, there is nothing outstanding. However, although Bai Zandan was careful, the guy shouted on the second floor not to evacuate, so there was really no need to evacuate. At this time, Shang Zhen, who had already hid behind a broken wall, pulled out the pin of the grenade. The wall was already riddled with holes in the flames of war, and there was exactly one person beside Shang Zhen. A hole the size of a head. Shang Zhen glanced through the hole and saw the cocky figure of the Japanese army approaching in front of the house. So, Shang Zhen knocked the grenade on the wall and squatted down while holding the grenade. When he straightened up, he raised his hands, and the grenade fell out of the hole the size of a human head beside him. Flew up and flew out. Under normal circumstances, the grenade should have exploded in the house. Because there is a roof, the grenade will naturally fall when it hits the ceiling. But now is an extraordinary period in a time of war. The roof of this house is already incomplete, but the grenade flew over another incomplete part of the roof and disappeared. The flight path of this grenade was seen from the perspective of Shang Zhen, the thrower. But at this time, Bai Zhan and De Laoban, who were also holding a grenade, saw a grenade suddenly fly out from the damaged roof of the house, and then the grenade crossed the wall in an arc and fell down. There was an explosion sounded in front of the house with a boom. Bai Zhan couldn't see the explosion of the grenade, but they saw the smoke and dust blown up by the grenade, and at the same time, the fallen Japanese soldiers appeared in their field of vision. Hey, big man, it's up to you this time. When Bai Zhan shouted excitedly, the old man was already backing away, and then he threw out the grenade in his hand with a wave of his hand. Just now when Bai Zhan saw the grenade thrown by Shang Zhen, it was a visual relay but this time he saw the whole thing when the old stupid threw the grenade. He saw that the arc drawn by the grenade was so graceful, and even under the reflection of the setting sun, it still shone with a faint metallic luster. After drawing a long trajectory, it reached the front of the house. I still have this. Amidst the explosion of the grenade, Bai Zhan shouted excitedly again, and he threw the grenade in his hand to Daben as soon as he returned his hand. When the big old stupid reached out to take it, he squatted down and smashed it on the ground. He threw the grenade out without even looking at it this time. This time, Bai Zhan didn't watch the grenade blow up a few Japanese devils, but he was surprised again by the old stupid's skill. The fuse of the grenade is a small copper cap. When he threw the grenade, he threw it very quickly, so the grenade rolled and flew over quickly and the big old stupid stretched out his hand as if he didn't see it, and when he hit it on the floor, he just hit the fuse on the grenade and smoked. See the spirit in the subtleties. 
as a former thief, Bai Zhang's eyesight is still there. He thought to himself that he would not be able to act like a big idiot, holding the grenade with the fuse facing down just in time when he took over the grenade. So, this is eyesight, this is skill, this is skill. Bai Zhang was still thinking about it, but after the grenade exploded again, there was already a lot of gunfire below the small second floor. When he looked downstairs again, he saw that the Japanese army had just arrived at the one-story house, and the Japanese army had just retreated into the house in front of it. As for the open space between the two bungalows, there were a few more corpses of Japanese soldiers. Bai Zhang looked further away, of course this time he didn't have to look too far away, seeing the Chinese officers and soldiers in grey and black clothes catching up. This is a sure win, Bai Zhang reassures himself, it seems that they are the Japanese soldiers who just hid in the house, and it is estimated that there are not many Japanese soldiers left. Then, Shang Zhen and his group surrounded the house. What's wrong? Wang Xiaodan ran back from a distance, panting. Among the guard posts sent out by Shang Zhen, Wang Xiaodan was the one who ran the furthest, so he was the one who ran back the slowest when he heard the news. It's just that at this time, no one will pay attention to him in front of the enemy. Everyone is staring at the house in front, the doors, windows, and even the roof. God knows where the Japanese army or the grenades thrown by the Japanese army will come from. Boy Shang, you can throw the grenade accurately, and you will blow them up directly. Old Mao Wang muttered. Shang Zhen didn't reply, and after a while he suddenly said, We haven't captured the little devil yet, have we? Hey! Old Mao Wang stared at the house without moving, but his heart was moved. That's right, it's been eight years since the devils were beaten, but they really haven't caught any Japanese prisoners. To put it bluntly, they also had a chance to capture Japanese prisoners, but what's the use of capturing Japanese prisoners? Most of the time they were swimming and fighting, even if they captured Japanese prisoners, they couldn't take them with them, not to mention that none of them could speak Japanese, so the matter of capturing prisoners would be abandoned. But this time it's different, this time our squadron won the battle, it would be so beautiful to catch a few angry little devils, it would be really beautiful to hold a few living Japanese devils to swagger through the market as awesome as you want. But none of us can speak Japanese. Shang Zhen muttered again. Now that there are only so few Japanese troops left in this area, if you can't take down so many Japanese devils, you won't be a veteran of many battles. But it's not easy to catch prisoners. If they come out to fight with them with bayonets, they can always catch them alive. But now people are really retreating into the kennel like a mangy dog, how did they go in and catch the living? If they dare to put their hands into the kennel www.mtlnovel.com it is impossible if they don't bite them. Shang Zhen was worrying, when those around him suddenly heard two explosions of boom and boom coming from the room. In the sound of the explosion, Shang Zhen, who was originally hiding in a hidden place outside the house, shrank subconsciously but then they all stood up again. They are veterans with rich combat experience. It is a subconscious reaction to shrink their heads to avoid work when they hear the explosion, but the explosion sound and the explosion effect are close, at least they can be perceived by human senses at the same time. So they stood up again, which was also a subconscious reaction. There was no grenade thrown out of the room at all, and the smoke and dust produced by the explosion seemed like a house was on fire and smoke, regardless of the door or the window, as long as there are holes. Smoke and dust sprayed out, and the grenade exploded inside the room. What is this, what is the situation old Mao Wang was stunned, isn't the person with us on the other end stuffing the grenade in? But at this time, Shang Zhen's face changed and he said, could it be that the little devil blew himself up? Chapter 1168, and Bar 3 Star Results Inside the room, Shang Zhen and the others looked at the scene in front of them with complicated eyes, there was shock in the eyes and some other things were mixed in them, but in the end with old Mao Wang's Ba, all the rest of the eyes were gone. I despised it. No one expected that this group of Japanese soldiers were trapped in the house by the Chinese squadron, 
and they blew themselves up. This was the first time Shang Zhen and the others had encountered such a thing since they fought against the Japanese army. It was impossible to say that it would not cause a change in their emotions. The Japanese soldiers in the room were all dead, judging from the experience of the veterans without exception, they didn't need to replenish their guns this time. The reason is that since Shang Zhen speculated that the Japanese soldiers in the room blew themselves up, in other words, it was the Japanese devils who threw grenades and killed their own people. But who is Shang Zhen, and how could he be less savvy? It is said that a villain judges a gentleman's belly with his own heart, but in fact, not only a villain judges others with his own heart, but everyone is like this. A simple-minded person sees others as pure, and a complex-minded person sees others as if they are plotting against them. Then, Shang Zhen was also afraid that the Japanese army would fake his death, and wait until they entered the house before giving him a bomb. So before entering the house, Shang Zhen ordered the soldiers to put grenades in through the windows and doors on all sides of the house. So, for that room, it was an all-round explosion without leaving any dead ends. In this way, not to mention that it is impossible for Japanese devils to live in that room, I am afraid that even a fly will be blown to death. More than a dozen Japanese soldiers fell down in a mess, and some of them were piled up on top of each other. Even though the ground of this house was muddy, it was impossible for all the blood to seep into the ground, so the blood in the house was already overwhelming. The beach is still expanding. What are you looking at, you've made a fortune. Bai Zhan shouted at the door as he rushed into the house. Bai Zhan came down from the small second floor, so he was the last to arrive, but he was born as a thief, so he was very sensitive to money. Of course, it can also be said to be spoils here which is extra sensitive. And at Bai Zhan's greeting, Qian Chuan'er, Qin Chuan, and Ho Wang Shan also stepped forward. As for other people, although they waited and watched, they also left the house as soon as they turned around, such as Guo Baiyu, Lu Nuan, Yu Ziuolong, etc. The one who stepped forward was taking the loot, and the one who left the house was a vigilante. People have different tempers and temperaments. As the saying goes, one monk has water to eat, two monks carry water to eat, and three monks have no water to eat. In this group of dozens of people, some people are competitive, some are simple and honest, and some are honest. Some people have a straight temper and some people beat around the bush when they talk. Fortunately, these people's personalities are not bad, and gradually what kind of things people with different personalities do has formed a routine and there is also a tacit understanding. For example, socializing with others is Qian Chuan'er's business. For example, collecting such trophies is Qian Chuan'er's business. Hey! There is a senior officer of the little devil here. Ho Kanchen yelled, and then he stretched out his hand from a dead body and pulled it hard, but he tore off one of the Japanese soldier's epaulets and stood aside Shang Zhen threw it over. It's just that old Mao Wang was closer to Shang Zhen, and the epaulets were thrown lightly after all, but they were picked up by old Mao Wang. Wang Lao Mao and Shang Zhen both looked at it with great interest, and saw three silver-white five-pointed stars on the shoulder strap. They only know the general rank of the Japanese army, and these are also due to the Japanese soldiers they killed on the battlefield. I remember that the biggest one we killed was also the one with three stars, right? but I can't remember how many bars there are. Old Mao Wang said casually, and then called Shushan, Hey, I said scholar, we beat him that time what do you think is the dead three star, is it a captain? Yes. Chu Tian hurriedly raised his body and replied, but he was holding a pen in his hand, which was just taken out of the jacket pocket of a dead Japanese soldier under him. This official university. Shang Zhen laughed suddenly. Why? Old Mao Wang asked. Old Mao Wang only remembered that there were three on the shoulder straps of the Japanese officer. Star, but he really can't remember how many bars there are. It's no wonder that he can't remember clearly, as for the ranks of the Japanese army nowadays, ordinary people really can't remember clearly. That is, there are stars on the red and yellow bars, 
and the order of the number of red and yellow bars represents the categories of official ranks, such as soldier, lieutenant, assistant officer, and general. And the number of stars on it represents the small items in the big category. Don't worry about the number of bars, just compare it with a lieutenant officer, for example, one star is a second lieutenant, two stars is a lieutenant, and three stars is a captain. The three are all the same. I can't remember which bar you said, but I remember that the one we killed that time had a yellow bar in the middle, and this one had a red bar in the middle. That's why this official university. Shang Zhen replied. That's not necessarily true. How do you know that the red line must be bigger than the yellow line? Maur Huzi, who had been listening by the side, didn't think that what Shang Zhen said was necessarily true. The devil officer we killed was ambushed by us. This time we killed this one at the end of the battle, so whose official are you talking about? Shang Zhen laughed. It turned out that Shang Zhen didn't know either, but he inferred that this Japanese officer should have a higher rank. When he said this, Ma Erhu scratched his head and laughed happily. He thinks that Shang Zhen's analysis is also right, that the high officials of any army in the war did not die last before going to the battlefield, the Chinese are like this, and the Japanese should be like this too. That time it was a captain, this time it should be a captain. Chu Tian wiped the blood on the Japanese soldier's clothes with the pen and put it together. After all, he is a scholar and educated. Although he is not very clear about the rank of the Japanese army, he can always deduce something from his usual experience on the battlefield. What kind of official is the chief? Maur Huzi asked curiously. That's right, what kind of official is the colonel? Shang Zhen and the others looked at each other, but none of them knew. What the hell, in the future we have to find someone who understands and ask, don't just make a huge contribution and don't know about it. Old Mao Wang said. When Wang Lao Mao said this www.mtlnovel.com everyone was a little enthusiastic, and started talking about it for a while. No one can be exempt, the army, rewards for meritorious service, that's a great contribution, don't care if it's for Yuan Datu or Sun Xiaotu, it's always good to spend some money. But at this time Shang Zhen said, hurry up and tidy up, don't think the battle is over. After Shang Zhen said this, the soldiers hurriedly collected the spoils again, but at this moment Yu Ziuolong shouted from outside, which part are you from? After Yu Ziuolong's voice, the room immediately fell silent. Yu Ziuolong's question already revealed enough information, this is our own army coming, presumably they are chasing and killing these pursuers who have been wiped out by them, and the people in the room also want to know the pursuit what part is the soldier? What the do you care about which part we belong to? At this moment, someone outside replied loudly, and at the same time the footsteps were messy, but Yu Ziuolong, Guo Baiyu, and the others were already shouting at and at. The faces of Shang Zhen and Wang Lao Mao changed in this voice. Chapter 1169, Uneasy Yu Ziuolong and Guo Baiyu, who were in charge of security outside, were forced into the house with guns, even though their guns were pointed at them. But both sides are Chinese squadrons, and it is impossible for anyone to actually shoot, so naturally the side with more people has the upper hand. Although Shang Zhen and the others in the room have never seen it in person, they can also imagine that since they are not friendly to people like themselves, and relying on the number of people to hug them forward, then their friends can only retreat. At this point, Shang Zhen knew that he couldn't say anything, and if he said anything, he would just hand over his gun directly. Whoever told you to move the booty, put down all the booty in your hands. Said an officer who squeezed into the room because of the number of people, and the officer's rank was just a captain. The captain is also a company commander, but it is also easy for the company commander to speak. Upon hearing what the officer said, Shang Zhen signaled his men to put down the things in their hands and back away. Put down the command knife in your hand. At this moment, a soldier in the later group shouted. Everyone looked over and saw that Bai Zhan was holding a Japanese commander's sword with a sheath in his hand. 
Although it was already dusk and the light in the room was a little dim, but the scabbard was shining with crystal light, and it was inlaid with gold and jade at first glance, so why do you have to pull out the steel mouth of the knife to see? Bai Zhan saw that the knife he held in his hand had been looked at with a heartache expression on his face, and he was unwilling to let him take it away. But at this time, Shang Zhen saw that the officers and soldiers who came in later were about to lose face again, hurriedly stepped forward, stretched out his hand, took the knife and said with a smile, the knife must be a good knife, but it has to be stained with a small knife. Devil's blood is better. After finishing speaking, Shang Zhen held the sheath in one hand and drew the knife in the other, but he stabbed it down with one knife. It's a coincidence, but when he went down with the knife, he stabbed the corpse of the Japanese army officer with N bars and three stars. The blade is sharp, and it only makes a cheer when it enters the body. It's just a pity that the officer had been dead for a while, and the blood in his body was not the water in the Western Pacific, after all, it couldn't flow continuously and no blood flowed out after this knife. It's a pity. Shang Zhen muttered involuntarily, then turned around and walked out of the house without pulling out the knife. As soon as Shang Zhen retreated, his soldiers naturally followed him, but each of them showed dissatisfaction on their faces. What is the Central Army? The miscellaneous army fought in the front and filled the battalion with wounded soldiers, or in other words, fought with the Japanese army to lose both sides, but now the Central Army has come to pick the fruit, and it has turned the Japanese army that they killed into their own military exploits. In this way, who can be at peace? But is there any reason now? No. It should be said that among Shang Zhen's group of soldiers, Hu Zuzi's unconvinced performance is the most obvious, but Hu Zuzi has already been clamped by Qian Chuaner and Dalayadu. Hu Zuzi Hu, just like Shang Zhen and his group, Shang Zhen can make Hu Zuzi obey unconditionally. Qian Chuaner, however, has a good temper. He usually turns around and persuades Hu Zuzi's temper, even if other veterans team up to fight Hu Zuzi, he will not get involved. Therefore, among these veterans, Hu Zhu thinks that Qian Chuaner is a good person. As for the big old stupid, although he is a newcomer, but the big old stupid is a person with Kung Fu, even though Hu Zuzihu is really not as strong as the big old stupid. Therefore, the big old fool dragged the money string to persuade him and finally got Hu Zuzi out of the house. At this time, the group of officers and soldiers exclaimed in the room, Oh, I killed a senior officer. Shang Zhen is also helpless, but all he thinks in his heart is, the central army is really good. Yes, even if they didn't go out just now, even if this group of officers and soldiers never reported the number of their troops, Shang Zhen and his veterans could figure out that the other party was the Central Army. The Battle of Taichuang was a battle in which tens of thousands of troops were invested by both the enemy and us. The lowest level soldiers like Shang Zhen and the others participated in local battles. Fighting, it is one leaf blinds the eye, not seeing Mount Tai and they only know the general situation of the battle. But even so, Shang Zhen also heard that other troops were struggling to support the Central Army in the front, but stood still behind. Shang Zhen will never comment on this kind of matter, this is what the public says the public is right and the woman says the woman is right. This is like a debate between pros and cons. The pros say that in order to win the final victory, a part of the enemy's strength must be sacrificed. The opposite said, why do we have to be discarded like abandoned sons? This is the troublesome part of China's current war of resistance. The central army, the local army, and the miscellaneous ones of the direct line are all mixed together. Although it is a common goal to defeat little Japan, who would want to lose their troops? What's more, the current warlords of all walks of life regard their own military strength as their own personal armed forces. It cannot be said that the anti-Japanese generals did not sincerely serve the country, but after all, such generals are a minority. Just like a great man divided the crowd, there are three factions, the left, the middle, and the right. Both the left and the right are a minority, and the middle is the majority. So what about that part in the middle? Of course, it is to follow the big grass, 
and whoever is on the left or right will follow whoever is in charge. Each army has the interests of each army. If they are defeated, they will have no right to speak on the political stage in China. How can Shang Zhen end such a bad lawsuit? However, Shang Zhen knew that the Central Army was very domineering, and just now he guessed that it should be someone from the Central Army when he heard the voice from outside. It is said that if you have supreme force, you can see Buddha and kill Buddha. Seeing and killing Buddha are all fantasy plots. A small person like Yu Shang Zhen is not only Shang Zhen, but soldiers like Wang Lao Mao and the others also know it. The situation is stronger than the people, and you still have to complain about the hegemony of the Central Army, but you have to hold it in your heart. But it was only because Shang Zhen had the foresight to hold back in his heart. Before the Central Army entered the house, Shang Zhen had already ordered that there should be no conflict with the Central Army. But now that they were far away from the house when they left the house, the soldiers finally cursed. The content of the scolding was naturally aimed at the Central Army, and the cursing words naturally couldn't be nice, and Shang Zhen didn't stop it. He is also from the Northeast, and what the soldiers scolded was exactly what he wanted to scold, but he knew that he couldn't always scold with the soldiers, with the same expressions of joy and anger, otherwise the matter would become more difficult to deal with. With the personality of the people from the Northeast, if I don't suppress things anymore, it is not impossible for my group to go to the Central Army to fight back. But how can there be so many happy and enmity things in this world? I think back when I sent Lang Ziazai to northern Shaanxi, I was arrested by the military commander www.mtlnovel.com and then I was almost tortured to death by the military commander. But so what? Don't talk about yourself, let alone your subordinates, even if you are such a big official, there are thousands of soldiers under him, but what about the military command? Amidst all the scolding, only Bai Zhan had a smug expression on his face. Ma Tianfang noticed it and asked angrily, Bai Zanji, what the are you laughing at? As soon as Ma Tianfang said this, other people's eyes naturally focused on Bai Zhan, and they saw the smug smile on Bai Zhan's face. You guys are so slow that you feel aggrieved. Look at me. After finishing speaking, Bai Zhan spread his hands, and the others saw that Bai Zhan held a piece of yellow gold in his palm. It is shining softly. Where did you get it? Shang Zhen asked. I pinned off that devil officer's scabbard. Bai Zhan laughed. Lao Zhe. Chapter 1170, Heroes Cherish Each Other. It's not too late to make up for it. Someone said in that group of veterans, so those veterans looked at him with surprised and strange eyes. Just because the person who said that was Shang Zhen, how could this not surprise the soldiers? To say that among their group, Chen Hanwen is the first one who likes to pull words. What do you mean by a bottle is not full of half the bottle? It refers to a half-baked literati like Chen Hanwen, who only bangs because the water in the bottle is not full. The second one who speaks in a polite manner is Chu Tian. This is not to say that Shushan also likes to drag words, it is because Shushan's cultural level is really high. What does it mean to have a bookish spirit in your belly? That is, there are too many words in the stomach, and when people say a few words casually, it is very likely that some written words that the big have never heard will come out. As for other people who can draw words, there are also two, for example, Bai Zhan, Bai Zhan calls himself a thief, and he has read a lot of books, but what should he say when he reads it, he is called a boza. In terms of elegance, he can bluff in vain when he meets a bosom friend in high mountains and rivers. In terms of vulgarity, he has also seen all kinds of gold, vases, and plums. Then there is Gu Bing. Gu Bing joined Shang Zhen's group after the ancient Manchu Kuo. According to the veteran's observation, Gu Bing is also a cultural person, but he just keeps silent. But sometimes seeing Chen Hanwen pretending to be a kid and pretending to be big, Chen Hanwen can be hiccuped and hiccuped with a single mouth. But in the eyes of most soldiers, Shang Zhen was definitely not included among the educated people. Who would have thought that Shang Zhen would start eating plates with rats today, 
his mouth was full of words. Boy Shang, are you okay? Didn't you get stimulated because of your military exploits? Old Mao Wang said angrily. Old Mao Wang felt that he was old. If he was still as old as Shang Zhen, if the Central Army dared to compete with him, then he would rather fight with the Central Army and then be exiled in the Jianghu. But now at his age, he naturally understands that his group can't afford to offend the Central Army. But he was angry that he couldn't offend the Central Army, wouldn't he dare to say Shang Zhen? Shang Zhen naturally heard the dissatisfaction in Wang Lao Mao's heart, but he was also angry in his heart, so Shang Zhen said angrily, Aren't you just dumbfounded? Hurry up and find a place where we have been fighting devils for the past two days to see if we can get it done. Order something good, or in the future, all of us will eat whatever we want. When Shang Zhen said this, only those with a bit of culture would know what Shang Zhen meant at this time when he said, it's too late to make up for it. That's right, let's find other loot quickly, the losses here must be recovered from other places. Chu Tian said. The soldiers hurried to disperse, but Shang Zhen asked again, don't run away with a group of several people, and lose two more, or let others take away the spoils, what can we do? At this point, the soldiers, adhering to the spirit of mending after a dead sheep, began to search in the area where the Japanese soldiers were killed by them. The gunshots and explosions around Tai Chuang began to fade away, and the battle around Tai Chuang ended fairly quickly at least at this stage. The reason is that the Chinese army really surrounded the Japanese army that had invaded Tai Chuang but had no chance to retreat like an iron barrel. Seeing that there was no hope of breaking through, Many Japanese soldiers actually started to blow themselves up with grenades just like the group of Japanese soldiers blocked by Shang Zhen and the others at the beginning. Why did the Japanese army commit suicide? It is because they are running out of ammunition now. Of course, they can also choose to fight hand-to-hand -hand with the Chinese army, but the problem is that once they enter the stage of hand-to-hand -hand combat, the Japanese army who is already at a disadvantage in Tai Chuang will inevitably be captured by the Chinese army. How can this be tolerated by the self-proclaimed Great Japanese Imperial Army? Then, it's really as good as throwing a few grenades at each other and it's over. At dusk, the Tai Chuang battle was coming to an end, and gunshots were only heard sporadically. At this time, there was a team of 30 or so people walking out from the west gate of Tai Chuang. They were full of the smell of war and smoke. The 38 type rifle. The one walking in the front was old Mao Wang, and the one following behind was Shang Zhen. At least for now, the battle at this stage is over. No matter how strong the Japanese army is, it will be a matter of finding a place in the future. There are already Chinese soldiers guarding the west gate, and Shang Zhen and the others can see that these people are also from the central army. Old Mao Wang glanced back at his own people but said nothing. In fact, there is no need for him to say anything now. They have already said it before. Although Old Mao Wang just gave everyone a look, but the meaning is clear. Just don't pretend to be a calf. Shang Zhen and the others are veterans, and they have experienced many things. When they just left, Shang Zhen, who had calmed down, told them that other people's central army would not be happy if they robbed us of our spoils one by one. Ours it's no use not being happy. Even if we hand over all the loot, what credit can we get? There are no doors. When the 57th army on the Songhe battlefield was terminated, tens of thousands of people were killed, and we were also there. Do you think the 57th army has gained any credit? The central army has power but our Northeast Army has no power. Then again, think about our people arresting that old man when we were in Xi'an, didn't we? If the Central Army knew that their group was also involved, would it be okay? So there must be no conflict with the Central Army. Of course, the soldiers thought what Shang Zhen said was reasonable, so now they just went out honestly. This time, the reason why Wang Lao Mao walked in the front and Shang Zhen walked in the back was that it was specially arranged by the two of them, and they took care of each other before and after to prevent any accidents. And to be honest, after these few days of fighting, they are already exhausted, 
and all of them are too lazy to argue with the Central Army. They just want to find a place where they can eat and sleep and rest first. Shang Zhen and the others walked out like this. Except for Shang Zhen who was looking at the officers and soldiers guarding the gate, the others all lowered their heads so as not to let their eyes meet those of the officers and soldiers guarding the city gate. This order was given by old Mao Wang when he came here earlier. He especially pointed out that Hu Zuzi and Ma or Huza must never look at others. Ma or Hu refused to accept it and asked why, and Wang Lao Mao said, just the two of you look at each other, and you can see that seven or eight are not angry, walking on the street shaking and shopping. If someone asks you what you look at, why don't you say it again? Then we are not cut? No matter what Shang Zhen or Wang Lao Mao said, they were all reasonable. In other words, since the two people who can make the decision have spoken, the soldiers can only obey. Although Shang Zhen was sizing up those officers and soldiers, who could pretend to be honest than Shang Zhen? It is expected that those officers and soldiers will never see that Shang Zhen deserves a beating. Shang Zhen paid attention to the expressions of the officers and soldiers defending the city and continued to move forward. Those officers and soldiers were naturally also examining them. I don't know how the gangsters of the Central Army think of people like themselves. Shang Zhen thought as he walked. He expected that people would not think of people like him as Japanese devils dressed up as Chinese soldiers. Those who buried B.A. Tai must be looked down upon again. It's no wonder Shang Zhen thinks so, they are really in rags now, it's normal to have a triangular cut on their clothes, and a few people's trouser legs have been scratched, and they float when they walk floating. If it wasn't for the fact that the clothes they were wearing were military uniforms no matter how worn they were, then they would look like a bunch of beggars. Shang Zhen continued to move forward with his own thoughts. At this time, the officers and soldiers guarding the city gate did not come to ask them which part they belonged to. It seemed that they were regarded as friendly soldiers who were disabled in the front. And in fact it is. But just when Shang Zhen and his team, which seemed like a mob, were halfway through, an accident happened. Among the officers and soldiers guarding the city gate, the officer with the rank of lieutenant suddenly said loudly, Salute. Salute. Shang Zhen and the others were taken aback. What salute? As far as the veterans in Shang Zhen's group are concerned, they are just surprised, but Wang Ziodan, who joined later, was frightened by the officer, but quickly stood upright, and then put the rifle in his right hand into his left hand what he meant was that he also wanted to salute others. This is really no wonder Wang Ziodan, since he fought devils with Shang Zhen, he has heard that soldiers have to salute and has seen others salute, but he himself has never saluted. It's just that Wang Ziodan wanted to salute, but there was someone faster than him. That Wang Ziodan put the gun in his right hand to his left hand. He hadn't even saluted yet but the Central Army soldiers guarding the city gate had already snaked to attention under the officer's order, and then they all stood up. Just salute Shang Zhen and the others. Just this salute made Shang Zhen and the others feel mixed emotions in an instant. And at this time, it also shows who is the real veteran in Shang Zhen's group. As for Shang Zhen and his group of old people who have undergone special training, one of them stood at attention and responded instinctively to the other party. Present. The smell of gunpowder smoke in the air of Tai Chuang is slowly dissipating. www.mtlnovel.com, but there is a smell of heroes cherish each other again. Let's go. Shang Zhen muttered in a low voice, and the group of them came to their senses and moved forward again. And when they walked out of the city gate, and the officers and soldiers guarding the city gate probably couldn't hear them, Chen Han Wen whispered, Not all the Central Army are bad guys. Is there something wrong with Chen Han Wen's words? Of course it's fine. But the problem is that it is he who is talking, so there is something wrong. Because Wang Lao Mao turned around after hearing Chen Han Wen's words, nonsense. What the do you know? If you don't teach me one day, you will die? Chen Han Wen, who is also very qualified, topped Wang Lao Mao, but it was in his heart. Remember the URL of this site for the convenience of reading next time, 
or enter in beta to enter this site. Chapter 1171, Foraging Seeing dawn in the east, the sound of getting up and getting dressed, and the sound of a stone sickle lighting a fire came from a room. The sound of Zasuo remained the same, at this moment, a red light not as big as a copper coin flickered in the still dim room, and then there was the choking smell of tobacco. Old man, if you don't go to the wheat field to see it, you will smoke in the early morning. An old woman complained. It turned out that the red light that flashed and went out just now was his old man smoking a pipe. Didn't you read it before Haikin yesterday, our family's land was almost destroyed. The old man said. Then what shall we eat this year? The old woman was worried about the future. Chew your cheeks. The old man said angrily. The old lady was afraid of her old man, so she didn't dare to say anything when she heard the old man's tone was wrong. Their home is in the outskirts of Tai Chuang, and the wheat has already grown tall at this time in previous years, but this year is not only a disaster year, but the wheat that can blow the wheat waves in previous years does not grow tall, but China and Japan are in Tai Chuang. Battle The battle against Tai Chuang does not only refer to the fight inside Tai Chuang, but the battle outside Tai Chuang is naturally a mess. First of all, the Chinese army guarding Tai Chuang was surrounded and could not sustain it. Naturally, the Chinese side wanted reinforcements, and there was another fierce battle around the Chinese way into the city. Later, the Japanese army in Tai Chuang was besieged by the Chinese side, and the Japanese army naturally had to send rescuers, but the Chinese army sent troops to intercept and stop the aid, which was also a dark day. What is a battlefield? The anti-Japanese athletes regard the sky as their bed and the ground as their bed, and the places where the enemy and we can fight are naturally battlefields. Thinking about the romance of the Three Kingdoms, when C.A.O. Mend was marching, the horses could still step on the wheat fields, not to mention the fact that China and Japan are so strong in the fierce battle, the area where the enemy and the enemy fought, the wheat field was also ruined. Fortunately, the village where the old man lived survived the war. Unfortunately, the old man's wheat field was almost destroyed by the war. Why are you still here if you don't cook? The stubborn old man became angry when he saw the old woman's inactivity. How dare the old woman provoke her old man, so she went out to hold firewood, but the old man was still shirtless and draped over his clothes, smoking a pipe and sulking there. Angry people have the logic of angry people. Just now the old woman asked him what to do if the harvest is not good this year? What can I do? He didn't do it either. As far as the wheat field of my family has been harmed like that, let alone whether there is a harvest, I am afraid that there will be no wheat grass for cooking this year. The old man was sulking, when suddenly he faintly heard a scream of awe from his old woman. Hearing that voice was not pleasant to shout, he quickly jumped off the kong, didn't bother to put on his clothes, still put on his clothes, ran out the door with his shoes on, and asked, What's wrong? What's wrong? La. It was already dawn, and his family's firewood stack was at Fang Shan. When he ran there, he saw his old woman was climbing up from the ground, and in front of the old woman was his family's firewood stack. But when he saw the firewood pile, he felt Gordon in his heart. In the twilight of the morning light, he saw a person in front of his old woman putting away the gun in his hand. He knew that gun, it was a short gun, and he heard that the soldiers called it a box gun. But just behind the man who just put away the box cannon, the firewood pile in his house has been stripped into disreputable shape, the barley is pieced here and there, it looks like it has been crushed by many old sows it's mediocre. It's just that the old sow couldn't be the one who moved the wheat pile. Their village is not big but there is no old sow, but there are soldiers climbing up from the piles of wheat piles on the left. It's with a gun. It turned out that I don't know when my village actually joined the soldiers, but these soldiers chose to sleep in his family's wheat straw pile. In the eyes of ordinary people nowadays, there is actually not much difference between soldiers and bandits. Bandits, bullying men and women, robbing houses, such as Lee Tonta's gang of bandits. And soldiers? 
With the start of the war between China and Little Japan, the old man has seen more soldiers, soldiers from all over the world, it seems that soldiers can do what bandits do, right? At least that soldier had captured young men in their village. It's totally unreasonable for a bandit to rob a man, he used a gun to force him, will you come with us, or if you don't, I'll kill you. It is reasonable for soldiers to arrest strong men, but that reason is high sounding, but they also use guns to force them, it is everyone's responsibility to fight against Japan and save the country. If you don't leave, I will kill you. The method of pointing a gun at someone is the same, and the result is also the same. The only difference is that there are more soldiers and strong men. If you dare to refute, you are doomed to be shot in the mouth. Even if the old man is very stubborn, he also understands that the soldier himself cannot be offended. He was thinking about what to do, when the soldier who had put away his short gun said to him, Man, is there anything to eat at home? Get us some, we'll pay for it. The old man knew that he couldn't get away with getting something to eat for these soldiers. Fortunately, there are only me and my wife in my family now. I expected that people would not catch me as a strong man with weak legs and feet, but I had to take the time to tell my second and third sons in the same village to hide quickly. You don't think the food is bad, you just eat it. The old man replied, and at this moment he heard a soldier laughing, Boss, that's a good name for you, call him a man. And by this time, the old man had already realized that this group of soldiers were soldiers from the northeast. Nowadays, Many Northeast people entered Shanghaiguan from the south when they crossed the Guangdong. Most of them are from Shandong and Henan. This custom of yelling man in reference to age also exists in Shandong. Although man sounds straightforward, it is also a kind of honorific title, otherwise people would call him old man or old thing. The one who dares to talk to him is still a leader, the old man thought. Then what do you usually call people? At this time, the old man heard the leader ask the soldier. And the soldier with the small nose and small eyes laughed and said, I'm called old man, uncle, uncle, or something. Unexpectedly, just as the small-nosed and small-eyed soldier finished speaking, some of the soldiers who had already climbed up from the pile of wheat laughed and said, Did you ever call someone the second uncle? Get lost. Fuck your second uncle. The soldier with the small nose and small eyes scolded with a smile. The soldiers laughed with a coax. Let's go, second uncle, let's go to your house to get some food, we will pay for it. Another soldier said to the stubborn old man amidst laughter. The old man had never seen such a soldier before, so why didn't he treat himself as an outsider, and even called himself second master? The old man doesn't believe the words of these big northeast soldiers, so give him back the money. Give money? No matter how much food you get for them, it's meat buns and dogs, never come back. He also wanted to reply to the soldier, go to your second uncle. But he didn't dare after all. He could only turn around and walk back, wondering what to ask the old woman to do to get rid of these soldiers without causing trouble for himself. But although he didn't say anything, his stubborn and unwilling expression naturally showed on his face. At this time, he heard a soldier behind him say, Oh, the second uncle is quite stubborn. As soon as the old man heard this, he became angry again, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com Why are these northeast soldiers so poor? At this time, another soldier answered the question, Why are we Shandong people stubborn? You Northeast people are awesome. You don't know that many of us Shandong people are the ancestors of your Northeast people no, it's you the elders of the Northeast people. Oh, there are Shandong people among this group of soldiers. Just as he was thinking about it, soldiers from the Northeast started yelling and shouting, and they were all scolding the Shandong soldier. No one is stupid, as far as the Shandong soldier's words are concerned. No one can understand the meaning inside and outside the words. Isn't he just taking advantage of the Northeast people? Who said that many of the people who broke through the Guangdong were from Shandong? However, there is nothing wrong with saying that the elders of many Northeast people are Shandong people, 
but if you say that Shandong people are the ancestors of the Northeast, that would be a curse. How can the Northeast soldiers do it? And this group of soldiers were none other than Shang Zhen and the others, and it was Shang Zhen who called the old man man earlier. And the one with the small nose and small eyes is of course Qian Chuaner. Chapter 1172, White Face Turmoil Auntie, can you make us something to eat? Qian Chuaner asked behind the old woman's buttocks in the room, and behind Qian Chuaner was a group of hungry soldiers with green eyes. Let me make you some noodle soup. The old woman said tremblingly. When she spoke tremblingly, it didn't mean she was old, it was because she was frightened when she saw a group of soldiers with guns following behind her. Not long after Shang Zhen and the others left Tai Chuang, it was almost dark. They were extremely hungry and exhausted, that is to say, they rushed over when they saw a village in the distance, and by coincidence, they slept here on the old stubborn man's firewood pile. As soon as they woke up, it was dawn, and then they met the old woman who came to hold the firewood, and the previous scene happened. They had to eat after getting enough sleep, and now they saw that the old woman said to make them noodle soup, so they naturally smiled. Seeing that this family is an old couple, that is, an ordinary family who is not that rich, they know that there is nothing delicious in this family, and they thought it would be good to drink some warm noodle soup. The soldiers watched eagerly and saw that the old woman had brought out a bag from the corner of the room, but the bag contained only the bottom of the bag, and it seemed that there was still some six or seven caddies. Seeing the same thing in the eyes of different people will produce different results. This little food is not enough for us people. It was Hu Zuzu who said this. Oh, old man, if we eat this bit of noodles, won't your family be ruined? Qian Chuaner said this. Although Qian Chuaner was also a little disappointed, who told Qian Chuaner to always run away entertainment, or people can talk. The old woman didn't expect Qian Chuaner to say that, and there was a trace of gratitude in her eyes, but she dared not speak. It's just that when he opened the mouth of the bag, he heard the soldiers coax behind him, and he was in a mess. Is this noodles? Hu Zuzi couldn't believe his eyes. Old lady, don't fool us, you are weak bran. Wuziki said this time. Wuziki is from Shandong, and the old woman is also from Shandong, but this does not mean that Wuziki will be polite to this old woman. One must know that Wuziki had been in Li Tanta's puppet army for more than a year. Although he hadn't learned his essence yet, he had learned a lot about his banditry. How can this throwing be eaten by humans? Old lady, don't fool us, playing throwing in the northeast is for feeding animals. Maur Husey also shouted. What is wheat bran? That's the byproduct of making flour, which is the seed coat of the wheat that is ground out during the milling process. What kind of nutrition can this kind of thing have? It's mouth piercing to eat. Just as Maur Husey said, don't think that people in the northeast don't know what wheat bran is. You must know that the northeast also grows wheat, but the wheat grown in the northeast is spring wheat which is planted in spring and harvested in autumn, while Shandong wheat is grown in two seasons. Bosses, bosses, just order what you can, this is the only food left in my house. The old woman finally whispered when she knew that she couldn't do anything anymore. His words naturally aroused a lot of discussion among the soldiers. Although some people like Wuziki, the tiger Zuzi and the second tiger son, were arguing here, some of the soldiers said, that's it, just like Qian Chuaner just now. As I said, this is all they have, so eat whatever you give. It would be fine if Shang Zhen or old Mao Wang said this, but the one who said it was a big fool. At this time, the veterans of Shang Zhen's group already knew that the big old stupid was a young monk, so Qin Chuan had already laughed and scolded after the big old stupid said, Fuck, you really think you are a monk? Begging for alms. We are not beggars, we will not eat bad rice. There are so many people, and the noise in the room is so lively all of a sudden, it seems that the noodle soup is really boiling and starting to bloom. Oh, boss, that's all I have to eat at my house. If you don't think the food is good, 
go to a big family's house. The old man squeezed in after hearing the sound. But at this moment, another voice suddenly came from the beam, who said that this is all you have to eat? Come on, what's in your pocket? This time it was Bai Zhan's voice, everyone followed the sound and looked up and saw that at some point, Bai Zhan had already ridden on the beam of the old man's house, and he was carrying a bag in his hand. Bai Zhan also patted the full pocket with his hand, and then everyone heard a muffled sound of poof, and white fine powder overflowed from the pocket from the pores of the bag, and white flakes were formed. Smoke. What is that? Do you even need to ask? That is white flour. The white flour is very dense, even if the packaging is very good in later generations, then there are still white marks on the body, not to mention what are the Chinese people nowadays that are tightly wrapped and do not expose the flour? Oh, I can let you find out just this little food in my family. The old man shouted and rushed forward to protect his own white flour. There is only so much white flour in his house, but it was left over from last year. In order to prevent being robbed or disaster during the war, he deliberately moved his own broken ladder and hid the white flour in the compartment on the beam. But he didn't know that among the soldiers in Shang Zhen's group, there were not only people of the highest rank, but there was also Bai Zhan, a former thief. Entering the house, Bai Zhan only took a look at the room and found that there was an extra floor where the beam was used as the load. Taking advantage of the excitement in the room, he stepped on Gu Man's shoulder to reach the beam. As far as the height of ordinary people's houses is concerned, the roof ridge outside is barely three meters high. Isn't it easy for Bai Zhan to get on the beams? So he discovered white flour. But now that Bai Zhan found the white noodles, the old stubborn man tried his best to grab the soldiers to prevent them from moving, and the room became more lively all of a sudden. Some said to the old man, we will give you money, some said to the old man, we will fight devils for you, why can't you get us something to eat? The old man called the old man old clapper, but if he wanted to beat the old man, no one really beat him. Wuziki wanted to make a move but he couldn't squeeze in front at all. The reason why such a situation happened is actually not surprising. It should be said that these soldiers under Shang Zhen had also been violent with the common people, but they really did not rob the common people. After all, Shang Zhen's discipline was there. In the chaos, it was Shang Zhen who stopped everyone with a shout. Everyone squeezed into the room. Everyone get out. Shang Zhen said angrily. As soon as Shang Zhen spoke, the soldiers retreated without saying a word. Hey, I'll put you down, big man. Bai Zhan, who was still riding on the beam of the house, beckoned Gu Man. At this time, Shang Zhen reached out his hand and took out a small thing, and handed it to the old man directly, Master, we just finished beating the devils and we don't have any money, so we can use this as money, do you think it's okay? Although the old man is stubborn, he is not stupid. He was surprised when he saw that a group of soldiers did not beat him up. Shang Zhen handed him something, and he subconsciously reached out to pick it up. When he picked it up, he felt very heavy. He held it up suspiciously and looked at it. It was really not big, and the sky was like a big peanut, but the problem was that the thing was yellow and bright, even though the light in the room was not good it was still shining soft light. The old stubborn man felt his heart beating suddenly thumping thumping and his brain went blank for a moment. But at this moment, someone above his head suddenly shouted, Hey, Shang Zhen, you prodigal son. And in the next moment, several small clips happened almost at the same time. There was a plop, that is, the flower bag on the beam fell to the ground, and then there was a poof, fine white flower splashed. The old man was looking at the little thing in his hand, but it was snatched away, and then there was a plop when a person fell to the ground, it was Bai Zhan who jumped off. If you eat some noodles, you can give me gold. I have Dayang in my hand. Bai Zhan shouted angrily. Chapter 1173, I'm not in a hurry, I'm still young. You don't look at Shang Zhen, a prodigal son, but you all look at me. 
Bai Zhan questioned the soldiers confidently, but the soldiers didn't seem to know him, and seven out of the eight looked him up and down. Hey, I said you guys are really weird. Just give gold to those who stutter, gold in prosperous times, antiques and troubled times, let me tell you, do you understand? Bai Zhan glanced at the door with mischievous eyebrows as he spoke. If he was justified just now, he is pretending to be calm now. It's just that it was too late for him to run away now, Qian Chuaner yelled go, and the veterans rushed forward. To say that Bai Zhan's skill is not bad, but it is only reflected in the talent of being a thief, that is, flashing and moving. But now that there are so many soldiers crowded into the room, there is no room for him to move around, and he will collapse as soon as he is crowded, without any suspense. Hey, I said, why do you want to gaha? Bai Zhan struggled desperately. But no matter how much he struggled, he couldn't move. How many of these soldiers hadn't stepped up yet? Any two of them could pin him down, let alone five or six of them. Accept your fate, you bastard. Huzuzi, who was squatting on the ground and stretching out his hand to press Bai Zhan's arm, said with a smile, I can see that something is wrong with you, you treat others as blind. Sure enough, at this time Jian Chuaner had already shouted, I found it. What did you find? The hem of Bai Zhan's clothes has been lifted, so how could others not see that he has two belts, one cloth and one leather? White striped chicken, that's right, resistance is meaningless, you just go with it. Ma Tian Feng, who also participated in the fight with only one arm, also laughed. Hu Zuzi, lift his and don't let him press it. Qian Chuaner pulled the cloth belt out, but not only Bai Zhan was using the thousand caddy pendant, but other soldiers were also pressing too hard. Oh, this little waste, tisk tisk. Chen Hanwen tried to help but kept talking, it's really cheap for you, our Huzuzi has never hugged his wife before, but he hugged you first. At this point, Bai Zhan could only resign himself to his fate. He knew that struggling was meaningless, so he cursed angrily, if I were a f asterisking woman, whoever married me would take advantage of it. I have practiced bone shrinking skills. It's useless to have practiced the bone shrinking skill, you have to practice shrinking old Mao Wang scolded with a smile, but he glanced at the old lady who was still at a loss in the room, and finally changed his tune, then what kind of skill is it? At this time, Shang Zhen had already taken the heavy belt from Bai Zhan that Jian Chuaner handed over. He looked at the belt and suddenly smiled, Bai Zhan, you bastard, it's really hard for you. You can tie such a heavy belt around your waist, and you won't be afraid to slip down and fall into the pile of when you are shitting. When Shang Zhen said this, the soldiers in the room laughed out loud, and Bai Zhan, who was climbing up from the ground, blushed instantly. You must know that Shang Zhen seldom jokes among them. This is of course due to Shang Zhen's personality, but it is also the reason he understands after becoming the leader of this small group. An official must have dignity. If you always speak casually, the soldiers may not take what you say seriously. In addition, there will definitely be another situation. If the official shows a certain tendency, for example, the official looks down on a certain soldier, then other soldiers will discriminate against that soldier according to the official's tendency. It's just that Shang Zhen has been out alone during this time. First, he had to make use of the Northeast's expertise in making jokes in order to survive as a strong man. The front has been used as cannon fodder. But the problem is that everything is a habit. After Shang Zhen finished saying this sentence, he realized that he was a little different from before. It is precisely because Shang Zhen seldom damages his own soldiers with words, so he made Bai Zhan blush when he said such a sentence out of the blue. He knew that his joke must have made Bai Zhan feel uncomfortable, but once he said it, he couldn't take it back. How fast Shang Zhen's mind was spinning, he ignored the soldier's laughter, but took out silver dollars from his belt. When he took out the silver dollar, Shang Zhen was stunned again, and he looked at the belt carefully, only to find that there was a silver dollar in one of the hidden pockets of the cloth seam, 
he wanted to say, the stitching is really good. It's secret, but finally held back. Auntie, are these few silver dollars enough for food? Please make your white noodles into pimple soup. If not, you can mix white noodles and wheat bran together and cook. Shang Zhen took out a few more dollars the silver dollar was handed to the old woman. Only then did the old woman and the old man believe that although Shang Zhen and his soldiers looked fierce, they really wanted to pay them for their meals. A bunch of prodigal sons, they all know how to pretend to be good guys. At this moment, Wang Lao Mao, who had been watching the fun, couldn't help cursing in his heart. He was still thinking about getting some money for himself so that he could go to Zanadu with Zhu Hengzia to warm up the Kong with his wife and children. But he thought so in his heart, but he never said it out. Instead, he stepped forward and said to the old woman, old brother and old sister-in-law, just keep it. There are good people and bad people everywhere, and soldiers are the same. Where there is good soldiers also have bad soldiers. Among the soldiers, Old Mao Wang was older, and he was not much younger even if he was a few years younger than the old man. Moreover, Mr. Wang didn't participate in the fight with the soldiers just now, so the old couple decided that Mr. Wang was also a leader. Seeing Mr. Wang speak kindly, they finally accepted the silver dollars, but this time they gave them happily. The soldiers with fierce faces and kind hearts went to pick up the pimple soup. It's just that they didn't know that at this time, old Mao Wang scolded himself in his heart, old Mao Wang, you learned from Shang Zhen, how hypocritical you are, so hypocritical. Thinking about it, now that Shang Zhen is in charge of their group, Wang Lao Mao can't say anything else. If this is Wang Lao Mao's style, what the hell, I think I didn't spend money when I went to restaurants, let alone you a pimple soup. Bai Zhan. This money bag is yours to keep. Shang Zhen shouted at this time, but he threw back the belt that was used as a money bag to Bai Zhan. When Bai Zhan took the money bag, he was overjoyed at first, but then his face turned into a bitter gourd shape, and then he let out a sneer. As for Shang Zhen's demeanor, people naturally laughed after thinking about it, so what if these silver dollars were not placed in Bai Zhan? Everyone eats and lives together and he is the one who carries the money bag. Only Hu Zuzi, who was so slow-witted, said regretfully, Hey, why are you giving that a time again? The old man and the old woman were making food for the soldiers, while Shang Zhen and old Mao Wang were standing in the yard. There was no more fighting, so they had time to talk. By the way, old Uncle Wang, where are Aunt Wang and the others? Shang Zhen asked, he finally remembered those three girls www.mtlnovel.com Just say you miss Gao girl, you ask my daughter-in-law? Old Mao Wang disagrees. Although the two of them were standing here talking, the soldiers were also at the side. As soon as old Mao Wang mentioned Gao Swift, the soldiers listened with their ears dumbfounded, although they seemed to be indifferent. Wang Lao Mao's words were a little bit to the point and Shang Zhen fell silent for a while. The veterans who were familiar with Shang Zhen's situation thought, what will the boss say, will Gao Yuyin be taken away? Or should I continue to wait for Lang Xiaozai? It's just that Shang Zhen's answer was beyond their expectations, because Shang Zhen said slowly, no hurry, I'm still young. Then he went into the house. What Shang Zhen said was a bit interesting, and after a while, the soldiers burst into laughter with a coax, but old Mao Wang blushed with embarrassment at Shang Zhen's words, and said, You little bastard! Lam yelled. Chapter 1174, Ordered to Fight Shang Zhen used the phrase I'm not in a hurry, I'm still young to run on the fact that Wang Lao Mao married a young daughter-in-law, which really made the soldiers laugh, because they hadn't laughed like this for a long time. In the end, Wang Lao Mao also laughed. If only the little dustpan was here, everyone would be safe. After Shang Zhen and the others drank the pimple soup made by the old woman and went on the road again, Shang Zhen sighed. Little dustpan? Hee hee, I don't want to miss Sichuan. Chu Tian answered. Hey. Shang Zhen looked over, he had memorized an idiom dictionary, 
so he naturally knew what it meant to be reluctant to leave. That kid and that little nurse surnamed Zhang have a bit of the same meaning. Chu Tian explained. Hearing what Chu Tian said, Shang Zhen said oh, and then he just glanced at old Mao Wang. You little bastard, do you think I'm Gaha? Old Mao Wang said angrily. Why are you guilty, Uncle Wang? Shang Zhen said solemnly, and then said with a chuckle. You little Wang Lao Mao could only itch his teeth in hatred for Shang Zhen, but the veterans who saw this scene didn't seem to have seen the scene just now, but they gradually slowed down their pace. Of course they understood what Shang Zhen meant when he glanced at old Mao Wang. It was because old Mao Wang, the manager of the little dustpan, was called Lao Zhang Gren. If Shang Zhen didn't know how to say this to his face, how could the soldiers say it in front of old Mao Wang? When they felt that Wang Lao Mao could no longer hear what they said, Qin Chuan said in a very low voice, I found out that the boss has learned badly, isn't this short talk in front of the cripple? Among the veterans, there are smart ones, such as Qian Chuaner and Ho Wang Shan, who pursed their lips happily but kept silent. But Ma or Huza didn't realize it, Qin Chuan, what do you mean? Why did Shang Zhen fail? He was not happy anymore. You can't figure it out for the rest of your life. Ho Kanchen said with a smile. Fuck, it's only your brain that works so well, you made yourself into what you are now. Ma Erhu scolded Ho Wang Shan angrily. Ho Wang Shan looked at Ma Erhu but he was not angry, instead he said with his smile that was uglier than crying, I'm so happy, if you are stupid, you can say that you are stupid, you can't look at the back of your head in this life. Okay, let's talk about something else, hey, do you think Aunt Wang has a baby? At this time, Hu Zhu came over and said in a low voice. As soon as Hu Zuzu said this, Ho Kanchen and Ma or Huza looked at Hu Zuzu together, but they didn't even fight with each other. They quickened their pace and walked forward. Who doesn't talk about people behind their backs? Old Mao Wang and Zhu Hongzia have been together for a while. In fact, the veterans discussed it in private. Why is Aunt Wang's stomach not moving? Is old Uncle Wang old? Wait, wait, wait. What a bunch of rough old men dare not say in private. But the problem is that the veterans have been in this group for a long time, and what they have gained is not only experience but also insight. Some topics are not impossible to talk about, it's not impossible to talk about it, but who can talk about it for points? A dog like Huzuza can't hold two ounces of sesame oil in his belly, if you tell him, he can let you leal out as soon as he turns his head. If old Mao Wang knew that they dared to talk about Aunt Wang's belly in private, would they still be alive? A bunch of bastards, pretend to be a calf with me. No matter how stupid Hu Zuzi is, he can understand that Ma or Huzi and Ho Wang Shan don't want to see him, and he will scold him when he gets angry. It's just that he didn't expect to offend someone again with his words. Chu Bo came from behind and said, Hu Zuzi, are you looking for cuts again? Who are you scolding? I Huzuza was stunned. Why did he still scold him when he thought about it? Or he was a tiger man, but he never thought that he would knock down everyone with a stick. Who told him to call him a bunch of bastards? Woolen cloth. Huzuza wanted to be impatient, but this time it was Chubo who asked him the question. But he also understood that if he dared to challenge Chubo, he might be beaten by the veterans again so he had no choice but to look back in silence. And when he saw the old stupid, his eyes lit up immediately. Veterans can't afford to provoke themselves, can't they bully and bully new recruits? Moreover, in the previous battle in Tai Chuang, this big man grabbed himself to prevent him from moving. This guy seems to be quite energetic. At that time, I didn't have time to talk to him during the war, but now I have time. As soon as Hu Zuzi turned around, he ran towards the old stupid. What are you doing? Li Ching Feng, who was walking with the big stupid, said something first when he saw Hu Zuzi's intentions were not good. Little Zizi, get thee out of here, I'm going to make gestures with this big fool. Hu Zuzi admitted his intentions directly. 
In Hu Zuzu's thinking, of course, if a little guy like Li Ching Feng dared to go up, he would even beat up this little bastard. But to Hu Zuzu's surprise, Li Qing Feng's eyes lit up when he saw him coming to provoke a fight, but he immediately dodged it. Not only did Li Qing Feng dodge, Wang Xiaodan also dodged, but Wu Ziki said loudly, What are you going to do? Well? Shang Zhen said no to veterans bullying new recruits. To say that Wu Ziki is really righteous, he has stayed in the puppet army, so of course he understands the thing about veterans beating recruits. Erhuo is only second in some aspects, but not in all aspects. He purposely said it loudly so that Shang Zhen in front of him could hear it. Sure enough, Shang Zhen, who was walking in front, really turned his head, and at this moment Wu Ziki pointed at Hu Zuzi and said loudly, he wants to bully the big stupid. This is about to fight. The soldiers who hadn't noticed this scene all stopped and looked at what happened before them with great interest. The battle has just been fought, but this one hasn't been fought for a while, so it's good if they don't stretch out their hands to watch for a while now. But at this time Shang Zhen had already said, pay both of their guns, let's go on, you two will chase after you finish. Ah! Who would have thought that the officer Shang Zhen would issue such an order? But since the chief gave the order, it must be carried out. The big old stupid and Hu Zuzu's guns and grenade were all confiscated, but the veterans really wanted to watch the fun. Not afraid of big things, he muttered there, hurry up, you two, I'm already anxious. But at this time, Shang Zhen had already said loudly in front, what's wrong? I haven't been back for a few days, is it not easy to speak? Have to. The tone of this sentence is harsh www.mtlnovel.com The veterans have no choice but to turn around and follow Shang Zhen and the others. Maur Huza continued to mutter, Who do you think will win? Hu Zuzu can't beat that stupid guy. He can throw a grenade 7 or 80 meters, but Hu Zuzu doesn't have that ability. Qin Chuan said. That's hard to say. Chu Bo disagreed, fighting is not about fighting desperately. It's about injuring the enemy 1,000 and self-defeating 800. Hey, by the way, little Taoist priest, your monk brother should be the son of the Lian family, right? Li Ching Feng saw Ma or Huza looking back again, that was to see if Huzuzi and the old man were fighting, Ma or Huzi also thought it was funny, but it was the first time these veterans had seen Shang Zhen ordered the fight. Don't look, there's nothing to see. Li Ching Feng smiled. At this time, Shang Zhen, who was walking in the front, was also funny, but he stopped and ordered loudly again, Everyone, go in front of me, if anyone looks back, how can I deal with him? Chapter 1175, Nameless Fire Fighting is not nothing to watch, but the veterans really didn't watch it except for Wang Lao Mao, and Shang Zhen was too lazy to watch he knew the result without watching. The reason here is of course that Shang Zhen didn't let others watch, but it was also because the fight was really fast. They just heard Hu Zuzu yelling hey and oh my god from behind. They just wanted to turn their heads, but Shang Zhen added the sentence don't turn back, and they could barely hold on. Those next that really want to turn back to watch the excitement but have to keep the original posture. In total, they only heard that Tiger Zuzu barked three times, not four times, and then there was no movement behind. This quiet mystery is even more touching the hearts of these soldiers, but the military order cannot be violated, and the soldiers feel that their necks are stiff. At this time, Ma Tian Fang said in a low voice, What the hell, why does it feel like a woman is taking a bath? His voice was extremely low, but the veterans beside him heard it too and burst out laughing with a pucci. What are you laughing at? Hu Zuzi asked curiously without hearing it. When Ma Tian Feng was about to say something to Hu Zuzi, they suddenly heard old Mao Wang say regretfully, this is the end of the fight. Therefore, the old soldiers don't know where Ma Tian Feng's joke was thrown. If Shang Zhen is the Emperor Renzong of the Song Dynasty, Wang Lao Mao is the 8,000-year-old Zhao Difeng of the Song dynasty. If Shang Zhen is the emperor of the Qing dynasty, 
Come on, let's not care which emperor it is, then old Mao Wang is the Iron Hat King. Old Mao Wang is Shang Zhen's old platoon leader. Shang Zhen can control anyone but old Mao Wang. For old Mao Wang, it's just a matter of whether he wants to hear it or not. Of course, most of the time, old Mao Wang would never give Shang Zhen eye drops. But when things come and go, old Mao Wang naturally wants to do whatever he wants. For example, now he is watching Hu Zuzi and the old stupid fighting by himself. As soon as old Mao Wang said that the fight was over, the soldiers didn't leave but turned around to watch. It's just that they are more regretful than old Mao Wang at this glance. Because they saw that Hu Zuzi had already got up, but his hand was being pulled by the big stupid. In other words, Hu Zuzi was pulled up by the big stupid. Everyone didn't leave, and saw the big old stupid coming forward behind the tiger pillar, and the big old stupid was already limping. Qian Chuaner didn't see any tricks, so he looked at Wang Lao Mao's face, after all, Wang Lao Mao was the witness of the whole process of the fight. Old Mao Wang had no expression on his face, but when the old stupid walked over to Hu Zuzi and walked in front of him, old Mao Wang let out a cheer from his nostrils and said, really throw money to the old soldier. Hu Zuzi let out a hum, and walked forward dejectedly. He also felt ashamed of losing but this time he didn't even speak stubbornly. An episode came to an end in this way. The veterans surrounded Hu Zuzi and walked forward. They were all curious about how Hu Zuzi was brought down by the big stupid. Everyone was curious, and those who didn't know thought Hu Zuzi a hero who has won. But at this time, old Mao Wang, who was walking behind, was talking about Shang Zhen, you prodigal son, if you eat some noodle soup you will give it to the golden lump. Shang Zhen didn't expect Wang Lao Mao to bring up this topic, so he smiled and said nothing, isn't it normal for Wang Lao Mao to scold him? He himself can't remember how many times he has been scolded by old Mao Wang in the past eight years. Of course, there is less scolding now. Speak up. Don't give me three sticks so I can't squeeze a fart. Old Mao Wang became even more angry when he saw Shang Zhen's behavior. Shang Zhen glanced at Wang Lao Mao's expression and continued to remain silent. We have been together for a long time, and we naturally know each other's temperament and disposition. Old Mao Wang scolded Shang Zhen's face for a long time, so he didn't take it seriously, so he just stopped scolding him when he got angry enough. But whoever thought about it and didn't know why Wang Lao Mao didn't like him when he looked at him today, but... Train him. Shang Zhen also felt it, he turned his head and glanced at old Mao Wang, wondering if it's okay to use such a small lump of gold to exchange food for the big guy, let alone use it later. A piece of gold is useless, so why is old Mao Wang so angry? As for old Mao Wang, Shang Zhen would definitely not stand up to it but he was his old platoon leader, if he dared to talk back and someone gave him another blow, how could he fight back? But who knows what's going on today, the more Shang Zhen keeps silent, the more old Mao Wang gets angrier, and the angrier he gets, the more he scolds him, and the scolding and scolding are Shang Zhen's original nickname when he was a soldier. Rod all shouted out. They all called out Meganer. It was nothing more than the embarrassment of Shang Zhen Gang when he was in the army, he would wake himself up from sleep and dream, and finally he had someone gag his mouth with stinky socks, etc. thing. It was only then that Shang Zhen realized that there must be something wrong with Mr. Wang, but he had to compete with him for something. He still didn't talk back and let Mr. Wang scold him, but he was already thinking about it. But having said that, it's a shame that Shang Zhen is now the leader, so he has some face, he didn't say anything but slowed down, he can't let the soldiers listen to Wang Lao Mao rummaging about his embarrassing things, right? You walk so slowly, hey. Old Mao Wang found a new slot when he saw that Shang Zhen was walking slowly. You can scold me if you want, save me some face. Shang Zhen said solemnly. Looking at what you did, what face do you need? Old Mao Wang went on to say foul words. Then Aunt Wang didn't save face for you when she was in front of the big guys. 
Shang Zhen retorted in a very low voice. What? What the are you talking about? Old Mao Wang raised his voice again, as if Shang Zhen's mention of Zhu Hongzia directly hit his lung tube. It should be said that Shang Zhen's voice was very low, but his counterattack was very powerful. In Northeast dialect, when other people are present, Wang Lao Mao pretends to be a kid. But when only Wang Lao Mao and Zhu Hongzia were left behind, even if others didn't know, wouldn't Wang Lao Mao know what he was like? Little bastard, how dare you talk back? You want to lose face, and your face can't match that insole. Old Mao Wang cursed again as if he had been poked against the scales. Have to. Shang Zhen saw that old Mao Wang was not finished today, so he resolutely kept quiet this time, so he put on a posture that a dead pig is not afraid of being scalded by boiling water, which undoubtedly means you keep scolding, I will keep silent. At this time, the veterans who were walking in front were already looking back to find out. When Wang Lao Mao scolded Shang Zhen, the veterans didn't pay attention at first, but they were all teasing Hu Zuzi why he lost the fight. After saying it, the veterans also felt that something was wrong. But they felt that something was wrong, but they would never go over to persuade them to fight. It was not surprising that Wang Lao Mao scolded anyone, and who among them hadn't been scolded by Wang Lao Mao. What's more, Mr. Wang taught Shang Zhen that it was a fight between gods and gods, so why do they mortals move forward? If they don't move forward, they don't move forward, but how can their mouth be idle? What's wrong with Uncle Wang today? Did you take gunpowder? Ma Tian Fang muttered. I didn't take the gunpowder, I'm afraid I'm going crazy again. Qin Chuan responded in a low voice. The veteran's respect for Mr. Wang is reflected in the fact that when they stand in front of Mr. Wang, there is nothing they can't say behind their backs. What do you mean by taking gunpowder? Ching Feng Li, who was also curious, didn't understand. Taking gunpowder is a cannonball battle. When you ignite it, you will be so angry. Chen Han Wen, who is a good teacher, explained to Li Ching Feng. Li Ching Feng was still there oh, Qian Chuan er also said, then what is the reason? Isn't it because our boss pays for gold to eat pimple soup, old Uncle Wang feels like a prodigal. That's nothing. I think we threw away all the big cigarettes in the car. Maur Husa disagreed. A car full of smoke? The few soldiers who joined in later were stunned. Nowadays, gold and silver are hard currency, and big smoke soil is also hard currency. It turned out that the team they joined was still so arrogant. But now which veteran will tell them what happened at that time, old Mao Wang is still scolding Shang Zhen later. If you want me to say, it's not Uncle Wang and Aunt Wang, they have never had a child for most of their lives, what a mess. Are you angry? Bai Zhan guessed. To say that Bai Zhan's mouth is also very sinister. If it turned out that he didn't dare to talk about old Mao Wang behind his back like this, and if this word got to old Mao Wang's ears, then the cat with nine lives might only have half its life left. But later, Bai Zhan became familiar with everyone, and the big guy stopped talking behind his back. Only then did he realize that sometimes this group of people were ruthless when talking about old Mao Wang behind their backs www.mtlnovel.com Then what is he afraid of? If others are pinching you to say black material that says bad things about Wang Mao, and you pinch the black material that others say bad things about Wang Lao Mao, then who is afraid of whom? Then grin your mouth and say it. Fuck off, kid, you said that throwing is not reliable at all. At this moment Chu Bo spoke. So what's reliable? Tell me. Bai Zhan was not convinced. It's not Aunt Wang, is it? Chu Bo said, but he made a gesture of expanding his belly with one hand. What does this mean, everyone understands? No way. I didn't see it. The veterans recalled. But when the veterans were in a daze, Chu Tian suddenly said, I think what Chu Bo said is reasonable and logical. It makes sense why old Uncle Wang called Shang Zhen a prodigal. Lao Zhe. Chapter 1176 Reorganized. 
Shang Zhen and the others are now heading northeast along the highway, which is the direction that old Mao Wang and the others came from, just because the 59th army is in that direction, and the little dustpan and the three women are still at 50 what about the Jujun hospital? There is a lot of emotion when I mention the 59th army. In this battle, the 59th army became the fire fighting team on the battlefield. The 57th army of the northeast army couldn't hold on to the Huehi river, so the 59th army went up. And the army of Commander Pang couldn't defend Li, so he transferred them there again. What kind of team can stand up to marching and fighting between the north and the south, and in the end the 59th army was severely injured in the battle. But it doesn't matter if you are seriously injured. The Japanese army besieged Tai Chuang. The theater headquarters saw that the 59th army was in a difficult situation. Come on, then you go to the rear of the Japanese army to harass the Japanese army. As far as this method of mobilizing troops is concerned, it is absolutely whipping fast cattle. I just don't understand, the 59th army is fighting like this. Knowing that the little devil has strong fighting power and strong firepower, why can't our Chinese army always not enough? Why can't we transfer a few more troops from other places? This is what Chu Bo said, and he was complaining for the 59th Army. But no one can answer Chu Bo's question, who knows what's going on with the higher UPS, even if these little soldiers say that Zi Wu Yin Mao is here, it's the result of watching flowers from the other side. Of course, maybe someone among their group of veterans can answer clearly, such as Shang Zhen. It's just that Shang Zhen walked with a blank expression this time, as if he had been scolded stupid by old Mao Wang. And just a few steps behind Shang Zhen, Wang Lao Mao was drinking water. He was really tired of cursing, and as for the water, Shang Zhen saw that he was tired of cursing and asked Qian Chuaner to bring over the Japanese army water bottle seized yesterday. Let him moisten his throat. Shang Zhen also said, Old Uncle Wang, drink your saliva, and then continue cursing after drinking. Old Mao Wang was also tired of scolding, so he borrowed the donkey from the to drink water. It's just that how fast can they go with their marching speed? First, Hu Zuzi discussed with the big stupid, and Wang Lao Mao scolded Shang Zhen for a long time. It's just seven or eight miles away from Tai Wang. In fact, the root cause of walking so slowly lies with Shang Zhen. Everyone is very tired these days. Shang Zhen reckons that if the Tai Chuang battle is won, at least there will be no battles in the short term, even for a few days, so why make his own people rush on their way? So Shang Zhen and the others walked like this, seeing another village ahead, he called Qian Chuaner and said, take two people into the village to see if you can get a carriage. I thought that Qian Chuaner would go there, but at this moment Qian Chuaner reported, Boss, do you see that there seems to be something stuck in front? After hearing what Jian Chuaner said, Shang Zhen looked ahead and noticed that there were indeed soldiers standing there less than a hundred meters ahead. When Shang Zhen and the others came out of that village this morning, they naturally also met people from other troops. The Tai Chuang War had just ended, and the Chinese army had to clean up the battlefield to rescue the wounded. It was normal to encounter people from our own army. Even if they walked this way, there were other officers and soldiers on the road, but they were a little far away. Isn't it normal to set traps on the highway after the war? Shang Zhen said and waved his hand, let's go. Since Shang Zhen had an order, Qian Chuaner greeted Bai Zhan, Wang Ziodan and the others to speed up their pace, and Shang Zhen and the others followed slowly behind. But Shang Zhen saw Qian Chuaner and the others stopped at the catch and didn't know what he was talking to the people guarding there. Even when he got here, Shang Zhen quickened his pace and walked forward without thinking about it. What's the situation? Shang Zhen asked Qian Chuaner when he walked to the temporary lock. When he got there, he naturally saw that there was really a temporary check here. The soldiers guarding here looked like a squad, and their uniforms looked like ordinary soldiers. Can't tell which army it belongs to. It's nothing, I'm just talking to my brothers about what happened on the battlefield. Before Qian Chuan could reply, 
someone among the soldiers guarding the card said. Yes. Qian Chuan'er also responded. Seeing nothing unusual, Shang Zhen waved his hand and the group walked into the village, but when they all turned their backs to the soldiers guarding the traps, it was naturally impossible to notice that the leading soldier was already rushing towards his companions. She squeezed her eyes, how about it, isn't my trick smart? Xiaobian, let them go in together so that no one will run away. Squad leader, smart. The soldiers boasted in a low voice. The battles had been won, and Chinese troops were everywhere. Naturally, Shang Zhen and the others would not suspect anything else, and they entered the village after a while. But before entering the village, Shang Zhen and the others found that there were quite a lot of soldiers in this village, not to mention the crowds, but it was not bad. Not only were there a lot of soldiers, but they were marching under the yell of some officers and soldiers. And not far away from Shang Zhen and the others, a soldier suddenly yelled ah, when Shang Zhen and the others heard the sound, they saw that the soldier had squatted down, and there was another soldier beside him the upside-down rifle hasn't returned yet. That soldier was hit by someone else with the of his gun. Oh, it's a real fight this time. Hu Zuzi grinned when he saw a soldier being beaten. But at this moment, Shang Zhen had already yelled in an eager and low tone, it's not good, get out of the village. Why? Maur Huza didn't realize it. Could it be that these people were all Japanese devils in disguise? It's not right. We have won all the battles, so how come there are so many Japanese devils? However, obeying Shang Zhen's orders has become their instinct, and they were about to turn around and retreat, but at this moment, someone beside them laughed and said, I know it's not good now. It's too late. Shang Zhen and the others looked over at the sound, and saw that the speaker was an officer. And looking at the officer's uniform, not to mention Shang Zhen, at least twenty of the thirty people in Shang Zhen's group knew that something was wrong. Why is it bad? They would never think that these officers and soldiers were disguised by Japanese devils like Ma or Huzi, but because the military uniform worn by this officer belonged to the Central Army. Although the military uniforms worn by the Chinese army today are not as American style, but the Central Army is a direct line army. After all, their military uniforms are still more refined than the materials of the non brand army, and their military rank marks are much clearer than those of the non brand army. The Central Army is lining up the skirmishers returning from the front line. What's the situation? The recruits definitely didn't understand, but the veterans guessed one thing. Isn't the Central Army going to reorganize some of the disabled teams that have withdrawn from the front line? But now Shang Zhen and the others knew from this officer's expression that the other party should also be a veteran. To say that a veteran is just a kind of experience and not the label on the forehead, maybe it is just a kind of temperament that is revealed inadvertently, regardless of whether it is a face of righteousness or a ruffian with a smile, but there is something between veterans. Such a mutual induction. The officer in front of him was smiling very proudly, but he was looking at Shang Zhen and the others with an expression similar to catching a turtle in a jar. It's just that Shang Zhen and his group of veterans found out that something was wrong, but were they so easily bluffed by Zhen? Generally speaking, this kind of thing doesn't require Shang Zhen's personal involvement. Moreover, Shang Zhen himself admits that he is actually not very good at verbal arguing. What? You are the officer, and your place is a ghost gate that is more awesome than Tai Chuang? I can't come because of old. Old Mao Wang said sullenly. The officer opposite Wang Lao Mao must have seen it. It is not clear whether the other soldiers in Shang Zhen and his group saw it too, but Shang Zhen who was next to Wang Lao Mao did. Shang Zhen saw that things were not going well and it was too late to run www.mtlnovel.com instead he regained his composure. What stormy scene has he not seen? Even if it is as I guessed, so what if the Central Army really wants to reorganize them? He was caught as a young man, so he also ran out alive and kicking? Just like what Wang Lao Mao said, no matter how awesome you are here, how can you be more awesome than Tai Chuang? I can't come. Because his mood was relaxed, 
Shang Zhen actually noticed the way Wang Laomao was talking at this time. From his point of view, it was old man Wang's skinny face with many creases, and the hard stubble on his chin that was shaved a few days ago but now appeared. At this time, Shang Zhen suddenly thought of something that had nothing to do with the scene. He knew why Zhu Hengzia liked old Mao Wang. Yes, Mr. Wang has many shortcomings, but it is undeniable that Mr. Wang is actually very manly, no. Don't call it a man's taste, Wang Lao Mao is an out-and-out -out pure man from the northeast, why does this man look a little handsome now? Chapter 1177, The Road Ahead is Blocked Not to mention the enemy and us, although neither side raised their guns at each other, but the officer's laughter just now seemed to be an embarrassing joke, because the scene was a bit cold. There are many hatreds in this world with innate attributes. For example, the Poles have a natural hatred for the Russians, which is definitely the hatred of destroying the country and taking away their wives, but after all, both of these two families are Slavs. To say that the Northeast Army and the Central Army do not have such a big enmity, but it is not a day or two that they look down on each other. Even in short, it is a trivial matter. Well, an overview. Zhang Xiao's Hui changed his flag and voted for someone. On September 18, Zhang Xiao's Hui regretted not ordering resistance. Someone asked Zhang Xiao's Hui to take the Northeast Army to Shaanxi to fight a civil war and not let him resist. Zhang Xiao's Hui was young and impulsive. Going to rescue someone, and finally resolved it peacefully, Zhang Xiao's Hui sent someone back to Nanjing and was imprisoned for a long time. Isn't this how the enmity was forged? The middle and lower level officers and soldiers of the Northeast Army actively demanded resistance to Japan, but there were a few generals with ambiguous attitudes in the upper echelons, and even a few generals later defected to the enemy and became traitors. To say that in the event of foreign aggression in China, the many small people in the middle and lower classes are much stronger in their will to resist than those in the upper class. This is easy to understand, the upper class has money and when anyone is rich enough to ignore the geographical restrictions, the will to resist is not firm. Think about it, the Northeast is occupied by the Japanese, and I have money, so if I go to SJZ to get a property, can I continue to live? Then if the Japanese occupy SJZ again, can't I go to Kunming and get another real estate, can't I continue to feast and feast? That is to say, the Japanese have occupied the whole of China, so if I have money, I can squat, I can twist my waist, and then I can buy a house as an apartment, okay? On the contrary, the people in the middle and lower classes will not be able to do it. My home is on the Songhua River in the northeast. If the Japanese occupy the Songhua River, I will have no home. It is impossible for me to take all the old people from my wife and children to the south, let alone abroad. So what is the picture of holding a gun as a soldier? not to mention defending the country, you have to protect your home, right? If a man can't even protect his own home, then what's the point of being a soldier? Don't take it. And now when it comes to Shang Zhen and his group, they have participated in the detainment of someone, and they are more or less related to the progressive students of Lang Xiaozai, so how do you think they have a good opinion of the Central Army? At this time, the officer was a little surprised when he heard that Wang Lao Mao spoke with a northeast accent, so he looked Shang Zhen and his group up and down again. To be honest, everyone knows that our Chinese army won the Battle of Tai Chuang. If they don't know this, they will definitely regard Shang Zhen and his group as deserters. The military uniforms of Shang Zhen and the others were already torn and dirty. Especially Shang Zhen and Wu Ziki. These two people are not fair in terms of skin color, but their faces look so pale at this moment. Why? Of course it was because their clothes were too black. Shang Zhen and Wu Ziki had stayed in the stove before, and their clothes hadn't been washed, but even if they had washed the ash from the bottom of the pot, would it be so easy to wash it off? Anyone who has done masonry work, scraped pots, and Kangs knows that the ash from the bottom of the pot is absolutely pervasive. Even if the ash sticks to the skin, it will definitely enter the sweat pores. If it is not clean, 
you have to use a brush to play with it, the kind that brushes bald skin. Which part do you belong to? The officer asked, his gaze finally falling on old Mao Wang. Biked. From the 59th Army. Old Mao Wang replied after seeing Fang Zheng's serious questioning. He wanted to say, you don't care what part of me is, but he is already in his fifties, and he is no longer a young man after all. Seeing what he said just now, the officer's arrogance has been restrained. It is no longer hard top. He also didn't want to say that these people belonged to the Northeast Army, he was keeping an eye out, don't let them find their hometown if they really have any conflicts with the Central Army. Why did this officer block our way, he he, didn't he want to recruit us? Old Mao Wang no longer looked gloomy, but had a playful smile on his face. What? Can't you? The officer also laughed. Of course not. Old Mao Wang replied decisively, We belong to the 59th Army, not to mention that we are carrying out our own mission, that is, the 59th Army fought against the Huihi River this time and then fought against the Li. A battalion of wounded soldiers is full, and when it is over, your Central Army will recruit us. Are you trying to cancel the number of the 59th Army? I won't say whether you can do it, even if you can do it, do you think it's appropriate to spread the word? Or, you locked us all up? Or, are they all dead? But if you kill us all, then you still include us gaha? How easy is it to save a machine gun? Ouch, as soon as Wang Lao Mao said this, everyone, not only the officer of the Central Army opposite him was looking at Wang Lao Mao's face, but Shang Zhen and his group of soldiers were all looking at the back of Wang Lao Mao's head. Of course, most of the soldiers stood behind Wang Lao Mao and wanted to see Wang Lao Mao's face, but they couldn't see it, so they could only look at the back of his head. Ouch! Is this the one from our foul-mouthed old Uncle Wang? This speaks volumes. In fact, Wang Lao Mao is almost fifty now. With the rich experience, a person's calm personality will eventually precipitate in his knowledge level, but the people who get along with him on a daily basis may not be able to perceive it. This is like a person who is a university professor, but when he and his wife live together, it is only rice, oil, salt, soy sauce, vinegar, and tea. How can he show his academic level when living together? It's just that this time is naturally not the time to praise old Mao Wang. The officer of the Central Army obviously didn't expect this thin and wrinkled veteran to say such a truth. He looked old Mao Wang up and down again and suddenly laughed. Said, 59th Army? 59th Army, you gave me a smell of northeast mess. Obviously, at least he has heard people from the northeast speak and he also knows that there is a difference in accent between northeast people and northwest people. Then my lord, where do I come from? But I'm from the northeast army, what? No way. Bai Zhan spoke suddenly. Bai Zhan was a Beijing-style man. Although he said that his words were influenced by people from the northeast, the man couldn't help but believe that Beijing-style style when it came out. The officer was again speechless. That is, whoever said that the Northeast Army must be from the Northeast, and there are people in the Central Army from all provinces. The officer's face became cloudy and uncertain. But old Mao Wang didn't want to wait, and he didn't want to spend time here with the Central Army, in case something else happened after a long time. Sir, you you reading www.uugonshu.com if you have nothing else to say we will continue to walk on our single plank bridge. Old Mao Wang said. When Old Mao Wang said this, the group of them naturally wanted to move, but before they could move, the officer stopped them again. But this time, Shang Zhen and the others clenched their guns tightly. What Old Mao Wang said just now is in place. If the Central Army stops them again, it means that the Central Army may be scattered about them. Bing really has an idea. The road ahead is closed," said the officer. What? Why? Wang Lao Mao asked subconsciously. Shang Zhen and his group of soldiers made some moves. They took it for granted that this officer recruited them, 
so they should make things difficult for them. But this time before old Mao Wang could say anything more, Shang Zhen suddenly said, Then don't go there, let's go back first. It was different when Shang Zhen spoke. The soldiers at their end all glanced at the officer and the soldiers of the Central Army who had become alert behind the officer, and finally backed away. Chapter 1178, Reason for Road Closure If you want me to say that our old Uncle Wang is really Qin Chuan said with a smile in a yard. What is it really? Ma Tian Fang asked, and the soldiers surrounded him all looked at Qin Chuan. What is the tacit understanding between partners? Qin Chuan and Ma Tian Fang did that. What Qin Chuan said was a trick. If the trick is to be sold, someone has to answer the question, otherwise how can it go on? This is like the teasing Jen and holding Jen in cross talk. It's really an ink bottle hanging behind the buttocks it's of a certain level. Qin Chuan said loudly. The soldiers in the yard laughed coaxingly, while Qin Chuan and Ma Tian Fang looked at each other and smiled as if they were doing the kind of oh yeah when they clapped hands. You two little bastards! Old Mao Wang scolded with a smile. It's just that whenever this happens among the crowd, Qin Chuan is teasing Jen, and Ma Tian Fang is praising Jen, so there must be an interaction with the audience. Ho Wang Shan smiled and said, Our old Uncle Wang's level is not an ink bottle, it has to be a hot water bottle. The soldiers continued to laugh. The hot water bottle is bigger than the ink bottle. That's right, the non-hot water bottle is not enough to show the high level of Wang Lao Mao. It's just that the audience interacted with the stage, but there were also those in the audience who disrupted the stage. Amidst the laughter of the crowd, Hu Zuzi muttered in a low voice, What a big ass! Fortunately, everyone else was laughing, and no one could hear what he said clearly, otherwise he might have to be punished by old Mao Wang again. After Shang Zhen and the others entered the village, they were blocked by the central army and were unable to go there. However, when they wanted to exit the village and take another road to the front, they found that the situation was more serious than what the central army officer said. Some, because other intersections are also blocked, but they are not allowed to pass at all. In this situation, Shang Zhen and the others certainly couldn't break into it, and they wouldn't even think about it. Everyone is a soldier with a gun, and people from the Central Army are also carrying out orders, so how can they be fooled? They also inquired about why there was a blockade in this area, and those who guarded the block only said that they followed the orders from above, and they didn't know why the road was closed and the blockade was set up. It took some time for Shang Zhen and the others to go left and right, but according to Shang Zhen and his observations, the Central Army did not dare to really incorporate their team, which claimed to be the 59th Army. The reason for this is just as what Wang Lao Mao said, the 59th Army still exists. How dare you recruit those of us who don't want to join the Central Army? If this incident becomes a big deal, how can we unite and fight against Japan? Don't the local warlords want everyone to be at risk? So in the end, Shang Zhen and the others returned to that village. Now the soldiers are praising old Mao Wang in a seemingly derogatory way, calling it Dokizi in Northeast dialect, so they are naturally very happy, but Shang Zhen is the only one who leans against the gate of the courtyard and thinks. Among the crowd, old Mao Wang saw Shang Zhen's appearance, and thought that it was unreasonable for him to scold Shang Zhen for a long time before, but it would be absolutely impossible to ask him to put down his dignity and pay Shang Zhen a compensation. He walked up to Shang Zhen from the group and asked, You bastard, everyone else is laughing, why aren't you laughing? Um? You said Mrs. Wang was looking for faults? He doesn't care whether people laugh or not. Shang Zhen's thoughts were interrupted by Wang Lao Mao. Under the watchful eyes of all the soldiers, he glanced at Wang Lao Mao and said expressionlessly, Why am I laughing? Fuck, you, me, if you don't laugh, I'll continue to scold you. Old Mao Wang still put on that unreasonable posture. This time Shang Zhen's face changed and he said, If you scold me again. What the am I calling you? You little bastard. Old Mao Wang continued ruthlessly. 
Hey, if you scold me again, I won't say a word. I'll smother you to death, you bastard. Shang Zhen laughed. The soldiers who had seen the gods fighting again felt relieved when Shang Zhen said that, and laughed coaxingly. Amidst the roar of laughter, Shang Zhen said again, You old man is disrespectful. I found out that no one dared to take care of you since I was injured by the little dustpan. When Wang Laomao heard Shang Zhen mentioning the little dustpan, he couldn't help but he he amused, thinking about it, it really was the same thing. In their group, little dustpan never got used to him, as for the others, no one really messed with him. Hu Zuzi often gets angry with him, but Hu Zuzi doesn't count, who can understand him just about playing with tigers. Speaking of which, the matter of Wang Lao Mao scolding Shang Zhen has also been revealed, and the soldiers have also speculated about Wang Lao Mao's inexplicable anger this time, and when they go back to see if their old aunt Wang's belly is getting bigger I will know. Shang Zhen led most of the people to stay in this yard, but he kept stringing money, Bai Zhan, Wang Ziodan, Li Ching Feng, Ho Wang Shan, Qin Chuan, Ma Tian Feng, Fan Chan Chan, He Ziongke and Chiao Xiang were sent to the village to find out the news. The members of the Shang Zhen faction are all very particular. Qian Chuaner, Bai Zhan, Wang Ziodan, Li Ching Feng, and Qin Chuan are the ones who are clever in their work and can see that their eyebrows are high and their eyes are low. Ho Kanchen and Ma Tian Feng are also smart but they both have injuries that others can see at a glance. Ho saw that Shan's face was disfigured, and outsiders could see that he had gone through an extremely fierce battle. Ma Tian Feng lost an arm, and at first glance it was also a veteran. Since both of them seem to be veterans, even if the Central Army really wants to incorporate the remnants of various armies, they may not be able to take a fancy to such disabled veterans. Fan Chan Chan, He Ziong Ke, and Chiao Xiang are not very clever, but they are not from the Northeast. Since they are not from the Northeast, it is naturally unlikely that the Central Army will link them to the Northeast Army, so they may also hear some news. Wang Laomao really asked Shang Zhen why he sent people like this, and Shang Zhen explained the reason to Wang Laomao. Shang Zhen and the others only had about 30 people in total, half of those he sent out, and the rest were naturally listening. Only then did everyone know that Shang Zhen was so careful. No one can succeed casually. The boss led us to persevere from September 18th to the present. Oh, only God knows how many brain cells he has spent. Chu Tian admired sincerely from the side. If Chu Tian said that about Shang Zhen, it really came from the heart, but he was confused by what he said. What are you talking about? What cell? Maur Husey asked beside him. The brain is a good thing, everyone knows this, but Shang Zhen and his group, including Shang Zhen, don't know what a cell is. That's right, it means exhausting your mind. Chu Tian quickly explained. Now that Shushan gets along with the gangsters, it is much more harmonious than before. After all, he is not Chen Hanwen with a pedantic personality. He has been very careful not to use that kind of high-end term to provoke these big bosses so as not to stand out from the crowd. But today, when he praised Shang Zhen, he forgot that it is impossible for these to know the word cell. It's just that when he was in a hurry to explain, he used another idiom. The soldiers of cell didn't understand, but the soldiers of exhaustion didn't understand either. Oh! Chu Tian was really anxious. He was really afraid that this group of people who are not good at culture but are quick to think and hurt people are definitely better than himself, so he explained again without waiting for others to interrupt, it's just exhausting. The meaning of the mind. This time he explained it clearly, but the ending, of course, the bosses were not satisfied, but several people said at the same time, fuck. You just said that you worked hard. Poor Chu Tian's pale face turned red again, he was already extra careful, but he was rubbed on the ground by the vulgar words of the veterans again. Shang Zhen and the others stayed in the yard until after four o'clock in the afternoon. The people who went out to inquire about the news came back one after another, but they did not bring any valuable news, 
but Bai Zhan brought back with Wang Xiaodan two sacks of large pancakes with three-sided noodles, and there were also pickles. There are staple foods and pickles. It's not bad to be able to survive starvation these days. The white chicken is so beautiful. For this reason, old Mao Wang also praised Bai Zhan loudly. To be honest, when Bai Zhan was praised by Wang Lao Mao, it was really the first time a big girl got on the sedan chair www.mtlnovel.com for a while, with his eloquent teeth, I really didn't know what to say. Ouch! It's so rare, look quickly, Bai Zanji's face is red. Qin Chuan suddenly called out. When Wang Lao Mao praised Bai Zhan, no one really noticed whether Bai Zhan's face was red, but when Qin Chuan yelled, Bai Zhan's face was not red at all, maybe Qin Chuan did it on purpose of. Just when Bai Zhan was about to refute, Fan Chan Chan and Chiao Xiang ran in panting from the courtyard gate, and Fan Chan Chan still said, Boss, boss, there is great news. Fan Chan Chan's words immediately silenced the newly lively courtyard. What shocking news? Shang Zhen asked. Fan Chan Chan then turned his head and glanced at the door. Seeing that there were no outsiders, he whispered to the gathered heads, the roads are closed everywhere because the old man came to the front line for inspection. Chapter 1179, High Officials and Small People Tell me, if we see that old man, will that old man give us a blue sky and white sun medal or something? Bai Zhan in the yard stood there. Is that metal you are talking about made of real money? Yu Ziuolong asked curiously beside him. It must be. Bai Zhan, who had never seen Qing Tian by R.I. Sun Jian, vowed. You said, since we killed so many Japanese devils, shouldn't each of us be given a medal of that kind? In that case, we will have money. Li Qing Feng also said beside him. If that's the case, you guys have to give me those medals. I've been wasting my money for the past two days. Bai Zhan went on to bluff, and he didn't forget to glance at the veterans triumphantly after finishing speaking. Now everyone can be called a veteran, but veterans still have a level of seniority, Li Qing Feng will not mention it, Bai Zhan and Yu Ziuolong must be considered as latecomers. And the reason why Bai Zhan looked proudly at those veterans headed by Wang Lao Mao was not because others cleaned the battlefield and only brought back a little gold for Shang Zhen. It's really too prodigal to turn that play into cash and spend it, so the money they spend now is not what he got back in vain. It's just that after Bai Zhan glanced at these veterans, he saw that these veterans didn't care about him at all. Smoke means that neither Chu Tian nor Chen Han Wen joined. Hey. I said, why are you all silent? Don't be greedy when I get the blue sky and white sun medal. Bai Zhan continued. Old Uncle Wang, show that you are at the level of the Central Army, why can't I see Bai Zanji's face? Qian Chuaner, who had finished lighting a cigarette for Wang Lao Mao, encouraged Wang Lao Mao in a low voice. Don't bother with that little bastard, let the scholar go. Old Mao Wang took a breath of cigarette and spit it out without moving. Scholar? Which scholar? Qian Chuaner asked. Chu Tian and Chen Hanwen were also in front of them, and they heard it too. The veterans called them both Chu Cai, and sometimes they inevitably messed up but didn't care. In fact, in their team, Chu Cai did not get the respect they deserved. I won't go. I can't speak for Bai Zanji's mouth. Chen Hanwen expressed his opinion first. It's hard to explain why Zaiho Kai met Bing, but it's also unclear when Chen Hanwen met Bai Zanyu. Chen Hanwen calls himself a literati, but he also gave Bai Zhan the title of literary ruffian. I'm not going either. I don't understand him. Zhang is still old and spicy. Uncle Wang needs to deal with him. Chu Tian expressed his opinion, and his thoughts were the same as Chen Han Wen's. He also didn't want to talk to Bai Zhan. It's just because Bai Zhan knows a lot, but he doesn't speak the truth. What kind of person does Bai Zhan belong to? There is a passage on the internet of later generations that can be used to describe Bai Zhan, that is. You reason with him, 
he tells you the law. You talk to him about the law, and he plays hooligans with you. You play hooligans with him, and he talks about culture with you. You tell him about culture, and he tells you about Confucius. You tell him about Confucius, and he tells you about Laozi. You tell him about Laozi, and he pretends to be grandson with you. As for a literary ruffian like Bai Zhan, whether Chen Hanwen or Chu Tian, neither could talk to him nor wanted to talk to him. Therefore, it is naturally the best choice to let old Mao Wang pass by. After all, when a soldier fights a war, the hard fist is the last word. Bai Zhan absolutely didn't dare to mess around with old Mao Wang, if he dared to fool around with old Mao Wang, if old Mao Wang couldn't talk to him, then someone would reach out and beat him up. What the are you, two bears? Old Mao Wang said angrily, then stood up from the broken stool he was sitting on and said, watch me clean him up. As soon as old Wang's hat moved, all the soldiers couldn't help but look at him, they knew that another good show was about to be staged. When Bai Zhan saw that Wang Lao Mao was coming, he also started to think, he was really afraid of Wang Lao Mao. But when old Mao Wang stood in front of Bai Zhan, he stretched out his hand and patted Bai Zhan's shoulder heavily. It is impossible to say that Wang Lao Mao slapped him without any force, but it is also impossible to say that he slapped him with much force. But at this moment, Bai Zhan trembled. I'm afraid of a... Old Mao Wang said first, haven't you been bluffing about that medal for nothing? Today, your old uncle Wang will explain the truth to you, and I won't beat you up. Hearing what Wang Lao Mao said, Bai Zhan let go of his heart that had been racing. What do we Chinese say? This is Wang Lao Mao's opening words. Bai Zhan slandered, Zendeo Chinese people talk too much, who the knows what you said. But does Bai Zhan dare to say this? Of course he dare not. In their team, only the little dustpan dared to point to old Mao Wang's nose and call old Mao Wang the old bastard. Of course, this time Shang Zhen also scolded Wang Lao Mao once as an old bastard, but it was precisely because Shang Zhen scolded Wang Lao Mao only once that made everyone laugh. Oh, that sentence is the king of Hades is easy to see, but the little ghost is hard to deal with. Old Mao Wang remembered and continued, everyone understands the meaning of this sentence. It means that the more officials you have, the less you like to put on airs. Only those petty officials will put on all sorts of embarrassments for you. Old Mao Wang just said this, but Bai Zhan muttered again in his stomach, Yes, so, Shang Zhen has no airs, you are just pretending to be a brat. Old Mao Wang didn't know that Bai Zhan was secretly scolding himself. He went on to say, in fact, the truth in this sentence is very simple, that is, how many times can a high-ranking official see small people in this life? They don't want to be serious with our small people. Then people will be able to leave a reputation of being close to the people with a little bit of smugness. Old Mao Wang was right, and the soldiers all nodded in agreement. But from the perspective of ordinary people, in fact, you may not be used to high officials. Wang Lao Mao suddenly changed his tone, it's better to be in charge now, no matter how big you are, you don't know me, and I can't ask for anything. If something happens, you won't speak up for me, so why should I defend you? You say my reasoning, right? The soldiers nodded again. Old Mao Wang was right from this point of view. But immediately someone raised an objection, and it was Li Qingfeng, then old Uncle Wang, but I don't understand what you said has anything to do with the blue sky and white sun metal. Li Qingfeng really doesn't understand, everyone is talking about the blue sky and white sun metal here, what does old Mao Wang mean when he says the king of Hades is so easy to deal with little ghosts www.mtlnovel.com it's irrelevant. Old Mao Wang glanced at Li Qingfeng and there was a hint of kindness in his eyes. Maybe he is really old, and now he likes children very much. But then he stared and said, Don't you guys think that the senior officials and the little people are very similar to that old man and us? When old Mao Wang mentioned the old man, the soldiers were also terrified. Of course they knew who the old man was referring to. They couldn't leave now, 
so the road was blocked because the old man came to inspect the front line? We are out of reach with him, and we can't ask him for anything. That old guy has cleaned up our Northeast Army, because how many people died in our Northeast Army? So why don't you mention that medal to me? It's impossible for others to give us such small soldiers, and our Northeast Army's small soldiers are not rare. Whoever talks about that medal or something, I'll punch him out. Chapter 1180, Get in Trouble, Run The last few words of Wang Lao Mao's last words were very loud, even though Bai Zhan had always boasted that he had excellent mental quality, he was also trained to blush. As for those who joined later like Li Qingfeng, Wang Ziodan, and Wu Ziqi, they even lowered their heads and didn't dare to look at old Mao Wang. What is official prestige? Old Mao Wang is called official prestige. It has nothing to do with Qing Feng Li's ability. If you become a soldier, you have to listen to the officials. You have to listen to what others say. Why are you still talking and saying that you are angry? Come on, old Uncle Wang continues to smoke. Qian Chuaner came up from behind and pulled old Wang's hat back. It was only then that old Mao Wang noticed that the cigarette in his hand had been extinguished when he was talking just now so he threw the cigarette on the ground, turned around and walked back angrily. It was only then that Bai Zhan dared to take a look at old Mao Wang's back, and thought, why did I provoke this old again? He really didn't expect that he was just talking nonsense and provoked Wang Lao Mao to repeat his words, but he just couldn't find any faults in Wang Lao Mao's words. Maybe there is something wrong with what Wang Lao Mao said, but he can't pick on it. He knows that if he dares to pick on Wang Lao Mao's fault, he will be beaten again. Because then I will commit public anger, the public anger of veterans. It's just that Bai Zhan who joined later, not only Bai Zhan, but all the soldiers who later joined Shang Zhen's group didn't know that Shang Zhen and the others just remembered that the Northeast Army had a grudge against the old man, but they themselves but they all participated in the military remonstrance that shocked China and foreign countries. Shang Zhen was arrested by the military commander at the time and did not participate. As for old Mao Wang and the others, they had seen the old man himself, and Xiao Dupan, who was still recovering from his injuries, even found the old man in a mountain gap. The old man was only wearing a pajamas and was shivering in the cold wind. What chairman is not the chairman? At that moment, the old man was just an ordinary old man. For ordinary soldiers like Wang Lao Mao, don't mention any big men, they really don't recognize that, and don't mention the political awareness of uniting the anti-Japanese united front, they just do things based on their own understanding and their own likes and dislikes. Then if the top level of the Northeast Army ordered to kill the old man, how could they not do it? Their positioning of themselves is that we are soldiers and we fight devils, and have nothing to do with politics or parties although none of them can get rid of politics. Just imagine, old man Wang and the others have met the old man himself. Although people certainly don't remember them as small people, old man Wang and the others also think that they have a feud with the old man, so why would they care about the blue sky? Metal? What's the matter, who made old uncle Wang angry again? Is there anyone more annoying than me? Shang Zhen who had just walked out of the room asked at this moment. Shang Zhen and the others had been in the room the whole time, but it was old Mao Wang's loud voice in the last few words that alarmed him. Although he didn't know the reason for Wang Lao Mao to get angry again, there was a need to fight this round, so it didn't matter if Wang Lao Mao scolded himself, the old platoon leader, but he didn't want Wang Lao Mao to always scold the soldiers. It's nothing. I made old Uncle Wang angry. Bai Zhan has a good mental quality, so he hastened to admit his mistake first. So old Mao Wang hummed again. Shang Zhen glanced at Bai Zhan and was about to say something more, when the courtyard door opened, Guo Baiyu hurried up and said, Old Uncle Wang, did you say something bad about the Central Army just now? Wang Lao Mao, who just felt that he was a little angry, raised his eyebrows anxiously when he heard Guo Baiyu's question, What's wrong? The Central Army can't say anything. No. Guo Baiyu hurriedly explained, 
just now there were two members of the Central Army smoking outside the wall. I think those two people ran away after you finished yelling. Guo Baiyu and Yu Ziuolong have been standing guard outside the door. This is the habit of Shang Zhen and his group. Why do they always fight behind the enemy lines? How can they do without sentries? Hearing what Guo Baiyu said, the faces of all the people present changed, and they all looked at Shang Zhen. Old Mao Wang had just finished speaking bad things about the Central Army and the old man, and then there were people from the Central Army running away outside, so it was really unbelievable to say that they could not be heard outside the wall with the loud voice that Old Mao Wang said just now. Anyone will have such an association, those two Central Army people must have gone back to report, saying that the guys from the 59th Army in this yard have insulted them and the leader, so what will happen next time? Woolen cloth? Of course, maybe they thought too much and it was a false alarm, but nothing happened. After all, it is also the Republic of China now, and they were arrested just because Wang Lao Mao spoke ill of the old man, which seems unlikely. It's just that what they should do next is only up to Shang Zhen. What are you staring at? Hurry up and withdraw. Shang Zhen came up with his idea in just a moment. As soon as Shang Zhen said this, everyone started touching weapons. As for the food that Bai Zhan brought back, no one needed to carry it alone, because it had already been distributed to everyone. Aren't the roads outside all blocked? Qian Chuan asked worriedly. It shouldn't be. That old man can't spend the night at the front line. He should go too. Shang Zhen analyzed. It turned out that Shang Zhen, who Qian Chuaner was worried about, had already thought of it in just a moment. It is already past four o'clock in the afternoon. I think the old man came to the outskirts of Tai Chuang to inspect and condolences. It is impossible for him to stay here overnight. Gone back. Originally, Shang Zhen planned to let his own people spend the night in this village. After they reported the name of the 59th Army, I understand that the Central Army would not be able to recruit them. In that case, the appearance of the Central Army would be too ugly. Up. But now that there is a new situation, let's run away first. Not to mention whether Shang Zhen is afraid of the Central Army, he is afraid of the Juntung gang. God knows if the old man is also traveling with Juntung spies. Everyone felt that Shang Zhen's reason was valid. So Shang Zhen and his group quickly left the yard and went out of the village as if they had received a battle order. Shang Zhen and the others had only been on the front foot for more than a minute just now, and a group of Central Army soldiers really rushed into the courtyard where they were staying. When the officer who led the team heard that Shang Zhen and the others had left, they said chasing in one word. In this way, it really fits what Wang Lao Mao said, not to mention that the Central Army and the Northeast Army have enmity. Anyway, it is not harmonious. Of course, the Central Army now only thinks they belong to the Northwest Army, but what is the difference between the Northwest Army and the Northeast Army? The remonstration was caused by these two miscellaneous troops. Who would have thought that just when Tai Chuang had just won a great victory, such a scene happened inside the Chinese Army? A group of soldiers from the Northeast Army were running wildly in front, and more soldiers from the Central Army thought they belonged to the Northwest Army, but they were chasing after them. Abandon. As Shang Zhen expected, the roadblock has really been removed. However, to Shang Zhen's surprise, they were definitely not weaker than the pursuers in terms of marching ability, but for some reason, the Central Army behind got another two carriages and chased them out. www.mtlnovel.com Damn, if this is so beating devils, the little devils would have been kicked out of China long ago. While running, old Mao Wang scolded out of breath. It is impossible for a person to refuse to obey his old age. It is true that this man in his fifties cannot compete with young soldiers in their twenties. Wang Lao Mao said this while looking at Shang Zhen, he was the one who caused the disaster, but it would depend on Shang Zhen to make things right. But at this time, Old Mao Wang saw a sneer on the face of Shang Zhen who was also running, and then he heard Shang Zhen say, Do you see the forest in front, 
find a suitable place to put the carriage on everyone's guns are down, and I'm so tired of running. Shang Zhen's words made Wang Lao Mao's heart jump suddenly. Okay, this little bastard, I'm not mistaken, he's bolder than me. But the thought was just a thought, and what he said was, good idea, I like it. Chapter 1181, Made Wedding Clothes for Others Hurry up and catch those northeast guys. An officer of the Central Army shouted from behind, and the soldiers in front tried their best to chase. These northeast soldiers are really running fast enough. Some of the soldiers in front also said panting. That is, from outside the pass to pass, pass, pass there is a companion interface. The soldier who answered the conversation was already a bit stuttering and now he was out of breath, so speaking naturally took a lot of effort, which made the other soldiers tired of listening. Guanyi, You're exhausting me. Someone said. Yes. Guan, Guanyi. The stuttering soldier managed to catch his breath. It would be strange to say that the Northeast Army and the Central Army have a good relationship with each other. Shang Zhen and his group don't like the Central Army, but then again, does the Central Army like your Northeast Army? From a high-level point of view, Zhang Xiao's Hui arrested the old man, and the old man in turn detained Zhang Xiao's Hui. This is called enmity. It is impossible for discord at the top to not affect the lower levels. The Central Army looked down on the Northeast Army and wiped out its own territory. Who can look down on this? And subconsciously, there is still an emotion, thinking that if your Northeast Army fought the Japanese devils in the Northeast back then, maybe we don't need to take action now. The Northeast Army looked down on the Central Army. Our young commander listened to your old man. The Japanese devils attacked the Shenyang North Camp. If your old man said to resist our young commander, would you say whether to fight? If it's just a grievance between ordinary people, it's just arguing with each other. If you don't understand the quarrel, one family will copy the sickle, and the other family will copy the two teeth, and then there will be a fight. But now it's a grievance between soldiers. Of course, soldiers won't take the guys used in the crop yard, so they will shoot. It's just that now, the Central Army has been chasing them out for a while, but they found that they really couldn't catch up with the Northeast soldiers running ahead. So at this time, despite the constant urging of the company commander of the Central Army, the soldiers were already running slower and slower. Hurry up! The company commander said angrily. Company commander, didn't the carriage catch up, and how could it run away from those bastards? A soldier reminded. The Northeast people have been willing to call Dambaza since the old man. With the war of the whole nation, it has spread all over the country but the soldier simply used Dambaza as a synonym for Northeast soldiers. When the soldier said this, the company commander remained silent. Yes, the two carriages had already caught up, so why did they have to compete with the Northeast soldiers who were good at escape in front? Since the company commander stopped urging, the soldiers in front slowed down, and now they can no longer see those soldiers from the Northeast, they should have already passed the forest in front, and their two carriages are also entering the forest. It was already mid-April now, and the leaves in the forest had all grown out, and they couldn't see anything for a while. But they jogged forward for a certain distance, and when they were more than a hundred meters away from the forest, they suddenly heard a gunshot from the other side of the forest. When everyone on the central side was shocked, they heard the sound of box cannons firing from the other side of the woods. What the is going on? The company commander of the Central Army at that time was also a little confused. He really shot. It is estimated that the boys from the Northeast soldiers were still running desperately, so they shot. He sent those two carriages, how could he not know, how could our Central Army's equipment be poor? There were more than 20 people sitting in the two carriages, but more than half of them used 20 gun box cannons, just because their company was a pistol company. Hurry up! The company commander saw the gunshots in front of him, and he was also afraid that his own people would suffer. The people from the northeast are all poor and poor. 
it's just that as soon as he was urging the soldiers to speed up, he heard another gunshot from the other side of the woods in front of him, and at the same time as the gunshot, he suddenly felt a cold swish on his head. He touched his head subconsciously, Hey! Where is my hat? When he turned his head again, he saw that his big brimmed hat was on the ground. With a sound of oh my god, the company commander lay down. He is also a veteran. Only then did he realize that something was wrong. He reached out and touched his hat again. This time he could clearly see the brim of his big brimmed hat. There is already an extra bullet hole in the top. It turned out that the gunshot in the woods was aimed at him just now, and someone actually shot his hat off with one shot. Lie down. The company commander shouted, touching his gun. But at this moment, dense gunshots sounded again in the woods ahead. And amidst the gunshots, this time the people on their side saw that they were already covered with dust just over 10 meters in front of them. The dust is still regular, it is a regular splash of ash, just like a series of blisters formed by bullets hitting the water. What is this? This is the scatter shot produced by the continuous fire of the box cannon, this is the blocking shot. The company commander has also used this style of play. The meaning is obvious, that is, you should stop moving forward. If you move forward, the bullets will not eat dirt but meat. If you don't want your people to die, just stay there. Suddenly there was a shout from the woods in front of you. People shouted. Damn, how dare these northeast guys. The company commander became dumbfounded, and only then did he realize that the earliest shots were not fired by them, but by those northeast soldiers. They must have fired warning shots and taken the people in the two carriages as hostages. The company commander was dumbfounded by the audacity of the northeast soldiers. It's just that it's not over yet, they saw someone running out of the woods, running towards them without a gun. A hundred Mina is not there in an instant, and that person is theirs. Report, report to the company commander, those northeast guys have handed over our guns. The squad leader who ran back was also using a box cannon, but let alone the box cannon now even the hard box of the box cannon. Gone. Seeing this situation, the company commander became even more angry, saying that the people from the northeast had beards. This is really a beard, but they even robbed the gun box that can be used as a gun stock. It's just that if you get angry and come back, you have to wait until those soldiers from the northeast are caught to relieve your anger. What should you do now? They are now holding hostages in their hands. Those who can become company commanders in the Central Army are not just idlers. Just imagine, many graduates of the Central Military Academy can become company commanders after serving in the army for a period of time. All the soldiers lay on the ground and turned their heads to look at their company commander. After waiting for five minutes, the company commander ordered, Get up, let me chase after you. Company commander, they won't shoot, right? A platoon leader asked. This shooting has two meanings, one is that they will not shoot at the hostages they are holding, and the other is that they will not shoot at us pursuers, that would be a big deal. No, they don't have the guts, they probably have already run away in a carriage. The company commander said angrily. The reason why he waited for five minutes before letting his own people chase after him www.mtlnovel.com was because he was afraid that he would really offend those tigers from the northeast soldiers and really hurt himself. But in the final analysis, those northeast soldiers are going to run away after all, they can't spend themselves here by themselves. Sure enough, when the company commander rushed into the woods with his men, he saw that the soldiers chasing after him in the carriage were desperately struggling down the tree, but they were all tied to the tree with leggings. Where are those rebels? The company commander asked angrily. Run in a carriage, that direction. A soldier reported. Just this sentence almost made the company commander's nose crooked, dare to buy two carriages to chase those people, but they are used as mounts for others. The company commander rushed out of the woods angrily. When he reached the edge of the woods, he saw that the two carriages had already run away. I don't believe it anymore, motherfuckers, just wait for me, 
if you can run to the monk, you can also run to the temple. Chapter 1182, Acquaintance, is a fat man. You said, how would the Central Army react when they saw us robbing their guns and tying them up? Maur Husey asked three days later in the woods on a low mountain. How can there be any reaction? Qian Chuaner laughed, and then he stood up and said seriously, I swear that even if I go to the ends of the world, I will definitely catch you northeast beards. It turned out that he was pretending to be the Central Army, and everyone laughed. I swear it's a fart. If they can catch us, hey, they'll break their pants belt. Qin Chuan said disapprovingly while playing with a 20-gun box cannon. The box cannon in his hand was of course snatched from the Central Army. At that time, Shang Zhen just wanted to the two carriages, but when they really forced the two carriages with guns and found that the Central Army on the carriages had 20 shots from the box cannon, it was a surprise. If Shang Zhen and the others wanted to run away, of course they wouldn't leave guns for the soldiers on the carriage, would they leave guns for them to chase after their butts and beat them? Now that the disaster has been caused, it is natural that if one sheep is chased and two sheep are driven, they will let them go, so they confiscated all the guns. But they ran halfway and threw those rifles into the ravine. They like box guns but they don't lack rifles. I guess, if the Central Army picked up the rifle they despised, they would be very angry. It's really useless to swear this year, just tell me, whoever has never made a vow, and whose vow has been fulfilled. Old Mao Wang, who had started smoking again, leaned against the tree trunk and took on the posture of someone who had come here. Started talking. Old Mao Wang has been in a bad temper recently, he first scolded Shang Zhen and then Bai Zhan, and now when he speaks, no one dares to answer except veterans like Qian Chuan or Chu Bo. Old Mao Wang puffed out the smoke ring and felt bored seeing no one answering, so he continued talking to himself, Look, how many people from the Northeast Army want to go back to their hometown, but now it's been eight years. I didn't look at my hometown, but it got farther and farther away. Hearing what Wang Lao Mao said, the soldiers felt nostalgic, and no one answered. What the hell, what's the matter today, why hasn't anyone answered yet? Old Mao Wang himself was surprised, he didn't have the self-awareness that he had scolded too much these days, and the soldiers dared not answer the words, so. Then let's continue talking. For example, those of us who are soldiers who have already engaged in marriage at home say to our unmarried daughter-in-law, you wait for me, and I will come back to marry you after I finish fighting the Japanese devils. As a result, in the end, who the went back to marry a wife? Then most of them died outside when they were soldiers and fought in battle. Old Mao Wang sighed, and he himself became sad when he said this. But this time someone answered the call, it was Qian Chuaner, Qian Chuaner pouted and asked, Chu Bo, are you engaged at home? Chu Bo shook his head, no. Ma or who, you? Qian Chuaner asked again. Me. Maur Husa pointed to his nose and said with a smile, I'm almost like a little dustpan, my daughter-in-law is still in my mother-in-law's stomach. As soon as Maur Husa said this, he raised his and ran away. He was afraid that old Mao Wang would beat him up. You little bastard! Old Mao Wang laughed and swore, throwing out the cigarette in his hand. But how could a cigarette hit someone? Shushan, your daughter-in-law, Ba, oh! No need for Shushan, Shushan's daughter-in-law, Ba, is waiting for him at the 59th military hospital. It was Ho Wang Shan who had already rushed his face to the ground. Old Uncle Wang, look, how can we have a daughter-in-law waiting at home, not like your old man, right? Qian Chuaner said with a smile. You? You don't have a daughter-in-law. Wang Lao Mao caught Qian Chuaner's words this time and said solemnly, for another example, someone's daughter-in-law is a student. Oh, this guy swears to others, wait for me if you beat the devils away, I want you to give me a lot of children, some with handles and some without handles. When Wang Lao Mao said this, Qian Chuaner's face, which was considered impenetrable with a machine gun, 
turned red rarely, but who was Qian Chuan'er. Suddenly he grinned and said, OK, you just finished scolding Shang Zhen, and now you're talking cold and childish, do you think I won't inform you? Old Mao Wang forgot that Shang Zhen's wife is also a female student, but when he was about to explain, Shang Zhen's voice came over, What are you talking about, the old one doesn't look old, the young one doesn't look young-like. Well, just because of Shang Zhen's words, Wang Lao Mao's face also turned red, but he remembered that Shang Zhen said that he was disrespectful to the old two days ago. They are saying that there are female students among our soldiers' wives. Chu Bo said suddenly, and then looked at old Mao Wang with a smile. None of the veterans would have thought that Chu Bo, who has always kept away from messy topics, would show surprise when he spoke, but old Mao Wang said angrily, You look honest on the surface, but you are also a listless person with a fixed movement mind. Every day, I'm talking nonsense, and I'm going up to the top of the mountain. There's something wrong. Shang Zhen said that these veterans had nothing to do. As soon as they heard that there was something wrong, everyone put away the smiles on their faces and hurriedly picked up their weapons and followed Shang Zhen up the mountain. Walking up the mountain, Wang Lao Mao, who had recovered his normal state, asked, What can happen if you just won the battle? No wonder Wang Lao Mao asked this question. This is also what most soldiers think. This Tai Chuang was won. It is said that tens of thousands of little devils were killed. Although the Chinese army also suffered tens of thousands of casualties, it was also a victory. Who says there are many soldiers in China, right? The Chinese people have many soldiers, this is the view of most Chinese people nowadays, although the people's livelihood has declined since the late Qing dynasty, the quality of the soldiers really makes people have reservations. Precisely because there are many people, there are many people, and life is cheap. Not only do the upper class people not take the lives of the lower class soldiers and the lower class soldiers, but the lower class people themselves do not take their own lives. In this way, the war is not afraid of death, but the casualties will be heavy. In fact, this is a kind of sadness, a kind of sadness of low level people, who have been abused a lot, and I am used to it. On the contrary, someone like Shang Zhen who cherishes the lives of his soldiers so much can be regarded as an exception in the National Army. Shang Zhen's answer to Wang Lao Mao's question was just you'll know it when you see it. Old Mao Wang reckoned that it should be nothing serious, so he felt relieved. That group is still hiding in the woods. When Shang Zhen and the others reached the top of the mountain, Li Qingfeng, who had been guarding the top of the mountain, told him that he pointed to a woods not far away. This place is already low mountains and hills. The reason why Shang Zhen and the others ran here was because they didn't want to go back to the 59th army directly. What if the central army really blocked them? Anyway, they also have food, dry food. Without that, there are still horses pulling carts. Who is it? Old Mao Wang asked. There must be 30 or 40 people. It looks like they are from the National Army, but they look sneaky and short. They got into the woods. Li Qingfeng introduced again. Shang Zhen and the others are now on a high point, and the forest below is very clear. The forest is not big, but because the leaves have grown, they cannot see the people in the forest. Are there other national soldiers sneaking around besides us? Old Mao Wang said with a smile www.mtlnovel.com he said that they often do some sneaky work behind the Japanese army. Yes, that's why it's strange. Shang Zhen replied. But at this time, the old stupid who had been holding the binoculars said in a low voice, Look, there is another group of national troops coming from a distance. As soon as the old stupid said this, Shang Zhen and the others subconsciously pressed their bodies down and looked into the distance, didn't they? Another group of people came from a distance. It's just that the distance is a bit far, and they can't see clearly. Big man, come and show me. Qian Chuaner stretched out his hand and took the telescope from the big old stupid's hand, and he also looked at it. But after only looking at it for a moment, 
Qian Chuaner suddenly laughed in a low voice, Oh my god, who is this? When Qian Chuaner said this, there must be something wrong, and everyone asked who. An old acquaintance, a fat man. Qian Chuaner replied in a low voice. Chapter 1183, Hateful Fat Man Who Must Be Saved The devils are being beaten all over the country, and the life of this dog day is the most nourishing. Look at that damned one, there are bumps on both sides of his face. Qian Chuaner held up the binoculars and looked at it with a wide smile. Even Qian Chuaner didn't name his name, but when he said he was an acquaintance or a fat man, and then looked at the compliment word Qian Chuaner used, deadly forced out, besides that fatty Wang can anyone? Hearing what Qian Chuaner said, the veterans also laughed, and Hu Zuzi was still pushing forward, saying, let me see it too. Let me see it too. Pay attention to concealment. Shang Zhen said angrily, Hu Zuzi stopped, but the veterans were still winking. Now they can see the later gang without binoculars. There were not many people in that group, only five in total. Seeing that Shang Zhen refused to speak, Qian Chuaner gave a thumbs up gesture, and the veterans guessed that the fat man Qian Chuaner was talking about should be the one walking in front. Who? An acquaintance? It's not easy to meet acquaintances in such a big battlefield in China. Wu Ziki, who was far away from Shang Zhen, was curious, and finally asked Chen Han when next to him in a low voice. That is, it must be an acquaintance, that is quite familiar. Chen Hanwen glanced at Shang Zhen and saw that Shang Zhen didn't pay attention to this place, so he couldn't help laughing. Shang Zhen didn't allow him to speak, that doesn't include Wang Mao, besides, it doesn't matter what they are talking about now, the mountain must not be able to listen, and it's just that they can't show their figure. Why did Fatty Wang come here? Where have we come? Old Mao Wang opened his mouth. Curiosity is the same regardless of age, what's more, since September 18th, the fate between Fatty Wong and their group has really been cutting and messing around. I don't know, the northeast of Tai Chuang, who knows where it is. Chu Bo replied. Then if Fatty Wong is here, then our brigade should be here too. Old Mao Wang said again. This time no one answered, because the veterans thought of it. Fatty Wong is the brother-in-law of the brigade commander, and he is also in charge of logistics. As for Fatty Wong, he is the brigade commander's brother-in-law. Otherwise, you have to be a traitor. Old Mao Wang went on to analyze. Just as the veterans still agreed with Wang Lao Mao, Ho Wang Shan objected, not necessarily, if he is not Brigadier Liu's brother-in-law, he might have been beaten to death by us last time. Well, it makes sense. This time it was old Mao Wang's turn to agree. The veterans lowered their bodies and whispered here, while the soldiers who joined later listened and watched curiously. Originally, they thought that old soldiers like Wang Lao Mao and the others were old acquaintances from other places, but now they are obedient to what they mean, but that is not the case at all. It's good to be a veteran, how many stories belong to them? Stop talking, we're almost there. Shang Zhen reminded, I don't know what that group of people who went to the forest earlier did. Of course, the place Shang Zhen mentioned did not refer to the mountain they were staying at now, but Fatty Wang and the others were closer to the group of people who went to the woods earlier. Shang Zhen was not in the mood to praise Fatty Wang like other veterans, he was now considering the identity of the group in front. When he was on the top of the mountain before, he also used a telescope to observe the group of people carefully. If he said that the clothes were also from the National Army, he always felt that there was something wrong. But if it was said that the group in front were pretended by the Japanese Army, Shang Zhen did not dare to make such an assertion, who knows if it is true, and now they can only wait and see what happens. The veterans were still teasing Fatty Wong in a low voice, and at a certain moment they all shut their mouths because they saw that someone really rushed out from the woods. Although they were still a hundred or so meters away from the woods, they could still imagine Fatty Wong's frightened look when twenty or thirty people suddenly appeared in front of Fatty Wong and pointed guns at them. 
How awesome is Fatty Wong when he is pretending to be a tiger, and what a crotch he is when he has no support. Who are you talking about picking up Fatty Wong? Old Mao Wong asked again. No one answered, this is really impossible to guess, is it the Japanese army? Or which army has a personal grudge with Fatty Wong? Binoculars! shouted Shang Zhen, and Qian Chuan hurriedly handed the telescope to Shang Zhen. And Shang Zhen only observed it for a while, and then said firmly, the Japanese devils. They are already handing over the guns of Fatty. Shang Zhen said that it was not bad, Shang Zhen was still far away when he saw this group of people before, but this time he could finally see the clues after careful observation. When they heard that it was the Japanese army, the soldiers were surprised at first. This was the first time they saw a Japanese army disguised as a national army. But once the surprise was over, those veterans suddenly showed gloating smiles. Yes. This should be caught by the little devil. It would be even better if the little devil can beat him up. Or just kill him, so as not to embarrass the brigade commander in the future. Ho Wang Shan suddenly said. After Ho Wang Shan said this, the soldiers who joined their group were taken aback, how could Ho Wang Shan think so? Anyway, Fatty Wong is also a member of our national army, so how can we expect the Japanese army to kill his partner? But veterans like Wang Lao Mao, Chu Bo, and Qian Chuan er also believed that Fatty Wong was captured by the Japanese army, and he would become a traitor in all likelihood. Then it's really better to let the Japanese devils kill that directly. And the reason why Ho Wang Shan said that was probably because Ho Wang Shan remembered Fatty Wong's hatred. They beat Fatty Wong that time because Fatty Wong insulted Ho Kanchan's wife and children in words. What are you talking about? Prepare to fight, you must save the fat man. Shang Zhen ordered, count the number of little devils, I will be responsible for assigning targets, and strive to kill most of the devils at the first shot. Not wanting to save Fatty Wong is a personal grievance, but Shang Zhen naturally understands that from a rational point of view, the damned Fatty must be saved. There is no need for him to tell the veterans the reason for this. Which veteran does not understand that if Fatty Wong is captured by the Japanese army, it will cause a great loss to our Chinese army. No matter how Fatty Wong is in charge of logistics, his level is also there. He must know that there must be a lot of situations on this side. Besides, that was the brigade commander Lu Junji's brother-in-law. Fatty Wong was not a very nice guy, but Lu Junji treated them very well. The group of Japanese troops disguised as the National Army escorted Fatty Wong and the others really came towards them, and Shang Zhen began to carefully assign everyone's shooting targets. To put it simply, it is to match the shooting targets of this own man with the Japanese army in front one by one, which is like numbering the Japanese army, and each of them shoots their corresponding numbers. The advantage of this is that www.mtlnovel.com they can defeat the Japanese army as much as possible in the first shot, so that there will be no two or even three people to fight the same Japanese army, or miss a certain name Japanese army. Of course, this method of fighting cannot be 100% accurate, but there are more than 30 enemies, as long as they can knock down 20 of them with the first shot, then they will win this battle for sure. Under Shang Zhen's assignment, the soldiers began to aim at the Japanese army calmly. Shang Zhen knew that maybe a certain soldier had thought about killing that damned Fatty Wong by the way, but he believed that his soldiers could handle such things clearly. Fatty Wong Ching Feng is not guilty of death. Even if he really dies, it's not their turn to do it. So, when those Japanese soldiers escorted Fatty Wong and the others to the foot of their mountain, Shang Zhen gave an order, and there was a loud pop sound of shooting in the mountains, and then then came the sound of box cannons firing. The gunfire quickly subsided in the mountains and fields. If you don't fight unprepared battles, since you are all veterans and ready, it is difficult to win this ambush. Chapter 1184, Scare You One Jump The soldiers walked down the hill cautiously while maintaining their shooting posture, while there were still soldiers on the hill aiming their guns. Winning must be winning. The corpses of the Japanese army were scattered at the foot of the mountain, and the dense ones fell together. 
They were brought down by Shang Zhen and the others, and the sparse ones were close to the left side. Beside several big trees, even one fell behind the tree. To say that the Japanese army is indeed well trained, the first reaction after being attacked is not to raise a gun to fight back, but to look for hidden objects nearby. It's just that the Japanese army is well trained, but Shang Zhen and the others are also veterans of many battles. If you let them fight a positional battle, it will appear that they will live and die with the position. But it is very thoughtful. Their style of play is actually similar to that of the 8th Root Army's guerrilla warfare behind enemy lines. Ambush the enemy by surprise, and take down the enemy in a wave before the enemy reacts. However, it is different from the guerrilla warfare of the 8th Root Army. That is, their military quality and train preparation are stronger than those of the 8th Root Army. Don't compare them with the local troops of the 8th Root Army. Compared with the main force of the 8th Root Army, their military quality is only stronger but not weaker. Not to mention the few recruits who joined later, the old soldiers who stayed before use rifles. There are no missed shots within a hundred meters. And this time, how could the Japanese army that ambushed the mountain be 100 meters away from them? Earlier they robbed again, yes, they robbed, not seized, and they robbed several box cannons from the Central Army. There are no misses in the shot within a meter, but the target within a few tens of meters is also pinched with a hand. So it was only a minute or so before they rushed down from the mountain, and in their minds, they only needed to carry out the last step of this hardy battle replenish their guns. Soldiers on the battlefield, the enemy, and us, rarely pretended to be dead unless they had to. Just like Shang Zhen and his gang, Ho Wang Shan pretended to be dead. A Japanese soldier, he was rushing to assassinate the Japanese army. And if you were a Chinese soldier who pretended to be dead in front of the Japanese army, you would have died but you would die a little later than the soldiers who died in battle, and you would still be infamous. And the above situation is still on a large battlefield where both sides have invested tens of thousands of troops, and pretending to be dead on a small battlefield like now is really courting death. Shang Zhen and the others raised their guns forward, and everyone's attention must have naturally focused on the Japanese soldiers who were brought down by them. Suddenly there was a shout, here's someone who is breathing. It was a soldier who was rescued by Shang Zhen and the others shouted. With that cry, the soldier's guns were naturally pointed at the past, and at the same time, the gunshot rang out, and a wounded Japanese soldier who was lying on his side trembled and lay down on his back, and as soon as he let go, a grenade with its pin pulled out fell from his hand. Qin Chuan stepped forward, bent down, and stretched out his left hand to pick up the grenade, but the gun in his right hand was still held. This grenade must be disposed of, the pin has been pulled out, whoever kicked it carelessly, where did the fuse hit and then rang. But at this moment, there was another gunshot. In the sound of this gunshot, another Japanese soldier who was hiding in the pile of Japanese soldiers was shot and fell down. It seems that the Japanese army dare not pretend to be dead, but those who want to grab a back before they die have the same thinking mode as the Chinese. Give them another shot. Old Mao Wang said angrily. Then, the gunshots rang out again, but this time, no Japanese soldiers died and came back to life again. When the sound of the shot stopped, after a short silence, someone a, -a, -a got up, and it was Fatty Wang who was lying on the ground with his buttocks up subconsciously. Point at Shang Zhen and them. Why is he? Does that need to be said? It was undoubtedly a surprise to see Shang Zhen and others after surviving a catastrophe. His expression is like this, first he saw the money string, he stretched out his hand and said at. Back then, when Shang Zhen and the others were raising pigs, others were too lazy to talk to him, and every time the good-tempered Qian Chuaner went out to smile with him. And Fatty Wang turned his head to the right, but he saw Shang Zhen again and said ah. How could he not recognize that Shang Zhen was the leader of this group of soldiers? When he turned his head back, he saw the old Hat Wang who had never been with him in the past, so he could only continue with awe. It is said that Fatty Wang, Wang Qingfeng, and Shang Zhen have a grudge, and that is also a personal grudge. Besides, 
what grudge can stop the surprise of his life being saved? They are all old friends, and when he got excited, he didn't know what to say and just said it. It's just that he was surprised and he was also surprised, but Shang Zhen and the others were neither surprised nor surprised to see him. Originally, when Fatty Wong was captured by the Japanese army like a chick, Shang Zhen and the others just watched it's his time. To be honest, when Shang Zhen and the others first saw Fatty Wong, they must have been surprised. As for the surprise, it's a bit of a surprise, after all, it's an old man. But what a surprise it was, a large part of it was that since Fatty Wong was here, his brother-in-law Lu Chenji's 337 brigade must be nearby, and they finally went home. The only remaining surprise was that they naturally remembered beating up Fatty Wong. So at this time, Fatty Wong forgot to get up and was still in that surprise. Qin Chuan, who hadn't put down the gun, looked at Fatty Wong who was still kneeling and said in a low voice, Why are you still kneeling? Come on, really embarrassing our brigade commander. As soon as Qin Chuan taunted Fatty Wong, the group mocking mode of the soldiers started. How could he be ashamed? He is shameless, he hanged himself naked shameless. One-armed Ma Tianfang followed suit in a low voice. The big was sticking up there just now, don't knock it, don't lose face, hey, bear rubbing, it's embarrassing to spin around. Ma or Huzi also followed. People from the northeast, with a poor mouth, are masters of witticism. Of course, they said this in a very low voice, they haven't seen each other for a long time, it's not easy to scold Fatty Wong as soon as they meet not to mention that they are also Fatty Wong's saviors, they always have to keep click on the hero image. Z.br It's just that they want to keep someone and don't want to. Fatty get down. At this time Ho Wang Shan suddenly shouted. Oh my goodness. As soon as Ho Wang Shan shouted, Fatty Wong lay down and pouted his again as soon as he was excited, but the other soldiers on the other side of Shang Zhen did not know how to scream and long-term operation had already changed their subconscious behavior of shaking Chang raised his gun to aim or shoot. As soon as Fatty Wong got down, others were still looking for the target. Ho Wang Shan touched his shoulder and the box cannon rang. The Japanese soldier who was lying on the ground was shot again. The Japanese soldier was naturally the one who escorted Fatty Wong after the Japanese captured him. Seeing that the Japanese soldier was shot, Shang Zhen felt a little strange www.mtlnovel.com It is impossible for him not to save Fatty Wong, and the Japanese soldiers who escorted Fatty Wong were also the focus of care. Shang Zhen was still thinking, with his marksmanship, he shouldn't miss it. At this time, all the soldiers except Ho Kanchen saw that Ho Kanchen's shot should have hit the Japanese soldier's chest, but no blood flowed out after the shot. If a living person is killed, he will naturally bleed. But why didn't this Japanese soldier bleed? The other soldiers saw that there was a gun hole between the eyebrows of the Japanese soldier, and the blood that flowed out from there was already in a big pool. The matter is already obvious, the blood of the Japanese soldier has been drained, so where did the blood come from when the body was shot again? The one with the slow reaction didn't want to understand this and continued to think about it but the one with the quick reaction was already grinning, even though he didn't laugh out loud. Ho Wang Shan, that dead monkey, has so many tricks. He was obviously shooting to scare that fat man. Chapter 1185, That's No Ordinary Brother-in-Law Outside a temporary headquarters built on the hillside, several soldiers of the Northeast Army stood with guns. They were the guards of the 337th Brigade Headquarters. As the guards of the Brigade Headquarters, their standing posture is quite standard. This is understandable, any guard of the head office of the army represents an image, so how can it be done if it doesn't stand up straight? But at this time, the guards stood straight, but their eyes fell on the soldiers not far from them. Those soldiers were all tall and short, fat and thin, the tall ones were 1.9 meters, and the short ones were less than 1.6 meters. Those soldiers can't be said to be strange, but they always look like a hodgepodge of soldiers from all over the world. 
Some are tall and dignified, and at first glance they are authentic Northeast people, while some are extremely short and look like monkey heads in Northeast dialect, with high cheekbones, thick lips, and brain gait, which is the image of a small southern barbarian. There was another face that was disfigured, and its lips were turned up, obviously it was a soldier returning from injury. Of course, those soldiers also have something in common. The one thing in common is that they are all dressed in rags, and they all look like beggars. Some of their trouser legs are flying away, revealing their hairy calves, and some of them look like they just got out of a Kong hole. Like, that black all over. And another commonality is that the weapons they hold are extremely good. There must be more than 20 box cannons among the 30 or so people, and the box cannons used by the more than 20 box cannons are different. Seven or eight are made with twenty rings, and the upper body is also wearing a Kowloon belt. And most of the rifles they use are thirty-eight type rifles, but there are still some Japanese devils with Japanese swords on their bodies. Although the scabbard has not been inlaid with gold and jade, it is pure cowhide at first glance, and it looks high-end and elegant. It can't be said that the guards of the brigade headquarters are rare and strange. What kind of soldiers have they never seen? But it was the first time they saw these soldiers in front of them, so it's strange if it's not strange. If that's the case, that's all. These soldiers don't have a good appearance in front of these guards, especially a few who look like veterans, and they look fearless and even playful in their eyes. At this moment, a veteran among the group of soldiers touched his pocket and took out a pack of cigarettes. The guards only glanced at them to confirm that it should be Japanese cigarettes but the packaging was much more exquisite than Chinese cigarettes. Seeing the old soldier with a thin face and wrinkled face take out a cigarette from the cigarette case, a soldier with a long small nose and small eyes was very attentive and handed over the lighter. With a sound of ding, the lighter made a very crisp and pleasant sound, and then the soldier pulled his thumb, and a flame popped out of the lighter. All of a sudden, the brigade guards were a little lost. Oops. This lighter is so advanced. They have only seen a certain regiment commander use a similar lighter when lighting cigarettes for the brigade commander. The shell of the lighter is made of copper, and they don't know what kind of copper it is. Copper argument. The sound of ding when the lighter is turned on sounds so nice, so shouldn't it be called sound copper? The guards saw the old soldier take a deep breath of a cigarette that must have come from Japan, which was lit by a lighter made of copper. After a while, he opened his mouth to reveal his yellowish teeth. Then he spit out a smoke ring with an oriental flavor. What a provocation! A nameless fire rose from the bodies of the guards. They are brigade guards, how can their dignity be looked down upon by these soldiers? Pinch the cigarette for me, this is the brigade headquarters. A guard shouted. Just as he yelled, the hand of the smoking veteran paused for a moment and then glanced at him. Then he reluctantly raised one foot, but he just smoked the cigarette. A puff of cigarette was extinguished on the sole of the shoe, but then he put the cigarette back. Their cigarettes and lighters should be confiscated. Someone in the brigade headquarters guard whispered. The ringing copper lighter and the pack of oriental cigarettes really touched the hearts of fellow smokers. Don't mess around, they have a background. Didn't you see that Commander Wang accompanied them in with his beard just now? A mature and prudent soldier whispered to persuade. This made sense, and the soldier who stopped smoking at the brigade gate had no choice but to give up. At this time, the old soldier who was addicted to cigarettes but didn't get enough smoke was also not recruited by these guards. He stepped back and cursed in a very low voice, You little bastard! Old Uncle Wang, please keep your voice down. The eaves of the brigade headquarters are a bit short. Someone beside him advised in a low voice. Just you bad scholars who like to beat around the bush when you talk, and the eaves are a bit short, so you just say that people have to bow their heads under the eaves. The veteran cursed angrily. As a result, there was a burst of suffocated laughter among these soldiers. This veteran is naturally Wang Lao Mao, and the one who said the eaves are a bit short is Shushan. Shang Zhen and his group saved the brigade commander's brother-in-law Fatty Wang Qingfeng, 
not to mention whether the previous grievances will be wiped out, but no matter what, they are returning to the team. Shang Zhen was taken by Fatty Wang to meet the brigade commander Lu Jinji, and old Mao Wang and the others could only wait outside. You little bastard, what do you know and you just laugh? Amidst the laughter, Ma or Hu's Asa Li Ching Feng also laughed and teased him. Li Ching Feng curled his lips, why can't I laugh, you're the only one with a long mouth. Li Qing Feng's words made the veterans laugh again, and Qin Chuan even learned a sentence, you two tigers are the only ones who have a long mouth. But at this moment, Li Qing Feng had already changed the subject and asked the veterans, how big is the major general? Of course the major general is the brigade commander, I don't understand this. Maur Husa said naturally. Is it up to you to say that? Li Ching Feng was not satisfied with Maur Husa's answer and turned to look at Chu Tian, you are educated brother, tell me. Li Ching Feng naturally had a reason for asking this question. After Shang Zhen and the others rescued Fatty Wang, Fatty Wang didn't realize that Ho Wang Shan shot him to scare him, and instead became more enthusiastic towards Shang Zhen and the others. This is also normal, Shang Zhen and the others said it was a life-saving favor to him. How arrogant is Fatty Wang when he bullies him, and how flattering he is when he flatters him, not to mention that Shang Zhen and the others have become his saviors. He also said, you saved my life and I must repay you. You all know that I am not an ordinary person, but I am the brother-in-law of our brigade commander. Fatty Wang's words made Shang Zhen and the others amused at the time, isn't that nonsense? Shang Zhen and the others don't know that you Fat Wang Ching Feng is the brigade commander's brother-in-law, otherwise, he he, you bastard, you would have been beaten to death by us long ago. But at this moment, Wang Ching Feng added, don't think I'm just an ordinary brother-in-law, I'm the brother-in-law of a major general brigade commander. Like a major general. It was only then that Shang Zhen and the others knew that the brigade commander Lu Jinji's military rank had actually been promoted, and he had become a major general. Li Qing Feng was a recruit who didn't understand what a major general meant, so he asked now. Have you heard of generals and soldiers? Shushan explained, a major general is the lowest ranked general, but no matter how low the rank is, the general is also a general, which is different from a school officer. In ancient times, there was a general called a general. Yes, that's how the admiral got his name. After all, Shushan is educated, and his explanation is concise and to the point. Then what is a school officer? Li Ching Feng asked again. But at this moment Ma Tian Feng said, I'll ask later, Shang Zhen has come out. The soldiers hurriedly looked at the door, and sure enough, Shang Zhen came out and there were other officers with him, but they were too familiar with each other, they found that Shang Zhen lowered his head but had a thoughtful expression. Chapter 1186, Teasing You This is the brigade headquarters who made you smoke. Someone in a brand new military uniform shouted. Following his shout, the soldier of the Northeast Army who was smoking was terrified, and the cigarette in his hand almost fell to the ground. But when the smoking soldier raised his head and saw the man in front of him who was stopping his smoking, he was stunned. He looks like he's in his fifties, with a thin face, he hasn't shaved for a few days, and the beard on his chin almost catches up with the stubble that has just been mowed. He didn't know the person in charge of him in front of him, but why did he look so familiar? Suddenly he remembered, isn't this the veteran who was trained by himself for smoking foreign cigarettes with a ringing copper lighter at the brigade gate? Yes, who could this veteran be if he wasn't old Hat Wong? Damn it! Recognizing that it was the old soldier, that soldier was able to bear it, he first said a foul word habitually, and then sneered, I don't know you old asterisk deng when you change your military uniform. In the soldier's thinking, of course, this old asterisk Deng was trained by himself before, and now he is here to take revenge on himself. But why are you taking revenge on me? I'm the guard of the brigade headquarters, in other words, the brigade commander's guard, you dare to come and yell at me after changing your skin? You are looking for a draw. 
It was only after he finished his sentence that someone beside Wang Lao Mao said, Li Zuzi, are you sorry, why are you talking to our guard company commander Wang? This time the speaker was a soldier named Li Zuzi, but he knew him because his name was Su Jing Dong and he was his platoon leader. What? Company commander. Li Zuzi, who continued to play tricks with Wang Lao Mao, was stunned. Things turned around too quickly, and he was immediately fooled. The veteran who was trained by him before became the company commander. Isn't the company commander of his guard company company commander Han? As if seeing Li Zuzi's question, Su Jing Dong said, This is the new company commander Wang of our guard company, and company commander Han has been transferred to the front as the battalion commander. Oh. When Li Zuzi continued to be stunned, Su Jing Dong said again, Li Zuzi, you still haven't admitted your mistake to company commander Wang. I heard that your F asterisking inner savings trained company commander Wang. Wang, company commander Wang. I have eyes that don't recognize gold and jade, you old man, don't forget about villains. After reacting, Li Zuzi, who knew that a good man would not suffer in front of him, forced a bunch of smiles on his face. Quickly apologized to old Mao Wang. As for why this veteran named Wang Lao Mao became the company commander of their guard company, let's ask later. Hey! Seeing that his company commander's identity was exposed, this Li Zuzi also knew who he was, so old Mao Wang slapped on Li Zuzi. As for old Mao Wang's smile, what should I say? He was born in a wild beard, said that he was as cunning as a fox and as cruel as a wolf, and he even took a woman who could be his daughter-in-law regardless of his age as his wife. The so-called affinity is born from the heart, you say that Wang Lao Mao is just such an old fox, old wolf and old pervert smiling at Li Zuzi so it's not funny. The moment he was stared at by old Mao Wang, Li Zuzi felt that the hairs on the back of his neck stood up. We bearded people in the northeast don't talk dark words, UF asterisking howled with me at that time, it scared me so much, I didn't smoke a cigarette, I have to get this place back. If you can't get this place back, why do you think I will manage so many brats under me in the future? Wang Lao Mao said in an old-fashioned and arrogant way. Is not that right? Wang Lao Mao's subordinates are also a group of brothers, no, the little brats, the northeast beards, they call his subordinates little brats, of course Li Zuzi, who is a soldier in the northeast, knows this. That's right. The boss is right. Just after old Mao Wang finished speaking, the group of little brats behind him all answered loudly. Not to mention the title of big master. Li Zuzi also noticed that the group of soldiers behind Wang Lao Mao had already packed up and stood at attention, wasn't it just the group standing in front of the brigade gate earlier? That little-nosed and small-eyed soldier with a brass lighter. Li Zuzi's face became mournful, and his calf trembled a little. How could this person on the opposite side be a newcomer to the security company? This is the northeast beard moving. Then again, even if this group of people didn't move with beards, they were all members of the guard company. They didn't like me, and I couldn't bear it. As far as the current army is concerned, any army is the same. Veterans beat recruits, officers beat soldiers, that's not a problem. If a squad leader sees a soldier in his squad who doesn't like him, he will slap his head like a father beating his son. If a company commander wants to punish a soldier, it's really like a cannon hitting a mosquito. Is it still fried? The airwaves generated by the light explosion can definitely send the little mosquitoes away to travel in outer space. I, I Li Zuzi was startled by old Mao Wang. What the are you talking about? Old Mao Wang said with a smile. Seeing that he had almost scared this Li Zuzi too much, old Mao Wang showed a self-confident smile on his face. But he didn't think about it. Now that he had become the bearded head in Li Zuzi's eyes, his self-righteous smile turned into crocodile tears and devil's smile in Li Zuzi's eyes. Stand up straight, we people from the northeast can spin our calves, but we must never kneel. But at this time, someone behind Wang Lao Mao said. Um? What this said has another meaning. 
Li Zuzu looked at the person behind old Mao Wang who was speaking, and saw that the person was wearing an officer's uniform, and he looked familiar. He remembered that this was the group of people on the opposite side led by Fatty Wang from the very beginning. When he was at the brigade headquarters, Fatty Wang led this man to meet the brigade commander. Obviously, he is also an official. And this person is of course Shang Zhen. Shang Zhen was also helpless, Wang Lao Mao brought a large group of them here and didn't mention what they were doing at all. Only when he got here did he know that Wang Lao Mao came to revenge. It's over, he, the deputy company commander, still pretends to be the company commander and bullies the soldiers. As for who is the company commander? Of course it was Shang Zhen himself, he was appointed as the commander of the guard company by the brigade commander Lu Jinji. He is quite old and out of shape and specializes in bullying children. Shang Zhen's childish behavior towards old Mao Wang is both annoying and ridiculous, but he will never tear down old Mao Wang's platform. But seeing that Li Zuzi was frightened by old Mao Wang, he couldn't help reminding him. With Shang Zhen's reminder, Li Zuzi was still afraid, but did he kneel down with his knees weak? Seeing that Li Zuzi was really scared, old Mao Wang's mouth was not idle, why are you stuttering? Open your mouth. What a big deal. The company commander told you to open your mouth and if you tell you to open your mouth, you will. Su Jingdong said angrily. Su Jingdong was also angry. He was angry that old Mao Wang came to bully the original soldiers of the guard company blatantly, but he was also angry that Li Zuzi was a real bear. But this Shang Zhen is the company commander of the security company newly appointed by the brigade commander, and Wang Lao Mao is the deputy company commander, so it is really difficult for him to say anything. Li Zuzi had no choice but to open his mouth. At this time, old Mao Wang laughed haha and said, You are so big, I don't look at your back molars, I just light a cigarette for you. After finishing speaking, old Mao Wang really took out a cigarette from his pocket, stuffed a cigarette into Li Zuzi's open mouth and shouted, Qian Chu Honor, light a cigarette for this brother. In the sound of ding www.mtlnovel.com the ringing copper lighter was lit again, poor Li Zuzi was teased by Mr. Wang, but now he can't even smoke the smell of foreign cigarettes. After being stunned for a long time, he waited for Wang Lao Mao and the others to walk away before he realized that they didn't come here to take revenge on him, they came here to tease him. A few minutes later, Shang Zhen and Wang Lao Mao were already in an unnoticed place. Give me one of your ghost cigarettes too. Shang Zhen said with a blank face. Why did you remember smoking? Old Mao Wang gave Shang Zhen a surprised look, but he still took out a cigarette and gave it to Shang Zhen. Shang Zhen sighed after taking a puff of the cigarette. What's the matter? Are you in trouble? Old Mao Wang finally sensed that Shang Zhen had something on his mind. It doesn't seem like the right time for us to come back this time. At this point, Shang Zhen finally no longer concealed his worries. Chapter 1187, Fatty Puts on Wine The guards at the gate of the brigade have changed, and the clothes are still the clothes of the Northeast Army, but this time the two guards are too conspicuous. The reason is that they are too tall, one is 1.9 meters, that is Gu Man, and although the other one is a little shorter, but it looks like half a black iron tower when poked there, that is a big stupid. But the gun that the two of them were standing against was a Type 38 rifle with a bayonet on it. After adding a bayonet to the 38 style rifle, it would be almost 1.7 meters. If the Japanese devils took a gun and smashed it on the ground, the tip of the gun would definitely be higher than most Japanese soldiers. But Gu Man and Dalao Ben threw their rifles to the ground, but they completely crushed the end of the rifle. The two tall men stood at the entrance of the brigade's gate, and they looked like gods, but they directly added a bit of might to the temporary brigade command post. Shang Zhen's group has become members of the guard company, and people like Wang Lao Mao, Ma Er Huzi, Qian Chuan Er, and Qin Chuan all have an air of veterans. The temperament of a veteran is not just about life and death but there are four words called veteran oil. Whenever the word oil is touched, 
the temperament of the whole clang will change, just like the oil of the greasy uncle in later generations. But the above-mentioned few are just one type of veterans, and the people from the northeast are by no means all so talkative. Gumina is an honest and steady person, not to mention the old stupid, who was born as a monk. Monks who become monks pay attention to dignity, and monks who return to lay life to join the army also pay attention to military prestige. Therefore, when the two people's brigades stop at the gate, that's two words exciting. But at this time, although the two of them were standing, they were listening to the movements in the brigade headquarters, so they should be careful when listening. At this moment, Brigade Commander Lu Chenji yelled angrily from inside the brigade headquarters, Fuck you! What could make Brigade Commander Lu Chenji so furious? At this time, Fatty Wang Wang King Feng's flattering voice came from the brigade again, Brother-in-law, hey, brother-in-law, then just pretend that I didn't say anything about it, why are you angry? Then what I said is about drinking. Go drink it, drink it, get out of here quickly. I'll be annoyed when I see you. Lu Chenji continued to scold. Hey, get out now, get out now. In Fatty Wang's obscene voice, Gu Man and the old stupid really saw Fatty Wang backing out from the brigade. It's just that Fatty Wang, who was scolded by his brother-in-law at this time, had a smug smile on his face. It's just that the so-called extreme joy begets sorrow. Fatty Wang came out backwards. He didn't notice that the entrance of the brigade was not very flat, so he stumbled on his heel and lay down on the back. This is the big old stupid in front of you. As I said before, the big old stupid is just a nickname given to him by Ching Feng Li. Big old stupid is not stupid, he has good skills. Seeing that Fatty Wang was about to fall to the ground, the big stupid just bent over and stretched out his hand to lift Fatty Wang off the ground like a chicken. Wang Ching Feng was called Fatty Wang, which was just a nickname. He also lost weight after years of marching, and his big belly has long since disappeared. But even so, he was a little heavier than ordinary soldiers. Since he fell on his back, he clearly saw the process of the big stupid saving himself. Hey, you're a good soldier, I'll buy you a drink in the evening. Wang Ching Feng boasted about being stupid and then ran away in a hurry. Looking at Wang King Feng's back, the old man was a little confused and asked Gu Man in a low voice, why did the brigade commander also curse? Gu Man, who was still standing with a gun, did not change his face, but whispered in his mouth, the brigade commander is also a northeast silver. The old man fell silent, but what he sighed in his heart was that the northeast bank loves to scold him. Soon it was night, and laughter came from a mountain depression. And the people sitting on the ground in the middle of the COL were Shang Zhen's group, but only Shang Zhen was not there. There was an oilcloth spread on the ground, and on the oilcloth were cooked cooked food, flour steamed buns, and pickled vegetables. What's more, there were a lot of pickled vegetables like mother-in-law's bitter dishes. Dipping pickles, dipping pickles, without sauce, how can it be called dipping pickles? let alone a pot of sauce is also placed on the dining table, but the sauce is not the bean paste that the Northeast people like to eat but noodle sauce with sesame seeds. The big guys are just going to do it, there is no way, there is really no place to make miso. Wang Ching Feng said regretfully, and then clasped his fists and made a circle bow. The miso in Wang Qing Feng's mouth refers to the sauce made of soybeans, which is the so-called miso dipped in green onions. At this time, old Mao Wang, who was sitting cross-legged in front of the table, had his eyes all lit up, but what he was staring at was a jar of wine beside him. You bastard, if you're really good at logistics, where did he get the wine? Old Mao Wang muttered, with a smile on his face. Wang Lao Mao was born with a beard, what is a beard? That is the bandit who occupies the mountain as king. For the bandits of all dynasties in China, what is their greatest ambition? That of course means being the king of the mountain, drinking heavily and eating meat every day, so old Mao Wang is very good at drinking. It's not impossible to get wine, but why did this talk to the brigade commander so that we can drink? 
could it be that my brother-in-law is so easy to use with my brother-in-law? Qian Chuaner also muttered. Now they are back in the main force. The state has state laws, and the army has military regulations. Drinking in the army is definitely a violation of military discipline, unless the chief officer gives special approval, and this Wang Qingfeng actually made it right for the brigade commander Lu Jinji to invite Shang Zhen and his group to drink. Especially now, according to the brigade commander Lu Jinji, the Japanese army was unwilling to be reconciled to the defeat in Taichuang and was about to launch a massive counterattack, but at this time Lu Jinji even agreed to drink with them. Oh, this fatty Wang is indeed full of energy. I know why. Gu Man, who was usually not very talkative, said suddenly. Why? As soon as Gu Man said this, the veterans all moved to Gu Man's side. I also heard from the old man that he has good ears. Gu Man started talking, and after a while, the veterans laughed out loud. They were all sitting cross-legged on the ground. They leaned forward and back together with a smile. It turned out that when Wang Qingfeng wanted to serve wine to his saviors, Brigade Commander Lu Jinji naturally disagreed. But this Wang Qing also has tricks, but he said that he wants to find a concubine for his brother-in-law. Wang Qingfeng's reason for that is absolutely high-sounding, my sister is not here, you are now a major general and brigade commander, so why don't you have to ask for a room to get you a warm quilt or something? Who would believe that this brother-in-law found a concubine for his brother-in-law? Lu Jinji didn't believe it either. So Lu Jinji's reply to him was, Stop talking nonsense, I only have eyes for your sister. Wang Qingfeng said, Quickly pull it down, that time, that time, when the students' condolences to our brigade, look at the eyes of that fair-skinned, beautiful, long-legged female student, did you find someone later? Don't pretend that my brother-in-law doesn't know. Lu Jinji said you were talking nonsense, and Wang Qingfeng said that I must tell my sister when I write a letter. No one knew exactly when the brigade commander Lu Jinji fell in love with a certain female student, how long Shang Zhen and the others had only been in the army, and at that time they were not in the army at all but wandering outside. Maybe that thing is true, maybe that thing is just fabricated by Wang Qingfeng. Anyway, Wang Qingfeng was messing around there but his brother-in-law Lu Jinji couldn't do anything about him, family ugliness should not be publicized, no matter whether there is really ugliness or not, it will only get darker and darker if it gets out. In the end, Wang Qingfeng saw that Huoha was almost done, so he gave the best thing, saying that it is fine if you don't let me tell my sister, but I want to arrange a meal to thank Shang Zhen and the others. After making a fuss for a long time www.mtlnovel.com Wang Qingfeng is well versed in the way of bargaining in the business field, he first blackmailed Lu Jinji, and then he said that he would invite Shang Zhen and the others to drink. In order to avoid Wang Qingfeng's entanglement, Lu Jinji also agreed that his brother-in-law would show off. You said how wicked Wang Qingfeng's way of saving the country is, it's no wonder his brother-in-law Lu Cheng just let him go. Under the setting sun, the banquet was held soon, and Shang Zhen and Wang Qingfeng swept away the previous grievances, and the wine was a joy to drink. But in the middle of the banquet, Shang Zhen came with Lu Jinji, the brigade commander, and Lu Jinji also drank half a bowl, which made the veterans even more happy. But when the song ended, old Mao Wang, who was lying on the grass flushed from drinking, also sighed, and the other soldiers asked him why he sighed. But old Mao Wang repeated what he heard from Shang Zhen yesterday, it doesn't seem like the time for us to come back. Chapter 1188, Yesterday's Northeast Army Shang Zhen and the others only rested for two days, and Lu Jinji's 337th Brigade started marching again, but before marching ten miles, Lu Jinji ordered his ministries to start building simple fortifications on the hills and mountains. And just as the soldiers were complaining that it was hard to find a shovel for repairs, they heard the rumble of guns ahead. It has been eight years since they entered the customs from outside the pass, and they are all veterans who have fought in countless battles. As soon as you hear the sound of the artillery, 
you can tell that it was fired by the Japanese Type 92 infantry artillery. A new war is imminent. This time, Shang Zhen became the commander of the guard company and dangling at the brigade headquarters every day. Finally, he no longer felt like a blind man, and he had a clearer understanding of the entire battlefield situation. The Battle of Taichuang was the first major victory of the National Army since the War of Resistance on the Frontal Battlefield. The Japanese casualties reached more than 10,000 people. Just like when Shang Zhen and the others participated in the war, the Japanese army who attacked Taichuang first was surrounded by the Chinese army in Taichuang. The Japanese army who didn't want to become prisoners simply blew up with grenades, and some of them were hundreds of people throwing each other together. Grenade. This is how the so-called Taichuang victory came about. But the problem is that after all, the Taichuang War was only a partial battle in the general battle in which the Japanese army attacked Zuzhou. After the National Army won the victory in Taichuang, the news of the victory spread all over the country, and it was also reported in various newspapers. This really gave us Chinese people a sigh of relief. But the problem is that the Chinese army won the battle at Taichuang, but did not launch a pursuit of the remnants of the Japanese army that participated in the battle of Taichuang. This gave the Japanese army a chance to breathe. Of course it's going to make a comeback. The revolution has not yet succeeded, but how can it be that comrades forget to work hard? It's like a young man and a young girl having sex, the young man said, oh, I'm so good with her, she and I both have our first kiss, we've both kissed before. But this dating is just the prelude to marriage, then you have to marry someone into the bridal chamber, and then the bride will give birth once she is pregnant in October, and pass on the family line to your husband. This is called stability. What's the use of just kissing your mouth? Therefore, within a few days of winning the Taichuang battle, the Chinese army became defensive again, and the 51st Army of the Northeast Army, where Lu Chenji's 337 Brigade was located, could only establish a defense line to defend Taichuang and Zuzhou in the northeast of Taichuang. Come. But this time is too hasty, and the Northeast Army, which used to be known as a strong army in various places, has become a thing of the past. Before the war of aggression against China started, the three northeastern provinces had the strongest heavy industries, capable of building aircraft, tanks, and cannons, and it is said that they even had an aircraft carrier. But following September 18, the Northeast Army finally abandoned their hometown and entered the pass. In the first few years, the thin camels of the Northeast Army were bigger than horses, and there were still several cannons and small cannons, but with the gradual deepening of the all-out war of resistance, the little wealth that the Northeast Army brought into the pass was almost exhausted. Just imagine, the soldiers wanted to build simple fortifications on the front line and couldn't even find a shovel, let alone other supplies. However, at present, all Chinese armies are holding the same banner in the anti-Japanese war, but when there is a war, it will really be their own calculations. Your Guangxi army is short of weapons and its soldiers have been beaten. Can you count on the Hunan army to take care of you? Your Northwest army troops have been disabled and have insufficient weapons and ammunition. Can you command the Northeast army to control you? Your Northeast army has a battalion full of wounded soldiers, can you expect the Central army to help you? There are also individual cases of mutual assistance, but from a general point of view, after all, they all talk about resisting Japan, but in reality they restrain each other. Take the Taichuang War as an example. In the early and mid-term period of the Taichuang War, it was dominated by miscellaneous troops. It was a battle without retreating, but a certain central army just behind Taichuang did not move. First of all, people definitely don't want to help you. If they help you and you win the battle, who will be credited for the battle? Secondly, the troops in the front fought with the Japanese army and lost both sides and the past in the back can just clean up the mess, and the spoils are all mine. So now the Northeast Army wants to build fortifications. If there are troops from other factions around, you say I will borrow a few shovels, do you think you can borrow them? Old Uncle Wang, 
Do you think we can dig fortifications if we need them? Chen Han went outside the brigade headquarters asked with no eyesight. Are you good at digging? Are you good at digging? If you fart, you can create a fortification, and I will treat you to eat soybeans and drink cold water every day. Old Mao Wang scolded Chen Han Wen angrily. Chen Han Wen, who had suffered an unreasonable disaster, felt ashamed, and the soldiers next to him suppressed their laughter when they saw the true damage of Wang Lao Mao, especially those in the former guard company. They want to laugh, because Wang Lao Mao's swearing is really hurtful, and they have to hold back, because they are afraid of getting angry, after all, Wang Lao Mao is the deputy company commander of their company now. Old Mao Wang was in a bad mood. Originally, he was very happy to find the big team, but after Shang Zhen only mentioned a few words to him, he understood whether it was really time for them to return to the team. The Japanese army began to counterattack again. The Tai Chuang victory has become history, and the 337th Brigade and the 51st Army began to resist the Japanese attack. Isn't this still a positional warfare? What is positional warfare? That is to guard a position, and you cannot retreat without an order from above. Even if you die, you must die in the position. This kind of battle was what Shang Zhen and his gang tried their best to avoid. But this time it was good. When they came back, they rescued Fatty Wang and met the brigade commander Lu Jinji, but Lu Jinji directly made Shang Zhen the commander of the guard company. What does the guard company do? That is to protect the brigade commander and officers at all levels of the brigade. The brigade headquarters is involved in fighting. If the defense needs to be defended, who will stick to it? If you charge, who needs to charge? That is of course their guard company. They can't say that a major general and brigade commander will take a stick and lead the chief of staff to kiss on the front line, can they? If that is the case, their casualties will be great. Originally, old Mao Wang was happy when he was drinking yesterday, but there was still a little luck in his heart, thinking that the devils might not counterattack so quickly, and even if the devils counterattacked, they might not be able to reach the brigade headquarters. But today, he heard the sound of the 92 type infantry artillery of the Japanese army. Only at this time did he realize that the battle was not far away from people like himself, and it could start anytime, anywhere. Lu Chenji was promoted to major general and brigadier commander, and his official position is not small. For example, Wang Ziodan, who just joined them not long ago, said that the brigade headquarters is the place where officials stay. Is it still their turn to fight here? At that time, Wang Laomao just scolded Wang Ziodan because he was hindered by the people from the original guard company, you know what a fart. What Wang Laomao wanted to say, you have never seen a high-ranking official before, a major general brigade commander is a big one. I know that when the commander of the Northeast Army was covering the large troops withdrawn from the Songhu battle, the Japanese devils were thrown into the river. It is estimated that the corpse has not been fished out now, and of course there is no need to fish it. It is estimated that it has rotted away long ago, and only the skeleton is left soaking in the water. That fatty Wang really deserves a thousand knives. Old Mao Wang wanted to light a cigarette again, but he still didn't forget to scold Wang Ching Feng. Old Uncle Wang, your family has provoked you again? I think you two did not drink well yesterday. Maur Huzi asked from the side. When drinking yesterday, Maur Huzi watched. Wang Ching Feng and Wang Lao Mao drank together. Not to mention becoming life and death brothers, it is not far from wearing a pair of crotch pants. Both of them have the surname Wang, and the one said, Oh, you can't write two kings in one pen. But what happened today, why did Uncle Wang turn his face after only one night? Whoever drinks well with him is a plague god, and it's no good to be with him. Old Mao Wang scolded. The logic of Wang Lao Mao is very simple. If they hadn't encountered Wang Ching Feng being captured by the Japanese army, they would not have rescued them. Maybe they would not have encountered the large army. If you can't meet a large force, you don't need to join the guard company, and if you don't join the guard company, you don't have to block the brigade commander's gun. 
there is a grievance and a debtor. Didn't it all start when he met Wang Qingfeng? Ma or Huza didn't understand what Wang Lao Mao said, but he saw that Wang Lao Mao was teasing that Shu Horn again, and he didn't speak any more, he was also afraid of being scolded. But at this moment, Li Qingfeng ran over from the brigade, and pouted. He hesitated to speak after seeing old Mao Wang. If you have something to say, if you have to fart. Wang Lao Mao said angrily. Uncle Wang www.mtlnovel.com No, Deputy Company Commander, just now I saw an officer told our company commander that he wanted to borrow our gun. Li Ching Feng reported. What gun do you want? If you have the ability, go and grab it from the Japanese devils yourself. Old Mao Wang said angrily. The Japanese devils don't have the gun they want. I heard they want to borrow our 20 gun. Li Qing Feng said very unhappy. A group of soldiers looked at Li Qing Feng's unhappy little face and lowered their gazes again, then they understood. No wonder Li Qing Feng was unhappy, Li Qing Feng also had a 20 gun box cannon hanging on his body, so of course they snatched it back from the Central Army this time. You want our 20 rings? Make his mother's dream of a thousand years. Old Mao Wang was really not happy, but at this moment a thought popped up from the bottom of his heart, but he said again, actually no way. Ah! Ching Feng Li never thought that old Mao Wang would agree, so he was dumbfounded for a moment. Chapter 1189, Prodigal Ancestor Thank you, Company Commander Wang, no, thank you, Old Uncle Wang. An officer hurriedly expressed his thanks to Old Mao Wang. Ha ha! Wang Lao Mao laughed heartily. To be honest, Ma or Huzi, who had been with Wang Lao Mao before September 18, had never seen Wang Lao Mao laugh like this. I said, Brother Han, if you call me like that, you're calling me old, so you can call me big brother. Wang Lao Mao said very friendly. Oh, it's not good, is it? The officer felt embarrassed looking at the wrinkled face of old Mao Wang. What's wrong with that? From now on, you will be my brother Han, and I will be your brother Wang. In the future, if you need our help, brother, as long as I can do it, I will definitely not beat you. Old Mao Wang went on boldly. Then thank you, big brother, for your generosity and help. We will also drink after winning the battle. Brother, I have to go back to lead the soldiers. Let's meet after the battle. The officer said again. After he finished speaking, he turned around and left. The battle situation was urgent, and the Japanese artillery shells had already hit the front position. Judging from this posture, it would be a matter of time before they went to the camp. The officer who left was surnamed Han, and he was the company commander of the former guard company of the brigade. Now he has been promoted to battalion commander by Lu Jinji, and his original company commander position was given to Shang Zhen. This officer surnamed Han was already Lu Jinji's fourth guard company commander, so Shang Zhen and the others didn't know him at first. It's just that this officer wasn't the only one who came here, but he was followed by another squad of soldiers, so when he left, his followers would naturally have to follow. At this time, the soldiers in that squad were all beaming, just because when they came, each of them had a rifle, but this time it was good. Not only did everyone hold their original rifles, but they all had extra rifles on their bodies. Box Cannon It is said that when someone laughs, someone cries. The battalion commander Han who left was happy, but the faces of everyone in Wang Lao Mao and his group except Wang Lao Mao twitched, and they were all unhappy. Look. Old Mao Wang didn't seem to see his partner's smug look, but he continued to be happy. He took out a cigarette, put it in his mouth, and shouted, Qian Chu Honor, light a cigarette for your old uncle Wang. Originally, the soldiers got angry when they saw Wang Lao Mao, but when they heard Wang Lao Mao call Qian Chu Honor to light a cigarette, they all focused their attention on Qian Chu Honor again. How could the soldiers not be angry? That battalion commander Han came to them to borrow a box cannon. What is this box cannon? 
It's a gun. What is a gun? Some people say that the gun is the life of a soldier. If the gun is in the presence of the man, it is nothing if the gun is not in the man's presence, right? Of course, for veterans like Yu Shang Zhen, it can't be said that guns are their lives. They walked all the way from outside the pass to the northeast, and there are many broken and discarded weapons. But to them, the gun is like the tools used by every family, such as kitchen knives, hose, and pincers. These are all necessary for each family to live. If you don't have a kitchen knife at home, you go to someone else's house to borrow a kitchen knife. You see people laugh at you, you don't live like this. But now, Wang Lao Mao is using his power as the deputy company commander to ask the big guy to support the Han battalion commander with ten box cannons, but there are still seven of them with twenty rings. All the twenty gun box cannons snatched from the factory were sent out, and three of their own were also taken. What is a prodigal? Old Mao Wang is an out-and-out -out prodigal son. If Wang Lao Mao is now in his fifties, he can no longer be called a prodigal son, then he has to be called the prodigal ancestor. You said that now that Mr. Wang has given away all the guns, how could the soldiers be angry when they looked at Mr. Wang? This means that old Mao Wang has always had official prestige. If it were someone else, the soldiers would definitely be impatient. But now, Old Mao Wang asked Qian Chuan'er to light his cigarette again. The soldiers didn't dare to mess with Old Mao Wang, but they dared to mess with Qian Chuan'er. The meaning in their eyes looking at Qian Chuan'er is, let's see you try to light a cigarette for that damned old hat. If you dare to point, you see we won't beat you out later. Qian Chuan'er took out the lighter, he didn't look at everyone at all, but he didn't look at Old Mao Wang either he just fiddled with the lighter by himself. Qian Chuan'er, light a cigarette for me, what the are you doing? Old Mao Wang was not happy. At this time, Qian Chuan'er suddenly smiled and turned around to ask the soldiers, do you know why old Uncle Wang must be the eldest brother? Who would have thought that Qian Chuan'er would ask such a question? What Qian Chuan'er said was nothing more than that old Mao Wang would be fifty soon and how old was that battalion commander Han? It looks like it's not thirty yet. He could have been someone's uncle, even an uncle or second uncle, but he had to be someone's elder brother, and even gave him ten box cannons. What is this old hat trying to do? Hearing Qian Chuan'er's question, the veterans all shook their heads because they didn't know what Qian Chuan'er meant, but even though Qian Chuan'er took out the lighter, he didn't want to light a cigarette for old Mao Wang. Up. It turned out that Qian Chuan'er was also angry when he saw the behavior of Wang Lao Mao's prodigal ancestor. At this time, Qian Chuan'er saw that the veterans didn't understand what his question meant, but he seemed to be thinking, but he said persuasively, Why do you say? Old Uncle Wang is 58. That Han the battalion commander is only 28. Old Uncle Wang is too old to be the second uncle of Battalion Commander Han. Conscience of Heaven and Earth, Old Hat Wang is old, this year is 49, but definitely not 58. So why did Qian Chuan'er say that about Old Mao Wang? And he also specifically emphasized the age difference between Wang Lao Mao and that company Commander Han. At this time, some veterans with quick brains could not help but burst out laughing with a putchi while those with slow brains were still mumbling, that's right, why? For example, who's Uzi? And at this time, that brain who reacted neither fast nor slow finally came to his senses, who? Maur Huzi ah. I know why. Maur Huzi suddenly shouted. Why? Qian Chuan'er asked. Because Uncle Wang likes younger ones. Maur Huza blurted out after finally understanding the key to Qian Chuan'er's problem. After Maur Huza's words, the veterans were silent at first, but then they burst into joy with a coax, and Qin Chuan also echoed, Yes. There's nothing wrong with it. Old Uncle Wang likes young ones. Eat a cucumber will have flowers and thorns on top. When Qin Chuan said this, how could it be possible that his partner Ma Tianfang was missing? Nonsense. Our old Uncle Wang doesn't like to eat tender cucumbers. 
Our old Uncle Wong likes cucumbers that are just right when the flowers have all withered. They are big enough and delicious. This is what Ma Tian Fang said if. The veterans continued to laugh, one by one, even Chu Tian and Chen Han Wen laughed. Then the few soldiers who joined, such as Li Ching Feng, De Leidu, Wang Ziodan, and Wu Ziki, were laughed at by the veterans for no reason, and they wondered, is there any story in it? You little bastards, you are going against the sky. Rao Wang Lao Mao has always had an excellent psychological quality, but he was also made a big blush by these veterans. That face is like a red cloth, you you reading www. Yuyuganshu.com It's easy for Wang Lao Mao's old black face to be turned red like this now? It's not easy. What does it mean that Uncle Wang likes small ones? These veterans are obviously talking about him finding Zhu Hongzia, who is more than 20 years younger than him. If you want to say that Jian Chuaner is a ghost, it's unclear if he has a gun. Maur Huzi is a bully and throws it away. He will let it go if he loads a gun. Why is there no one to beat? Old Mao Wang was about to stare, but Shang Zhen's voice came from behind him, What are you making fun of? We are not the same now, where are you quarreling and blah? Seeing that Shang Zhen came back, the veterans stopped making trouble, but they immediately surrounded him with hula. Just that action fully demonstrated the quality of a veteran, oh, that's fast, but looking at the expressions of each of them, they complained like a off daughter-in-law, you take care of that old bastard, he give away our good guns. Chapter 1190, Tacit Reason The gunfire died down, but the gunshots and explosions followed. The Japanese attack started so quickly. From the brigade headquarters where Shang Zhen and the others are now, you can see the smoke and dust produced by the explosion in the distance. Up. The members of the guard company were still guarding outside the brigade headquarters, and they couldn't tell from their expressions, they were very calm. Not to mention Shang Zhen and the others, even the guards and other soldiers are also from the northeast. And there is another phenomenon, that is, most of them are not too young. Like everyone, they all entered the customs around September 18th. The reason why it is said before and after is that when the September 18th incident happened, some of their troops were inside the pass and some of their troops were outside the pass. Although China today does not have a specific age limit for serving as a soldier, in the years before the September 18th incident, China was only fighting civil wars, such as the Central Plains War and the Feng Feng War, so there was no need for child soldiers. Well, let's do the math, on September 18th, even if they were younger, they would have to be 17 or 18, and the older ones would be in their 20s. People like Shang Zhen who joined the army at the age of 16 would have to be 17 or 18 years old. Considered small. Afterwards, Shang Zhen Xiang recruited Li Ching Feng, De Leidu, who was younger than many people. It has been another eight years since September 18th to the current Taichuang War, so the soldiers of the Northeast Army are generally not too young now. Everyone can be called a veteran and they will not panic because of the Japanese attack again. What are you doing? What are you grinding the bullets for? Li Ching Feng squatted beside Gu Bing and watched Gu Bing and some soldiers grinding the bullets on the stone. Don't you understand? Gu Bing said out loud. I don't understand. Li Ching Feng admitted honestly. Gu Bing smiled, let me tell you that if a bullet like this enters from the front, it will be a small eye like a peanut. When it comes out, it must be at least as big as an egg. Either death or injury. Ah! Li Ching Feng was a little surprised. He was a soldier late and had no systematic training, so his knowledge was limited. I heard that you and the old stupid are both Lian Jiazi, why don't you give it a try? Gu Bing teased him. Don't! Li Ching Feng hurriedly turned his head went in with peanuts and came out with big eggs, he was scared even thinking about it. And what does this have to do with whether he is a Lianjiazi? The original Lianjiazi of the Chinese is also very good. I heard the master said that when the boxers were in trouble in BJ City, the iron cloth shirt covered with golden bells was invulnerable to swords and guns. 
which of the big brothers, second brothers, third brothers and fourth sisters in the boxers was not Lien family? Could it be that he couldn't stand the foreign guns and cannons of all kinds of devils? At this time, in other positions, Qian Chuaner and the others were also sharpening the bullets of their rifles. But they glanced at another place while grinding, Shang Zhen and old Mao Wang were there. It's just that those two people are behind their backs, and they can neither see their expressions nor hear their voices, so naturally they have no way of guessing what they are talking about. Talking about this prodigal and that prodigal is actually counting him as a prodigal. Do you think Shang Zhen will discipline him? Qian Chu Honor guessed. He left one him and another him, that he of course refers to the old hat who gave away all the boxes and cannons. I don't dare borrow Shang Zhen's courage. Qin Chu An said disapprovingly, besides, let him throw away whatever he wants. From now on, he will be called the old bastard. TCH, you're also yelling behind your back, that old didn't even watch you fart when he asked you to hand over the gun. Bai Zhan didn't take it seriously. Bai Zhan was right this time, but Qin Chuan was speechless. Yes, these veterans also talked bad things about Wang Mao behind his back, that is, when Shang Zhen just came back, they dared to call Wang Lao Mao old bastard because of the number of people and let them scold Wang Lao Mao face to face, they really don't have the guts. Aren't you capable of Qin? Why don't you say anything? If you are capable, you go to that old and point his nose at him and scold him. I admire you. Bai Zhan insisted. Fuck, I don't have that ability. If only the little dustpan was here, I would definitely be able to scold that old like a sprinkler. Qin Chuan admitted. They could say bad things about old Mao Wang behind his back and scold him behind his back, but they didn't have the guts to scold old Mao Wang face to face, no matter whether it was out of fear or respect. The little dustpan is busy, so there's no time to take care of us. Chen Han Wen sighed. A group of soldiers chatted in a hurry, but so what, those box cannons were sent out after all. Alas! While the soldiers were chatting with each other, Chu Bo suddenly sighed. Why are you sighing? Chu Tian asked Chu Bo. I just don't understand why Uncle Wang gave away all the good guns to others. Chu Bo said. That's right, the soldiers really couldn't think of a reason why old Mao Wang would give away the good guns to others. At this time, Shang Zhen who was not far away glanced at old Mao Wang angrily and said nothing, he was also grinding the bullet. You little stares at me like that, just say what you want, and let go if you want to fart. Wang Lao Mao felt a little terrified when he saw Shang Zhen's eyes from time to time, but he decided to take the initiative to put the box away. After the cannon was given to battalion commander Han, Shang Zhen didn't say a word to him. As a result, old Mao Wang, who also felt that he was a bit wronged, finally lost his composure. I said, old Uncle Wang, can you change your set and let it go when you fart every day? Even if I haven't heard enough, I can smell enough of it. Shang Zhen replied disapprovingly, and then continued to sharpen the tip of the bullet. But after Shang Zhen lowered his head, he remained silent again, as if sharpening the tip of the bullet was such an interesting thing. Hey, why don't you ask me why I gave away our good gun? Old Mao Wang could only say again. I don't ask. You don't have to tell me why you gave it to me, and I don't want to hear it, I'll kill you bastard Shang Zhen suddenly laughed. He originally wanted to scold old Hat Wang, you bastard. Of. But halfway through the scolding, he felt that something was wrong. After all, he still respected old Mao Wang, who was his old platoon leader. It's just that he suddenly discovered that the result of scolding the old half of him was more cruel than scolding the old bastard. Damn it, you'd better scold me. Old Mao Wang laughed angrily at Shang Zhen's scolding. Shang Zhen continued to laugh and then sharpened the point of the bullet. If others couldn't guess why Wang Lao Mao gave the good gun to battalion commander Han, how could Shang Zhen not? After snatching the box cannon from the central army this time, Wang Lao Mao is naturally very proud. Of course, 
it is also the pride of their entire group. But afterwards, Shang Zhen said something to old Mao Wang, in fact, getting so many good guns may not be a good thing. Old Mao Wang didn't understand, so he asked Shang Zhen, what do you mean? Are you afraid that a good gun will bite your hand, or are you afraid that the Central Army will come back and settle accounts with us? Shang Zhen shook his head and the answer he gave was no, it was too ostentatious on the battlefield to use a 20-gun box cannon, and it was easy to attract bullets. Wang Lao Mao is also a smart person, as soon as he heard Shang Zhen's suggestion, he immediately understood what Shang Zhen meant. What would the Japanese army do if there was a sudden sound of short bursts of box cannons bursting into pieces on a battlefield that was being fought fiercely? The Japanese army will definitely think that the place where the box cannons are most dense is the head office of the Chinese army. In fact, this is also the case. The Chinese army has no good weapons. From officials to soldiers, there is no one who dislikes box cannons, let alone the 20-gun box cannon that works like a small machine gun? What would the Japanese army do when they discovered the location of the head office of the Chinese army? It will definitely become the focus of the Japanese army's care. So on that kind of big battlefield www.mtlnovel.com the box cannon may kill more invaders, but it will also attract more violent revenge from the invaders. So, for soldiers like Yu Shang Zhen who are used to letting themselves survive first in a crisis, do you think the use of box cannons is a blessing or a curse? Shang Zhen couldn't do the thing of giving away the box cannon, but he didn't expect that when he was away, Wang Lao Mao would directly send out ten box cannons, and it would have become a fait accompli when he came back. Then what's the point of him talking about old hat Wang? So Shang Zhen could only keep silent. If it is said that giving away those ten box cannons is a secret, at least for now it is a secret between Shang Zhen and Wang Lao Mao. The reason why Wang Lao Mao can't tell the soldiers, and Shang Zhen can't tell. In the final analysis, if you really got cheap because of these ten box cannons, then you must not act good. Chapter 1191, Before the War Withdrawn, I don't know what happened. Chen Hanwen said worriedly, watching the officers and soldiers withdrawing from the front. How can it be beaten? Both Jade and Stone will be destroyed. Chu Tian sighed. What? Chen Hanwen was surprised, he didn't understand why Shushan would use the word Jade and Stone burn together at this time. Didn't you look at it? There are very few people who have returned, and they are obviously disabled. Chu Tian said looking at the officers and soldiers who seemed to have lost their armor but seemed to have low morale. I still can't see that I'm disabled. Chen Hanwen expressed his dissatisfaction with Chu Tian's answer. Didn't you see it? Those who come back can walk, do you see any ones that are being lifted? Chu Tian asked again. Chu Tian's words revealed the commonality of those officers and soldiers who had withdrawn. Although many officers and soldiers were leaning on rifles or hanging their arms, there was no doubt that at least they had the ability to act independently. These people are all lightly wounded, so what about the seriously wounded? The seriously wounded must have stayed in the position, or the kind that will stay in the position forever. If it was said that those seriously wounded surrendered to the Japanese army, Chen Hanwen would not believe it. Why can't we have a stretcher team to bring the wounded back? Chen Hanwen said angrily. There are people who can carry the wounded who have already gone to the battlefield, and still serve as a stretcher team. Chu Tian said disapprovingly. Thinking about those seriously wounded people, they are all from our hometown in the northeast. They have been fighting since September 18th until now, and they have ended up dead without a place to die. The only thing they can do is to return to their hometown. Chen Hanwen sighed. His half-literate temperament came up again. But no matter what, what Chen Hanwen said was true. For a while, he and the soldiers of the guard company around Shushan fell silent. Yes, all the soldiers of the guard company are from the northeast, and there is no place to die but to return to their hometown. Chen Hanwen's big truth suddenly became Monkey King's golden cudgel that can be turned into an embroidery needle. 
In the blink of an eye it turned into countless tiny embroidery needles, but it pierced the hearts of every soldier present. After a while, a soldier suddenly asked, You say, why are we fighting against Japan? Although we say we are fighting back to our hometown, aren't we also protecting the people here? Why can't the local people use how about taking our wounded off on a stretcher? It makes sense for him to ask this question. Although the local people did not show up in this current battle, they still met local people and students in other battles to help them out. Now that the soldier brought up this topic, several soldiers cursed angrily, these people have no conscience. What they scolded was undoubtedly the local people. But it was only after a while that a soldier said in a very low voice, Commander Liu said that it is impossible for ordinary people to help us with our national army's tactics. If we want ordinary people to help us, then we're not us, we're. What are we? Does that need to be said? No one has asked the answer to this question. Because the answer is very clear, if the common people can always help them, then they are not the troops of the Chinese Kuomintang, they are the 8th Root Army and the new 4th Army led by the Communist Party of China. The Northeast Army and the Communist Party of China have a historical relationship. This has started since the Xi'an incident. In fact, many of the middle and lower ranks of the Northeast Army were themselves from the other camp in the Civil War. Just like the regiment Commander Liu mentioned by the soldier just now, if he didn't have another secret identity, how could he mention the Communist Party? It's just that this kind of thing can be expected or unspeakable, and no one will take the initiative to say it. What are we? We have to be the sons and grandsons of the common people. Some soldiers were not happy. Wounded. You can't say that. Chu Tian said at this time, then let's not say who it is. Even if we didn't rob, we didn't expropriate the people's things. We didn't beat and scold the people. After all, Chu Tian was born as a progressive student, and his thought of being close to the people must be higher than that of ordinary Northeast Army officers and soldiers. Moreover, Shang Zhen and his group have always been under the supervision of Shang Zhen. There is absolutely no bad thing about it. That's why Chu Tian made such a reflection. Damn it, I'm going to lose my life at any moment, what's the matter with eating his food and drinking some of his food? The soldier became even more unhappy when he heard that Chu Tian was helping the common people. I think what this brother said is wrong, we fight for the common people, and the common people rescue the wounded for us, that is two good and one good. It's all a struggle, let's say I blocked the gun for you, you can eat and drink, and even if I am a bachelor, you have to give me a wife. People say, you beat the devils and didn't look at me, you just watched you harm us. So how can the military-civilian relationship be good if you are fighting like this? Chu Tian still didn't agree with that soldier's statement. It's just that when he wanted to say more, he couldn't say it because he was interrupted by Chu Bo, speaking of this Gaha. Let's take care of what's in front of us first, we don't know if we can survive and protect the brigade commander Zhou Chuan. Chu Bo has always been steady, he is here to make peace with each other. However, Reconciliation with mud is also a technical job, if the reconciliation is not good, it is likely to be unfavorable to both sides. So Chu Bo brought out whether he could protect the brigade commander Lu Jinji well. After he said this, the soldier fell silent, and Chu Tian also fell silent. In fact, this kind of debate has already reached a conclusion in later generations, that is, the pure military line and the anti-Japanese united front struggle, which is better than the answer already has an answer. But now the Northeast Army is included in the National Army, can you raise the anti-Japanese united front? Of course not. If you mention it, you will be suspected of redness. Of course, mentioning the National Army may not be able to do anything to you now but who can guarantee that if this word is spread to the top of the National Army or heard by the military commander, they will not hold grudges? So how could Chu Bo let Chu Tian continue talking? At this time, old Mao Wang was still with Shang Zhen, and old Mao Wang was talking again, but Shang Zhen was still grinding the bullet with his head down. 
I still want to find a place to take your Aunt Wong to the elderly, this is so good, I have to fight the devil's attack in a while, I guess my old bones must be thrown here. Poor little Aunt Wong has it in her stomach, but it hasn't bulged yet. Wang Lao Mao sighed as he looked at the officers and soldiers who withdrew from the front with a cigarette in his mouth. Seeing that Shang Zhen remained silent after he finished speaking, he couldn't help but glance at Shang Zhen. Um? This time Shang Zhen changed, at least he didn't grind his bullets anymore. It seems that Shang Zhen was still shocked by the news that he, Zhu Hongzia, had it. Thinking of this, Wang Lao Mao became complacent, but he said with a smile, You little bastards, behind your back, say that my old tree cannot bloom new flowers, and that even if I plough a tree of flowers and begonias, it will be in vain. Don't think I don't know. I didn't say that. Shang Zhen objected, This must be clarified, Shang Zhen still knows that the elders and the younger have respect for Wang Maona. I didn't mention you. Wang Lao Mao said angrily, but then he became sad again, but this time, it's good, I just used it as cannon fodder for others, what a plate of day lily, it's cold. If this battle breaks out, my poor child may have no father, and we don't know how many people will be left in this group, and I can't even brag with you bastards. Bragging? What are you bragging about? Shang Zhen looked up at old Mao Wang curiously. If all of us can survive, I will drag all of us to your little Aunt Wang, and I will point to your little Aunt Wang's big belly and say, You bastards, look, take them all away take a look, do you know what's in your little Aunt Wang's belly? That's my seed www.mtlnovel.com my old Mao Wang's seed. Old Mao Wang is already caught in his own reverie. Shang Zhen looked at Wang Lao Mao's bluffing in vain, wanted to laugh but held back. But then Wang Lao Mao said again, when the time comes, boy Shang, take a gun and stare at me. Why? Shang Zhen became even more curious. Didn't you, Mr. Wang, just say that you have a queen and brag in front of the big guys? Then why do you have to hold a gun? I can even guess it. Wang Lao Mao raised his voice, if I point to your little aunt Wang's belly and say, look, this is my kind. If they say strange things, such as, who can prove it? For example, that is not necessarily the case. Then you shoot that to collapse. With a puchi, Shang Zhen couldn't bear it anymore, and he burst out laughing directly. Not to mention, it is entirely possible for Wang Lao Mao to imagine this way. Although it is impossible for the soldiers to say it in front of Wang Lao Mao, there must be such murmurs behind their backs. Chapter 1192, Doomed Chicken Feather Old Mao Wang said, Don't just sit here, think of a way if you have the time. Shang Zhen looked up at him, the meaning in his eyes was clearly what can I do? Old Mao Wang said, Why don't you let our people dig a trench? Shang Zhen didn't even look at him this time. Wang Lao Mao saw that Shang Zhen ignored him, so he asked himself an answer. We are the guard company of the brigade headquarters, and the brigade headquarters is not fixed. Is it useful to dig fortifications now? Besides, even if the brigade headquarters doesn't move, do we need to dig fortifications now, do we have a pickaxe? This time, the meaning in Shang Zhen's eyes became, knowing that you still ask? Don't fart let your throat go, oh, this is what Wang Lao Mao asked and answered in his heart. Old Mao Wang said that if the fight continues like this, there will not be many people left. Shang Zhen remained silent. Old Mao Wang didn't need to say this, anyone with eyes would see it. At this time, Old Mao Wang seemed to be talking to himself, and he said, or we might as well drag us to the battlefield, everyone will have a good time, this slow knife stabbing people is even more uncomfortable. Why don't we take advantage of the night and let the guards go out to plot against the little devils? Let's also learn from those death squads, with grenades strapped to our bodies and big blades in our hands, killing one devil is not a loss, killing two makes one, killing three we are heroes. But that doesn't work, we are a security company and we have to protect the brigade headquarters. 
Seeing that Shang Zhen remained silent, old Mao Wang asked himself an answer again. It's no wonder that Wang Lao Mao and Shang Zhen are struggling here. They all saw the smoke and dust of the explosion ahead and thought that the Japanese army would come over soon, but who would have thought that the Northeast Army's brigades would fight back desperately? After occupying the position, they counterattacked and regained it, but they have been fighting for three days. And the news kept coming from the front, and the news was really not good news. After a while, a certain regiment and a certain battalion were disabled, and after a while, a certain position was lost. In other words, it was good news when it first came back, but it turned into bad news after a while. For example, the good news is that the head of a certain regiment personally led the team to counterattack, and finally took back a certain position occupied by the Japanese army, but the news came back after a while that the head of the regiment died for the country. Now Shang Zhen has figured it out. The area they are in now is a place called Lanling in the northeast of Tai Chuang. It is not only the 337th Brigade defending the Japanese army here, but the entire 51st Army of the Northeast Army is here. There are several armies in the Northeast Army, and it is easy for outsiders to confuse them. But of course Shang Zhen and the others knew about the 51st Army, just because they thought that when they stayed in Tianjin Wei to maintain law and order, they followed the orders of Yu Ziyu's Hong, the commander of the 51st Army. Shang Zhen didn't know how many troops the 51st Army had now, but an army would have to have 18,000 soldiers. It's just that Shang Zhen also knows that the Northeast Army is no longer the emaciated Northeast Army that just entered the customs eight years ago with a camel bigger than a horse. The bad news kept coming back from the front made Shang Zhen feel that the current defense line of the 51st Army is like the game of blocking water with sand when he was a child. If there is a leak here, block it here, and if there is a leak, block it there. But after all, the block sand is not as fast as the water. When there are many places washed away by the water, that is the moment when the whole line collapses. They are all veterans, and everyone understands that there is no natural danger here. If the 51st Army's current firepower, weapons and supplies are used to fight against the Japanese army who wants to avenge Tai Chuang, it will be a matter of time before they lose this defensive battle. As for other factions of the Chinese army, Shang Zhen has heard from Brigade Commander Lu Chenji that there are, and there are quite a few of them, and they are not far away. Zone For example, the Guangxi troops under the Commander-in-Chief of the theater, such as the 11th Army and the 21st Army, the combined strength of the three companies must be more than 200,000. It should be said that the 51st Army is asking for reinforcements from the commander of the theater, but the commander of the Guangxi faction will never let his troops from the Guangxi faction come over. To use another analogy, if the Central Army is someone's legitimate son, the Northeast Army is the concubine of a foreigner, and the commander-in-chief is from the Gui family, then the Guangxi Army is his direct son, and the Northeast Army is still a foreigner. Well unless the commander is from their Northeast Army. But why does someone let you be the commander of the Northeast Army? You all lost your own territory, let's not care whether it is the third or fourth province in the Northeast, it's all lost in your hands anyway, you are not qualified to be the commander-in-chief. And think about the remonstrance made by the young commander. If you say that it is impossible for someone not to hold grudges, isn't that destroying someone's national policy of restraining the outside world first? Now that there is no security, the whole nation is fighting against Japan, which happens to run counter to someone's established policy. Since the Guangxi generals who are the commanders-in-chief of the theater are unwilling to let their own people come to help the Northeast Army, they will discuss with other troops and say that you should go and help the 51st Army, one of the Northeast Army. But no matter whether it is the 11th Army or the 21st Army, they are not stupid. Why do you have to send us if you have troops from the Guangxi clan? So they found an excuse that they could not come for reinforcements. They said that we are guarding against and monitoring the Japanese reinforcements. When it comes to this matter, you can't just blame other factions for not coming to help. When the Northwest Army was guarding Tai Chuang, 
your Northeast Army only sent a brigade to reinforce it, and that brigade only sent formed a battalion. Although that battalion was eventually annihilated in Tai Chuang, when Tai Chuang was victorious, your battalion was not a drop in the bucket in the defense force of the Chinese army, it was just a handful of hairs in the list, what does the Tai Chuang victory have to do with your Northeast Army? The behavior of the Chinese army nowadays is so strange. It is not impossible to say that there are times when the various armies cooperate sincerely. For example, during the Battle of Songhu, the warlords of all factions sent troops out of simple patriotic enthusiasm, and the fight was quite brutal. Another example is this time, Commander Zhang, who was born in the Northwest Army, and Commander Peng, who had old grievances, could put aside their previous suspicions and cooperate to fight against Japan and win the Li defense battle. But, but more often than not, all kinds of miscellaneous troops are still idlers sweep the snow in front of their own doors, and don't care about other people's roofs. For example, the Battle of Songhe was fought with great enthusiasm, but when the battle was lost, all the troops began to pay attention to preserving their strength. The war of resistance against Japan was not over, but how could they wipe out their own troops? The same is true after the Tai Chuang victory. The battle was won for the time being, but regardless of whether the army has done meritorious service or not, apart from the fact that the direct descendants can provide ammunition and supplies to the soldiers, what else have they gained besides the full camp of wounded soldiers? No good. With such a mentality, it is not surprising that when it comes to cooperation in the anti-Japanese war, the entire battlefield situation is smashed into pieces. Because of this, a veteran like Shang Zhen would not expect reinforcements to arrive. Shang Zhen was thinking of a way to save his life, but this time there was really no way, he could only keep silent, and the old Hat Wang was only talking to Shang Zhen except eating and sleeping. And now, Shang Zhen finally figured out why Wang Lao Mao acted uncharacteristically. Especially when he said that his little daughter-in-law had it in her stomach. But what can he say, they don't have the habit of talking about big principles. It turned out that Chu Tianjing talked about the principles of resistance against Japan, but he was damaged by the veterans in the end. Pretty much the same. You can't talk about the principles of anti-Japanese war, but he can't say that you don't obey military orders, can you? They are now a guard company. In the end, Shang Zhen, who was about to collapse from being nagged by old Mao Wang, stood up and shouted, Ho Kanshan, Qian Chuaner, Bai Zhan, Li Qingfeng, you four come here. Seeing that Shang Zhen had an order, those four people ran over, and old Mao Wang stopped nagging. You four in two groups, one to the east and the other to the west, anyway, you ran to the two ends of our brigade's defense line, you see how the other brigades are fighting, if any other brigade can't stand it, run back quickly tell me. Shang Zhen ordered. When Shang Zhen said this, the eyes of those four people plus old Mao Wang lit up. It is impossible for Shang Zhen's arrangement not to make them have some kind of association www.mtlnovel.com and Shang Zhen then went to the travel department. Are you going to Gaha? Old Mao Wang asked. I'll go to the brigade to find a toothpick. Shang Zhen replied without turning his head. You want a toothpick Gaha? Old Mao Wang wondered. What are toothpicks for? Of course it was for picking teeth but to be honest, toothpicks are definitely a luxury for those of them who are always fighting outside. In Wang Lao Mao's impression, he only had time to look for toothpicks when he was in Tianjin Wei. As for other times, pull them down quickly, you have to use a small stick to pick a toothpick if you want to pick your teeth. Use the bayonet. I used it to pierce my ears, and they were full of calluses. Shang Zhen said angrily. Chapter 1193, Take Command of the Brigade Commander Follow me. Amidst the sound of guns getting closer, Major General Lu Jinji shouted, and then he rushed out with a pistol in his hand. The brigade commanders rushed up in person, which meant that their brigade's defense line was poked out of holes by the Japanese army. How can the brigade commander rush forward? Shang Zhen yelled and rushed out as well. 
No matter how fast Shang Zhen was, he pushed Lu Jinji behind him in just a few steps. To say that Shang Zhen yelled these words with absolute level, just behind his voice, what Wang Lao Mao thought in his heart was that the ugly daughter-in-law was finally going to see her in-laws, but what he yelled was, how can I let Lian Chong Chong at the front? Wang Lao Mao stretched his old arms and legs and jumped forward. But that's the truth, the brigade commander is the commander, and the company commander and deputy company commander are not the commander? Even if the soldiers from the original guard company ran slowly, the original Shang Zhen's group wanted to listen. Holala. Hu Zuzi, Ma Er Huzi, Chu Bo, Ho Wang Shan, and the others also accelerated forward. In this way, they rushed to the front, although they did not catch up with Shang Zhen, they blocked the brigade commander Lu Jinji and chief of staff Li Xiang and the brigade officers behind. As for old Mao Wang, he ran very fast at the beginning, but he was pushed behind by the soldiers in just a split second. It's just that at this moment, the soldiers who are full of blood are naturally rushing forward. Who will notice him, or if they notice, they will not take it seriously. Who called him old Hat Wang, because he is old. A war is a war, and Shang Zhen doesn't think about anything now, let's go to the battlefield first, even though he didn't think much about it before. Originally, the guard company was fully staffed, but with Shang Zhen's return, their guard company already had 150 or 60 people, and their momentum was astonishing even when they charged forward. At this time, some soldiers retreated from the front position, but they were stunned when they saw their momentum, and they looked behind Shang Zhen and the others, and when they saw the brigade commander Lu Jinji charging up in person, they looked at each other. Although Lu Jinji, the brigade commander, also held a stick in his hand, he was not in charge of supervising the team like the other officers, who would kill any soldier who dared to retreat. When the retreating soldiers saw this situation, the wounded would just let it go, but the uninjured ones turned around and ran back. Damn! Maur Husey, who was running in front, was panting when he saw this situation, but he was also happy. What are you happy about? Huzuzi, who was running with Maur Husey, asked. It's really your brother. Maur Husey laughed and continued to run. Huzuzi didn't understand, so he didn't ask again. What is Maur Husa laughing at? He was laughing at those soldiers who also turned around and ran back to fight again. I think Huzuzi also saw Shang Zhen and the others charging back then, he was not from Shang Zhen and his group, so he also rushed out, but by mistake, Huzuzi rushed out with Shang Zhen and the others, but the company he was in did not. The soldiers who turned around and ran back were so similar to Huzuzi back then, that's why Maur Husa laughed. Those soldiers were Huzuza's younger brothers. It's just that everyone is rushing to the battlefield now, how can he have the time to talk to Huzuza in detail? The position where the guard company is going to reinforce will arrive soon. That position was set on a hill 50 or 60 meters high, and on the top of the hill were several soldiers from the 337th Brigade shooting forward from behind the ridge. But behind the ridge line of the hill there were more soldiers lying down, no need to ask, they were all killed in battle. At the same time, Shang Zhen also saw a Maxim heavy machine gun on the top of the mountain, but the barrel of the gun had been pushed forward, and it seemed that it was damaged by the Japanese artillery fire. Seeing that the position is still in his own hands, Shang Zhen felt relieved, the position is still in his own hands, is it better than a full counterattack and an upward attack? Surrounded by low mountains and hills, this mountain is the highest and the steepest in terrain. There is a large part of the hillside with an angle of about 50 degrees. Of course, the hillside is not steep, and the mountain is still complicated after all. But because this mountain is relatively high, it stands out from the surrounding low mountains and hills. This is undoubtedly the commanding heights of the surrounding area and it can also be said to be an important support point for the defense line of the 337 Brigade. However, looking at the corpses of the Chinese soldiers lying on each other on the mountain, Shang Zhen knew that this place must have been taken care of by the Japanese army. 
perhaps in the eyes of the officers and soldiers of the Northeast Army as the defenders, the terrain here is condescending and suitable for holding on, but in the eyes of the Japanese Army, it is not too difficult for them to take down here. That's because although the mountain is high, it covers a very limited area, and because the mountain is relatively steep, the area on the top of the mountain is not large. If the area on the top of the mountain was huge, how could Shang Zhen have seen his own soldiers lying down behind the ridgeline of the top of the mountain just before reaching the foot of the mountain? So, most of the soldiers killed on the mountain were caused by the Japanese shelling. Now that this idea came up, Shang Zhen, who had already started to climb the mountain, shouted loudly, Don't all go up the mountain. The first row guards the left mountainside, the second row guards the right mountainside, the third row serves as a reserve team at the foot of the mountain, and the fourth row follows me up the mountain. Given Shang Zhen's order, the members of their guard company would naturally obey the order and split up, but the regiment leader Lu Chenji who followed up at the end was stunned. He still knows Shang Zhen very well. In his opinion, Shang Zhen is also an old man, and Shang Zhen's quality is quite enough to be a company commander. As the Northeast Army has fought year after year after entering the customs, there will only be fewer and fewer veterans, and the same is true for grassroots officers, so Shang Zhen, the commander of the guard company, became the commander of the guard company in this way. But the combat mission of the 337th Brigade came very quickly, and Lu Jinji let Shang Zhen become the company commander of the guard and ignored him. But he didn't know that after Shang Zhen became the commander of the guard company, he didn't touch the original structure of the guard company at all. It turned out that the guard company had three platoons, but Shang Zhen considered that his group had not fought with the large army for a long time, and they had their own combat characteristics and habits, so he simply made himself the fourth platoon. More than 30 people are enough. It's just that, Lu Jinji, the brigade commander, only now knows that his guard company has four platoons. But if so, that's all. Lu Chenji was in a hurry when he heard the previous report that the position here was about to be lost. This small mountain was originally an important support point for their 337th Brigade's defense line www.mtlnovel.com If this position is lost, the Japanese army will put light and heavy machine guns on the top of the mountain and shoot condescendingly which will destroy their brigade's defense line it's a big opening. That's why he was in a hurry to lead the troops in person, but he didn't expect that at this time, Shang Zhen didn't care that he, the major general and brigade commander, was behind him. Go up the mountain, and divide the troops. What a boy, you actually commanded the brigade commander. Li Xiang, the brigade chief of staff who also heard Shang Zhen's order to follow behind Lu Chenji said out of breath. Li Xiang has always been the chief of staff for Lu Jinji, so he naturally knows Shang Zhen, that's why he said that. It's just that Li Xiang finished speaking, but Shang Zhen in front of him gave another order, Boss, Gu Man, you two protect the brigade commander and chief of staff for me. If there is any mistake between the two officers, I will kill you. It's up to you. Act as ordered. Quick. Part-time job, there is an important inspection in the past few days, the update is slow, the inspection is over today, and it will be fine in the future. Chapter 1194, The Marksmanship is Accurate Who's the best brigade commander or company commander? Of course the brigade commander is big. But Shang Zhen really didn't want Lu Chenji to command his people, uh, that's not right it should be that he didn't want the brigade commander to command his own people. But it's not right to say that, the people in my company are not the people in the brigade? Do you want to rebel or what? So it is more accurate to say that he really didn't want Lu Chenji, the brigade commander, to command his original group, which is now the fourth row of the guard company. Earlier, he saw Lu Chenji rushing to the battlefield with a small stick in a hurry, but he was scared. He was afraid that Lu Chenji, the brigade commander, would die in battle, and he was also afraid that the veterans and recruits he had saved from September 18th to now would be wiped out. So, 
what's the deal with a brigade commander like you commanding a company? You swung the 100-meter rooster in your hand and said, brothers, hit, and then the brothers followed suit. Not to mention that the Japanese army used uphill artillery and mortars, even with marksmanship alone, the Northeast Army could not take advantage of this kind of positional warfare. There are heavy machine guns of the Japanese army in the distance, and light machine guns and sharpshooters of the Japanese army at close range. Not to mention the marksmanship of the Japanese army at a closer distance. They only need to put the head of the Northeast Army in the ruler to be targeted. The people basically didn't run away. In terms of long-range shooting, there is no one with strong firepower and no one with accurate marksmanship. The rifles used by the Northeast Army are very old. If they hit distant targets, the bullets will lose their aim. So it's still up to you to direct. Based on his knowledge of the Japanese Army, it is unlikely that the Japanese Army would use crowd tactics to attack the mountaintop. Then the Japanese Army should only have dozens of people charging up. Isn't this just a competition of marksmanship? Then go on your own. When Shang Zhen rushed to the top of this hill, he lay down behind the ridge and looked forward. It was both expected and unexpected. As expected, as far as he could see with a glance, there were really only a few dozen Japanese troops attacking from the bottom of the mountain to the top of the mountain. Unexpectedly, the terrain of this hillside is different from the one I just climbed up. On the side where I just climbed up, the hillside is quite steep. If you want to climb up the steep without dragging shrubs and trees, you have to make a detour. But what about this end? This end turned out to be a gentle slope. There is always a gentle of 140 to 50 meters. This kind of terrain looks like a triangle from the side. Dare EQ shocked them with a big angle, the angle between the hillside and the ground is an obtuse angle, and the angle between the hillside and the ground is an acute angle, so the hillside is very gentle. Very long. What kind of terrain is this? Of course, the side facing the enemy is steeper, which is good for defense. The Japanese army had to bend over when attacking. Kung Fu shot, they didn't grow three hands again. But now it's a good thing, they messed up the whole terrain. If you screw it up, screw it up, God's masterpiece, people have to adapt to the terrain, who can change the terrain. Fight. Shang Zhen yelled loudly, and at this moment the soldiers who followed him lay down on the top of the hill and fired their guns. But then Shang Zhen yelled again, be careful. There was only a few seconds difference between the two orders before and after. If it weren't for the soldiers who came up and followed him all the time, they would have been confused by his commander's order. Strike and pay attention to concealment are inherently contradictory, so how do you let the people below carry out this? But people like Wang Lao Mao and Ma or Huzi executed it immediately. Then different people shouted, there are two machine guns 200 meters away. There is a devil's sharpshooter below the hillside. There is one hiding behind that big rock. These veterans of Shang Zhen have too much combat experience. Don't look at their poor mouth but Shang Zhen will also organize them to study the tactics of the Japanese army. They knew that when the Japanese army was attacking the position, the Japanese army rushing forward had to cross cover and rush forward, and at the end there were machine guns and sharpshooters to cover. In other words, the Japanese army's shooting at the Chinese position can be regarded as a plane. People have different shooters at different points on the plane. And the Chinese army only guards on this narrow mountain top which can only be regarded as a line. The arrangement of firepower is different when the line is opposite. How can it be possible for the Chinese army to take advantage of such a confrontation? Shang Zhen issued two contradictory orders in a row, their men were not confused, but the dozen or so soldiers guarding the top of the mountain were already confused. The Japanese army rushing up from the long and narrow hillside was only 70 or 80 meters away from the top of the mountain, and there were more than 20 of them. They knew that if those Japanese troops were allowed to rush up again, they would definitely have to fight hand to hand. What are you hiding? But at this moment, the box cannon on Shang Zhen's shoulder rang out. Shang Zhen's shots are really different. 
he didn't even shoot short bursts, but all of them were bursts. He also fired six shots in total, but among the six shots, the six Japanese soldiers who rushed to the front fell to the ground one after another. Damn! A soldier of the Northeast Army who was next to Shang Zhen was surprised at the time. This gun is too fast and accurate. Those who speak vulgar words are all big bosses, and there are a few scholars in the Northeast Army nowadays, so all vulgar words have become interjections. But just as the soldier finished being surprised, Shang Zhen shrank back and hid. Hey! The soldier next to him was still surprised, a sharpshooter like Shang Zhen was really the only one he had ever seen in his life. Just this marksmanship, hide and haha. -ha. Why don't you continue to shoot, if you shoot a few more shots, wouldn't the little devil who rushed up the hillside be covered by him alone? Could it be that the box gun used by this officer is out of bullets? He thought again, but when he looked at the gun used by Shang Zhen, the magazine was still very long. Of course he knew the famous 20 shot gun. He has only fired a few shots, so he probably won't run out of bullets, he thought again. The soldier was a little dazed when he was attracted by Shang Zhen, but it was only then that Shang Zhen noticed him, so scared that Shang Zhen stretched out his hand to pull him. Shang Zhen's hand also touched the right arm of the Northeast Army soldier, but amidst the chaotic gunfire, the soldier who shouldn't have been distracted was stunned, and was immediately pulled away by Shang Zhen. Lie down www.ntlnovel.com At this moment, Shang Zhen saw blood coming from the back of this soldier. When Shang Zhen turned the soldier over with force, he saw that the soldier's chest was covered with blood and mud. What are you watching right now? Shang Zhen asked angrily. But this soldier, who had already been hit by the Japanese army, had his chest heaving, but his eyes lit up and said, Your marksmanship is really accurate, and the little devil's is also accurate. Then his head drooped down, man, he died in battle like this. Shang Zhen, who has always been calm and calm on the battlefield, suddenly lost his composure at this moment. He shook the soldier's shoulders vigorously with both hands and shouted, Don't you just die like this? Do you blame me for your death? Blame yourself. The saddest thing is that I used a desktop computer to code and coded thousands of words without saving, and then the computer suddenly lost power. Chapter 1195, The Cylinder Leaks and Donkey Dung Eggs Is Shang Zhen afraid of death? Sometimes he is afraid, but he is even more afraid of owing others his life. I don't harm people, but people die because of me. Normally. Shang Zhen would have thought that everyone is a member of the Northeast Army. According to the little monk and old man, he has a deep relationship with old people like Wang Lao Mao, and he has a relationship with other soldiers who have never met before. Shallow. But regardless of the depth of the fate, everyone is also from the Northeast. If he is very familiar with the soldier who died in front of him, then he believes that the emotions of this person and his soldiers are no different so it should be as his own brother. But now that the soldier died like this, it still made him feel guilty. Haha. <laughs> I killed one, there must be another 200 meters. Hu Zuzu's triumphant shout brought Shang Zhen back to reality. At this moment, Shang Zhen hardened his heart, he stopped caring about the soldier who died because of him and looked down the mountain again. What he hit with the box cannon just now were the few Japanese soldiers who rushed to the front. If you want to hold the position, you have to curb the arrogance of the Japanese army in time, and at the moment he shot, the other soldiers were naturally not idle. The soldiers of Shang Zhen yelled about the Japanese army they found in the distance, and at the same time they raised their guns and shot. With the gunshots of these veterans, the firepower of the Japanese army on the opposite side became sparse. Now the marksmanship of these veterans is not weaker than that of the Japanese army, not to mention that they have blunted the tip of the bullets. As long as they hit the Japanese army, they will either die or be injured. This situation is like stabbing someone with a needle or hitting someone with a hammer. It is conceivable which one is more harmful. The two platoons on both sides of the mountainside were already shooting. 
the Japanese army did not expect how this small hill that was at your fingertips suddenly turned into a hedgehog that could stab people everywhere. Most of the Japanese troops who had already climbed the hillside after being knocked down, the remaining few saw that the situation was not good and dropped there and ran back. Small guy, don't let me slap your face, watch me spank your ass. Maurhusa said through gritted teeth, he raised his gun and fired, and when the gun rang, a Japanese soldier really stepped forward and lay there rolling on the hillside. I bet that has two now, don't you believe it? Maurhusa retracted his head and lay down there to do the whole thing. Pull it down. Chin Chuan disagreed, the tip of the bullet can punch a butthole. Your bullet has been polished, and it must have punched a big hole. When Maur Husa was about to say that it would be good to make a big hole, Chu Tian who was beside him suddenly laughed out loud. Zaiho Kai didn't hold his fart when he saw you, tell me. Maur Husa roared poorly. Anal leakage. Chu Tian, who was used to the rudeness of the veterans, smiled a little proudly. Vat leak. Maur who asked curiously, I hit the little devil's ass, when did I leak your vat? As far as Shang Zhen's veterans are concerned, it's not uncommon for a group of veterans who don't know a lot of characters to speak a joke about Chu Ba's jokes. As soon as Ma or Huza said that, there were people laughing next to him. But Chu Tian, who wanted to turn the corner and talk shit, didn't think about it, which of these big would know the term anal leak? Don't people just have to hear it as tank leak? But in this situation, how could Shushin let Maur Husa say that his tank was leaking, and how disgusting it was that his tank leak and the Japanese devil's leak were mixed together? Your tank is leaking. Your sauerkraut tank is leaking. Your pickle tank is leaking. Your big water tank is leaking too. Yelled. Those veterans on the top of the mountain had never seen Chu Tian, who had always been gentle, showing such a panicked look, so they all laughed out loud. Is this our northeast soldier? How much experience does this have? Seeing the soldiers laughing at the foot of the mountain, Li Xiang, the chief of staff of the brigade, had doubts. He couldn't figure out why the veterans brought out by Shang Zhen laughed, but he knew how incongruous the laughter of those veterans was with the chilling atmosphere on the battlefield just now. The brigade commander Lu Chenji also had confusion on his face, but as the brigade leader, he didn't say it out loud after all. Lu Chenji did not expect to run here, but his command right was deprived by Shang Zhen. At this time, he suddenly realized one thing, Shang Zhen was able to lead his group of people to mix alive and kicking, that must be superior, even the brigade commander himself may not be able to match. Well, let's wait and see, seeing that the Japanese attack was also repulsed, he was not in a hurry to rush forward. At this time, he heard Shang Zhen shouting again from the top of the mountain, Everyone, don't be idle. Hurry up and get some cover with good marksmanship, and kill the sharpshooter of the little devil on the opposite side. Seeing that Shang Zhen and his veterans were busy on the top of the mountain, many of them went to break off the green branches of the miscellaneous trees on the hillside, which seemed to be a disguise for them. That's quite domineering. Lu Chenji suddenly laughed. Brigade Commander, what do you mean? Chief of Staff Li Xiang didn't understand. If you can kill the little devil's sharpshooters, doesn't that prove that they are even more powerful sharpshooters? Lu Chenji said. Li Xiang blinked his eyes, he thought for a while, it seems that this is really the case. Lu Chenji, who was originally anxious because the Japanese army was about to break through the defense line, was really not in a hurry now so he and his chief of staff Li imagined a spectator and waited and watched from below. However, Shang Zhen, who was on the mountain at this time, would not be in a good mood with these two officers. When a high-ranking official plays tricks, a petty official like him has to run away. As a company commander, he is different from the soldiers below. Soldiers can completely adopt a life-and-death attitude, and they will fight as soon as they are ordered by officials, and they will accept their fate when they die. But Shang Zhen can't do it. He has to fulfill the combat intention of the superior and pay attention to the life and death of the soldiers below, 
and then he has to take the lead in fighting. Do you think it is easy for him? But he also understands that he must never tell old Mao Wang about this kind of complaint. Because as long as he speaks out, he will definitely be beaten. Old Mao Wang will definitely say, you deserve it, you are willing. The brigade commander took the lead in the charge, who told you to go ahead. Then if the little devil's bullets don't have eyes and kill the brigade commander write www.mtlnovel.com then what, you can take the opportunity to retreat, and I can go back and crush my crab apple. Of course, the above words must not be the original words of Wang Lao Mao, but Shang Zhen knows that what Wang Lao Mao said must mean this. When it comes to the people in the world who know Mr. Wang best, Shang Zhen thinks there can only be two people. One is Zhu Hongzia, the daughter-in-law of Wang Lao Mao, that is how women understand men. And the other one is himself, this belongs to a man's understanding of another man, Wang Lao Mao pouted his butt, he doesn't know how many sheep dung eggs Wang Lao Mao can drop, no, donkey dung. Even Mr. Wang's donkey temper can only pull donkey dung. Don't worry, if you shoot well, you must find out the sharpshooters of the devils on the other side, and you can't let them shoot badly. People like us are very precious. The donkey in Shang Zhen's eyes turned Wu. Wu. The donkey braid. Chapter 1196, Dodge. There was a snap gunshot, which sounded harsh on the temporarily silent battlefield. And just after the gunshot, a bush in front of the hill shook. But at this time, the second gunshot of Pa came. With the sound of the gunshot, a Japanese soldier staggered out of the bush, and a rifle fell to the ground, and the bush was overwhelmed by a large piece. Hey! Hey! A soldier nicknamed Little Head pointed at the bush on the top of the mountain and exclaimed in surprise. Little Head, what a fart! Are you stuttering? Maur Husey, who already knew the nickname of Little Head, scolded with a smile. That little head can't care about Ma'er who's hurting himself, or in other words, it doesn't matter even if he knows it. No one in the Northeast will take this kind of joke to heart. How do you know that the little devil is hiding in that patch of barley? The little head asked curiously. Don't you know? Ma'er Husa smiled, may I teach you? Teach me, teach me, he he. The little head asked with a funning smile on his face. It is impossible for him not to admire Shang Zhen and his group, just because when Shang Zhen, who was lying on his stomach not far from him, said, there is a devil's sharpshooter in the grass in front, he also took a special look at it. He really didn't find any clues about that piece of barley. But Shang Zhen only fired two shots, one after the other, and as a result, the second shot killed the Japanese sniper hiding in the bushes. People. Whenever they think they don't have this ability, they will admire those who have that ability. I'll teach you. Maur Husa smiled. Maur Husa is neither the kind of person who likes to keep secrets nor the kind of person who likes to show off. He is a straightforward and honest person who knows everything. The little devil has a rifle with a single hole telescope on it. Maur Husa said casually. It's just that Maur Husa was interrupted by his little head after he said the first sentence, I know, I've seen it. Don't bother me. Maur Husa said angrily, his little head shut up quickly, and Maur Husa continued, this kind of gun of the little devil can see the target more than 200 meters away most clearly. They can't see clearly from a distance, and they can't see clearly when they're close, so they must be hiding 200 meters away if they want to snipe at us on the mountain. Let's look for that location, as long as someone can basically find it, understand? Oh. The little head nodded but immediately asked, why can't I see the most clearly at a distance of 200 meters? Stupid you, have you ever used a telescope? Maur Husa continued to teach. Used it. The little head said hurriedly. The binoculars can be adjusted, but the small binoculars on the gun can't be adjusted so you can only see so far away the most clearly. Maur Husey explained in the simplest vernacular, of course, this is what he can explain, you let him talk about it in a more advanced way yes, 
such as focal length and so on, he can't tell clearly. But even so, it was enough for the little head, and the little head looked at Ma or Husa with a kind of admiration. He was thinking, everyone said that big heads are stupid and small heads are smart, but it seems that the reinforcements who came up later have not small heads, so why are they smarter than the ones with small heads like himself? Gunshots sounded intermittently again, but soon fell silent again. The hill was still the same hill, and the open space in front of the hillside was full of corpses of Japanese soldiers. For some reason, the heavy machine guns of the Japanese army in the distance stopped firing. It seems that the Japanese army was scared by the guard company this time, and Lu Jinji, who had already hid somewhere at the foot of the mountain, looked into the distance and thought. Shang Zhen didn't want Lu Jinji to go up to the top of the mountain, and Lu Jinji didn't force it when he saw that the position was being defended. But in fact, the Japanese army really found out that Shang Zhen and his group of defenders were different, so they fell silent for a while. The marksmanship of Shang Zhen and his veterans is very accurate, and the tip of the bullet is ground. Of course, the blunt bullet will penetrate into the human body. The power of the return becomes stronger. Just imagine, once the pointed bullet hits the human body and passes through, maybe there is a human bone next to it but it didn't touch it after all, but after the blunt bullet hits the human body, the trauma surface becomes larger and it is entirely possible to injure the bone of. Even, when the bullet flies farther and enters the human body, it is likely to roll over. Then, the person who is hit will die as soon as he dies, and the lightly wounded will become seriously wounded. Brigadier, should we go back? Li Xiang suggested seeing that the position here had temporarily stabilized. Okay. Lu Jinji replied. It's just that Lu Jinji hadn't finished speaking, when they suddenly heard a boom coming from the front, and then there was an explosion. Lu Jinji is now on this hillside, but he heard that the explosion sound should be on the hillside above their heads. The little devil fired. Li Xiang said. But at this time, Shang Zhen on the top of the mountain shouted again, test firing of the devil's cannon, everyone on the top of the mountain retreat quickly to the bottom of the semi-steep slope. Lu Jinji looked up the mountain, and happened to meet Shang Zhen's eyes. This time Lu Jinji could see that Shang Zhen was in a hurry, even more anxious than when he, the brigade commander, was about to lose his position and rushed up personally with a gun. Big old fool, Gu Man, take the brigade commander and chief of staff to the bottom of that steep slope. Shang Zhen pointed. Big Boss and Gu Man were right in front of them, but Lu Jinji and Li Xiang had personal guards, and when they heard Shang Zhen shouting that, those two guards were not happy. It was the two of them's duty to protect the brigade commander and chief of staff, but what does Shang Zhen mean by yelling now? What's wrong, I can't believe what's wrong with my brothers. Brigade commander, chief of staff, let's go. A guard said. To rush forward against the sharp bayonets of the invaders is to fight the Japanese devils with white knives in and out with red knives. This is to fight hand-to-hand -hand combat. It must be called heartless. Don't say that Lu Jinji is just a brigade commander, even the commander-in-chief of the theater won't do. Lu Jinji, Li Xiang and their two guards hurried down the steep pointed by Shang Zhen. But speaking of it, Li Xiang was a little bit on the back. He slipped and stumbled but fell straight down. At this time, it was time for the big old stupid to show his face. The big old stupid who happened to be following Li Xiang bent down and stretched out his hands to pick up Li Xiang abruptly. To say that Li Xiang is also small and light www.mtlnovel.com The big old stupid put Li Xiang on his shoulders and ran after struggling with his arms. Hey, hey, you're killing me. Li Xiang screamed. He just tripped over, of course he staggered face down, but the old man picked him up behind him and threw him onto his shoulder like a noodle bag. If the flower picker robs someone in the middle of the night, the eldest daughter will also run with her shoulders on her stomach, but now that the situation is critical, the big old stupid can't care about the pros and cons, so the big old stupid grabbed one by one. With a flick, his shoulders were right on Li Xiang's back. 
It is said that a man's shoulders are broad, but that's just a metaphor. Compared with the shoulders of a petite woman, no matter how broad a man's shoulders are compared to a slender man's waist, they are also thinner. So, the old stupid grabbed, swung and pushed his shoulders again and again, but he almost gave Li Xiang's lumber support to the pier. Chapter 1197, Back Slope I can't see how the shells are flying in the sky. A soldier at the brigade headquarters looked at the smoke and dust in front of him and said. It is undoubtedly a recruit who can ask such a question. It makes no difference whether you can see it or not. You can see it clearly when it's dark. There is a flash of light in the sky. That's called ballistic. A veteran of the Northeast Army murmured with a cigarette in his hand. He was very worried about the battle ahead, because he knew that the brigade commander took the lead on the front line, and the position where the Japanese artillery shelled was exactly that position. Even when news came from the front that it was about to be lost, the Japanese bombardment there was not as violent as it is now. As a veteran serving as an observation post, he knew that they watched the smoke column in front of them rise into the air from behind, but at the scene of the shelling, it felt like destroying the sky and destroying the earth. He was so worried that the cigarette burned all the way to his fingers, and he subconsciously threw the cigarette to the ground, but his eyes were still staring ahead. At this time, it was the same on the hill that served as the commanding height, and the brigade commander Lu Chenji could only lie on his stomach against the steep slope. Now his world has turned into chaos, and what fills his ears is the sound of the explosion of the shells. He tried to open his eyes, but all he could see was the endless smoke and dust, so he could only close them again. Eyes closed. He felt the shells exploding above his head, and the clods of soil and gravel rolled down. He felt the shells exploding tens of meters in front of him on the right, and the clods that were blown away were mixed with the green grass on the ground. It was thrown over his head again. Lu Chenji was the brigade commander. To be honest, he didn't go to the front line much to be bombarded. During the Civil War, no matter which side of the Chinese army had such strong artillery fire. Moreover, civil wars are different from foreign wars. As long as one side really moves out the large caliber artillery, it only needs to fire a few rounds, and the other side will not raise their hands to surrender, but will simply abandon the defense. Of course, in this case, the Northeast Army fought against other factions' troops. Who called the Northeast Army rich at that time? As for fighting the Japanese Army, he was in Ning Yuan County a few years ago when he was bombarded, but that time he also had solid fortifications, unlike the field battles he is doing now. I don't know how many people can escape the shelling this time. Lu Chenji sighed in his heart. In the face of the Japanese shelling, he, the brigade commander, is no different from the soldiers. Now he can only suffer. I hope Shang Zhen will let the soldiers their method of hiding behind a steep will work. The Japanese shelling stopped after more than ten minutes. It was originally a small hill with a small top area. The Japanese army felt that firing artillery for ten minutes was no longer plowing the top of the mountain twice. The shells stopped exploding, and the dust rising into the air slowly fell and the shouts of the Japanese army came from a distance, which meant that the Japanese army launched an attack again. And Lu Chenji, who got up from the ground, also heard a sound of groans, and then there were shouts from Shang Zhen and the platoon leader below, who were counting the casualties. The casualties should not be small, Lu Chenji thought in his heart, but only then did he notice that the big fool was also getting up from the ground beside him. It stands to reason that Lu Chenji is unlikely to notice an ordinary soldier. But that refers to ordinary soldiers, and De Lao is not ordinary at all. Because the big old stupid is tall and strong like the Black Iron Tower, and his title of big old stupid is easy to remember. It's not surprising that Big Boss got up from the ground, everyone was hiding from the gun just now. What was strange was the posture that the old man was in before he got up. That was the first time Lu Chenji saw someone lying down in such a weird posture. The big stupid propped his arms on the ground as if doing push UPS, but he knelt on the ground again. If his forehead hadn't left the ground, 
others would think that he was kowtowing to the land or the mountain god. Hey, I said stupid, what do you mean by lying on your stomach like that just now, I saw you pouted all the time. At this moment, one of Lu Chenji's personal guards asked. It's just that he didn't finish talking about this, but he turned his head and asked Gu Man, you stupid big man is more interesting. Are you squatting there to surrender to the little devil? The guard was already dissatisfied with Shang Zhen's arrangement of two big men with them to protect the brigade commander, but before the shelling, the big stupid even carried the chief of staff Li Xiang back. The so-called peers are enemies, and the stupid behavior of the big boss made him feel uncomfortable. But now when he asked big boss why he stuck to the ground in such a weird and indecent position, it was ironic. As for the posture of Gu Man hiding the cannon, he also saw it, but he was squatting close to the mountain wall, and clasped his hands on the back of his head. That is actually an instinctive reaction of people. How could a person not instinctively protect his head with both hands after being bombarded? In fact, not only Gu Man, but also the brigade commander Lu Chenji and chief of staff Li Xiang also used both hands to protect their heads? Compared with Guman's posture of hiding the cannon, it is just that the former is lying on the latter is squatting. This time was good, but the guard directly satirized that Guman was about to surrender. That's not true, Shang Zhen said, the devil's cannon is powerful, when you are guarding against the devil's shelling, you must not put your whole body on the ground. In that case, the shell did not explode, but it might cause internal injuries from the shock. Big old stupid explained. When the old stupid explained this, the guard who was going to continue to mock him was stunned, but the brigade commander Lu Chenji secretly yelled ashamed. His majestic leader of the journey forgot about this. The large caliber shells that explode on the ground kill not only the fragments produced by the shell explosion, but also the ubiquitous shock waves. When a person lies on the ground, the shock wave generated by the explosion can completely penetrate into the person's body and cause internal injuries. And this kind of internal injury can't be seen on the outside. After being shelled by large caliber shells, some soldiers only said that they were uncomfortable, but on the surface, they were really not injured at all, but after a day or two, the man would suddenly die suddenly. Seeing myself as a brigade commander, how could I forget such a thing? Instead, he was reminded by a soldier, and Lu Chenji blamed himself. In fact, this is really not Lu Chenji's fault, in fact, he has never been bombed by the Japanese army's large caliber artillery. The 92 type infantry artillery and mountain artillery used by the Japanese army are not large caliber, so even if he has been a soldier for half his life, he has no experience in this area. He just heard it, but he didn't have a deep impression of it. It was understandable that he lay on the ground in a hurry during the Japanese shelling. That's the truth, but the gun the devil just used is not a large caliber gun. The large caliber is the large caliber naval gun of the Devil's Navy www.mtlnovel.com or the big bomb dropped from the sky by the plane. At this time, it was Li Xiang, chief of staff, who rescued Lu Chenji. The big old stupid said oh to show that he knew. The old stupid is simple and honest in nature, he is not in the habit of arguing with others, so it is difficult for the guard to say anything. And at this time, someone shouted at the foot of the mountain, it was the platoon leaders of each platoon, and they were reporting the casualties to Shang Zhen. To Lu Chenji's surprise, only two of the three platoons were killed in battle after being shelled by the Japanese army and the one who was still crying was hit by the clods and stones blown up by the Japanese shelling. What's happening here? Lu Chenji was stunned for a moment, but then a military term popped out of his mind, it was reverse slope. Just when Lu Chenji was about to say something, he suddenly heard a soldier on the mountain shout, The little devil is here, there are quite a few people this time. Chapter 1198, Witness the Battle the shell flew out of the barrel of the Japanese mountain cannon, drawing a parabolic trajectory in the air. And when they flew to the hill, most of them landed on the top of the mountain, and those who didn't land on the top of the mountain flew past the top of the mountain and landed on the other side of the mountain, 
which was where they were hiding. But because the hillside was relatively steep, it was impossible for the cannonball to fall vertically from above their heads, and the cannonball would fly to a place tens of meters away from them and explode according to its usual trajectory. The above is Lu Chenji's imaginary use of anti-cannon on the reverse slope. So don't look at the Japanese cannons firing very lively, but the shells were either blocked by the mountain and exploded above the head, or fell tens of meters away, after all, they could not cause too much damage to them. And that's what back slopes do. Lu Chenji really didn't expect Shang Zhen to learn how to use the reverse slope, but he himself has no experience in this area. This Shang Zhen is interesting. He's clever. Chief of Staff Li Xiang praised him, and Lu Chenji smiled to show his affirmation. At this moment, those people down the mountain heard Shang Zhen yelling again from the top of the mountain, Don't be all on the top of the mountain, a total of dozens of devils have just arrived, we don't need so many people. The rest of the people hastened to dig a hole for me under the steep on the upper half of the mountain. If the little devil bombards again, it won't be as easy to hide as this time. Shang Zhen's shout, of course, can also be regarded as an order, which once again affirmed Lu Chenji's judgment. Shang Zhen really has experience, not that it is purely blind to go to the doctor when he is sick under the shelling of the Japanese army. Dodged the Japanese shelling. Lu Chenji didn't realize that in terms of being well informed on the battlefield, he really couldn't compare to a veteran like Shang Zhen. After all, the Northeast Army is its own series. If there is not a big battle, how can the theater headquarters transfer troops at the division and brigade level to fight? It's not like Shang Zhen and the others often fight with the Japanese and puppet troops, and Shang Zhen and the others also meet a lot of people from other factions. I know a lot of miscellaneous knowledge. And this is where the so-called veterans are precious. Come on, let's go up and have a look. Lu Chenji suddenly stood up and said. Ah. Li Xiang was stunned for a moment, just now Lu Chenji said that Shang Zhen and the others should be fine here, so they plan to go back to the command post, why do they have to go to the front in person? Brigade Commander One of the personal guards shouted. As a guard, he certainly didn't want the brigade commander to go forward, it was too dangerous, their guards could die, but if the brigade commander died for his country, it would be a big deal. Go away. I can't even look at it. Lu Chenji showed the majesty of the brigade commander. Seeing that the brigade commander was going to get angry, the two guards rushed forward, which meant to stand in front of Lu Chenji. It's just that the two of them are fast, but Dalaoban and Gu Man are faster than the two of them, and they have already gone up the mountain. According to Shang Zhen's order, the members of the guard company had already dug a hole at the bottom of a steep halfway up the mountain. Although the reverse is good, it is a stopgap measure after all. If you want to survive the more intense Japanese artillery fire, of course, you need to make simple fortifications on the reverse slope. Shang Zhen and the others don't have any tools now, so the soldiers can only use bayonets to dig. Fortunately, this mountain is a dirt mountain, and there are not many stones on it. But in this way, how could the fortification be dug fast? Sure enough, when Lu Chenji climbed halfway up the mountain, he heard some soldiers complaining, What the hell, I don't even have a shovel. When will I have to dig this? Even if you dig a hole as big as your butt, you can stick your head inside and there will be less exposed outside. Maybe the shrapnel won't touch you. A soldier beside him said vigorously. So I'm talking nonsense, I don't want to dig up the mountain to fight devils. At this time their platoon leader spoke. It was only after the platoon leader finished speaking that he hurriedly said, Brigade Commander. Chief of Staff. It was Lu Chenji and Li Xiang who had crawled in front of him when he arrived. Lu Chenji waved his hand to indicate that he didn't need to salute, and then he continued to walk up the mountain, but the ones walking in front of them were still the old man and Gu Man. The soldiers on the mountainside were digging fortifications, but when Lu Chenji and the others climbed to the top of the mountain, no one paid any attention to them, even though the veterans under Shang Zhen saw Lu Chenji and Li Xiang coming up. 
The soldiers held their rifles one by one, but they all leaned behind the small ridgeline, regardless of whether the rifles or the box guns were loaded. The little devil should be very close. Li Xiang reminded in a low voice. But at this moment, Lu Chenji was a little strange looking at these veterans ambushing on the top of the mountain. These people rarely poked their heads out of the ridgeline. So where is the devil? Don't these soldiers need to aim? Lu Chenji then scanned the top of the mountain, and saw a soldier lying behind a tree in an inconspicuous place in front of him with his head slightly poked out. I just don't know if that soldier is an observation post or a commander, but where is that boy Shang Zhen? But at this time, Lu Chenji noticed that the two big soldiers who had come up in front of them had already got down, and a soldier was gesturing to silence them. It's been a while since someone on the mountain shouted that the little devil is coming up, until Shang Zhen gave the order, and then Lu Chenji and the others climbed up the mountain. And at this time, Lu Chenji suddenly heard someone yelling fight. Like thunder, and then those veterans who were leaning behind the ridgeline of the hill suddenly stood up and turned around, and then the gunshots papa, chug, pop, pop and pop sounded. It all happened so suddenly. The soldiers stood up to meet them, but Lu Chenji, Li Xiang, and their two guards were standing with their waists bowed. When the battle order fight was yelled, the four of them stood up. They also instinctively fell down, and at the same time quickly put their pistols on fire. At this time, Lu Chenji couldn't help yelling ashamed again, and the soldiers exposed their bodies and began to shoot at the Japanese army, but although the four of them also had guns in their hands, What's the use? Not to mention, as far as Lu Chenji's hand can hit a hundred meters, even if they want to shoot now, they don't even know where the Japanese army has arrived. Brigade Commander, I think we should go down. Li Xiang whispered to the side. He also felt a little uncomfortable. The soldiers were risking their lives to fight devils, but why did he feel that these four people were a little redundant? Of course, it can also be said that Lu Chenji is the chief officer of an army of thousands of people after all. In fact, there is no need for him to come forward in person, at least Li Xiang thinks so. Li Xiang thought to himself that he was looking at Lu Chenji's face. He saw that Lu Chenji's face was a little cloudy, but then he climbed to the left of the mountain top. This is going to be a haha, isn't the brigade commander going to take two shots, right? Li Xiang thought to himself but could only crawl on his stomach. Gunshots kept ringing, and bullets flying from down the mountain hit Lu Chenji and the others not far above their heads, but Lu Chenji didn't care, but just crawled in the direction he thought. Although Lu Chenji and Li Xiang didn't stretch their heads to look forward even now, but this time the battle was obviously going on very quickly, and after a while the gunshots became sparse. Lu Chenji who was always at the foot of the mountain, didn't notice www.mtlnovel.com I don't know when Shang Zhen had moved a few light machine guns from the guard company up the mountain. However, the Japanese army bombarded this hill with cannons before. It should not have been expected that all the Chinese troops hit on the reverse and suffered little damage. Therefore, this attack should be careless, and they must have been caught off guard by Shang Zhen and the others. Pa was another gunshot, which caught Li Xiang's attention, because when he climbed here with Lu Chenji, he was already on the edge of the mountain top, but this gunshot was right below them. Li Xiang crawled forward again and followed Lu Chenji to look down. He saw two soldiers whose bodies were already covered with tree branches were lying there more than one meter below. From their current position, they could see the back of the two soldiers' heads and the rifle in front. Search carefully and kill immediately if you find it. The little devil's sharpshooter is too accurate. If one more of them survives, our people will be in great danger. At this time, a soldier below said in a low voice. The voice of the speaker, Lu Chenji and Li Xiang, of course sounded familiar, because it was Shang Zhen. Chapter 1199, Drag Tactic Not surprisingly, the Japanese attack was repulsed by Shang Zhen and the others. When the brigade commander Lu Chenji poked his head out from the top of the mountain, he saw the fallen Japanese soldiers on the gentle ahead. 
but he just glanced at it and yelled ah, because he felt that someone grabbed his ankle and dragged the defenseless self back. Before Lu Chenji could say anything, Shang Zhen's voice sounded behind him, Brigade Commander, you must pay attention to safety. I can't take responsibility for something like this. Only then did Lu Chenji, who was still lying on his stomach, realize that it was Shang Zhen who ordered someone to drag him back. As for who was dragging him, for some reason, Lu Chenji immediately thought of that powerful old fool who was sent by Shang Zhen to protect him. Why is this guy so strong? At this moment, Lu Chenji felt as if his right ankle was being held by a leather hoop. The kind that puts on the wildest and fiercest dogs. Don't let the brigade commander go soon. Li Xiang, who was the first to react, said angrily. The one who dragged Lu Chenji back was really stupid. So, the old man let go of his hand, and when Lu Chenji turned around and sat up, he saw Shang Zhen and his veterans squatting behind him, as well as his chief of staff Li Xiang and his two comrades. Guards. At this time, Lu Chenji looked at other people, but when other people looked at Lu Chenji, it was a different situation. When the old man was dragging him just now, his hands were a bit heavy, and Lu Chenji lost his defense again, so he rubbed his face on the ground. Just rubbing it like this doesn't mean it's heavy, but the tip of his nose is covered with dust. The majesty of the brigade commander in a good material military uniform is gone, and it's a bit funny instead. It's just that who dares to laugh at the brigade commander in full view? An ordinary soldier making a fool of himself is called funny, but a brigade commander making a fool of himself is not funny but embarrassing. Just when the chief of staff was angry with the soldiers, Lu Chenji, who was still sitting, suddenly laughed and then everyone saw Lu Chenji get up from the ground, bowed his waist and didn't forget to pat his own butt. Let's go. Go down the mountain and go back to the brigade. Lu Chenji said. After he finished speaking, he bowed his waist and walked down. Shang Zhen and Wang Lao Mao exchanged glances, they felt that Lu Chenji did not blame the boss for his recklessness, so they were relieved. But when they watched Lu Chenji go down, Lu Chenji suddenly turned around and said, Boy, you are a man who knows how to fight. Who is someone who knows how to fight? Although Lu Chenji didn't specify Dao's surname, Everyone can understand that this is Brigade Commander Lu Chenji praising Shang Zhen, and Shang Zhen is the boy he was talking about. Shang Zhen was praised by the Brigade Commander, so the other veterans naturally had bright faces, and even Hu Zuzu smiled and grinned. It's just that Lu Chenji went on to say, if I knew you were so good at fighting in battle, I would have blinded you people in vain. Ah! Shang Zhen was taken aback for a moment but at this moment Lu Chenji had already turned around and led his men down the mountain. Seeing Lu Chenji and the others descending the mountain cautiously, the figure became smaller and smaller. Old Mao Wang, who was originally squatting on the top of the mountain, sat down on the ground first, and he touched the cigarette from his pocket. They were originally hiding behind the ridge. In order not to be targeted by the Japanese gunmen who must exist in the distance, they could only squat or lie on their stomachs from beginning to end. At this time, the veterans also began to discuss, but only after the voice came out, Shang Zhen ordered again, leave a few people on the top of the mountain, and everyone else goes to the mountainside to dig fortifications. After Shang Zhen said this, the soldiers had no choice but to walk down the mountain, but their mouths were not idle. Naturally, they were proud of Lu Chenji's praise. It was only after the soldiers went down that old Mao Wang, who had already smoked half a cigarette, suddenly said angrily, What does that mean? Shang Zhen turned around and lay down on the ground toward the ridge before he asked, Who said the inner sentence? Who could it be? It's not someone inside. What did he mean by what he said just now? Did he know that we were so good at fighting positional warfare? What does that mean? We have to stay here this time. Old Hat Wang said angrily. As the saying goes, who is the inside who is inside, of course the inside refers to the brigade commander Lu Chenji, but it's not easy for Wang Lao Mao to call the brigade commander's name directly. If you have a temper, 
then you won't talk about who, but that bastard. Of course Shang Zhen understood who Wang Lao Mao was referring to, and he was just teasing Wang Lao Mao on purpose. Old Mao Wang understood the meaning of Brigade Commander Lu Jinji's words, how could Shang Zhen not hear it? So he smiled and continued to climb forward. You little bastard, you're still laughing. However, Shang Zhen's smile was caught by Wang Lao Mao, and Wang Lao Mao scolded, You mean what he means is that we are blind for not defending our positions. Then we will stay here forever? Just before the little devil fired a cannon, we were all picked up if we weren't killed, what's the matter? Are you still planning to live here? That's the little devil's cannon, can we avoid the first and second grades, and the fourth and fifth grades? Well, sooner or later, the bones and dregs that we will not be blown up by the little devil's shells are gone. Then if we have defended our positions since September 18th, how can we still defend until now? Then it's too early to stop talking. Aren't we dead? I said, Uncle Wang, are you so angry? Who doesn't think about happiness, how do you know that we must die? Shang Zhen persuaded. Stop talking nonsense. Old Mao Wang was so angry that he stopped smoking, if you stay here, you will die sooner or later. How do you know we'll always stay here? Shang Zhen retorted, then if all the other troops withdraw, we'll stay here foolishly. Hey! Upon hearing what Shang Zhen said, old Mao Wang, who was taking out his cigarette again, was stunned for a moment, and he looked at Shang Zhen without saying a word. It's a pity that Shang Zhen has already been lying on the back of the ridge to observe the situation in the distance, and he only saw the back of Shang Zhen's head. Boy Shang, do you have an idea? Mr. Wang is Mr. Wang www.mtlnovel.com He felt that there was something in Shang Zhen's words. What idea can I have, the brigade headquarters is behind, we can't just withdraw like this. Shang Zhen replied. Then what if the other troops withdraw? Old Mao Wang asked again. What do you think? Shang Zhen asked back. Then we have to send someone out to watch and see when the other troops will retreat. Wang Lao Mao said urgently. You think I sent Qing Feng Li and the others out with the money? Shang Zhen said angrily. You're right if you say that. Wang Lao Mao smiled. Seeing that Shang Zhen had already thought of when to retreat when he first started defending his position, he immediately felt better. Then what if the little devils attack us again? After a while, old Mao Wang asked worriedly. One word, procrastinate. Procrastinate until other troops retreat, we will also withdraw. Shang Zhen replied. Chapter 1200, Drag Tactic Obviously, the Japanese army did not expect that the previous burst of artillery did not destroy the will of the Chinese army on the hill to resist, so the dull artillery sounded again, and the artillery sound became louder and louder. The pits were dug more and more and got bigger. Amidst the rumbling of the artillery, Shang Zhen and some soldiers huddled in a large pit to listen to the sound of the artillery, and watched the clods of soil and miscellaneous trees rolling down from the mountain, as well as the clods of soil that exploded and flew over from not far away. Now it seems that the large and small pits that the soldiers dug on the reverse with bayonets and hands are still very effective. The shells will not directly fall on the reverse slope, but sometimes the earth and rocks will fly over when they explode. After getting through the big and small pits, there is another layer of protection, but this time, even the blood is saved. Seeing that the cannons of the Japanese army could no longer cause them any harm, the soldiers also relaxed. In the gap between the sound of the cannons, some soldiers boasted, it's better to use the company commander's trick. If I dig the fortifications early, it will save my head. It was smashed. Originally, this soldier was wearing a hat, but in the previous Japanese shelling, his forehead was hit with a lump the size of an egg by the splashed stones. Regardless of whether it hurts or not, at least he was wearing that hat before the swelling subsided. No more. We can't just rely on being brave and not afraid of death in war. We have to learn to use our brains. We are not as good as the Japanese devils in many aspects, 
but as long as we find the right way, we can fight more Japanese devils and make ourselves less injured. Shang Zhen concluded. Shang Zhen used his unique expression of Northeast people to put it bluntly that he had to use his brain to fight devils, that is to find the right way. With a boom, another shell exploded on the top of the hill, and the soldiers hiding on the reverse subconsciously shrank back into the pit again, but this time it was just an instinctive reaction, and they were no longer afraid in their hearts. Shang Zhen ignored the dust rolling down from the mountain, his eyes swept over the faces of the soldiers in the pit. The faces of these soldiers were kind but unfamiliar to him. Kind, that's because everyone is originally from the Northeast Army, and every time they open their mouths, they say what's wrong and gaha. For Shang Zhen, who was not in the main force, it was an authentic local accent. Strange, that's because the soldiers in this pit are all guards, and he doesn't even know any of the original soldiers. Shang Zhen led the veterans to counterattack the Japanese army on the mountain, and the guards below dug several holes on the steep as fortifications. But before the Japanese army started shelling again, Shang Zhen brought the veterans down, and he separated from the veterans, and entered the fortifications of his new men alone. No matter what happens in the future, Shang Zhen is now the company commander of the guard company. I am a veteran and of course my new subordinates are also veterans. How many recruits can the Northeast Army recruit after entering the customs? As if I could recruit a few, it was all a coincidence. If the Northeast Army recruited a large number of soldiers to catch the young men, it would definitely be rebounded by the warlords in the original sphere of influence. Although everyone is a veteran, veterans are not the same. Shang Zhen thought to himself, he has some experience in how to survive after being away from the main army for a long time. It can't be the same as last time. Although I was not appointed as the company commander of a company by the superiors, but I took those temporary subordinates with me, and in the end, only my brother was left in the fight. Those soldiers are not from the northeast, so it cannot be said that they sacrificed for the country. This time I brought all the northeast people, so I will be able to save their lives, but this soldier is different from others in anyone's mind. This is like Xiang Yu Wujiang, the overlord of Western Chu, who was left with hundreds of soldiers before he committed suicide. Aren't they also Xiang Yu's soldiers? It is said in the history books that Xiang Yu's remaining disciples, Bing Shang Zhen, really can't remember. In other words, what he read was not history books at all so he was only reading the idiom dictionary, and he remembered an idiom of farewell my concubine. The story about Xiang Yu committing suicide in Wujiang River. For the above, Shang Zhen felt that he should say something to his new subordinates. Let's talk about the 38 big cover we are using now. This gun is a good gun. It can shoot far and the recoil is not strong, but the bullet is too thin. Let's blunt the tip of the bullet. The distance of the bullet is not enough. The accuracy is about the same, but the hole made when hitting the little devil is different. This is also the right way. For another example, the shoes we wear, no matter whether they are rubber-soled or cloth shoes, are not as strong as the little devil's big-toed shoes. But let's put it bluntly, if it's really raining and fight with little devils, our shoes will not be as slippery as theirs, and this is the right way. For another example, our guards have a lot of guns, and I think many brothers have both short guns and double guns. We all know that short guns are not very accurate, but quick shots are good for melee combat, so can we lay an ambush first, wait for the little devil to approach, and use our advantage in firepower to surprise the little devil? What Shang Zhen wanted to say next was undoubtedly find the right way, but at this time another shell exploded on their heads so they who were hiding in the reverse fortifications watched the dust pouring from their heads and died again. Down. When the dust was less, Shang Zhen was going to continue talking, but at this moment, a soldier asked first, Company commander, what next? What then? Shang Zhen was taken aback. Didn't you say that we use our advantage in firepower to surprise the little devil, and then what? The soldier asked. Then Shang Zhen paused for a moment, then replied as a matter of course, then run away. 
Why don't you run away if you take advantage of it, and fight back with us when the little devil's reinforcements arrive? Shang Zhen's answer made the soldiers laugh loudly, Yes, the enemy is strong and we are weak, so why don't you run away immediately if you take advantage of it, and wait for the little devil to come back for revenge? The soldier's laughter made the questioning soldier's face flush, and he quickly defended, I mean, don't we need to defend our positions? Like now. You are stupid, how can you withdraw now that the brigade headquarters is behind you? This time, there was no need for Shang Zhen to say anything, and a soldier answered for Shang Zhen. Then if, I mean if, if the brigade headquarters is not behind us, but the higher UPS let us hold the position, and we take advantage, should we run or not? The soldier asked again. It's a military order from the higher-ups to keep the position, and you can't run if you take advantage of it. Another soldier replied. It's just that most of the soldiers didn't laugh this time, but showed a thoughtful expression. Everyone joined the army before September 18 www.mtlnovel.com The anti-Japanese war has been fought for eight years, and everyone is big and big. Which one doesn't have a brain and which one can't think? Everyone focused their attention on Shang Zhen. This is a paradox, although the soldiers do not know the word paradox. Fighting to take advantage of it and fleeing but violating military orders, so which is more important? They also didn't think Shang Zhen could come up with any good ideas. But Shang Zhen's answer was much happier. Didn't I just say that? If you win the fight, you will lose. If you continue to fight, you will suffer. Then run away. Only by living can there be hope, and only then can you kill more Japanese devils, and you will be able to return home one day. Shang Zhen say so. In the end, Shang Zhen chose keep the green hills and don't worry about running out of firewood among the two choices. But he said that, but those soldiers who said they stood firm could not refute, yes, only if they are alive can they go home one day, the homeland of the northeast, it has been eight years since we left. Chapter 1201, The Word Drag It was finally getting dark, and if it wasn't for the smell of gunpowder smoke permeating the sky and the earth, people would think that the sound of guns and guns during the day was just an illusion. But at this time, there were whispers in the darkness. Our new company commander has excellent marksmanship. Soldier A said. What's the best way? Soldier B asked. In the afternoon, he shot at the little devil, but I used binoculars to help him find the target. Soldier A's tone showed a hint of pride. Are you ashamed to say that? Your marksmanship has always been the best in our company, and it all falls into the role of finding targets for the company commander. You are so beautiful. Soldier B disagreed. If the skills are not as good as the others, then the skills are not as good as the others, our marksmanship is incomparable with the company commanders. Besides, I was watching through the binoculars, and our company commander did kill six or seven little devils. You have to know that those little devils are also sharpshooters among devils. If you hit a shot from five or six hundred meters with a rifle, do you think I can do it? Soldier A is already full of praise for their company commander. And this naturally aroused the dissatisfaction of Soldier B. The company commander they were talking about was of course Shang Zhen. Although it was a positional battle this time, Shang Zhen would definitely not just passively defend. According to Shang Zhen's explanation to the soldiers, the little devil should have guessed that we are always hiding behind the mountain, and we can't always stand there. The first time we hid behind the mountain, the little devil didn't know the details, then the suddenness of ambushing the little devil will be gone. You know, when Shang Zhen and the others suddenly appeared to shoot at the Japanese army after the bombardment by the Japanese army, the attacking Japanese army was only more than 50 meters away from them. If it wasn't for Shang Zhen's strong firepower and accurate marksmanship, and the Japanese army was attacking the mountain again, they might have to use bayonets. On this point, Lu Chenji, the brigade commander at the time, didn't know that Shang Zhen had put the Japanese army on the ground. So close to fight. Therefore, 
Shang Zhen's method after the Japanese Army's second bombardment was exactly the opposite of the first close-range attack. He attacked the Japanese Army when he saw the Japanese Army from a distance. He ambushed soldiers with good marksmanship from the guard company at different points on the front line, and started shooting when he saw the Japanese Army approaching this side, and then changed places with one shot. As for whether the other soldiers killed the Japanese soldiers or not, Shang Zhen didn't care. In fact, he just used those soldiers as suspects, but the real killer was himself. As a veteran and also a good gunslinger, Shang Zhen knows too well the deterrent effect on the other side when a sharpshooter who is close to hitting a hundred shots appears on one side. And what happened next was exactly as Shang Zhen expected, the Japanese army really feared his marksmanship. When the enemy and the enemy are more than one mile apart, it is actually very difficult to catch the gunman who is hiding in the mountains and disguised. When the 38 type rifle fires, the flame produced by the muzzle is very small, and it is basically impossible to capture the flame and gunpowder smoke, and the shooter as the defensive side has camouflaged himself, so it is so easy to be discovered by the opponent. In fact, let alone the rifleman, as long as the distance is far enough, it is not easy to find a Maxim heavy machine gun in the case of strafing. However, this is the case in summer. If it is winter in the north, since the Maxim heavy machine gun is water-cooled, it is necessary to add water to the barrel to cool down. After shooting, the barrel becomes hot and red, and the water hits the barrel it will turn into water vapor, and that water vapor will easily reveal the position of the machine gun. In any case, Shang Zhen finally made the Japanese army afraid of their marksmanship, and because of this, he won the respect of this soldier A. In the end, the Japanese army stopped organizing large-scale attacks, and even changed the target of the bombardment. It is estimated that it was to pick soft sticks. In other words, the Japanese army thought it was unwise to consume too many troops here. In fact, as far as the current situation of the enemy and ourselves is concerned, it is extremely unfavorable for the defenders 51st Army. They were very hasty when they received the order, and only two extremely simple lines of defense were established at the designated positions of the entire army. The soldiers didn't even have shovels and used nothing to dig bunkers, let alone the so-called permanent fortifications. If the Japanese army is likened to a stream of water, and there is a high mountain in front of it, it will naturally flow to a low-lying place. There is no need for people to hang themselves on a tree. But no matter what, Shang Zhen successfully used the drag tactic to hold the position and minimize casualties. Now that it was finally dark, it is reasonable to say that the Japanese army is unlikely to fight at night, but Shang Zhen ordered his soldiers to divide into several groups and go down the mountain to guard the front line. The soldiers felt that what Shang Zhen said was also reasonable. This hill was the commanding height of this area. The Japanese army suffered heavy casualties during the day and they could guess that they hid on the reverse slope, in case they came around to sneak attack. And now soldier A and B are one of the groups sent by Shang Zhen to be in charge of guarding. They are also in the same group as a veteran of the guard company, but the veteran just listened to what they said and kept silent. Brother Li, let's just keep guard here, but the company commander is taking that stupid old man and the others to the front again. Seeing that Soldier B was told to be quiet, Soldier A asked again. Veterans of the same group. This time, Big Boss is well known in the guard company. With his black iron tower-like figure, but also his good skills, it's hard for the soldiers not to remember him. Who knew they were going to Gaha? Soldier B was speechless just now because of Soldier A's words, and he felt a little embarrassed, and he didn't have a good attitude when he spoke. It should be to harass the Japanese devils. The veteran called Brother Lee replied. I see that each of them has several hand grenades, don't they want to use the black to send grenades to the little devil? Soldier A ignored Soldier B and asked. People have different temperaments. That soldier B just doesn't like to be seen by others, and his speech is also very stinky, but his own brother is the platoon leader of their platoon, and soldier A is not easy to turn against him. That's all. If they don't throw grenades, why would they throw them there? 
said Brother Lee. How far can a grenade be deflected? I don't believe they dared to go into the little devil's den. They might as well bring a grenade. Soldier B continued bitterly. You know what? At this moment, without waiting for what Soldier A said, the veteran was rude to him. Veteran, he has capital. He and Soldier B's brother, who is their platoon leader, had a deadly friendship. He trained Soldier B as if he was training his younger brother. Babe, his brother just laughed when he heard it. Using a grenade or a gun will reveal your position, but not using a grenade. After the training, the veteran was indeed a veteran, but he directly guessed Shang Zhen's intentions, who knew that big fool could hold his hand. I know how far the thunder can be thrown, the furthest it can be thrown is 70 or 80 meters, but look at the fool, it seems that it should be thrown farther than this. 70 or 80 meters. Soldiers A and B have the same attitude this time. Both of them don't quite believe it. They can only throw the grenade 40 to 50 meters, and that's all. With run up. When the veterans were about to say something more, they heard a few explosions from the Japanese side, followed by the sound of Japanese light machine guns da da da. Startled, the three soldiers stretched their heads and looked over there. The terrain where the three of them are now is still relatively high so they saw the traces of the streamer of bullets streaking across the night, which was tracer bullets fired by the Japanese army. It's broken, they were discovered by the little devil, right? Soldier A was worried. Soldier B was also worried, but the words came out of his mouth and turned into, who told them to stink? Don't talk anymore, you little bastard. The veteran was finally angered by Soldier B. www.mtlnovel.com Why? Soldier B is still confused. Be careful that those veterans brought by the company commander will beat you up, you fat head and swollen face. One day, don't say I won't do it. The veteran said angrily. Soldier B fell silent. The sound of machine guns in the distance was still ringing, and the veteran watched for a while and said, the company commander and the others are fine. How do you know? Soldier A didn't understand. The devil's machine guns were fired blindly, and they were not fired at one place at all, so they couldn't find the company commander and the others. The veteran judged. Soldier A also looked at the direction of the streamer shooting in the night, and there really was no pattern at all. Hey, I just said that our company commander Shang is amazing. It's just that he was enjoying it, when he heard another explosion, and then the light machine gun of the Japanese army went dumb. Chapter 1205, Among Veterans At dawn, cheers from soldiers came from a hill, it was because a person was walking up from the bottom of the hill. That man's attire was a bit miserable. He was carrying a 38 type rifle and a 20-gun box cannon slung across his body. There was no shortage of weapons, but a large piece of his front clothes had been cut off, just like the ancient circumcision robes. Judgment is cut off like a robe. One of his hands was wrapped in a cloth, oozing blood and stained with soil, it was already pitch black. His face was also rubbed with dirt, and his face was also scratched, with streaks of blood. But so what? All of the above did not prevent him from walking up the mountain with his chest up and his head up. Just his expression is that of a soldier who has returned to the camp victorious. But to be honest, the of this hill is really a bit steep. Isn't there such a story in later generations, a reporter from a certain country asked a prime minister of a big country, saying, why do you Chinese always walk with your head down? The answer of the prime minister of a big country who is deeply respected by the people of the country is, because we Chinese are walking uphill. Here is just citing this story to explain that when people go up the mountain, they have to bow their heads and bow their heads. That is to move the center of gravity forward to maintain the balance of the body's center of gravity. It's really not something ordinary people can do to climb the mountain with your head held high. But at this time, the person who came from the bottom of the mountain to the top of the mountain really walked as far as possible, because he was Shang Zhen. According to Shang Zhen's deployment yesterday, there was a platoon at the foot of the mountain. When he walked up from the foot of the mountain, 
the soldiers in that platoon cheered. And when he got to the middle of the mountain, the two rows of taxis who were assigned to the middle of the mountain and were still digging fortifications cheered again. Who doesn't like an officer like Shang Zhen, who has a plan and knows how to fight, and the soldiers of the guard company were watching from a distance last night on the mountain. Although they were a little far away, they couldn't see what was going on, but they could see the ballistic trajectory fired by the Japanese army. The red lines of the bullets were intertwined and it was a lively scene. Then the Japanese army fired flares. I saw Japanese soldiers carrying the corpses. This time, Shang Zhen and the others only went with four people, and the four of them made a mess on the Japanese side, so how could it be possible not to excite the soldiers? And when Maur Huzi, Gu Man and Dalaoban returned last night, the soldiers finally figured out what happened on the Japanese side. No one knows how many people the Japanese army lost, but the fact that the Japanese army can kill each other has already relieved the soldiers' hatred. However, Maur Hu's big boss and Gu Man came back, but Shang Zhen never returned, which inevitably made the soldiers nervous again. And now that Shang Zhen finally came back, how could the soldiers not be rejoicing? Having passed the foot of the mountain and climbed the side of the mountain, Shang Zhen will eventually reach the top of the mountain, where his original group of people is still there. And at the moment when Shang Zhen climbed to the top of the mountain, there were also cheers, but the voice stopped abruptly after only half of the shouting. The one who spoke was a soldier named Yang Zaikai from the guard company. Of course he is not an old man, but he has eyesight, but he came up with cigarettes to make friends with Wang Mao and the others. But now that Shang Zhen is back, his behavior is naturally the same as that of the soldiers below. Shang Zhen is a hero in their eyes, shouldn't they be cheering when the hero returns? But this Yang Zaikai only yelled so loudly, but he found that his yelling on the top of the mountain sounded so awkward to him. He shook his head and looked left and right, and saw that those veterans were also looking at Shang Zhen, but they just glanced at them, and then their hands were doing what to do, and there was no intention of cheering at all. But the one who saw Shang Zhen's return was the most calm among these people was Old Mao Wang. Old Mao Wang must have known about Shang Zhen's return. The people below were shouting so loudly just now. But now, old Mao Wang is taking the cigarette he just lit from his mouth, and then he spits out a string of smoke rings. This is really embarrassing for Mr. Wang, the big circle and the small circle he spit out three in one breath. As for old Mao Wang, who spit out smoke rings, his mouth was also moving, but he didn't shout or cheer. As for the other soldiers, none of them made a sound. After a long time of commotion, he was the only one on the top of the mountain, oh! Ah! Yang Zaikai became embarrassed at this moment, thinking what's wrong with this class, our company commander has made such a big contribution to come back, why do you act like you didn't see it? Yang Zaikai glanced down, seeing that Shang Zhen was still going up, it was okay for these veterans to remain unmoved, but Ma Tianfang, who had only one arm left, rolled the cigarette in Wang Lao Mao's hand he grabbed it and took a big breath. Ma Tianfang's movements were a bit abrupt, and old Wang's hat was snatched, and he was a little dazed, but at this moment he saw Ma Tianfang's cheeks puffed up, but he used his only remaining right hand to go pat yourself on the right cheek. And when he slapped, a small smoke ring spit out from his slightly opened mouth. Ma Tianfang kept patting, and circles kept coming out of his mouth. It took only a moment, and Ma Tianfang had already spit out dozens of smoke rings. Ma Tianfang amused the sullen Wang Lao Mao, and the other soldiers also watched and laughed. At this time, Shang Zhen finally climbed to the top of the mountain. Did you come back? Old Mao Wang said after listening to the movement, he glanced at Shang Zhen. Shang Zhen looked at his group of soldiers. The victorious look of returning to the camp just now was gone. He sat down on the ground and said, Is there anyone like you? It's fine if you don't pick me up. I didn't see my hand hurt. Got it? Get me some water. It was only then that the veterans noticed that Shang Zhen's hands were wrapped in cloth. 
It seemed that the large piece of cloth missing from the front of his clothes was used to wrap his hands. Chu Tian hurriedly came over with a Japanese army's marching water bottle, while Shang Zhen himself wrapped the cloth around his hands. Boss, what's going on? Qin Chuan leaned forward and asked. What can I do? The little devil's bullets fly close to the skin of the brain, and the ignorant ones can only crawl out. Shang Zhen pulled his face into a bitter gourd and said, at this time he unwrapped the knot wrapped around his hands. With the last layer of cloth, there was a hiss sound in his mouth. At this time, Shang Zhen no longer had the majestic heroic image he had when he came up the mountain from the bottom of the mountain just now, especially when he complained that the veteran didn't stand in the way to welcome him, no matter how he looked when he was injured, like an angry little daughter-in-law. Bai old Mao Wang said, but what he said in his mouth was, you just raised your head and puffed out your chest like a dick, how about that awesome look? Old Uncle Wang, you can be angry but you can't let it out, then I, no, then we have won the battle, so can't we be awesome? Shang Zhen said with a bitter face. Old Mao Wang snorted and stopped talking about him. At this time, Shang Zhen noticed that Yang Zaikai was also on the mountain www.mtlnovel.com He was stunned for a moment, guessing that Yang Zaikai must be a member of their guard company but he didn't know him, and finally smiled awkwardly. What does Shang Zhen mean by Qi can be blown up but not let down? Old Mao Wang understood, and so did Yang Zaikai. After all, Shang Zhen is now the commander of a company so he will be happy when he comes back from the battle, and he will show the soldiers how he looks. Then how can it be said that as the chief officer of the company, he still loses his head after winning the battle, which is detrimental to morale? If you see that the Japanese devils are so difficult to fight, who will go forward in the war? Fighting against the aggressor is bitter and dangerous, but the weaker side always needs to cheer up for itself. If no one else cheers up the brave, then he needs to be cheered up. This is like the BB machine that was popular in the later generations, and no one called you, so you have to call yourself by calling a number, right? Otherwise, why hang such a toss around your waist? Chapter 1206, Between Veterans But Yang Zaikai didn't know that old soldiers like Wang Lao Mao were used to Shang Zhen's solitude, not to mention that he brought three people out this time. As for the wound on Shang Zhen's hand that was pierced by the Artemisia stick, can it still be called an injury? Grinning his teeth, as if it was too much. Veterans would only be like this with minor injuries that they didn't care about, and it wouldn't be like this if it was a serious injury. For example, Ma Tian Fang, who now has only one arm left, and the little dustpan that has not yet healed. Even Shang Zhen suffered more injuries than he did now when he was caught by the military commander. That time when he was beaten by others, he was like noodles, and when he stretched out and let go, he softened again. It's a far to be so hurtful as to pull your palm now. That's where the whole scene is. When Shang Zhen was pouring water on the wound on his palm, the soldiers below shouted again, and at this moment he heard Qin Chuan beside him say, the person we went out to inquire about has returned. A few minutes later, Li Qingfeng, Qian Chuaner, Wang Ziodan, and Ho Wang Shan all stood in front of Shang Zhen and the others. It was a coincidence that they were originally a group of two and went their separate ways. In fact, Shang Zhen was also worried that if their guard company received an order to retreat, the two groups of people might not be able to return in time, so they separated from them again. But this is war, and there is no other way. It's just that there are gains and losses. The two groups of people came back, but they brought back bad news. The defense lines of other troops on the two wings have been broken by the Japanese army. This is still big news. As for small news, for example, the head of this regiment was killed, and the battalion commander of that regiment was injured, and so on. The veterans were not surprised by such news. The terrain here is low mountains and hills, and it is not a natural barrier that can only be opened by one man. Coupled with the current situation of the Northeast Army, it is normal for the Japanese Army to break through. 
even their guard company can only use the reverse because of the steep of this hill. If it is a gentle mountain, do you think they can escape the Japanese artillery shells? There would have been heavy casualties. Everyone looked at Shang Zhen again, and it was time for the boss Shang Zhen to make up his mind again. But not this time. In the past, Shang Zhen had the final say on whether to fight or run, but this time they returned to the main force, the small shackles of military discipline were also put on, and Shang Zhen had to ask for instructions. Shang Zhen looked at the veterans looking at him silently, how could he not understand the expectation in their eyes? After a while, Shang Zhen also consciously stretched out his hand to ask Xin Chuan to help him tie the cloth strips on his hands, and then he stood up, bowed his waist, and went down the hillside. The people below the guard company, those on the mountainside, and those at the foot of the mountain looked at each other when they saw Shang Zhen coming down again so quickly. They witnessed such a scene again, a person who went up the steep with his head held high, but this time he went down the steep with his head down. Of course, this proved that Shang Zhen's skills are really good, but what is our company commander doing? Why do things always twist with others? As soon as Shang Zhen went down, the veterans on the top of the mountain began to talk about it. What everyone said had different meanings, but the meaning was the same. You see, our company commander was anxious and ran down the mountain. This is to discuss with the brigade commander. Retreated. It's just that some people disagreed with everyone's views. At this time, Huzuza committed a crime again, and immediately said, How do you know that we are not letting us cut off the air? As for Huzuza's words, it was like a ladle of cold water poured directly into the dumpling pot that had boiled to a boil, and the dumplings that had been rolling with the soup sank all of a sudden, not to mention that the level was as good as a mirror. I don't see the soup spilled. In the silence, old Mao Wang glanced at Huzuza hatefully and then looked at Chu Bo. Chu Bo then passed the hate in Wang Lao Mao's eyes to Qin Chuan. Qin Chuan grinned and apparently turned a blind eye to Chu Bo's gaze, but he tugged on the empty sleeve that Ma Tianfang had no arm inside beside him. And their transmission of this series of hate was seen by Ma or Huza who was opposite them, but Ma or Huza happened to be standing next to Hu Zuzi. So at the next moment, Ma or Huza suddenly said, Everyone come together. Then he hugged Hu Zuli's waist from the side fiercely, and the few veterans just now except Mr. Wang outside the hat, they swarmed up and pressed the tiger pillar to the ground. From under the crowd came Hu Zuzi's cry like killing a pig, You hit me again. It's a common practice for everyone to beat Huzuza together, sometimes all the veterans stretch out their hands, for example, when Huzuza stood up and took out a hero in the world, and I was about to challenge you. Sometimes the veterans don't need to all reach out. For example, now, he was suddenly overthrown by Ma or Huzi. As the saying goes, Hulo Ping Yang was bullied by dogs, and Huzuza was brought down. Naturally, there is no need to fight there are so many people. At this time, seeing the screams of the tiger pillars under the crowd, Chu Tian, who was leaning on a big rock a few meters away, couldn't help but side up to the sky, and Chen Han Wen, who was sitting next to him, looked at him. As for the matter of eating, sleeping and beating Daodu, the two of them sometimes participate and sometimes don't participate, it all depends on the mood of the two of them. Do you remember the emperor's new clothes I told you about? Chu Tian asked. Both Shushan and Chen Hanwen could read and write, but Shushan was a college student, and he was a foreign scholar. As for Chen Hanwen, he had read the four books and five classics, Tang poetry and Song Ci since he was a child, and he was a local scholar. Naturally, the local talents have never seen the fairy tales of foreigners. Isn't that the one with the bear who doesn't know about the emperor who doesn't wear underpants? Chen Hanwen really remembered. Hey! Chu Tian smiled, he didn't even notice www.mtlnovel.com in his smile, there was a bit of a veteran's anger, but then he asked Chen Hanwen with a serious face, do you know how the little boy who said that the emperor's old man was naked died later? How did you die? Chen Hanwen never thought that Shushan would ask such a question. After thinking about it, 
he really couldn't remember how the little boy died in the story that Shushan told himself. It's just like this. He told the truth and was beaten to death. Chu Tian laughed suddenly, and Chen Hanwen was stunned. Yes, some truths cannot be told, even if it is really so good, you can't say that, because it is a taboo. Shang Zhen and his group of veterans, including Shang Zhen, don't want to fight positional warfare, but now they have to stay here due to military orders. And that Hu Zuzi just said to let them die, how can you say they are not angry? So, this person has no EQ he has to be beaten. Hu Zuzi complained? It's not wrong. Chapter 1207, The Way to Survive is spelled out. There were fights and fights, and the veterans calmed down quickly, and only Hu Zuzi was lying on the ground sullen. He was also beaten up by the veterans, and he is still lazy now. The three platoons below the guard company naturally didn't know what happened on the top of the mountain, and they didn't come up. But now on the top of the mountain, apart from old veterans like Wang Lao Mao and the others, there are still newcomers like Dalayadu, Wu Ziki, Li Qingfeng, and Wang Ziodan. In Shang Zhen's eyes, these four people were recruited by himself, so naturally they would not be placed in other platoons. At this moment, even in their dreams, the four of them never imagined that after they really entered the Northeast Army with Shang Zhen, Shang Zhen's group of old people would be such ants. Although Wu Ziki's character is a bit out of character, he came out of the puppet army, and he was beaten by veterans of the puppet army when he was in the puppet army, so he didn't dare to mess with old Mao Wang and the others. Li Qing Feng was a clever ghost, seeing veterans fighting seemed to be mostly a joke, so he didn't get involved. As for Wang Ziodan, when he saw the veterans fighting, he brought out his timidity again. He was afraid that the fire in the city would hurt the fish in the pond, so he watched from afar. On the contrary, seeing Hu Zuzi lying down like that aroused the bodhisattva heart of his little monk. Who knows whether he thought that all people are suffering or thought of no abiding and formless, so he stepped forward and stretched out his hand to pull Hu Zuzi. When Hu Zuzi was lying down, he was moved when he saw the simple and honest old stupid come to pull him up. As soon as someone stretched out his hand, he extended it, and when he stretched and pulled it, Hu Zuzi sat up. It's just that he just sat down like this, but he let out an AO and jumped up like a big vaulting monkey, which startled the old man and let go of his hand. With a sound of coaxing, the veterans who had been watching the scene of the big stupid pulling the tiger pillar and did not stop them burst into laughter. Amidst the laughter, Ho Wang Shan, who didn't hit Hu Zuzi this time because Shang Zhen sent him out for reconnaissance, asked, where does it hurt? But hurts. Hu Zuzi said angrily, you know how to spank my ass, and none of them are fun to throw. A tiger man is a tiger man, but Hu Zuzi didn't know that if someone else spoke like that, if he knocked down everyone with one sentence and didn't know how to make an ally, he would probably be beaten again. But now that these veterans are angry, who will do it again? Then hit you on the head next time. Ho Wang Shan asked intentionally. Before Hu Zuzi could answer, Qian Chuaner said, It's a tiger, but if you beat it again, it will become a real tiger. Then hit him in the face. Ho Wang Shan asked again. Pull it down. Wang Lao Mao said angrily, With your monkey's buttocks, it's enough to cause trouble, and get another one? Are you going to let the big guy eat? Ho Wang Shan is disfigured. Outsiders say that his face is definitely not good, such as that fat man, but his own people say that he is never impatient with his face, not to mention that he is still an old man. Where to hit? Ho Wang Shan asked again, then you have to hit Kaba's crotch. Who's Uzi, if you lose your children and grandchildren next time after being beaten, don't blame us. After finishing speaking, his eyes are still on the tiger. Aim at the pillar. Don't, let's spank the next time, the flesh is thick, take the spanking. No matter how tough Hu Zhu was, he knew that there was no way to spank. That's right, it was said to beat Hu Zuzi, but the veterans couldn't beat him to death, they just pressed down on the thick fleshy place, so what else could the veterans do if they didn't spank his every time? 
The veterans laughed again, and after a while Hu Zuza laughed too. Veterans don't hold grudges when they fight, but even if everyone doesn't tell the story of leaving them behind like Hu Zuzi, it doesn't mean that they don't have such a premonition, so even if they beat Hu Zuzi before, they were absent-minded. The happiness brought by beating Tiger Zuzi was quickly replaced by worries about their own future, but they waited and waited but Shang Zhen didn't come back, and each of them panicked again. They all said that the Japanese army had broken through from the two wings of the 337th Brigade. If they didn't withdraw, if the Japanese devils were a scourge, wouldn't they become isolated islands in the flood? I'll go to the brigade to have a look. Qian Chuaner couldn't bear it anymore, he stood up and ran down the mountain. I'll go too. Li Ching Feng also followed. Veterans didn't like Li Ching Feng who seemed very clever at first glance, so the spies who had previously gone to inquire about the enemy's situation became the spies who inquired about their next move. The veterans on the top of the mountain began to wait for what they thought was a long time, but this time they didn't wait long, and their people came back, and not only Qian Chuaner and Li Qingfeng came back, Shang Zhen also came back with them. In the eager anticipation of the veterans, Shang Zhen announced to them a very frustrating news. The entire line of defense had been defeated by the Japanese army, and then he announced a news that made them all stand up. According to the news, their brigade was left behind. In the silence, it was old Mao Wang who spoke first, what's the use of staring? Let's see if we can come up with a solution. After finishing speaking, old Mao Wang still didn't forget to look at Shang Zhen. Of course what he meant was that he hoped that Shang Zhen would come up with a feasible solution. But Shang Zhen, who was looking at the ground, seemed to have eyes on the top of his head. He knew that Wang Mao was looking at him, but he said, it's useless to look at me, and I can't help it. Have to. Shang Zhen is admitting to being a bear. In the memory of the veterans, Shang Zhen had never recognized a bear like this before but this was the first time he made such a statement. It seemed that he really had no choice. Or, we can take the initiative to ask to make trouble behind the little devil, and then Chen Hanwen said with a hint of hope. Then what? Old Mao Wang started to touch the cigarette again, and asked calmly. Then, then what, needless to say. Seeing Wang Lao Mao asking for his opinion, Chen Hanwen suddenly felt flattered. Although he said it was useless, but he continued, then we can have a fight among the devils, just like the monkey grandson getting into the belly of the Iron Fan Princess. Let's not care about how many devils were killed, anyway, it made a big noise, and this is considered to have completed the task of stopping the Japanese army. If you do the math, if a company fights hard against the Japanese attack, if it fights hard in a position with no fortifications at all, it will almost kill people in a day and a half. Then if we can fight and hold the Japanese army behind the devils for a day or two, then we have completed the task. Although it is very dangerous to get into a pile of devils, I would rather let the dogs chased by the devils climb the rabbits and pant than hide in the tortoise shell and be a turtle. Chen Hanwen has a literary temperament. What is literati temperament? That is to say, you can say that you are excited. So Chen Hanwen, who has been with these big bosses for many years, can't help but swear. If it were his original nature, how could he say something like a turtle with a shrunken head? How rude! And when he finished speaking boldly like an old man, Hu Zuzi, who had been standing beside him, also forgot that his hurt, and shouted loudly, The scholar is right. Chen Hanwen's face turned red, and he glanced at Hu Zuzi gratefully. Although he said that there is no such word as fan in later generations, Chen Hanwen was always flattered by someone's loud approval. It's just that he didn't expect that old Mao Wang would directly pour cold water on him. What a fart! It's a good idea, and you're tossing like a dead monkey into a woman's belly. Old Mao Wang snorted again and said, Don't forget that we are guards now. Even... Wang Lao Mao's words made Chen Hanwen's face change instantly. That's when he realized, yeah, they're a guard company now. 
the guard company is similar to the brigade commander or the exclusive guard of the brigade headquarters. The brigade commander takes the lead to cover behind. It is impossible for the guard company to take the brigade leader to drill the devils, right? Not to mention whether the brigade commander Lu Chenji would let them go, even if they did go away, people would say that they abandoned the brigade commander and ran for their lives regardless of themselves. Can they afford this responsibility? Chen Hanwen's face was still very red, just now he was agitated by the scholar, but this time he was ashamed by old Mao Wang. He looked at the other veterans again, and the other veterans either looked at him or did not look at him. But at this time, Chen Hanwen wanted to understand, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com How could other veterans not have thought of this idea of his own, but most of them remembered that they were already a brigade guard company now, and the small shackles had already passed away. Put it on, there is no freedom anymore. Oh! Chen Hanwen sighed and squatted down. The scene became silent again. It's just that although they haven't fought the Japanese army now, how long can they persist in this silence? Company commander, the brigade signal troops are here. Yu Ziuolong, who was guarding the edge of the mountain, suddenly reported. It's over. Old Mao Wang sighed, the cigarette in his hand was not lit but he crushed it with his fingers. But at this time Shang Zhen spoke, everyone was shocked when Shang Zhen spoke. Shang Zhen said, if you are a dick, you are afraid of being a dick? If you want to die, you will die. The way to survive is spelled out. Chapter 1208, No Way No Money I'll find out, you three days later, Wang Qingfeng talked to veterans like Wang Mao and the others with a smile on her face, as if hesitating to speak. Wang Lao Mao looked at him coldly and said nothing, but anyone who is familiar with Wang Lao Mao knows that if Wang Lao Mao is asked to answer, it must be something to say, something to fart. As for the other veterans who had crossed paths with Wang Qingfeng in the past, we are busy with our own affairs. Those who should be prudent are still prudent, such as Chu Bo, those who should stare at him still stare at him, such as Ma or Huzi who should pretend not to listen still pretending not to listen, like Chen Hanwen. Only Qian Chuaner looked at the officer Wang with a smile. It's not that Qian Chuaner is fascinated, it's just that since Shang Zhen and his veterans got acquainted with Wang Qingfeng, the person Wang Qingfeng has dealt with the most is Qian Chuaner. Shang Zhen had to lead troops when he was fighting, and when he was not fighting, he was training soldiers by himself so he had no time to talk to Wang Qingfeng. Wang Lao Mao was too lazy to talk to him, if he had to let Wang Lao Mao talk to Wang Qingfeng, I'm afraid I might accidentally beat this bastard. To say that Jian Chuaner has a good temper, but last time Wang Lao Mao and the others beat Wang Qingfeng together, Jian Chuaner went up to fight. At that time, Jian Chuaner saw Wang Qingfeng being beaten into a rolling gourd by his companions, and while yelling I have something to say, I have something to say while pointing at Wang Qingfeng's leaning tail with two feet on the root. As far as Qian Chuaner's two kicks were concerned, it wouldn't be enough to break Wang Qingfeng's legs, but it's quite normal to cause soft tissue bruises. So in the few days after Wang Qingfeng was beaten, the fat had a swollen head and face, but he always walked with his stomach upright. Although the anti-Japanese war has been fought until now, Fatty Wang has become a nickname, a symbol representing that he used to be very fat, his general belly has been gone for a long time. Tell me about you, didn't you look like this when I invited you to drink last time? Wang Qingfeng saw that no one paid attention to him, but he was not annoyed but mentioned the last time he invited veterans to drink. As soon as he mentioned the matter of drinking last time, it was very helpful, old Mao Wang finally snorted and said, if you have something to say, you have to fart. Sure enough. Hearing Wang Lao Mao's foul language, Wang Qingfeng was not annoyed, as if it was his greatest honor that Wang Lao Mao scolded him. In fact, when they were drinking that day, Wang Qingfeng and Wang Lao Mao were drunk. At that time, the vulgar words that Wang Lao Mao said to him were much rougher than the farts now. People in the Northeast are mostly straight-tempered. 
let's not learn to avoid being suspected of being vulgar and indecent. Seeing Wang Lao Mao speak at this time, Wang Ching Feng smiled even brighter and said, I'll find out, you have a strong desire to survive. As soon as Wang Ching Feng said this, it wasn't just old hat Wang this time, even the eyes of other veterans were rare. Don't speak short words in front of the cripple. What does Wang Ching Feng mean by this? Old Mao Wang and the others, including Shang Zhen, didn't want to fight battles. They didn't tell this fat man, but they didn't know where this fat man was. How could old Mao and the others be happy? It was only then that Wang Ching Feng said the first sentence in a serious manner, but it also aroused the urge of the veterans to beat him up again. Moreover, Ha Wang Shan really said this sentence, Fatty, I why do you want to hit you again? Wang Ching Feng looked at Ha Wang Shan's disfigured face when he heard the sound, and his expression changed involuntarily. As for Wang Ching Feng, he really doesn't have much courage, or he is soft, bullying and fearful. As for Ha Wang Shan's face now, if you say it's ugly, it sounds good, and it can even be said to be hideous. He has not forgotten that the last time he was beaten was because Ho Wang Shan made the first move, and after counting Ho Wang Shan Shan Xia's hand is the most ruthless, the kind of beating to death, if it wasn't for being dragged by others, I would definitely let this kid be crippled. It wasn't like this before the dead monkey was disfigured at first. How did the person change his when his face changed? Wang Ching Feng looked at the faces of the veterans again, and felt that she really said something wrong this time. Come on, I'd better not mess with these animals for now, let me change to someone else. Hey, hey. Wang Ching Feng laughed dryly and ignored these veterans, and then blinked at other soldiers with his small eyes. He doesn't care about the old men in the security company, or in other words, the veterans in the security company are not willing to talk to him. It's natural for the people in the security company to know what kind of virtue he is. What can I say? Wang Ching Feng looked at it for a moment and got up, but ran to a small soldier, and when he arrived in front of him, he still had a smile on his face and said, I heard that you are a little Taoist priest. It turned out that the little soldier was Li Ching Feng, and Wang Ching Feng also heard that Li Ching Feng was a Taoist priest the day he was drinking. The veterans saw that Wang Ching Feng had no rules, but as a rookie who had just entered the army, Li Ching Feng couldn't be no rules, so he stood up quickly and said, Yes, sir. However, the salute was exempted. Did you quack every day when you were a little Taoist priest? Wang Ching Feng asked kindly. Li Ching Feng heard that the veterans scolded Wang Ching Feng behind his back and he also knew the general situation of Wang Ching Feng and the veterans. He saw that the veterans did not respond even though they were looking at this place, so he thought that Wang Ching Feng was just ignoring the veterans. Find a step down here. So, he replied, it's just to draw a talisman, catch a monster, make a dojo, and look at Feng Shui and so on. Catch a monster? Li King Feng's words not only made everyone look at him, but Wang Ching Feng almost laughed out loud. Are there really monsters in this world? Well, since there are foxes, yellows, and white willows as great immortals in the northeast, there must be demons in this world. It's just that Wang King Feng's purpose of talking to Shang Zhen's soldiers was obviously not to catch monsters, so he asked with great interest, then do you know how to tell fortunes? Li Ching Feng didn't know why Wang Ching Feng asked about this matter again, so he agreed casually, a little bit, not good. Then tell me about fortune telling. If what you said is supplementary, I ask you to do a fortune telling. Wang Ching Feng said again. Seeing that Ching Feng Li was about to refuse, he rolled up his sleeves and said, Did you see my watch? As long as you count it for me, I'll give you this watch. Of course Ching Feng Li knew that the watch was a good thing, but there was a look of disbelief on his face. It sounds nicer, it's called no reward for no merit, and it's not nice, it's called a weasel to pay a New Year's greeting to a chicken, isn't it good? Don't believe me. Wang Ching Feng directly saw through Li King Feng's careful thinking, don't worry, I, Fatty Wang, mean what I say, 
you are Shang Zhen's soldier. What Wang Qingfeng said was interesting. That's right, what Wang Qingfeng is facing now are all Shang Zhen's soldiers. The veterans under Shang Zhen's subordinates beat him up without any consideration, so even the new recruits would treat him differently. But Li Qingfeng still smiled without answering, just looking at Wang Qingfeng's watch. They're all Shang Zhen's soldiers, they won't scatter eagles if they don't see rabbits. Wang Qingfeng scolded with a smile, and he actually took off his watch after speaking. Oh, Mr. Wang wants to give you a watch, if you know how to count, go ahead. At this moment, old Mao Wang said suddenly. Seeing Wang Qingfeng take off the watch, old Mao Wang, who had been sullenly, suddenly smiled. Old Mao Wang was also interested in Wang Qingfeng's behavior today, since their 337th brigade was terminated and fought and retreated here, this was the first time Wang Qingfeng met. Although Shang Zhen and the others were unwilling to fight positional warfare, the development of the subsequent battle situation did not start to defend the position as they thought. The brigade commander Lu Jinji didn't want to lose the whole army here, he just fought and retreated, but now their brigade, which was dragged to the end of the 51st army, was still bitten by the Japanese army. In the eyes of Wang Lao Mao and the others, their bad luck of defending the position is only delayed, after all, there is still time to see them again. Old Mao Wang thought that this fat man had some other purpose today, right? Besides, what is his purpose? Who doesn't take advantage of the benefits? Don't take advantage of the cheap bastard. Li Qingfeng saw that old Mao Wang smiled, and he smiled too, isn't it just fortune-telling? It's called Huyu in Northeast dialect, who can tell a fortune-teller can't Huyu. It's not just whoever can't be careless, but whoever can tell fortune-telling is a master of bewilderment. Then I'll talk about it. Li Qingfeng smiled. This hexagram is divided into Xientian gossip and acquired gossip. The innate gossip was created by Emperor Fuxi, and the acquired gossip was created by King Wen of Zhou. Innate gossip means that everything has a definite number, and what we count mostly refers to acquired gossip. Ouch! After all, he was born as a Taoist priest, and Li King Feng's casual opening remarks would be different from the others. Of course, Big bosses like Wang Lao Mao and the others were stunned for a while, but even Chu Tian and Chen Han Wen's eyes lit up. Then do the math, what can we do this time, what can we do? Wang Ching Feng asked urgently. Um? At this time, the soldiers who had been ignoring Wang Ching Feng suddenly realized why this fat man was here. This doesn't mean that these veterans have a strong desire to survive. This fat man's desire to survive will only be stronger than theirs. So, he ran to these veterans as an excuse, because he was relying on them to save his life. This, this, this can't be calculated blindly. If you want to deceive the army, you will be killed. Ching Feng Li froze his head. Who is Ching Feng Li? He is by no means less thoughtful than others and he just followed Shang Zhen into the main army and now he is keeping a low profile. After Li Qingfeng finished speaking, he glanced at old Mao Wang who was looking at him. He couldn't figure out what attitude the veterans had towards Wang Qingfeng, so he naturally had to listen to the veterans' instructions. At this time, old Mao Wang was behind Wang Qingfeng, so Wang Qingfeng naturally couldn't see what old Mao Wang was saying. But at this time, Old Mao Wang has already reacted to the smell, you fat man made this idea. When Old Mao Wang saw Li Ching Feng looking at him, he thought to himself, the little Taoist that Shang Boy recruited this time is really good, and he is very clever, so he pointed his right hand at the wrist of his left hand. What Old Mao Wang meant, Li Ching Feng understood it at a glance, don't care what you say, let's talk about that watch first. Oh, sir. If you want to do the math, then I have to do the math. This hexagram has changed my fate. Li Ching Feng said pretending to be profound. Then you do the math, do the math. Wang Ching Feng said anxiously. Then I'll pinch my finger. Li Ching Feng went on to say, at the same time, 
he saw that the money string behind old Mao Wang was already giving him a thumbs up. It is related to the rise and fall of the entire brigade, and the life and death of everyone present, who doesn't care, then really have to calculate. While the little Taoist priest Li Ching Feng was doing mysteries and fortune-telling, Shang Zhen was squatting on the ground looking at the map in a temporary grass shed not far away, while the brigade commander Lu Chenji was with his two regiments. The boss is discussing something. About ten minutes later, Lu Chenji asked, Shang Zhen, you have been watching for a long time, what can you do? Shang Zhen, who was still squatting on the ground, raised his head and said, you can't hold it for two or three days www.mtlnovel.com Even if you hold it, the loss will be too great, but if you delay it for two or three days, you should be able to hold back the casualties. Smaller. Oh? Then tell me. Lu Chenji became interested in Shang Zhen's suggestion. And right now, outside the thatched shed, Wang Qingfeng yelled loudly, What? It's just that he felt something wrong when he finished yelling. This was outside the brigade headquarters.